Okay, so here's the deal. This is the first open house of the new year. Um, and since we are really busy with Christmas times and opening presents, uh, we decided we're gonna try and answer absolutely as many questions as we possibly can in 20 minutes. <coughs> Starting right now. <coughs> I dread men asked if a member of the Funhouse Party were to run for president next year, what would their slogan be and what would their absolute winning strategy be? Someone answer. It's a cool answer. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, uh, oh boy, this is not oh, what Dead cool. babies! Dead babies, right? That's from our video, yeah. And their strategy would be... Oh, dead babies. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Babies. This is the gold Best video. I gold. know the person that asked Improv the question had to answer it. That's not how it goes. At least, next question. Go. I'm so if happy you, to be part of this. This is from Fancy Fart Indeed. If you guys were gods, what offerings would you want at your shrines? I would like a copy of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It was one of my favorite games of 2014. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on better. Santa's lap right Please. now? That's hey. better. All right. Lawrence. Uh, Bacon. Bacon. Oh. Right, so, uh, while editing, are you ever biased towards yourself? For example, putting more effort into, into Photoshop for your jokes or cutting to yourself more often during open house? Uh, for us, well, the first reply is actually correct. It's the opposite. We all hate ourselves, or at least I do. <laughs> uh, I think anything I do is always terrible, and I typically hate leaving myself in anything. We all think that. Not true. Mm -hmm. uh, yo moin. Yo moin. You got it. How would you sum up Funhouse in a haiku? Oh boy. 575? Yeah. Yep. Uh, lovers of all things. Nice. That's uh, happy boys and happy girls. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was two. Yeah. Sex in the morning You're good. time. <laughs> that was really good, John. Nice job. Don't you do a show called On the Spot? No. Kill yourself. Yeah, Next uh, question from Arouse Dentist. Do you think that video games do much to educate people? Absolutely they do. I think video games educate your hand-eye coordination. I think there are brain games that you can play to help out your brain. And I think there are lots of games that teach you how to shoot minorities. Yeah, porn what? games teach me how to shoot minorities. Next uh, question. PM your sandwich. What would be the rules of the fun uh, what would be the rules of the Funhouse Fight Club? Uh, okay, um, no farting in somebody's face. Mm -hmm. um, you would have to, uh, everyone has to bring a nice bottle of wine to Fight Club. That's true. Uh, number number three would be Lawrence can't drink all of the wine that everybody brought. <laughs> good, good uh, wine. And number four is, <laughs> if, if this is your first time at Funhouse Wine Club, you have to drink. That's Fight Club, not Wine Club. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> next, next question from uh, Trenta Center. In a shocking turn of events, Fun House has turned into a full-service bar. Thank you. And you are all bartenders. Ooh. What are all your signature drinks called, and what do they contain? That's a long answer. Uh, I actually have Lawrence's drink. He had it. It's real. It's whiskey and vodka and one thing. I didn't know it existed <laughs> until he ordered yeah, it, man. and it was amazing. That's the a signature has to be shaped like a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Next question. Final underscore crucible. What is the strangest slash most uncomfortable thing you've discovered going on at the Rooster Teeth mm. office during one of your visits, Achievement Hunter doesn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. Next question. Old Thrace, what is the most ridiculous rumor you've ever heard about yourself? <sighs> uh, just cut out the blank stuff till I can remember one. There's no cutting, Matt. This yeah, is live. Yeah, cutting just, any uh, of you have a cold. Uh, see, it's pressure. That's, kind of That's pretty weird that you have a cold. Ridiculous. Yeah, sure. Go All with right. that. Drawing. All right, cool. It's cool. Uh, Quicksilver95, what is, was one of your favorite YouTube channels? Uh, Crash Course. Cool. That's an answer. Right Good on. answer. He did it. Uh, Skelly Wheeze, which Disney princess do you think you're most like? Quasimodo. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence. Uh, Hank, Ol Hank Olijo uh, asks, what's the most disturbing thing you've encountered in an online or in a game? Um, I found people cybering in Ultima Online once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? That's pretty yeah. awesome. And only you wanted to give you a lot of tools. Uh, so no. it was just it was just words popping up above their and I just sat there and watched. Are <laughs> they saying spells like corpore and stuff like that? A corpore you in the pants? No. It was just it Oh was look just it's John's like turn talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh Dova Kiwi, mm -hmm. you've all become stage magicians. What are your stage names and what are your signature tricks? Ooh. I'd be called the Harry Minge and I'd make everyone love me. Oh. How would you make them love you? Magic. Magic. Hypnotism. Ah, just a sex offender. <laughs> or blackmail. <laughs> Muffin Topless asks, if Funhouse was a branch of the U.S. military, what ranks would all of you be? Well, I would be, uh, what do you call it, privates? Mm. I'd be privates. <laughs> Spool would be privates. Is that a branch? Uh, uh, five, can five, I, can I, I be Master Chief? At least be Vagina and ha uh, Halo would be Master Chief. <laughs> I'd be Star-Lord. <laughs> I'd be, Star <laughs> <Lord. I'm gonna laughs> be <laughs> Lieutenant. And then right. James is Lieutenant. <clears throat> Who's Darth uh, Vader? <laughs> Zerul. Zerul 13, I am dying. How should I spend my last day? 
Uh, all right. Dead, like, <laughs> you should go to the world's greatest amusement park, Knott's Berry Farm, oh! and meet Snoopy. And ride that sweet roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. The quasi Montezuma's oh. Revenge. Everyone knows Legoland is the best. Oh, that's right. That's Antarctic school. Divinity. Uh, describe your worst Christmas experience you've ever had. Oh, boy. Uh, that's I a perfect question. I, I crashed a go kart into the back of a car once, and then I went home and. <laughs> I played with my Batmobile instead. <laughs> yeah, you just told us that story. That's a pretty good Yeah, that, that's, it's fresh. That's a good Christmas. Thank you. Uh, loud Noises 11, if you had to name your firstborn after a video game character, which would you choose? Um, Bayonetta or Tingle? <laughs> Can you call <laughs> it Bayonetta both. Tingle Willems? Yeah, yeah, maybe okay. if it's one that, Siamese twin. it's a girl twin. and it's Tinkle? Yeah, yeah, Tinkle is for a girl. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Name her Link. Link. Yo Mama 500, what was the biggest... <laughs> Dispute you guys have ever had Ooh. in the office. I'm change. It was literally just yesterday when Joel and Bruce were arguing over <laughs> global warming, warming and abortion. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> we have a good time here. I, th I thought it was uh, Joel shaming Airbnb on Twitter. Turns out Joel's always involved. Next question. Zyner asked, what was an idea you thought would be great for the show, but other members didn't see it as such? One dollar, one hour. Okay. Oh, good answer. Good we're doing that. <laughs> you still don't see it as such. Elise. Uh... Oh, this is a redundant question. Giraffe from Last of Us, what would you name each other's firstborn child? I guess I named uh, Sean's child uh, Wigamajig. <laughs> cool. Uh, she's beautiful. She's really lovely, oh, that's Wigamajig. Racist. That's a racist answer. I, th I think Prancer. <laughs> For who? That, Are you looking at Lars, your turn! turn. <laughs> uh, Junior Sixoy asks, what were your guys' first car slash motorcycles? Ooh. I had a uh, late 80s Subaru hatchback that oh. could not accelerate up hills and would die <laughs> if you left the air conditioner on while it was a radical. Nice. Right. That was the car Sweet. from Kill Bill. It said pussy wagon on yeah. it. <laughs> oh, and if you turn the air conditioning off, the spring loaded button would make it shoot off into the car somewhere. <laughs> and you couldn't put it back on until you found it and put it back. It's like a Bond right. vehicle. Basically. I got, I got really good at turning it off and catching it mid flight. <laughs> John, how you show up to the ladies? Uh, I'm in that car. <laughs> uh, Pacey X, if Funhouse made and starred in a Christmas movie, what would be the plot and what would be each of your roles? Oh boy. You're like the creator of Funhouse. Right. Um, you are all my greatest achievements. Uh, <laughs> Spool would be asleep in his home oh. and everyone would be watching him through a window oh, Spool's so cute. rubbing candy canes. I don't know. Rubbing candy canes? That's a good movie. So this my is a, favorite character. What is this, like a two-hour run time? Or? <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> Next question. Give the people what they want. V Dog, if the open house theme had lyrics, what would they be? How does the music go? Somebody help it for me. This open house. Open house is really dumb. Why do you watch this show? Just turn this show off right now. We still got 12 minutes left. So just turn it off. It's really fucking stupid. I have a conundrum wants to know. James and Elise, how are you guys finding work together? It's a little something? tense. I gotta say. Wait, wait, hold it. This is a question for James and Elise. No, Joel. I'm answering okay, it. Okay, all right, Joel's answering. It's my answer. Looks it's a little like tense, but I think, I think they're, gonna, they're gonna work. Yeah, I think I got one too. Uh, Lawrence, is your question? Is this John and oh, Lars' time? No, we're not talking about questions. Double talk. I think I found an ingrown hair on my neck. Yeah. Go ahead, Joel. Let's mm -hmm. ruined. Adam's turn. Now you know how it feels, Joel. <laughs> Sometimes I sing funny little songs and Elise goes, that is not a work song. <laughs> he reuses the melodies we use at home and repurposes them for fun. Adam, now. please! Oh, please. sorry. Unconscious Rider, we've seen Bruce's dance moves in Demodist. Does anyone else from the Funhouse camp have some dance moves to show us? Joel, no shit. Joel always dances. Uh, John Reisinger oh. does too. John, show the sweet moves. Ooh, John. Next question. Oh, it's oh, all. Come on. Uh, semi forma one. Uh, describe how to solve world hunger in one sentence. Do it. Let all the hungry people just die. Boom. Next oh. question. <laughs> Next question from I'm on an island <laughs> called Africa. <laughs> G. Gjix, mm -hmm. what are your resolutions for 2016? 2016. 2016. Oh, I can't answer uh, for you on this one. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's 1080p, uh, 2K, 4K. What you nothing want? Want? out of the ordinary. If you have a resolution, you should do it. It's called it right then. And what there. are you your resolutions? For the new year. the okay. same that they've always been. Uh, get in better shape, gain more knowledge, uh, reach out more to my friends, stay in contact with people more. I'm really bad at that. Uh, but those are ongoing things. You shouldn't wait till the new year to have resolutions. Did he say yeah. Gain more knowledge? A walking he didn't say gain more knowledge. No. Gain. Spool. Get those gains, uh, Joel. Mitchell151297 asks, what would you get each other as the perfect Christmas gift? We already answered this. We asked this. Answer this Next question, time. Spool. Trusted Hipster, if you guys could make your own knockoff brand, what would you, it be called and what would be the main product? Oof. I can't read questions. Achievement Hunter? 
Uh, House of Fun. And what would we do? And our main product would be croutons. We'd play Minecraft for an hour, croutons. put it up All unedited. Right, croutons it is. <laughs> it's well, this, at least. This is from Black or Jesus. Is there a celebrity currently alive you would love to bring into your office to film a video with? Uh, Chris Farley. I'd love to bring him in. He's dead. Show- <laughs> He's dead, Elise. Uh, what about Melissa McCarthy? Uh, She's gonna die. Uh, I, we, we didn't lose John Candy for Melissa McCarthy. I'm sorry. Uh, Shrek could have been so much more. <laughs> Lawrence, go ahead. Uh, if you could be in any classic Christmas movie, I won't name any, but which one would you be in? Uh, I'd be yeah, in Will Vuitton's Claymation Christmas special. <laughs> Joel's mocking it back here, Lawrence. He's, gonna do, he's, he's doing a terrible job. <laughs> I don't care. Christmas. That's the funny part. I'm not mad at all. Uh, I believe in you. I'll be home for Christmas, starring JTT. That, by oh, way, that, nice that, one. That question was from Blue Colors, just so everybody knows. Home Alone 2, Pig in the City. John, right. go ahead. Next question. Uh, why Xanadu? You're all going to be in the next GTA game. What types of characters would you all be? Are there Playable types of one? characters please in GTA black guy, games? Please be the black guy. Just say, black like, guy. Yeah, I think everyone yes. would just be the black guy. Yeah. All right. I want to be Chop. Yes. You want to be who? You're going to be the, the black dog. guy and you're going to like it. The dog? So like the ending of being John Malkovich, except for black. Yeah. Okay. And everyone just says black, black, oh, black, All right, black, next black, question black. from Jesus. Walk a Blocker Blame. Yeah. What are you guys not doing this holiday season? Well. Your mom. I'm not winning a million dollars. I'm not doing my mom. You joke. Um, what else am I not doing? My mom? No. I'm probably not ever going to be happy, guys. There it is. Wow. Well. Well, that's deep. Mm. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Joel, read the next question. Joel, you're up. Uh, Kaza90 says, what's something you lie about to your front house coworkers that you should confess now? Here's what I, here's what I lie about. Oh. A lot of times, you know, we kind of joke about my Prius. We like, And we're like, oh, it's like it's a lame car, it's a lame car. And, and I'm like, yeah, I get it, it's a lame car. Ha, 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 that's a lie. The Prius is a fucking rag car, <laughs> and I think everyone here is jealous about it. Sometimes we'll go to the wrong so car because there's himself. so many Priuses here. <laughs> Adam, next question. Uh, this is uh, multi flip or whatever. Uh, what game do you think will die mm. from the overhype in 2016? I wonder. 2016. Um, I don't know which. I, I don't know. I know it won't be Overwatch. That's it. What's because the, the games aren't out yet, so we don't know. What's Minecraft on. We Wii. played Overwatch and it's great. No, Minecraft will live forever. Spool thinks it's what, No Man's what, Sky. What's the space game that's coming out? Mass Spool? Effect. Elite Dangerous. Hype, hype dice for every game after it comes out. That's the whole thing. Hype well, is that's you, true. It's something you build up to yourself. It's something going. that you don't have, it's and when you finally have it, you go, huh? Well, what, what, what's next? Eleven. If your teenage selves had somehow met, what do you think your interactions would have been? I would wonder why Bruce is always listening to ska music, <laughs> uh, <laughs> dancing around. Uh, um, <laughs> I'd be on rollerblading. Uh, Adam would be, Adam would be rollerblading. Uh, Joel, I probably wouldn't get along with. Uh, Elise would probably have a crush on me. Um, We'd be on the wrestling team. I'd be with Spool. Yeah, Spool and I would be on the wrestling <laughs> team. Be dating Spool. Uh, Lawrence and I would probably play He's games attached. after school, but then when we go to high school, I'd pretend I didn't know him. Oh, Lawrence. Uh, John and I would be actual close friends, and uh, Peak would be just some dude that I saw on a sports team and thought that he like was like really popular. Good answer. Next question. The Barry Bun. If Funhouse was a Dorito, Dorito flavor, what flavor would it be? I'll go with pumpkin Tim Tam flavored Doritos. Ooh, I thought you were gonna pick a traditional That's one. Really good. I thought it was gonna be like it. smelly or stinky. Like cooler ranch. Spool. Questionable sex. Uh, so I'm cramming for my finals this week in college. Do you guys have any suggestions of how I can retain the information better? Write it on your person or That's the, why I wear a hat That's all the time cheating. is you can write it, you can put it up Don't here. Don't tell them to that way. You can just hat. look up and, and it looks like you're praying really when you're like That's looking spool. up. That's cheating. Or you might be like sleeping, but you're really just reading the notes. Good tip. Elise. Das Possum, what does it take to woo each of you? Uh, for me, it's anything Muppets related. <laughs> Love the Muppets. Quote the Muppets to me, especially in bed. Uh, for James, it's a condom filled with hand sanitizer. He calls out the balloon knot. You're going to take that and you're going to want to like, maybe turn off the lights, like uh, get some jelly. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Marky Polo asks, outside of gaming, what is your greatest life achievement? Ooh. Uh, I... I got a black belt in Japanese jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Nice. What about your abdominal hernia? Yeah, I'm still working on that. <laughs> okay. It's still growing. 
Yeah, that's my baby. It's my, it's my little intestine baby. <laughs> that's my baby. Cool. <laughs> Did you, didn't you call it your Kawato? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> John. Like Mars. Uh, Road Knight asks, I want to join the Cult of Peak. What is my initiation? Uh, you send $5 into the Funhouse office, and then you get an envelope back with a single piece of Peak's uh, beard hair, <laughs> and you put it under your pillow, and you sleep on that for a month, <coughs> mm-hmm. and, and then you're in the Cult. Oh, that's it. Oh. Do you sleep for a month, or do you just every right. night? For a, a month, month straight. Oh. Next Don't que- wake up. Next question from Gumby's Fungies. Uh, <laughs> Gum, whatever. What was the one Christmas gift you always wanted to the kids, but Santa never brought it to you? Uh, I always wanted the go-kart that Adam crashed into the back of that car, <laughs> and I never got it. <laughs> never because dr- Adam crashed see, into never drove straight after that. I don't know why. <laughs> I really wanted that. Yeah. Never got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeff of Bell, what was your first experience with being harassed uh, over the internet? I joined an online AOL chat room uh, for Lord of the Rings, and I, <laughs> and I misspelled uh, the name of Olorin, and, and some, there was somebody really ripped into it. How'd you spell it instead of the like, actual spelling? Yeah, I think I was like L O L O R E. You fucking nerd. Yep. <laughs> Sucks to be you. And I remember it. Uh, speaking of which, impeccable mithril. If Funhouse replaced Santa's reindeer, what would all your names be? I can't speak for everyone, but I'd be uh, I don't know, Thrasher, Prancer, Whore. I'd just be Whore. whore. <laughs> Professor Whore. It's like what? Planky. I don't like the way you treat it's me in the stable, me. Santa. Yeah. Stinky. Santa's kind of an asshole. Uh, Mr. Banana two one o three. Can each of you tell one thing no one knows about them? I can tell you something no one knows about me. A couple weeks ago, I had to take a bunch of suppositories. Oh no! What Next happened? question. <laughs> Whoa, oh, man, <laughs> Mad Peak. I just got a follow up. Shignet, <laughs> there seems to be some tension between yourselves and Achievement Hunter. Why don't you clear the air and each say something nice about a member go ahead, of A H? Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. Oh, Dev asks, are there any places? <laughs> <laughs> Nice job, Spool. Whoa. Nice job, Spool. We really have question. three minutes, 40 seconds. <laughs> yeah, keep it up. Are there any places around, in and around LA you'd recommend visiting to a person who's interested in taking a trip to the West Coast for future Dude Soup Live? I would say Griffith Park or Griffith Observatory because that's the best place in LA. That's for mm. Getty's the best place in LA. Uh, They're both really good. Elise. I like Little Tokyo. I can make out point. Uh, the Getty. Did someone say that? <laughs> Elise, I read the next question. Oh, let's go to, uh, Wild Hearts Run, what was the last band artist that each of you saw live? Churches, Chiverches at the Keeleys. They were great, but no match for the I was going to say you're super cool, and then you said at the Keeleys, so... <laughs> That's not cool. Lawrence, next question. Uh, Kismet Nemesis. What were some misconceptions you had about each other that have since been cleared up? Mm-hmm. About each other? Lawrence? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I can't think of any. Okay. No, okay. That's all right. Oh, I have one. Oh. oh. I thought for some reason James hated UFC, but he likes it. Oh, yeah. We figured that out yesterday. Wow. Or we did two it, days everybody. ago. Why did we clear that up? John Rising is so less stressed now. <laughs> uh, just a walking carpet. Oh. You're given two... What? Nothing. Go ahead. My question. Shut the fuck up. Sorry. <laughs> You're given two days to commit the perfect crime. Free of repercussions. What do you do? <sighs> That's a tough one. John T-shirt Rising. sale. What do I want to do? Uh, T-shirt heist? Oh, shut up. Um, You're on the inside, man. Yeah, I'd steal all the t-shirts and... <laughs> hey, it's your bury, job to make I'd it I'd bury fun. them. Don't under, you host under, an improv show? You have the t-shirt. Don't you host an improv show? He hosts it. He's not a contestant. Oh, yeah, there's a God. reason he feels like I'm on this himself. fucking show. Shut up! Next question for Purple Beanbag. If you could show the 2005 internet community anything from today, what would you show them? I would show them... Rick Rowling. Yep. Come on, Bruce. I farted. I know you did. A lot. You're going to have to turn that up in the edit. long coming out. Joel, hurry up. Wait, hold on. There we go. Next question, Joel. Come on. Uh, Master Cheese 88. Drugs? Uh, Yeah. I mean. Uh, Sissy Dick the Third. I've watched some of Adam's Photoshop videos on his personal channel. I remember him saying he really enjoys it. So I was wondering if I could get a picture from Adam depicting James and Bruce descending from heavens uh, as angels. It's not a question. True. I mean, it's it's not for this show. Uh, They were wondering if they could get a picture. Say no. (laughs) You could. But no, but not. Oh, it's a great oh we have we have a minute and a half. We have a minute and a half. Really Ice, Ice Barton Man. What are the best and worst Christmas presents you've ever received? The the best Christmas present I ever received in Nintendo 64. The worst Christmas present I ever received was probably like a book or something. Go next, Pete. <laughs> Warhead 2K. Would you guys ever you offer a tour of the office? Probably not. Next question, Spool. Mr. Butterfingers one asks if you could be a mythical creature. What would it be? A Snorlax. Nice. I'd be the thing in Lawrence's ad. Elise, next Turn question. TG1. <laughs> What was the worst Christmas gift that you've ever received? What? Same question. The real TBMS. If you could make up a spell for Harry Potter, what would it be called and what would it do? Uh, it would uh, be called Double Mint, and I'd be 
have two of myself, so that's two extra Patroni. <laughs> you just saw them. <laughs> Lauren. Hockey 1010 writes, who are your favorite world leaders? I like the Black President from the Fifth Element. Nice. He's got a list, but it's kind of funny. John Rice here. <laughs> Crispy Rex, uh, so James, would a Psychonaut Let's Play be a thing that you would consider doing? What? What think this on? actually got Where's removed. That? James is not is not, not up for that. He can't comment on the point. Cosmonaut Koala says, what did you guys think of Star Wars? We haven't seen it yet. Next question. Uh, you guys are president. We've already answered that one. What's the best president we've ever seen? We answered that one. What's the hardest video to edit? I don't edit, so I'm not going to answer that one. <laughs> Quadnip says, if you get wasted with one video game character, who to be and why? I would get wasted with Chin Storm Style, Pandarine Brewmaster from uh, World of Warcraft. Shut up, you what? fucking nerd. Bruce Cola, who's the whitest guy in the office? All of us collectively. <laughs> uh, Shing did one. Each member of Funhouse has become mad science. What are your diabolical plans to get through as many questions as possible. You guys stop! Oh! We did it! I clicked stop. Here we are. Wow. Shit. I knew it was um, alarm and everything? Notice, yeah. notice how we didn't get off. halfway through the page. Nice work, everybody. Yeah, and uh, hey, shout out to Turbid for asking the exact same question. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Turbid got embarrassed with this. Look at him right there. Hi. <laughs> 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 Put one of these over here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Open House. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can't be a boy. Okay, you're a big, big boy. Ooh, give Reset. me a little water. Oh. Reset. Uh, first question. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You okay? You got some water over there? Did Adam get you sick? <laughs> some of the cough medicine. There's cough medicine. Uh, take a not, shot of no, that. No, no, I'm not going to take any of that. Take a shot of that. I don't that. want any of that. It's Read the first question. Relief. Hey, Ugh. look, as every year progresses and you watch us entertain it's you, me. we're getting closer to death. <laughs> First question this week comes from A2180, and now that it is 2016, what are your biggest regrets of 2015, Spool? Mm -hmm. Sleeping through or part of that one thing at RTX. The signing that you oh, were late yeah, for. Oh, yeah, that's late right. To it, and I, forgot, through, I forgot like, you did that. That's a good regret. I have two photos from that event of two sad fans who did not get to meet Sean <laughs> oh, Paul. Oh, no. I remember my, them. My biggest regret is that we spent all that time like not making genuinely good jokes and like playing porno games, you know? And I'm glad that we're starting off on a fresh foot. No what? more porno games. No, this this demo disc has some of the most porn I think any of any other demo disc has ever had. This is open ever. house. Oh, sorry. I meant to say, I wish we had just done always porno from the beginning. Like, I wish we hadn't wasted any time doing not porno. That's like Lawrence mm -hmm. Lawrence's dream. Almost. Well, James, let me tell you, there yeah. was another bundle on sale. And I got another five games for ten bucks. The only bundle you need to buy is this one. Uh, next question from Impacted Apple Six. If Lawrence Turnia was an active member of Funhouse, what would be its job? Well, you're already assuming it's not an active member of Funhouse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have a hiring process, yeah. Yeah. sir or madam. Through, it had to go through that really rigorous process. How do think, we? How would we go about hiring the hernia? You already did. Yeah, what? it's already hired. Lawrence gets extra no. money. Do we all month? have this? It's not like your thing? spouse can just walk in here and get a job. You have to earn it. Well, I, I don't know if you know this, but I have a discretionary budget that I spend on my hernia, paying it to be around. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so it would be gone by now if you didn't. No, I still got budget. It. So it's going to stick around for a while. So, anyways, the hernia <laughs> would edit. Next yeah. question Sean Bear. Uh -huh. Nice name. If you were going to make a laser team scale movie, we are. What would it about, uh -huh. and who would have the starring role, yeah. and how many musical numbers would Joel try to well, fit? He's starring the hernia. Yeah. <laughs> the hernia's first job is to write and direct yeah. the uh, the laser team Does scale movie. Does the hernia have a name? Um, I think a good idea for a movie mm -hmm. would be if <laughs> there was like some sort of alien thing. A hernia. Uh, an alien hernia, hernia comes down. Uh -huh. And it's the only thing that can defend Earth from the alien invasion. A hernia alien. But a group of ne'er-do-wells find different hernia. pieces of the hernia and then they wear the hernia. So like, so like there's a character, his name's Jim Bob, and Adam plays Jim Bob. Okay. Um, and then so Adam finds it and he puts part of the hernia on his hand. Right. And now his hand is a hernia. And then and then there's another character named Derek. He's a surfer dude and he gets he gets a ton of chicks. This movie sucks. It needs okay. musical numbers. Is Joel. It still attached. To Sing a musical more. hernia alien number. Oh hernia. <laughs> Where did you come from? The stars, perhaps, but we don't know. You gave me so many powers. My powers will grow with you. Hernia! Hernia. <laughs> and what do we call this movie? Hernia Team. Laser, laser Team, laser team two. 2. Oh. <laughs> Oh, nice question, Joel. What I've never... celebrity of the opposite? Oh, just walking a. God, it's been so long. Just walking a carpet. No, nope, Joe. No, nope, read it again. Just it's only been walking a week. carpet. Nope, just a walking carpet. There you go. 
Got just it. a walking carpet. Like what, like a Chewbacca. Go ahead. <laughs> what celebrity of the opposite gender are you most secretly attracted secretly to? Secretly most attracted to. Stop adding corrected. words and moving Everybody words around. Everybody corrected you all at once. Yeah. Hey, guys. In the last week, Joel has uh, got <laughs> dyslexia. I think Adam gave it to him. <laughs> I feel great. And I'm fine. <laughs> it's catching. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll start with Spool. Spool. Uh, Kate Beckinsale. That's not the opposite yes, it gender. It's his That's opposite the opposite gender. gender. Wait, it's his opposite gender. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what is going on? We're just, then we're just asking, what the fuck? The opposite gender would be a woman. Yeah, for Spool, me. you're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a phrase we hear very often in the Funhouse office. Which is funny. Which is Ring funny. the big bells! <laughs> you made, right. I, will bong, say, bong, 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 bong. I will say I totally question that for like, too, way too long. That's a no, dumb question. Right. My joke was going to be Billy Zane. Yeah, because that's not your <laughs> opposite. Yeah, because I was, I, was I was going to say that like he's he's more of a man than I'll ever be. Thus, he's the. Opposite. But I don't. I can't now because. Elise. Uh, I mean, I guess it used to be Conan O'Brien. Okay. But uh, not as much. Any, I and mean, that wasn't that secret. I kind of like Patrick Wilson because of Fargo. Ooh, Patrick Wilson. <laughs> Ooh, la di da. You stay away from oh, him. Oh, look at Stay away from Patrick. him. Lawrence. Oh, what about that lady who hosted Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? She seemed like she had power. Uh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> the, the black woman? Name? Yeah. Does she have a name? The chief? Who cares? The chief. Yeah, the chief. Ooh. Yeah. I'm attracted to that girl from Lazy Town. <laughs> oh. She's got to be a uh, legal. She's not a girl anymore. Now. She's legal now, though. She's right? uh, like Stephanie now. something or I, I, Bruce, you know what? I'm going to commend you for that one. Because <laughs> you didn't know if she was legal. So, you know she's what? legal. Over under? She's probably yeah, over on. Also, in Iceland, she's you can bang when you're 16. No, she's really? Um, um, no, no, is is she's 24. No. Yes! I've done it. Yeah, look but look at her updated photo. It's not great. Uh -oh. Juliana Rose. So, this never works. Just so you know, this never works. No. We do things on our computer because we're not capturing the computer, yeah. so you can't see what we're doing. So oh, this she's never super works. cute. You just go to our Google search. That's, Come on, dogs. That's, that's no, so see, Bruce, I think what you liked about her was she has the pink a workout, wig and the fact she that she was underage. Pictures. Oh, no. <laughs> that's Damn young, it, Adam. That's, yeah. that's not what I liked about her. Uh, Patrick Wilson couldn't get it up in Watchmen. Matt Peake. Too many. Too many to choose. Too many. Too Good many. answer. He's Jeez. fighting him off with a oh, stick. Oh, and a stick solid a answer. Heavy is the head 24. Yeah. We all know about the Spool Boys and the Cult of Peak, but what are the other Funhouse members' followings called? Oh, the Bruce Bums. Uh, mm. Bruce Bums? Yeah, the homeless people Bruce follow Bums. me around all like day. Like they it. love me. And they also put on their pants, so it's like a double entendre. Oh, yeah, they, they, talk, they talk about their bums. Yeah, they're, ah, uh, my bum. Uh, my Bruce Bum. The um, Adam Acolytes? No one calls me Adam. They call me Kovic. So. That's true. The, uh, the Kovic's Rose clan? Kovic's clan! <laughs> oh, no. It's the KK! We <laughs> only need one more. Kovic's cool clan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, come all. Oh, my. Dress warm. Oh, <laughs> oh, boy. Lawrence. Oh, I don't know. I don't want I don't want a following. That's you weird. You have a following. What, what, oh. what are your Larry's followers Lemmings. on Twitch call themselves? Lawrence Lemmings. I love that. Okay, that'll work. They I'll follow you to death. death. Yeah. Uh, mine would be the 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 Mach Joel man man <laughs> Mach Joel man. Oh, you blew it! You ruined your. These own. puns are the worst. Joel can't even speak. The funny Mach thing is, you Joel can see man? you can see where Joel is like trying to read it in his mind, but he can't even get. He sees dyslexic, so he can't get the word out of his brain. He stares at the webcam. Uh, I'll tell you, James. James, what are you? Mine's simple. They're just called the Jimmies. Oh, okay. Hmm. You know, that means, little, uh, that means like condoms. Sprinkles. Yeah, they're they wear little condoms over yeah, their the Jimmy hats. And they wear Jimmy hats, yeah. Hand, hand out like Jimmy hats to people. Yeah, can, I, can I lodge a, a formal complaint yeah. against this uh -huh. open house episode? Sure. We usually record open house significantly earlier in the day when either I'm fresh from a nice night's rest yeah, but you've had or the coffee. I've just had my coffee. And I I don't know. I'm <laughs> the just not, Joel man. I'm not bringing my A game to this <laughs> open house. You know Wait, is it the Moss Joel man? We're calling the Joel Jews. At least read the next question. I want only Jews to be my fans. <laughs> and Comrade Bulkagov, uh -huh. what games are you guys most intrigued by this year? Intrigued? Huh. I know Matt Peake's excited for The Division, right? Yep. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I called it. I told him back with a fence. Uh, Overwatch. I said it first. Should we give them the Game of the Year award statue now? Spool, I have so little to look forward to, and you're going to play every piece of shit I said it that comes out this year. <laughs> you can't just take give it, me said Overwatch. It. I said it. <laughs> yeah. No, I said it. Let's just uh, rewind, you're not and then when them? Spool opens his mouth to say Overwatch, we'll make it say uh, that other game you that you hate. son of a No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. I'm going to keep saying it, Overwatch. I said Here, Overwatch. I'll, I'll say Overwatch. it in Spool's you, voice, you, you, and then you can just use this to dub over. No Man's Sky. He's he's talking over you. Overwatch. No Man's Sky. Overwatch. No Man's Sky. <laughs> <laughs> they got you. No. Uh, no Man's Sky. I said it first. I guess Lawrence has to read the last question. <laughs> no, All right. Peak. Peak has, oh. has to read did, the last question. Did Lawrence question. read one though? Yeah, absolutely he did. 
No, I, don't I didn't. Think you did. No, Lawrence did not. There's only seven questions. It doesn't matter. Peek has to read the last question. <laughs> no, I don't. Please. Uh, do this. <laughs> he hey, already wait. read it. Lawrence and Peek. Lawrence and Peek. Do this. What? Read every other word. Jizz. Fairy. Y'all. Ever. Had. A. Damn it. Cummy. <laughs> Belly button. Before. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. We got all the good ones. He's like, God damn it. Um, when a man loves a woman, but he, he's not allowed to go inside her, he sometimes that's on, on his own belly what? No, what? Huh? What are we talking about? You just sit at the base of the bed and jack off staring at her, and then you aim it at your stomach so you don't have to clean it up. You just kind of like walk no, hunched over to the doing? bathroom to Why wipe that? it all off. Everyone here is assuming that there's a second partner involved in a cummy belly oh. button. <laughs> there's well, no. All you have to do, like all you someone have to do that's is never had a cummy belly button before. Masturbate. And then fire it straight into the air, and then you try and get it to arc back and land in your belly. It's oh. the original ball and cup. <laughs> That's impossible. That's impossible? <laughs> I, I dare impossible. you to try. Oh, wait, James. Yeah. Bit of a problem. Yeah. How do you readjust yourself while you're in the reverie of orgasm? What do you mean? Reverie. I mean, when you so you do your first splurt, but you're still gonna be coming for a while, yeah. and you're gonna be rolling on that feeling. So, how do you track it? Like, I'm gonna need about an hour. <laughs> and scoot around. And, <laughs> How much gravity will pull come back to the earth before you're finished orgasming is what I'm saying. It's hey, you it's not supposed that? to be easy. It's like bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're saying that if you can ejaculate into the air and catch it in your belly button, you're good enough to play bloodborne? And that's yeah. the end of open house. Only it's sperm. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Game trail. Just lie on your back. I'm clicking stop. Uh, and then you, you were looking at your stuff which was behind. See when I go. <laughs> see? Ha! And then it's there. See, but I'm doing it faster, so I go like I go. Ha! And then it's there, but you see it there because you're looking at the playback. What are you talking about? No, it's just, there's, there's a delay. delay on the see, go, you see, you go. Ha! See, but my fist is already back when right. I do it. So ha! Like that. Uh -huh. so, ha! Yeah, right. Like that, and you don't see it, so you're looking at the delay. Adam, you better start the show. Right, you're gonna do this. Chris, for Now, right, your first question this week on the Open House Show, uh, Adam Alpha42, who in the Funhouse office changes the most when they are off camera? Changes the most. Well, Matt, when you see, when Matt Peak, when he's not on camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh boy, what a party animal. <laughs> Look what a party out. animal. He's got this backwards hat that he always wears. I don't know if uh, people know, but uh, Matt Peak and I actually moved in together a few months ago. He's now my roommate. Yeah. And the dude is constantly wasted. All the time? All party the peak? time. Party peak. <laughs> Wow. I come home and he's naked, shouting at me with a bottle of Jack. He's got an air horn in one hand, a bottle wait, of wait, Jack wait, wait. in the other. Crazy! Are you, are you naked if you have a backwards hat on? Wait, are you, having, count? are you having flashbacks of when you lived with Lawrence? Yeah. Oh, that's right, that was Lawrence. <laughs> oh, Lawrence is party peak. That's I right, that was Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Joel is Joel 100% of the time. <laughs> Joel, Joel gets a little bit more business-minded when the cameras are off. That's true. Like, mm -hmm. he, he tells us, don't make that face. Don't wear that dress makes you look fat. Uh, don't speak. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, like look at any of the guys. Like that's got, enough, Elise. Elise, that, that's enough. enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. You gotta, you gotta listen to Joel. Wait, you gotta wait for the camera to turn off. There's a glimpse. <laughs> but serious answer, it's Bruce because generally he goes to the gym after work, so he changes his clothes. Uh, uh, next question from Muppet Jones seventy three. Elise, I have heard you were Spool's work husband. Where did the honeymoon take You're place? My work husband. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we actually uh, took a really nice trip to Canada to uh, visit his girlfriend. Oh, oh that, that sounds really nice. nice. That, sounds really that, nice. that was kind of interesting. Uh, How so, Spool? How was it interesting? <laughs> you you never really know the test of your marriage until you go visit your spouse's girlfriend. Mm, <laughs> I thought you were yeah. going to say until you have a three-way. I was going to say, is it, oh. was it a threesome, a foursome, maybe a five-some? A moresome. Look at moresome. <laughs> I am deleted now. Fun fact about Canada is that when one couple has sex, everyone else has sex. There's like a siren. You know that scene in Silent Hill, the Silent Hill movie? Mm -hmm. When the siren goes yeah. off? That, that's to let everyone in Canada know it's time to have sex. I always had a... They, they just drop what they're doing and have, like if they're in the street, <laughs> if they're driving a cab. Yeah, but I mean... They're skydiving. The thing is, you're thinking from the American perspective, the Canadian perspective is, I'm going to make sure that I'm not out shopping when the alarm's going to set. Oh, so it's regular every day. It's, it's, it's pretty regular. Every they day. know when it's coming. You have to have sex I, every day? I know, I know gross. kill me. Ugh, that's really disgusting. I, thought, I always thought all Canadians were like connected to one consciousness and was like a hive mind, kind of, because they're all nice and like all of the same mindset. We're Americans, they're all different. We always want Nutella. Shang, Shang Gia Bandits. Uh huh. What would the anti fun house be? Achievement Hunter. Yeah, that's no, easy. Pretty easy. Yeah, hmm. no, that's really. Andrew Oss um, wants to know if each of you had to spend eternity as a common household object, i.e., coin, window, desk, etc., uh, what would each of you be? Spool? Uh, Spool, you'd be a PC. Let's. 
Oh, that'd be cool. That's not a yeah, common a household item. I was actually going to say a computer. I was going to say a yeah. laptop. Like a, but laptop, not laptop, but not a, like a, a tablet computer. you get touched all the time. You're supposed to let Spool answer uh, because sorry, he's Spool. supposed to be No, funny. no, we're giving him more time to It was going to be hilarious it. because then he wasn't going to be able to think of anything, but now he's got something. Yeah, go ahead, Spool. Can't be a PC. No, I love <laughs> A television? Nailed it. Elise. Uh, I would be the little plastic scoop that James scoops his protein with. Because he'd, he'd pay attention to me every day <laughs> and touch me, Aww. and uh, I get I get my nutrients yeah, too. Yeah, you get nutrients. I would be if I were I would I would be uh, a corkscrew. Because then I, I'd always be oh, so no. close, just so close. But you'd never be able to touch the wine. I know. I'm like Sisyphus the corkscrew. Like, always a corkscrew, never a corkscrew. Twisted as yeah. usual. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like a ceiling fan is where you want to be. Why? Why is that? It's, it's high up. You got the action. You get to spin around. It's they get fun. dirty. When though. you get right, household, the common can... household object, uh -huh. you say. Hmm. Well, the most common household object I can think of is a wife. So I would be a wife. These uh, sexist jokes really like we got to calm calm down. We've got a lot of complaints recently Who's from wife? Elise mainly. Whose wife? Not enough sexist Elise. jokes. Elise, Elise, <laughs> cut out the complaints. Whose wife? I've got the best answer. Okay. A dildo. That's not a common household object. It is absolutely a common no, household common. object. It's naive house to sin. Every naive. woman has true. a dildo. That's not true. Every single woman. Prove it. They like All right, it? here I go. <laughs> does, does the DMV just hand them like out? Three days later. <laughs> there you go, your dildo. I've got them. They get to sell training dildos for like, you know, they have training bras Chris for least, girls. Chris, 9376 asks, if you could create an Overwatch character, what would they be called and what will be their ability? Oh, geez. Here we go. It's here at Spool. You're a game designer. I No, I asked the question. I don't go first. That's always how it goes. That's I didn't, how it I didn't is, go that yeah. the last time. Rewind to every other question today. The one we just for, did, I had to well, go you're, first. <laughs> These are the rules of open house. You're allowed to throw it to someone, but you have to uh, say the name in the first uh, five seconds. I you would never make do that. him a rock and roll guitar player, yeah. and he kills people with music. That's a good answer, there's already, actually. Isn't there already a... Yeah, huh? there's, there's one of those. Oh. <laughs> no, he's just no, he's describing the video. Elise? There's a rock guy. Um, well, wait, hold on. What was his name? Lucia. You oh, fucking, the rock you're just a character from Overwatch. <laughs> Elise. I thought you were asking about that. Uh, mine would be a painter named Bomb Ross, and she would just like, like paint over all her opponents, uh, opponents shoot them with a, a paint gun. That's really like good. Like Splatoon? Uh, 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 Joel, next. <laughs> um, I would I would have mine be a local sports hero. Um, and his that's, his that's his name, local sports hero. Yeah, his name is local sports hero, <laughs> right, yeah. and he wears a, uh, a jersey. Okay, it says hero on it. Uh huh. Um, except it's called H I R O. Oh, and like he, heroes. And he throws around, and he and he, he runs around like on uh, in his track shoes. Okay. But he also throws balls at the opposing team. I like he that throws. Uh, yeah, there was an episode of the GI Joe cartoon where uh, they were worried that the Viper was coming. Ooh. That's and ended up just being a window washer who was a wiper, <laughs> and he had an accent. I know that. Kids are fucking that idiots, was a real man. Yeah. Hands down, the worst episode of G.I. Joe ever made. I'd put him in the game. Nice, <laughs> James. Um, I would go unorthodox, because I think there's potential here to play around with the gameplay. Um, <laughs> you'd be a little kid, but he's a child genius, right? <gasps> like Doogie Hauser. Like he Dexter. Has, he has a robot that he controls. Wait, now, the like, robot has a ton like of Mika armor. Like Mika Robinson's. Has a ton of armor, but the kid, right? You have to basically hide in a corner and then get on your tablet. Like Baymax. Oh. So you basically hide somewhere, press a button, it goes into his tablet, and then you can move the robot, like which actually does damage and has weapons and like stuff. Like okay. But if you find the kid, Lava Boy. then you like murder, Agent Cody Banks. murder the child. Like Agent my character would be named Shattercock. It'd be a naked woman. You already, you already <laughs> hold on a minute. Hold I wasn't on, I want done. to change my answer. I know. I also want to make it as her weapon. My character would be a woman named Shattercock, but it also has a penis, so it's like a, a shim, um, shim. and uh, it shoots loads. She's she's a character called Siren, and her abilities <laughs> are basically she's able to coax men into having sex with her. Let's, I, I like let's, Shattercock let's better. A game, but what if you're a female porn character? We what? Just, we just did. Basically. Oh, right. Yeah. Buggy002 points wants to know. <laughs> it's not his name, he I just know. has two points. <laughs> you. Guys. Gonna. Put. The. Shrimp. On. The. Barbie. Fatty. I don't know what that means. I feel like Elise read ahead. We're going to Australia, <laughs> so I don't know. Does that mean what do we do there? It's just grilled shrimp, isn't it? Right. I, that's just a that's just like a stick, right? It's a shrimp kebab, I think. Yeah. Well, what's the big deal about I think, that? I think I think the plan is when we get there, we rent a car, we hit a kangaroo, then we eat that. That's a good idea. I don't want to eat a kangaroo. I'd like to eat the kangaroo. Guys, I don't think we should talk about this anymore because Joel's getting upset. He's not the one. Joel already lost his virginity Joel. in Australia. He's That's got true. Everything. He has been once, and Joel, I've never been. been. Take solace, Joel, in knowing that the best export that Australia has 
is a shrimp kebab. I've never been to North Carolina. Carolina. What? Do they export them though? No, I guess they can't even export them. <laughs> Australia is a prison colony. Uh, all right. You got to go when you were 19 lost your virginity. I was 20. 20. Do you think we'll lose our virginity on this Australia trip? <laughs> Woo! Party, 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 yeah. party. Yeah. Are you going to have a, a bet? You're going to make a bet about who's going to lose their virginity oh, last? Oh, and then yeah. we're going to have a, a ski-off we'll at the end. We're we'll, going to go down the mountain and win. We'll call it Australian pie. Spool, intro the show. Uh, welcome back to Open House. This is... Next week's open house that we're recording. Do your now. dance. Do the dance. Do the thing that you always do for every episode. Yeah, you cool. always do the open house dance. There you go. go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Now lick your lips a little bit. Lick your lips. I got an inflatable tube. Uh huh. Man. Touch Lawrence. Just touch him once. I just licked my hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. First question this week comes from <laughs> Avatar Bones. We'll stop laughing. What fetishes do you think the people of Achievement Hunter have? Is that what AH stands for? I don't know, that might be a fetish. Not, not oh, the, this whole time I thought it meant auction house. I thought that people of Ah was like a nation or something. The nation we, of Ah. Does it count as a fetish to um, have massive gay orgies every night? Ooh. It's not a fetish. It's not a fetish. That's, that's just normal. A, that's a thing. Also, what's the name of it if, okay, so dudes also, have a butt and a dick, right? Yeah. Sure. And you got At one least. in there, and then there's one poking out the other side, and then you just pop, and then pop. Like a train? The problem is you can't really, like, insert because you're all linked together, but you just sort of, like, hopple around the room while it plays chicken dance. What's the mm. name of that? Uh. Na, 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 na. I think. Th this was. I think that Gavin, as a British man, has American just, fetishes. Oh, like what? So like anything that has to, I think he involves bald eagles in his sex play. Oh, oh. like he's just stick a bald, bald eagle up your butt? Well, like, like you know how some people, like, like, like animals in their sex play. His animal is bald eagles. I think that it's like a furry. he, Expensive. he wears- but a feathery? What? Instead of a furry, he's a feathery. No, he's an American-y. It's, but, it's not all birds, it's just a bald eagle because it's America. So mm. this was originally okay. put in as a moment for us to rip on Achievement Hunter because of the whole rivalry thing going on. Right, that's what I'm doing. We're just showing how bad we are at coming up with jokes. That's what I'm... We let uh, you down, America. But we're still better you than burped. them. You burped, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk over you. We're still better than them. That was them a good time, Burp. Sorry, Spool, what were you saying? I said we're still better than them at telling jokes. Boom, got him. Boom. Boom! I was trying to, but nobody wanted... <laughs> no one was oh, they got roasted! Oh, well, this is the boom zone. Fuck we're you guys, yeah. Welcome to the, the boom, boom crew. Zone. Oh, with the demolitionists over here. Lauren, take the next question. Move to the countryside. Partial error writes, with James nailing his recent audition for Psycho Nauchitz. <laughs> Nauchitz. <laughs> Are there any games that you guys would like to audition to be a part of? I, I I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Lawrence, what do you want to be a part of? Uh, Dance Central. I want to be all the dancers. Oh. It's not okay. really a voice. I want to be in Civ Five. I want to be... Gandhi. I want to be one of the world leaders. I want to do uh, a voice pack for um, Overwatch. So, like, oh, whenever you hear, like, uh, the announcer, uh -huh. there's no announcer, is there? There is. There there's is. the lady there's that the counts in and stuff. Yeah, right? she's, yeah. Like, she's like, move the cart. No, that, that's your character <laughs> speaking. So, I'll do, uh, I'll do like, a voice pack. I'll do, do a voice pack for, for Widowmaker then, is what I want to do. Okay. Yeah, the Joel Rubin Widowmaker voice pack. Peek, what video game do you yeah. want to be in? Um, I don't know. Halo 6. Why you and me, buddy, Spartan together. Peak. I think we, you, Matt, you and I, we can share the VO booth. But what do you want to be? We can anything be ODSCs, we we'll be Spartans, we we'll oh. grunts. I don't yeah. give a fuck. I'll be anything you want me to be. We be Reds versus Indeed. Blues. Sure, we'll be Red versus Blues. Now we're <laughs> announcing it here today. We might be in Red versus Blue. Wait, wait are we, we can announce that. I don't know. Just cut out the episode if we can't. Apparently, if you tweet <laughs> enough, they'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just James it. Gray Full Buster wants to know. What do you guys hate most about these questions? I.e., Adam hates it when people give examples of answers. Like that. That's perfect. <laughs> I hate answering the questions the most, it's especially hard. when nobody else is here. It's hard. It's hard. Uh, are, are, are they talking about questions we actually pick or questions that we don't pick? Either too? or. Because there's matter. a lot of, like, how big are your dick questions, like, every week of, like, we're not going to answer that. Mm. And if we are, it's not going to be a serious answer. Don't Lawrence, what do you hate about the questions? I hate I hate the self-implied pressure to be funny. I think sometimes we can be genuine and actually share something about ourselves. Penis cunt cock. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good save. Uh, Got it. Yeah. Peak like that. Um, also, to clarify, I don't hate when people give examples. That's not too big. My problem is when you ask a question just so you can answer it yourself. It's like that yeah. asshole oh. friend who's like. only waiting for you to stop talking so that they can mm -hmm. go. Stop yeah. it. 
Well, anyway, what I was saying about what I hate about the questions a lot is the fact that they're hard to answer. Once again, Joel makes it about himself. Oh, you did the thing! I made a joke! Joke! I made a joke! Joke! Ah, oh, boom, boom, boom! Whoa. Some people think we write the show. Obviously not. <laughs> Peek, what do you hate? Being put on the spot and not being able to think of right. think of something yeah. good. <laughs> but that you had an answer for that. Uh, well, that one I did okay at. But uh, next question, Spool. Uh, 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 McBirdie asks Peek, "What's the purpose of life?" See, perfect example of the last question. <laughs> Great follow-up question. Uh, Peek, a question for you. Yeah. What you got to say, Peek? That's beyond me. I think it's a great question to ask, but. That uh, will come down a lot to your own point of view, and ultimately, though, who knows? I would say be kind to others, refresh them if you can, if you have abundance, and, uh, no, you no, know, no. purpose of life enjoy is what you have while you're here. You're going to have to stop that from happening. Purpose yeah, of life is it. to really survive don't. and reproduce. That's the only purpose of life. No, it's not. So, Spool, if you, you don't have kids, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about life in general, not human lives. Drinking hot babes, fucking bottles of wine, doing cool things. <laughs> roller coasters aren't regenerative at all, and we do them. That's you your question, cocaine and blow. Any uh, con, yeah. Anakin. My boyfriend just dumped me, and I was wondering, what would be your advice for fixing a broken heart? Peek. I'm not one to talk about relationships at all. Uh, time, though. Give it time. That's the only thing I can say. Really good. I would say, uh, Peek is absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Um... And don't be afraid of being sad. Let it take you if it needs to. Um, have your waves, don't fight them. Embrace embrace the hurt, even though you know it's going to hurt. And then just wait, distract yourself is the other thing. You basically have to buy yourself time until it doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah. So hang out with friends, go out and see a movie. It's gonna suck for a while and you'll feel like everything good is now broken because you can't have fun with it anymore, but it'll slowly change and you just have to have faith in that. <laughs> That's a classic Lawrence comedy answer. Drink a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> That's what I did. Joel, what's your advice? It's hilarious. Joel, what's your advice? Drinking. Hmm. And that's, I mean, like, that's that's the last time I went through a bad breakup. I drank a lot for, like, a year and a half. Um, You're still drinking. But that's more recreational than therapeutic. Yeah, that won't really fix it. Are you, uh, is Annie Khan, um over the age of... 21 in the United States of America <laughs> or 18. Well, I just want to make sure. You gotta stop. Dr. I want to make sure that line. I want to make sure that the <laughs> advice that I'm giving. Right I, I want to make sure the advice I'm giving is legal advice. That's all. Yeah. What if it they should? No. Do. No advice we give in the show is legal. Bar in any way. Please don't take <laughs> us to court. Please. <laughs> Go play mini golf. Archer boy 14. One second. I know. Well, no, peak is the last question. Oh right. Yeah, peak is. Hey, last question. Read that. I just read that one. Yeah, but you get the last one. All right. Whatever. Archer boy 14. James. How far do you go down when you squat? Yeah, James. Well, I'd say he goes down under. Like a land? Down under? Yeah. Is he going, like, n like way down now because he's in Australia? Is he going, like, the No, he's opposite? going up. Like, he's he's going up. He squats up now because he's on the other side of the world. Adam, you want us to try to turn you upside down and do an Australian squat? Let's do it. All right. <laughs> so I can kind of handstand, so maybe you just grab my legs. Okay, that'll work, yeah. Uh, hold on, I just uh, want to see this. So I'm gonna handstand into you. This isn't good. Uh, I need some free to squat on. Watch them get hurt squat right before they have to go to Australia. Yeah, It'll be perfect. Then they can't oh, go to Australia because they're injured. But you're gonna, your hands are gonna be on the floor. Wait, okay. Wait, what am I you can grab my legs. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. What am I holding? Ha. Ha. All right. All right. All right. So you're gonna squat on this box. Ha. Joel, uh, right. angle the camera. Up. Joel, angle it. <laughs> All right. Joel, you fuck. Here we go, squat time, right? Doing this Let's do a rep. Let's go down. And back up. And up. Ah. Yeah! Joel! Good squat! Fuck you! You got it! Ah. One, two, three. Wowie wow wow. It's been Holy Bruce. shit. Bruce and Adam have been the problems the whole time. Bruce yeah. and Adam have been dragging us down into the dirt. It's a good that thing time, we, so. we we packed them up, we shipped them off, we said, you guys are going to Fiji. We don't want <laughs> to see your again. ass ever again. You're gonna be there with your best friends. Yeah. You're gonna be there in the sun and having fun. Yeah. And we don't need you here at the office. Wait, good we're, luck. We're not their best friends? No, absolutely not. Fuck oh. those guys. Fiji's their best friend now. That's my Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh God, man. Daddy's gonna hit you so hard. When he gets First party. question. Please don't put that in. It's in. 
<laughs> Caliber Jacob, it seems like Joel might be better suited to a job where he got to work on slash perform in plays slash musicals. No shit. That's that's giving like options over. Yeah. Uh, is there another job the members of Funhouse secretly wish they had instead? Yes. Uh, I want to be the guy who's in the van. When uh, the entire team rushes in to like attack a megacorp, I'm the one in the van hacking shit, opening doors, uh, and like giving them intel about things. Are and you? Then my van gets attacked. Are you and able? Then I get to show that I'm serious too. Are you able to do that, Lawrence? Well, yeah. Do sure. you have the skills that make you capable? You of saw my gloves, Joel. He's got the gloves. Uh, I know for a fact Lawrence sold his van though. Yeah, you gave up the opportunity no. to be a van guy. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not a sex van, a tactical van, a tack van. It's a different van. Does the hacker provide his own van to hack in? That's no. a good question. The hacker brings his own equipment. He goes into the van, complains about all the equipment, and says, I need at least a T47X dual processor to hack the, the double firewall. Uh, maybe Lawrence this, is good for this. Some bullshit, job. and then he like throws out some circuit boards or something. That might be That's totally me. made up, but it sounds so good. I want to own a van rental company. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be mine. I was going to give Lawrence the van. I think you guys should be married or something. Ooh. Elise. Will uh, you marry me? No, because I'm going to be off writing for the Muppets. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, that's for you. That's for oh. me. That's hey, Elise, eventually you can use your Muppet connections, my Broadway connections, to, so we can do a Broadway Muppet show together again. <laughs> Peek, what do you want to do? I don't know. There's a lot that of stuff that I think I would like to do, but my brother got up, brought up a good point when I was talking to him about this over break, is that you probably think it's a good idea, but then doing it full time, you'd probably hate it. Mm. Well, well, what is it? Oh, I don't know. I'd love to grow my own food and like learn how to farm and shit like that. That'd be oh, cool. It's very noble. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna um, build a tiny house and sell vans out of it. Build houses. That'd be cool. What do you want to I, do? I want to be a traveler and just travel around. It's true. I thought it was that. It was a tie between that or a sleepist, a person who just stays <laughs> at home and sleeps on mattresses and tests mattresses. That's a job. There's someone's got to yeah. test the mattresses. Next Pil question. Pillow Pet Queen wants to know, if you guys were yoga teachers, what new poses would you create and teach your students? Hmm. Lawrence? Spool would do the bed tester. Mine would be the one where uh, you, it's it's kind of elaborate. You need you need a series of hooks, pulleys, levers, and uh, a wide mesh. But essentially you suspend this uh, mesh from the ceiling and then you crawl into it and you let gravity stretch you out while you fall asleep or something. I don't know, it's a hammock. Oh, that's cool. Uh, mine would be the geisha, and it would be pouring <laughs> it would be pouring tea and exposing just a hint of wrist Ooh. to appeal and appease your male patron. Nice. Uh, mine would be called the horror crux, and uh, it's be where you pull your nose as far back <laughs> up into your face as you possibly can, and then you, you just basically like walk around like this. <laughs> uh, Peek, do you have a yoga? Uh, sure. Warrior 4, because I'm tired of Warrior 1, 2, and 3. Boom! Yoga joke. Nice. <laughs> uh, work 2K. Word 2K. Getting there. If Elise was appointed the new Snow White, and her first act was to replace the dwarves with the rest of the Funhouse crew, what would each of your dwarf names be? Well, first of all, Joel would be Snow White. That's a good answer. That's a good point. <laughs> Joel is more of a Snow White than Elise. So, Joel, I guess you can start by picking someone. All right. Uh, Lawrence would be Boozy. I thought it'd be Boozy. Burpee. Nope, you're, you're Boozy. Bruce would be, I don't know, Gas Cloud. Uh, <laughs> Everyone's favorite dwarf class, Gas Cloud. Uh, Elise would be... Uh, She's Snow White. This is already part no, of the Snow no. White. No, Elise would, no but her, she'd be a dwarf named Snow White. Oh, oh, okay. I would probably be, like, Needy. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought Elise was going to be a Bordy. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> If you get if you get ten on the punch card, one's free. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Planned Parenthood. <laughs> James would be Buffy. Buffy. Oh, that's a good okay. one. That's yeah. pretty good. I, I like this Sean. as a group exercise more than just me. Yeah, that's better. Know. Just ask for help. All yeah. you have to do is ask for help. <laughs> no, I don't know. It display, it's a display of weakness when you ask for help, isn't it? No. Uh, uh, Bravo One Charlie writes: What kind of outfits would you wear if each of you were in a beauty pageant? Um, I personally would wear nothing at all, because I think oh. true beauty is what God created, and also I enjoy terrifying everyone with all of my probiscuses. <laughs> you have more than one? <laughs> probiscus? Probiscus. Couple, yeah. Probiscus. <laughs> I mean, Morris, that's why I wear baggy clothing. Isn't it probiscus? Do you think that they would, it's tabuscus. Would they no. dock points for the hernia or give extra points? I think they it? would celebrate my bravery. Yeah, I'm pushing things forward for, for chubby white dudes. You're welcome. 
I think, Thank kind you. of like Lawrence, I would just, it's a waste of time to have all the different outfits mm -hmm. when only people are concerned about the bathing suit competition. So I would just have a evening gown that looked like a bathing suit, a bathing suit that looked like a bathing suit, and then oh. a whatever patriotic from whatever country I'm from bathing suit. Similarly, I would want to do it all in once, but I would have tearaway costumes. So the evening uh -huh. gown would tear away to a sensible business suit, which would mm. then you would tear away into, um, I don't know, a cocktail dress, which mm -hmm. would tear away into uh, a sweet one piece, and the one piece would tear away into a bikini, and the bikini would tear away into... A smaller. naked body of Lawrence with yeah, proboscises. <laughs> second evening gown. Oh, a second evening gown. <laughs> Underneath your bikini. Wow. I was just going to wear a wrestling singlet, and that's it. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Actually, I could see that. <laughs> Elise? Uh, I would have a giant pumpkin suit where then it's carved out like a jack-o'-lantern so you can see my vagina and my breasts. <laughs> Una unasked for. Uh, many points are docked. We should so brave. We should cut so that. So brave. <laughs> so brave. Put things forward. Whichever you, you want so to much do. time. Peak. I know. Peak. I just looked at uh, what was around flannel. me. Sexy flannel. Ooh, Sexy flannel yeah. for peak. Nice. That's Irish pork. You all gain superpowers based on your deepest insecurities. What are your powers and what is your superhero name? Mm. Well, you'd, be the, you'd be the strongest out of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> She'd just be called One insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> it's inverted, so the thing that you're insecure about becomes what you're strong on, but that's it's still the name of it. So you're like a superhero that's so powerful you don't even know the depth of your own power. Uh, mine would be body fat percentage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mine would be reliance on Jewish jokes. Mine would also be reliance on Jewish jokes. <laughs> you guys make a great pair. We're the Wonder Twins. <laughs> Go, Matt. You almost started talking about anyone then, telling uh, you every to. Every time, it's always bad timing. And then you get interrupted. Could, bad timing Why, those could be guys. mine. No, I was going to say, mine would be actually pretty good, because it would be second guessing. So I'd never second guess myself, and I'd make everyone else second guess themselves. Oh, oh wow. I really like it when Pete gets excited about answering. Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Or is it a bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> My, mine would be uh, sh social anxiety. And then uh, I just make everyone else confident around me. Wait, I make myself confident, and that makes other people confident you, around me. The rules, yeah. <laughs> the rules are unclear. warrior. Yeah, the rules are unclear. Irish pork. This was a poorly worded question. Yeah, rephrase your question. <laughs> Resubmit it. Ask it again for the next time, and then we'll figure it out. Thank you. I really like the concept, though. Good concept. Racanals. Uh... Uh, damn it. Nailed uh, it. Yep. <laughs> the school is accusing me of cheating because of one teacher's statement. What do I do? By the way, they kicked me out of the basketball team and gave me a zero on the exam. What? That's a real world problem. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah. Well, what did the teacher did say? Wait, wait, did you cheat? Yeah, yeah he didn't did say, you cheat? He didn't say he didn't cheat. He's like, how do I get out of this? Did you do it? And then if you didn't and you want to fight it, I don't know, talk to your I've parents. Got I've got it. All right, Joel. All right, so what you got to do yeah. that sucks though is you got to get the teacher pregnant because then you are for like you're Wait. forcing yourself into her life. What if it's and the it's same incumbent sex? upon her that you succeed in your studies so that you can support your child, your unborn child, through the pregnancy of your teacher? Because she doesn't want to have to tell the baby that her dad couldn't even graduate but, school and got kicked off the basketball team. They don't declare any genders in this. Doesn't matter. You can still what go if it's your pregnant. Two boys or yeah, I mean, you just could, uh, if you don't have a penis with semen in it, just get like a chicken baster. Yep. Uh, it's basically my, the same thing. Okay. My serious answer is that I think you should talk to your parents, like Peek said, or approach other teachers that you have a camaraderie with and ask them to, uh, you know, test attest to your uh, non cheatingness as a person. Mm -hmm. if, uh, <laughs> A joke answer though, slam dunk competition. Uh, show them why Challenge. you didn't cheat on that test Duel. and why you should be on the basketball team. That's, that's a good answer. Well, you go back to the classroom, kick in the door mm -hmm. in the middle of the class and go, double or nothing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then you go in a series Dribble of different enough. competitions like slam dunk and then and then you compete with that teacher. An academic the biathlon. Title. There's part of the academic biathlon is that you, you answer trivia questions, and the part of the academic biathlon is that you shoot. And the potato sack race. The potato sack <laughs> race. <laughs> Guys, I got a backup plan in case that doesn't come through. Okay. So wait till the sun goes down. It's night. We all form a team. You go rent a van. <laughs> <laughs> then I get a laptop. Wait, we drive over to that high school. <laughs> you guys oh. kick in the window or something, crawl in there, do your stuff. I'm gonna be hacking. Hack into the database, change his grade. We're out of there before anyone knows we got there. Wait, well, I gotta go put on my bikini. What do we need to be in the... Can't you just hack it from outside? No, we can't. You can only hack from a van. You gotta you have to have a hard point connection to the mainframe. Oh, I can't hack in there. 
I need to, uh, to install a wi Wi-Fi connection access point. Joel yeah, stole the good webcam, <laughs> and, and and he's still letting me use the shitty one. I didn't steal it. There was a new one that came in the mail. I know you immediately put Why it on you your stealing, computer Joel? and then didn't use it for anything. Guys, you ruined. Save all this banner Joel, for the show, huh? Joel takes this little cap and he puts it over his webcam. Up, <laughs> yeah. oh, government can't see me so no that more. Way the government can't see him. You can only see Adam. I look like a ghost. <laughs> Now the government can't see. <laughs> what happened to my nose? This is all the government sees when they're trying to spy on Joel. <laughs> Look, Bruce, if you want a webcam for yourself, Thanks. all you have to do is do what I do, which is embezzle company <laughs> funds. Well, that's pretty bad. <laughs> 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 now you can live the Joel, huh? live in La Vida Joel. Joel, there you go. Look at that. See? Yeah. Joel, I know what you're going through. Like, nice try, you. government. When Lenovo sent me a laptop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adam, start the show. Huh? Hey, everyone, welcome back to Open House. 100% more Bruce and Adam in this one. What are you doing, brother? No, that's not true. There was zero Adam and Bruce in the last one, so 100% more would be double. But so, what? one hmm? is not double of zero. Okay, right. 200%? No. You guys like math? It Can we appreciate that Joel's really good at clapping? 50%. It would not be 50% more. All right, first question this week comes from T. Liger. What is the one thing that you've seen slash experienced overseas that you wish you had in the States? Well, Joel lost his virginity. I, I wish. wish I had done that in the States. Oh. Do you? <laughs> well, if, if it meant that I had done it when I was younger than 20. He wouldn't have come back with hepatitis C. <laughs> uh, seen, experienced overseas that you wish you had in the States. Nude beaches. Um, we have those here. Yeah. Yeah. Where? You can make any beach a nude beach, James. No, <laughs> you can't. Enough. You get arrested. There's Trust a, me. There's a, nude beach, the there's a nude beach in Santa Barbara. Ooh. Ever been, Bruce? It's all, it's all old people, though. What is that? What is wrong with your face? Why are you tapping your eye like that? It itches. You okay? <laughs> yeah. uh, I wish that people only went to the bathroom and used their left hand. Is that, that a thing? What? Hmm? Yeah, you know how in some cultures people, uh, you know, they you eat with your right hand. What are you talking about? Because you you go to the bathroom I, and you use your left hand. I guess that's true. Is that no? It's not. You don't know. You've never been overseas. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard, I've heard about it on Wikipedia. I got two. Uh, Nando's is delicious, and public toilets. When I was in Australia, walking back from the bar. I stopped at one of the futuristic pod toilets. You get a little button and the automatic door opens, and then it shuts, and you get a button to lock it, and you got everything you need in there. Like, did it have a bidet? Uh, did it spray water on your butthole? I pissed, so I don't know. Uh, Batman poops. Well, hold on, what about Matt Peak? I really like the brief time I was in Germany. You could just buy a beer and walk down the street and drink it with your I friends. I like that too. It's so civilized. Yeah, do that's like Vegas. Vegas. They have that here. So but, Matt yeah. yeah, but that's yeah. Vegas. That's not America. <laughs> Next what? question for Spider of Love. Do you guys, individually or as a whole, stick by a golden rule of editing? Edit unto others as you would have them edit unto <laughs> yeah, you. That's the, that's the golden rule, so I'm, I'm really interested to see what he means by this. I mean, my my golden rule is do I find it funny? Mm -hmm. That's my golden rule. If I find it funny, then fuck all y'all. Spool, what about you? What's your golden my, rule? My thing is cut out everything that either isn't a joke or doesn't lead to a joke. <laughs> Spool, what about you? What's your golden my, rule? My thing is... Yep, there you go. Another good golden rule. Uh, Lawrence, what about you? Never edit sober. <laughs> that is a good rule. That's a bad rule. <laughs> I don't really want that at all. Matt, opinion, Every Matt. time we go to lunch and Lawrence orders a drink, Bruce is like... I was just like, cringes eh, a little bit. Monday? <laughs> we do it on Monday? Bruce is the disappointed father like, you wish you had. He's like, it was my birthday last month. <laughs> <laughs> it only happens once a week, Bruce. Monday, I mean. <laughs> and then Tuesday. <laughs> Lawrence! Oh, that was a great joke. Uh, <laughs> next question. Dalek underscore squint. My mother-in-law really wants to be a grandmother and is very vocal about it. My significant other and I have politely told her we do not want kids. Uh -oh. How do I kill her dreams? <laughs> you should send her the receipt for all the abortions. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't that, it, wouldn't that make her want to have grandkids? No, because no. I think it's pretty much like this is what you're doing. Every single time you encourage us to have kids, we're killing one. Uh, tell her that you're related to your significant other, therefore any grandchild would have like three eyes and no feet. Oh, oh. that's a good answer. Yeah, you want a spider baby? To show it's spider baby. Who doesn't want a spider baby? <laughs> that sounds awesome. You have a stillborn child, right? And then you, you're like, oh my god, a beautiful baby, a beautiful baby. Take a bunch of photos, you send it to grandmother. She doesn't know it's stillborn. <laughs> photos of babies look like dead babies anyway. But how do you continue so, that so then you, But then you take it over there, you hand it to the grandmother, you walk away, you come back in the room and you go, 
Oh my God, my baby! <laughs> yeah. What have you done? The grandmother killed the baby. You killed my baby! That's a well, I'll never let you do this oh. to me again. No more babies. I like the idea jail. of you leaving yeah. the room and then coming right back. <laughs> I'd be like, you killed it! <laughs> Matt Peak. Just Time get for a, some real advice with Matt Peak. Just get a vasectomy. Oh, shit, that was really easy. Yeah, I mean, I guess that was... Wait, what if the person asking this question is a woman? Tube's tied. Just drink some Lysol. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Squirt some Lysol right up in there. Next yeah. question. You'll pass that drug test, no problem. Simon Aiken uh, wants to know, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done for Valentine's Day? Uh, you know who the most romantic person in here is? Who? Matt Bake? Sean Poole. Oh, Sean Poole. Sean, Sean Poole. what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Uh, I've never... Well, a... Uh, I've never done anything for Valentine's Day. Well, what are you doing for this Valentine's for Day? For this Valentine's Day, uh, I'm getting my butt waxed. <laughs> That's the most romantic That's thing you can do for your lover. <laughs> that was a stupid answer. Adam, I want to, Adam's very romantic. Adam, what about you? Romantic, oh god. He's romantic. Yeah, Adam's, um, Adam's romantic. So typically what you do is you just berate the holiday until your significant other is just tired of you talking about Valentine's Day. Here's the trick. You do something on not Valentine's Day, but you want you know you stay home. Maybe you watch a movie. You get you dig a little wet. It's cool. <laughs> you do. It's not the right answer. You go to Olive Garden. So Dana doesn't know this. Uh oh. Spoiler alert. She doesn't watch the show. She hates she us. She doesn't give a shit. Yeah, she yeah. doesn't fucking care. Uh, like three months ago, she said she wanted to to do something, mm -hmm. but the thing that she wanted to do was sold out. You can't go. What it's is impossible. Okay, to go. Right, yeah. uh, and so what I did is, I. When she said that, I went the next day and I went on StubHub and I bought tickets for the thing that she said what she is wants it? to do. Is it a ballet? No. Fuck, she doesn't like Weezer ballet. I want to go to a ballet. I she doesn't want to go to a ballet. <laughs> so what is it? It's a concert. One Valentine's Day, I made James this card where I was Gwen Stacy and he was Spider-Man. Oh. Gwen Stacy dies. That's true. Yeah. And then I ended up saving the card, even though I gave it to him. I saved it as a memento. <laughs> you fished it out of the trash. Yeah. yeah. All right, what about Matt Peake? Which question are we on? Nacho Nan Sandy Ravage writes, Panos needs to solve one major world issue within 48 hours. What do you choose and how is it solved? World. Zika virus. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> what we do is we have a lot of stillborn babies. Okay. And then we... Uh, Inject we, them all with Zika virus. We send them to that grandmother. Send them to the grandmother. <laughs> grandmother gets you Zika virus. You did this! Problem solved. <laughs> I was uh, going to say world hunger. Yeah. All we do is we open up every Chipotle in the world and each Chipotle serves free food. That's what you have to poisoning a Chipotle. Oh, so the Chipotle. Chipotle. That's so population culling, yeah, they yeah. all get E. coli and die. So smart. We Are get all Chipotle? the starving people, we put them on one island, yep. and we let them fight it out. Yeah, yeah, let them starve themselves out. And then whoever's Wait. the last one survives uh, owns the Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> owns That's how you Chipotle. get your franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else have any answers? Yeah, I got one here. All right, you know when you eat those little mini donuts? And they have all that like congealed fat in them, and then you eat them, and it gets on your mouth. So you got that weird little grease lick on your mouth. Yeah, something not not a lot of people know. Alcohol fun. actually uh, dissolves fat. It's true. This is why they tell you to have like half a glass of wine or whatever. So what you do is with a little mini Hostess donuts, <laughs> what the fuck? you put a handle of Jim Bean with that. Then you got your donuts and your alcohol at the same time. You won't get the little uh, fat fatty mouth. That's not a that's not a world issue. Yeah, it is. It's full cool release. Uh, I would solve, you know when like you give clothes to Goodwill, but then yes. those clothes end up being sent to Africa, and then you see a documentary and there's a kid in your Bugs Bunny t-shirt? Mm -hmm. Hate That's that. Day. Uh, I Hate would just just try to solve that. <laughs> Wait, you're going to try and get your t-shirt back? <laughs> I was going to say, that's not really an issue, but... You don't want to give away your clothes? Those clothes went to Goodwill for a reason. Sonny Ziegler wants to know, if you guys were types of alcohol, what kind would you be and why? Lawrence isn't allowed to be all of them. <laughs> like Everybody tells knows you. about Lawrence's problem. <laughs> <laughs> we're the closest ones to him and we're doing nothing to help. <laughs> I still want to answer for Lawrence. Lawrence would be the vape alcohol that we had. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> also, it's not a problem because I can still function. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joel would be a fine wine, but oh, yeah. like one from Trader Joe's, so it's like six ninety nine. So not really a fine wine. A no, it's a fine wine. It's aged to perfection. Mm. I want to be a four loco because I'm kind of crazy and full of energy. Are you? No, yeah, I don't know about uh, either one of those. Maybe college girls one. love him. Yeah, I don't know about either one of those. Uh, I want to be scissor. <laughs> <laughs> Adam? I think what Adam would be Goldschlager. Ooh, that's pretty nice. A little flex of gold. A little flex yeah. of gold in my poop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking on it. I'm, I'm choking on metal. Hey, everyone. I just want to say thanks for coming seeing my stillborn baby. <laughs> I'm choking on metal. <coughs> oh, it's got gold in it. 
Bruce, uh, I would be tequila because I love Mexican food and Mexican people and Mexican drinking. <laughs> and where? And Mexican the country. Mexican, Mexican the country. What are you compensating <laughs> for? I, what, I'm not compensating for anything. I feel Mexico. like he said something about yeah. Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> I love Mexico. What? <laughs> traditional song. I feel uncomfortable. Now cut off his foreskin. What did I do wrong? Is La Cucaracha the uh, Mexican national anthem? <laughs> La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. Next question. Who reads this? Uh, Raphael Zorani you wants get in to here? know. Oh, hey, remember me from last week while the school fucked me? They're kicking me out of all the honor clubs. National Honor Society, Student Council, Model United Nations. What should I do? By the way, I did not cheat. It was just because of one teacher's statement. Maybe maybe the whole thing was that he cheated to get into the National Honor Society, and so they're just rectifying the situation by kicking him out of the National wow. Honor Society. Wow, like Richard Nixon. But what if we did believe him? What advice would we give? Um, You're fucked. Get your teacher pregnant. Yeah. yeah, learn how to play the game, dog. Like, <laughs> if, if, if you're getting fucked by one teacher, then you lost. You lost this round. Pay learn it from it. Guess what? You're a kid. You get fucked for a while. Yeah. Go stab Haley Joel Osment. I don't know. This this does like seriously suck. This is gonna go on his permanent yeah. record. When he's applying for There's jobs, no such thing as a permanent record. When oh. he's applying for jobs, when he's 35 years old, they're gonna see that he got kicked out of Model United Nations. <laughs> As the delegate to the great country of Mexico, how would you get him back? Mexican. Come to Mexico. The country of Mexican. How would you get him back on the model United Nations? They eat enchiladas. <laughs> all right. I love all the things Mexico. You know that about me. Hey, Omar, stand up. Who's that? That's Omar. Omar, are you Hi, Mexican? Omar. Cuban. <laughs> That's like Very Mexico, but communist. Are you allowed close. to be here? That was really close. Let's go buy Vicodin on the cheap. Uh, if you're in a public space and you hear uh, Hotel California on the radio, that is called getting California rolled. <laughs> like so, a sushi roll? Huh? Yeah. Exa- well, more like where, where were you like you that joke, rest of the world? My, <laughs> so also, if people don't realize this, this is Everywhere. another terminology that we've come up with. It's called going full Reuben. And that's when Joel Rubin tweets something, and then you reply to that tweet, and then your reply gets more likes than his initial <laughs> his initial tweet. That's a legit chat. Like I, the guys do that all the time. Ah, that's because ah, that's because Joel will post cooties. something not funny. Ah. Okay, so Bruce wasn't here this time. Bruce, but Adam's so, here. Geek's not here. All right, but Bruce can't be here for a very specific reason. He's mm-hmm. sick. He can't bear to watch you go, uh. Sean. Yeah. This is a very special, uh, dedicated to spool, memory of spool episode of Open House. This is going to be the last episode of Open House that Sean pulls in. Today's episode is titled "Good Morning." <laughs> so, good morning. So we're not going to make any jokes in this one. No jokes. All right. Your first question this week comes from OJ Willie. If everyone bought Spool a new hat, what would everyone's hat have on them or be like? If I bought Spool a new hat, it would probably have antlers attached to them. Oh. Mm-hmm. Because he's going back to the wilderness where he's from. It's true. And I, I think it would be funny if he wanted to shoot a deer that he could lure it in uh, by wearing his hat and hiding behind a bush and then the deer comes up and then he marries the deer and bef- and then they have a family together and then when they grow old together the deer has cancer and he has to put the deer down by putting a bullet in its head. Like, uh, yeah, like old yeller? But no. With rabbies? More like, uh, up. Uh, I'd like a hat that had a little uh, child harness attached to it so he would never leave us. On the <laughs> But is the, is the harness attached to the head? No. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm okay with that. If, if I bought Spool a hat, it would have a picture of Ray on it and say, and then in beautiful uh, calligraphy text, say, don't settle. Nice. Aww. Never. It's never settled. Never. Oh, mine would say don't settle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would. Sean. I would get Sean a hat. It would be like one of those old timey scuba suits that are giant metal uh, mm. and they have like glass and rivets and stuff. Because he's going to be in a maritime area of mm-hmm. the country and That's he's going to probably need and it's he's going to need it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and all the rain. Good joke. I'd have a beer helmet, except it would only fit apple juice boxes. Oh, oh that's no. nice, too. Lawrence, you win so far, Lawrence. Spool, what new hat do you want most out of all the ones you've been... The, the one Lawrence just listened. Oh. I love okay. missing juice boxes. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> Good Give you hats from Thank the goodness you. of our hearts. I get a spool point. Uh, next question from Elroy Shackelford. 
What are some things you guys regret doing or not doing in high school? Mm. Um, Lawrence and I were talking about it this weekend. Yeah. If we had the knowledge and like self confidence that we have now, how much we could ruin all the people. Like if you could transport our brain <laughs> right? back into our young teenage selves in high school. That's not this we, question. We That's could just ruin the lives of those guys. It's not the question. But so, it's, no, it's getting to my answer, yeah. which is that I wish that I could manipulate more people. I wish that I could have uh, gone, like in my time there, been more manipulative and cruel. You wish you were more confident or whatever in high school, basically. <laughs> yeah, to be evil. Yeah, yeah. I feel the, <laughs> I feel the evil. same way. I, I feel like even, even who I was when I was 16, I could have run that town. <laughs> Um, which is why I left. I mean, it wasn't a challenge. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I feel like, exactly like James was saying, I could have had everyone doing what I wanted them to. I could have been king. A chubby little teenage puppy boy king. Child mayor. <laughs> boy mayor. Hmm. I regret having a confluence of terrible events happen to me all during the same four-week period. I broke my arm, and I was in a cast from here to here, and it was winter, so I had to wear long sleeve shirts, so my mom, but they wouldn't fit over my cast. My mom had to buy shitty uh, she sweatshirts. She cut one of the sleeves off? And she had to cut a sleeve off, but it would, like, fray, and it started to smell bad, because also, like, you couldn't wash it, because it would fray more. Uh, At the same time, I had just gotten contact lenses, but I couldn't put them in because of my cast, so I had to wear my old, big 1989 glasses that I had never updated. And at the same time, uh, I had discovered from my orthodontist and I had a congenital receding jawline so I had to wear a mouth uh, a mouth <laughs> piece called a herps so I was walking around with my big glasses and my smelly cut off t-shirt and my and my cast and I really regret that time in my life and you said no one beat you up? I was going to say I would have I said the opposite of that actually that's Everyone how he broke his arm then um, I'm going to say I don't regret anything because I'm at this point right now crying over the corpse of Sean Poole Wait, so I'm this not is where dead. you want to Why be? He's, be to, he's trying to earn spool points. I think everything... Oh. Is, spool, spool, can I be on the board now? Hold on, he, Hold we have on. to hear all the answers. Oh, okay. I have to answer, and Elise has to answer, I guess, mm -hmm. too? Yeah. Um, there was this one time that... So our cafeteria had a lot of hash browns, and one time I <laughs> ate... I ate probably, like, three persons worth of hash browns, and then I drank a liter of chocolate milk, and I got so sick, and the school day hadn't even started. <laughs> Uh, and I was sick in the bathroom. <laughs> Spool, what do you regret? Uh, or what do I regret doing or not doing? Uh, I regret, I kind of had like a situation with Joel where I was I was on top. I was wrestling superstar. I never said I was on top. And uh, I got mono in the middle of wrestling season. I got knocked out. Could have gone to state. Could have gone all pro. Could have been on WWE. That's nothing like my answer. Did you get mono from <laughs> wrestling? Like you Maybe. swallowed enough sweat that you oh, just could have told totally, you because you end up in a you end up in a kiss very hold. Sweaty, yeah. sweaty room. That was uh, I got that, you. That was his victory hold. Yeah, he'd be like, I'm and you're scrape my open mouth. Everyone, everyone, else, else, back. everyone else is getting ringworm. I'm like, I'm gonna get mono. Mono always, always sounded like one. mono always sounded like a cool disease because you just get to stay home and watch TV. You, so I threw up for like a week straight. Oh, that was real cool. Mono sounds terrible. I'm just there to say stuff. Says Spool. We've seen a bunch of people do impressions of you, but what I want to know is, what are your imitations of everyone? Start with Bruce. Everyone else? Tread carefully, Spool. <laughs> All right. This is your legacy. Your ass. Mm -hmm. Spool. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bruce. That's okay, good. got That's it. That's good. Bruce. What's your impression of this me, is, Sean? This is uh, Joel. Ha <laughs> ha. Playing hots. Nice, good one. <laughs> All day. <laughs> nah. Uh, Elise's. Ha. Ha ha ha. Good, because of the Canadian. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. She does that. <laughs> this is James. I make joke. Ha ha ha. Okay. I say that. I often say that. That's kind of my thing. <laughs> do Adam. Do Adam. Oh. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like Hold that on. one. Hold on. I want, it. I want to hear Lawrence. Oh. And then Lawrence says, I have hernia. Uh. Ha <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> Do Matt Peak. That's really good. That's good. Now do Spool. <laughs> now do Omar. Looks a lot like mine. Omar is just working. <laughs> I think Spool right, gets a point work. for that. Yeah, yeah we'll give you a point for that one. <laughs> All right. That was a good Spool? one. Spool? Yeah. All right, good job. <laughs> Slagathor44. Which Muppets character do each of you relate to the most? Hmm. Uh, I relate to both Waldorf and Statler. Because that's <laughs> who I want to be my entire life. I want to have permanent box seats and laugh at the world. Um, I, uh, Gonzo. 
Probably. Um, but I can tell you, when I watched the new Muppet movie, and I saw Walter at the beginning watching the Muppets and feeling like he belonged, I got super teary. But probably Gonzo. <laughs> <laughs> she does have a lot. Of, she does have a lot of sex with chickens. Yeah. Um, you know the you know the Muppets movie. Uh, it's technically Sesame Street, but follow that bird. Uh, do I? You know the really sketchy Big Bird that's trying to track down. She's like a woman detective, and she's trying to track down Big Bird. And she's always looks really mean and angry. She works for like Health and Human Services or something. Yeah, that's that's who I relate to the most. Good for you. I relate to I think Pepe the Prawn the most <laughs> because of my spicy Latin character. And you have big old bug eyes, big gross buggy eyes. Uh, look ridiculous. Jason Siegel or Tina Fey? Oh, the humans. Did you just Google to see the name of the guy who was in the Muppets? <laughs> well, my problem was I almost called him Jason Schwartzman, and that would have been embarrassing. That would have been funny. Oh. I, I think Adam. Jason Schwartzman is my answer. Uh, I want to be Rizzo the Rat. Oh. It wasn't actually. Didn't, didn't, didn't ask who you want to be. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, Rizzo the Rat is not actually a Muppet. He's You're an a actual Muppet. rat trained to do all those things. <laughs> what? Oh, what about Salacious Crumb? <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, Minji Spaff wants to know, each of you have $1,000 to spend on a going away gift for Spool. What do each of you give him? Hmm. I have an idea for a hat that has like a little umbilical cord on it and it keeps you attached. I would get him uh, an Android phone. Um, a really nice Android phone, nice. so that way he can join us all in the 21st century. Hmm. That would be nice. That's cool. Thank very you, nice. Dan. I'd get him a very high-scale, expensive set of golf clubs. Hmm. He can use those. Yeah. He's always talking about golf, that's cool. Yep. I would get him a premium pre-release subscription lifetime for No Man's Sky. <laughs> Is there, is there a subscription for No Man's Sky? Oh, yep. we'll make one. Just for you. Just for you. <laughs> right. We'll get your name in the game Thank and on you. a plaque on the front of every copy of No Man's Sky. <laughs> I love this game. Sean Poole. Uh, I would put it in a savings account uh, so it collected interest every year. And then when Sean Poole retired from streaming, uh, he would only just need to stream for fun. He wouldn't have oh. to stream as a, as a career anymore. He could just, you know, retire and stream for fun. I stream for fun now, though. Uh, Casa Ham? Casa Ham? Spool, what is the most valuable thing that you've learned while working at Funhouse? Joel? <laughs> I was waiting to hear from you. Be careful, Spool. You said I could, before that I could pass it on in like a two seconds. No, but Go it's- Go on, Joel. I learned- Joel, what does he learn? Spool, in this time at Funhouse, has learned- Thanks, Joel, but I'll tell you from here. So you want to know what I've learned? Uh, I've learned how to play games and edit and make photoshops as well. Uh, I've made a lot of friends. I've learned how to make friends and play video games and photoshop. Joel's moving around back there though. Uh, my favorite memory is when we went to RTX and it was crazy meeting all those fans that are there for me. What, what about when you slept through that signing? Uh, I like sleep m apparently more than signings, but I made it. I just, oh no, I missed the signing. Damn. Uh, thanks everybody. That's it for this pool show. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's the end of Open House. Um, you know, we're glad to have you with us, Sean, and uh, we wish you all the best in the future. Um, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and he's going to Seattle now. But wait, I've decided to stay. <gasps> oh, that's wow. such good news. Oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. Thank you, Spool. Sean, thank you for sticking around. We knew around. you'd come to your senses. Yeah, streaming is stupid and so is Seattle. Of course, but I just have one thing left to do before I come back to work at Funhouse full time. What's that? I have to go up to the Pacific Northwest and then I'll be right back. See you guys in a little bit. Godspeed. Thank you, Spool. Thank you, Sean. We'll see you soon once you get back. He recognized the power of friendship after all. Lawrence forgets that we opened open house like this. What, exactly every, like this. Last every week. week. Oh, Can we show different. Lawrence's stomach for no, some reason? No, it's not my stomach anymore! Here. Here, I'll cover up my cover up my gross. Oh, so belly. you're putting a little pillow for your back? There. So you, we you make her sit oh, you got a little stool. pillow there on your seat? That is a whole problem area. Make her sit on here. a stool. Billy, come here. I didn't know the chair could raise up. Come here, girl. Come here, Billy. Come, come here, Bills. 
Don't follow all the way there. Billy, come here. Right oh, here. So you ready? Come to new dad. Yeah. Right here. Right here, you're mine, Billy. Nope. Come Billy, here, Billy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> no, don't. Good girl. You can't try out your new phone. She loves me the best. Put it away. Put it away. Oh. Splash a light that she also makes a sound. Hates what you're doing. She hates it. Look how unhappy she, she is. She hates this. Ah, I'll turn the lights off so, all at one time. Alternative idea. All right, welcome to another episode of Open House. First question this week comes from Rocket Rocket Retour. Rocket Rock Router. He's a Guardians of the Galaxies. Fantastic. Everyone gets to design another member's house. Who would you pick, and what kind of house would they have? Why do they ask? Why do people ask who would you pick? Right. We always just pick somebody. Right, uh, I'm gonna pick Joel. Joel would have an old Victorian house. Hello, governor. Uh, and it would be from the 1890s. And I don't know if you guys know about Victorian houses, but everything is just a little bit smaller. Actually, Bruce, I think the 1890s would be an Edwardian house. Mm. So Paradise. first things first, I don't pick Joel's house because then he'll correct me on the architecture. Next. Actually, James, I wouldn't correct Next you. Next answer. Oh, Next wow. answer. Thanks, Joel. I think I would pick Lawrence's house. It would be basically yeah. Graceland. Oh, um, so shit. it'd be like a real a patch of nice land, but then surrounded it would be shit because he got a good deal on the on the land. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be a modern house, except there'd be one room that he'd just say, whatever you do, don't go in there. And I never would. We'll just be uh, dead hookers. I mean, I don't wow. know what's in there. I don't go in there, but Dead it would hookers. be very technologically advanced. Mm -hmm. Except there was that one room, and he'd just say, don't go in that room, and I wouldn't. I want to design Peak's house, because I don't think he's been, uh, he hasn't really gotten a lot of presents from us. Mm -hmm. I think we move over to Texas, so we kick out Richard Garriott out of his, like, mega mansion. You gotta move these, like, three cool. stones to open a door. Peak will have it. I don't know if he'll appreciate it, though, of all the hard work I did for him. Matt Peak always appreciates it. I'll take it. Yeah. You okay? I, I you get Richard Garriott's house. I would design Bruce's house, and I would make it like a Victorian house from like the 1870s. Oh, that's uh, a, is that Victorian? Yeah, and it would have doilies in it. I meant like 20 years, oh. you got mad at me? Twelve foot tub. Fuck. So you could take your long bubble bath soaks that you take every night. Every It'd be house. really adorable. Can I have like powdered wigs around the house? I mean, please. I that's how Georgia. They're Damn funny. it. <laughs> or love making. Or yeah, if they're really into it. Elise Lawrence. Well, I was gonna. We're design, just stuck with each other now. Uh, yeah, I was gonna design Bruce's house. Well, I was gonna design Bruce's house too, but. Well, I'll stick Lawrence in a recreation <laughs> of the Full House house. That's so architecturally, it can't be designed. House in the ba ba bow. Scare the boo you. Uh, I would design a house for Elise, except. It would be about, it'd be a mansion, except every room would be Seinfeld's apartment. Oh. And every door would open up into another Seinfeld's apartment. <laughs> and there would be sensors on everyone that pays that. <laughs> so, every time you open a door. Is there a Kramer to run through every door? Yeah, I know, you shout the, the N-word. I'd be the Kramer. You'd be the Kramer, and you bust through every door. <laughs> like neighbors? Except, I like. once you get about 20 doors in, you're going to forget how to get back out. I'm so saying. eventually it's going to become a hideous, like, shitting in the corner, peeing yourself, eating couch cushions for sustenance type situation. <laughs> What's the deal with getting trapped in your own home and eating your shit? Next question from Nina Colada. If you were given an unlimited budget to redecorate the office, what is with all this decoration? Yeah, there's a lot. In any way you wanted, what would each of you change slash add to your works? I just brought that up. We need a big neon sign that says Boner Town USA. <laughs> and Bruce said no. I did say no. I said, I said instead it should just say hard all the time. Or drain the main vein. <laughs> Oh, that's way too clever, Bruce. You're overestimating our audience yet again. Okay, so just a hundred. What was it, Boner Town or whatever? Boner Town, USA. All right. We have a lot of headroom. I think we could either install another level of desks <gasps> for future interns, <gasps> oh, or, double desk. or hammocks. Hammocks. Mm. Hanging hammocks. Hammocks are out, but it only goes around your neck. Wait, the interns have to stand mm -hmm. and hold the hammocks up with their necks, and then we get to lay in them and kill them slowly. Am I understanding that Didn't right? Didn't kill Kevin Di Carradine. So my problem is that I like working in close proximity with all you guys. Don't yeah. encourage him. Um, Kevin Carradine? I don't encourage him. I like working in proximity <laughs> with you guys, but I still think it'd be nice to have a little bit of privacy. Uh -huh. So we install like a kid's tube crawling thing, mm -hmm. or like in a ball pit, like you'd have a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Mm. So we'd each have like different offices around. Oh, we got our hands on them. Catch smells like ass. We get a ball pit? Yeah, there's a ball pit at the bottom. Sweet, that's where we play Overwatch. Well, Matt Peak, what about you? I was gonna say hammocks. He totally stole it. Uh, but I'll say 
Pencil. You didn't steal it. You didn't mean to. I he gave did. it to he you. Did. He did. I saw him. I'll say a, uh, a a wrestling mat that we could roll out when we needed to get our aggression. Oh, yes. oh wow. Yeah. Elise? Uh, I would get rid of the mirror floors so I can wear skirts to work. <laughs> <laughs> Related, she would also be the one to wrestle Matt. Uh, Swilima, mm -hmm. why are girls space? Why are girls? That's, a, that's an interesting question. Philosophically, girls are, uh, they got like holes in their bottoms. Yeah. But we all have holes in our bottoms. No, but they got more. So, a uh, bit of a question. Not that anyone present has to answer this, but when you're a dude, exploring your body's pretty easy because it's all right there. But ladies, a little more curved up under, you would need some kind of mirror apparatus to really explore. Like a mirror floor? Yeah. yeah. Oh, great idea. We want to make learn about your body and how you pee from your urethra through your butthole. Thank you, guys. How does it feel knowing that sometimes you can tear through your vagina when you have a baby and then you poop out of your vagina? Are you asking me? Yeah, is that for my <laughs> That's for the room. Firm shell that cups our balls, uh, but <laughs> in a dog's mouth, for example. <laughs> and that's why girls are. My mind 2015 wants to know: Are any of you superstitious? If so, what? What about? I think Matt Peak might have an answer to this question. Matt Peak. I'm not really. I do catch myself like with 13 and like 66, I like if it. it's the volume or I something, I'll be like, ooh, just go one more, even though I really don't think there's any significance to those numbers, but I do catch myself doing that. Matt, what happens if you, let's say, you order something at McDonald's and it's $13 and 66 cents? Uh, joke's on you. I don't go to McDonald's. Oh, Ooh, fuck it, damn it. I thought I had him. I, there's no, no, there's no reason in the world to be superstitious for any reason, because it's all just atoms flying through the air, random willy-nilly. You're gonna die? You're gonna die. Have you ever walked under a ladder before? Absolutely not. I'm afraid to. That's what <laughs> yeah, because you're gonna get seven years bad luck, which is better than six years bad luck, even though it's got an extra year. Boom. Take no that. Sixes. Boom. Take that, McDonald's. I'm Whoa. suspicious of knives. Not suspicious. Oh. Superstitious. <laughs> 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 Lawrence, what about you? You bring in rain? Uh, no, everything's fine. Uh, I got a nice house here. Make yourself at home. Just don't go in my room. Uh, what is Reddit IDK writes, Imagine Funhouse were a soap opera. What type of character would each member of Funhouse play, and what would be their dramatic secret they kept from the others? Ooh. I figured Joel would take the lead on this one. I think he watches a lot of soaps. Why don't you just edit Lawrence. the whole episode? Yeah. <laughs> Lawrence has been watching all of Passions on YouTube. Yeah, that's a boy. And James has been watching... Uh, Jane, Jane the Virgin. Jane, Jane the Virgin. Virgin. We've all been watching that. And not all of us. It's a Spanish-speaking space soap, soap opera. opera, right? Yep. I like it. And, uh, and yeah, so I guess Joel would be the lead because he watches so many soaps. And I also, yeah, so, uh, dramatic secret, um, that Elise keeps from James is that Elise is married to James. Whoa, and James doesn't know that. Except Twist. I play my own twin. So she technically married the twin of the man she loves. Whoa! Uh, Lawrence is the smartest man on earth, but he has daily amnesia. Oh, he and his feet everything. are backward. <laughs> also, I'm a time traveler, which is what caused my feet to reverse, so I can only walk backwards in time. Oh, oh wait, so but it's actually forwards in time. I'm just walking backwards. My secret is that I'm racist towards all races. That's not a secret. Oh. <laughs> I refer you to two weeks ago open house. I loved Mexico. Bruce is like, get off my lawn, me. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Peak, what about you? I don't know. How do you guys think this crap up? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Adam would introduce the supernatural element yeah. to the show. He'd be the wizard. He'd oh, the wizard. space yeah. wizard? Sure. He'd be the one who, who zapped me back through time, but actually he just twisted my feet around and sewed them back together. El Spaceo Wizard Reno? Is that how you spell wizard? Wizard Reno? Is that, is that it? Italian, wizard Reno? Is that the Italian <laughs> space wizard? I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, this is from Mr. Butterfingers One. If you could be the dictator of anywhere, real or fictional, where would it be, and what would you do? Hmm. Which country has the hottest women? Well, so Bruce, Brazil. I'm glad you asked. Ukraine. Oh. <laughs> so I was gonna say, um, I'm glad that they put fictional, because I got a little country on the front of my desk here. A lot of very fine ladies, of whom I am the dictator. Wait, I mean, are you talking about anime? And they do whatever- give me a minute. That's yeah. not a country, those are just anime- they're, f they're fictional they're anime- fictional, Bruce! They're anime characters, Lawrence. Yeah, you though. can do fictional, though. Yeah, I'm but that's not a- my court. That's not a country. Into session. Eh. What do you mean it's not a country? We have a, a government. They vote. And then you override their votes, and you no. say, take off your clothes! I don't have to, when they always do what I want. Uh, I'm gonna one-up Lawrence in this and say the world of reboot. <gasps> I'd be the dictator of the world of reboot. Oh, Dot is so hot. I would be the dictator of, um... I'm gonna pass on this one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good. That's pass. the last question. Good one. Matt <laughs> Peek, what about you? I'll go with Narnia. Uh, <laughs> that came out of the blue. <laughs> How do you come up with these things, Matt Peek? A dictator well, of Narnia. Narnia is a thing. All the other stuff you guys are spouting off. I don't know where that. Wait, Narnia is a wait. Did Narnia really miss Matt Peek when he was gone? <laughs> it's more real than reboot. I think not. <laughs> Oh, man. I just imagine Pete going, Where the fuck is Mr. Tomness? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Narnia is supposed to be like, you know, free will and like everybody loves each other. No, 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 but Narnia was under a dictatorship for quite a while. Yeah, the, oh, the Queen, Queen, Queen of Ice or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Tilda Swanton. Tilda Swanton, that's yeah, one. Tilda Swanton, that's the one. <laughs> Ice cream. Uh, Elise, what are you? Um, probably just the Congo or somewhere like that. Oh, there's lots of monkeys with lasers! Yeah, you can get them to mine diamonds for you. Oh, you should, so cool. I mean, you should check the wiki right now. You might be. <laughs> Fire laser. There's laser crystals everywhere. Amy, we gotta Amy. Laser beam. We gotta stop. Laser beam. I love those Congo jokes. Campbell at beginning of thing. This episode is brought to you by Congo and Sphere. I love those Congo jokes. Party Bruce at RTX 2012 or whatever? That was yeah. Was, no, it was RTX. It was RTX? RTX. That was the, four, 20, the first time we had with zombie lighting on us. Yeah. Yes, 2014. Yeah. <laughs> Just what somehow lit underneath yeah. us and on top yeah. of we look us. Like, we look like zombies. Wait, you guys are like, panels? you need a little touch yeah. up before you go up oh, on stage? Yeah, I love some. It. And then they You were there. Under our eyes. No. Oh, right. That's not being in it, by the way. Oh, no, wait. No, that was PAX. I forget. When was It was definitely PAX. Who gives a shit? Who cares about it? Who cares? Let's start the show. Hey, everyone, welcome to Open My House. Brought to you by Cashews. Brutal Manser wants to know, the Funhouse Gang are now NPCs in an RPG. What quests do each of you have for the player to complete? Alright, so I'm gonna give the player the quest to become the gayest man in all of World of Warcraft. How do you do How that? How do you do that? Um, basic, the first thing you do, you, you, can't go, tell him. He's, you go into fun. a bar, you start drinking, because that makes you happy and gay. Alright, so step one is you have to have five bloodberry and sodas. Okay, bloodberry soda. Five bloodberry sodas. And it makes you really, really happy and gay, right? Mm -hmm. And then from there, you drink the five bloodberry sodas, you go out, you find another man. Okay, so and you yep. dance with that other man. What Slash if that man dance. Isn't gay, da, 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 what? What if that man isn't gay? He's buy he him is. some drinks so he feels happy and gay, just like yeah. You. Then they're both gay, and then da, 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 da. and then it looks like so they we dance a lot, right? And then we uh, at the end of the night, high five. We walk away. We say. <laughs> See you later, gay bro. What a gay the, day we what's had the reward What a gay day we had. What's the reward for your quest? Yeah, friendship. What kind of experience do I get? Friendship bonus. You get a, you get a, a, a friendship anal ring. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Wait, does an anal ring go in? Yeah. That, that's it's just mainly so to help you poop. I see. Yeah. What happens if it rotates and it's just a? <laughs> oh. You know how thick. women can put those things in their vaginas Nuba to prevent ring. them from getting babies? Nuba ring. Uh, no, I meant fists. Bibles? <laughs> Next question. Anyway, my quest would be something really simple. I'd be like, pick up that sword, it's yours. And then if they pick it up, they'd get it. You win. that's what I'd want in a game, so I don't have to run okay. all over the place. What about the gay stuff? 
meet me in my Toyota truck out back. Oh boy. Oh gee. Congratulations, hey, adventurer. And you thought mine was bad. I have a treasure for you in my Ford Focus. <laughs> <laughs> Next question from Bricardo. Everybody from Funhouse are the next hosts for the Oscars. How do you ruin the show? Who's, All the Oscars uh, go to Gods of Egypt. I win. It's not, that no. is a great that's way to ruin the show. No, that's not bad. That's not how you ruin it. That's how you make it better. Oh, oh right. right. Yeah, you we're see, trying to ruin Leonardo it. Leonardo DiCaprio just like, fuck! <laughs> I'm going to hijack this question. Who would be the best host for the Oscars in oh. this room? Oh. oh. Well, it depends on what kind of Oscars you want. Do you want a Billy Crystal Oscars? you want a Chris Rock Oscars? I want a good oh. Oscars. The answer to both of those questions is absolutely You want no. a David Letterman lot Oscars? No. Oscars? No. Bob Hope? No. Who do you want? Why are they all white people? What's wrong with Chris you? Chris Rock is totally white. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Joel would be the best. Joel. Yeah. It's definitely Joel. Because yeah, he'd do the dumb. dance number yeah. at the yeah. beginning he and stuff like that. Number. Yeah. And he, he would make it about him. He would make Jew jokes. Yeah. I think we bring back James oh, wow. Franco. Was Just, James Franco host the Oscars? With Anne Hathaway. It was awesome. It was a match made in heaven. He basically went backstage and he smoked pot and he'd come out and he'd go, uh, best picture is, and they're like, James, that's not you. You don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Green Goblin. And he'd slide out. <laughs> I want to find out what Matt Peak thinks so about So good. Matt Peak, what do you think about the Oscars? Um, I don't know. It looks fun, but I always feel bad because I haven't really watched most of what's being you know what's about. nominated? That's why Matt Peake will be the best. You know what's host. nominated for Best Picture? Laser Team. Mad on. Max <laughs> is nominated for Best Picture. How does is that it make really? you feel? It is. Isn't it? It's nominated yeah. for like 12 awards or something, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Because it's awesome. It's our Titanic. Can we write in Laser Team? Sure. Yeah, I think No, can no, we can't. In. It was released this year, not last year. <clears throat> was it? Yes, yes, you're right. Let's write it in anyway. All right. We'll see you next year at Oscar Laser Team. Uh, counterpoint. Uh, Mad Max is not in Egypt, nor does it have any gods in it. Good point. Uh, Bruce, I do have a side note real quick. Yes. I'm going to be late for work every day this week because now all of Hollywood is closed for the Oscars and I cannot get out of my house. That's why I was 20 minutes late this morning. It's impossible to leave Hollywood. It took me an hour and 15 minutes to get here. You know the easiest could, way to leave Hollywood? I could never to live there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it comes. Here hey, Elise, would you want to host the oh, Oscars? Oh, oh, no, not the... I would want to host the Oscars. Morning, oh, hi, Cody. Elise, I think, you should be, I think you should be a good host for the Oscars. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Let me get you! Yeah. I would want to co-host with Terrence uh -huh. Howard, just because I feel like Terrence Howard, he gets the industry, he gets the people involved, you know, he really riles up the crowd, yeah. people look to him as a, uh, you know, a, a voice, they it's look true. to him as a role model. You talking about Iron Man? No, I'm talking about uh, second Iron Man. War Machine. Howard. That first War Machine. Madroskala. so big. <laughs> if you were given the chance to go to, slash to go, back to college now, right. and become an expert in one field without all the stress that usually comes with college, what would you be an expert in? Mm. Curious in these anal rings. Uh, I, oh yeah. My serious answer is, uh, and I've said this for years, I wish I had taken more digital design classes. I wish I knew how to use- You own an iPad now. Oh, you're right, I'm a creative <laughs> genius. Never mind. I'm good. It's huge. I, uh, I would devote more time to learning a foreign language, because that's a really good environment to do it. Uh, Portuguese because I want to be Brazilian and cool. Portuguese. Portuguese. You, you, you can go to the Fuga de Chao and not feel like a fool anymore. Fuga de Chao? <laughs> <laughs> Elise. Uh, I would probably go back to school and learn how to edit because that's my job. <laughs> you edit right now. You're fine. Yeah, You're really good so, at it. Uh, you got some movie magic going on over here, guys. What are you doing? Gods of Egypt? No, I forgot to turn off the chroma, so I'm fucking with it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What? Oh, wow. Fish. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah right? Lawrence, answer the fish. question. Uh, this is what happens when you go to college. <laughs> what would college you, boy. Boys, what would you be an expert in? It's always going up there. What the what? fuck was that? Was that Little That's Mermaid? <laughs> it's always going up there. Yeah. I think I think I could be a pretty good doctor. I really do think that. Doctor? Yeah, I could be a doctor. I took one anatomy class, and I had a pretty good ear for all the parts of the human body. I like remember what? most of them. Mostly the vaginas. Mostly name, the vaginas. Name a part of the human body that's not like the nose or the eyes. The trapezius. That's a muscle. But yeah. That's that also, is that part of your body or not? <laughs> all, all right. right I'm not treating you anymore, Mr. Green. Get I'd, out of my office. I'd go back and learn gymnastics. Uh, Matt Peek? Either gardening of some kind or uh, uh, kinesiology, I thought would be uh, cool. Yes. The study of the Gardening knee. is a major. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Uh, um, now that's a Sandra. After three years of being single, I'm ready to jump back into the dating game. Uh oh. Boom. Can you guys help me think of a good username or bio for my Tinder? I mean, Christian Mingle account. <laughs> good username or bio? Well, um, you can't. So on Tinder, you can't choose the username. Uh, yeah. What do you? Can you, uh, you have to use your name? your name from Facebook. From Facebook. Oh. Uh, but you can do a different bio. 
So if you wanted to put a different bio on Tinder, what would now that Sandra's bio be? Uh, loves anal glands, massaging. Isn't that that's Sandra, right? Yeah. You talked about it. yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she loves expressing anal glands. No. Well, well, that's for pets, not for people. Oh. Uh, mm. I mean, but maybe that's her thing, though. It can be both, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of your prerogative. I think, first of all, you're 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 putting your arrow in the wrong bullseye here, Sandra. What you got to do is you got to start dating on that farmers dating website. <sighs> Farmersonly.com. Farmers only. Yeah, yeah. Farmers Farmers only. Only. Com. That's where you're. That's where you're gonna get the. You're gonna meet a real man. Yeah, you're gonna find Peak there. Probably fucked a cow. Are you on <laughs> Farmersonly.com, Peak? He's a gardener. If, no. he could, if he could go back to college. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sometimes I went back to college. Sometimes improv with Peak is just like playing tennis. I know. You just hit the ball back and forth. He sends one right back at you. <laughs> sometimes. Uh, no, I mean the honest, honest answer though. Honest right? Answer I mean, Sandra. we like just, Sandra. Yeah, yeah just yeah. be yourself. Be yourself. You don't want to meet a guy who's fake, like possibly a farmer, or. <laughs> yeah, but they're probably racist. Well, yeah, they're racist, but, but they're, they're real, real about it. Like they're they don't even know that being racist is horrible and makes you look stupid. Okay. Right. They like will get together and be like. How about that? <laughs> okay. At least he's honest. Yeah. At least he's honest to himself. Um, well then, uh, data racist. Yeah, data racist. Put I am racist, and then all the farmers will come after you. N next question, Lawrence. I don't think that's good advice at all. <laughs> Smexy Bacon asks, my last semester of high school started. What can I do to make it memorable? Oh, oh man. shit. Let me tell you what I did my last semester of high school. Wait, did I talk to, about how I took the, my girlfriend to Burger King for prom? Yeah, no. yes. Okay. you did that. Uh, did I talk about how when I first got my license, I locked my keys in my car? I don't think so, but you just told us. It sounds like a not. Did I, did I talk about how I was in theater, but I had to be backstage because they didn't cast me? No. Uh, no. Did I talk about how I met my girlfriend through? I was grading her homework as a, a teacher's aide, and uh, in my math class, I graded her homework and I flirted with her on her on her homework. How? Wait. You put like little hearts and stuff. I put little notes and stuff. Uh, how's that going? Wait, your teacher? Cool. No. She failed. It was a girl. You're like, well, teachers can be You failed this test, but you want to go out with me? Did I talk about how... Uh, <laughs> uh, and we and then we found out that we didn't like each other. Ooh. Ooh. I should have uh, checked, uh, checked her farmer's only profile. Yeah. That's an awkward one. That's awkward. Uh, I have actual advice. Oh. Wear a beret. I think you should choose... So once you know that you're going to graduate, I think you should choose one class just to say... Fuck the fuck off in it. Ceramics and and just you you don't don't even worry about it. <laughs> don't you're gonna graduate and once you're in the college nobody ca like nobody cares if you got a C minus or a D in a class at that. Who fucking cares? Just go relax, chill out, man. Did I talk about how I caught my friend getting a hand job in the theater? Learn from your elders. Well, this question is from Muppet Jones uh, 073, but it's for Bruce to read, actually. You oh. should read it though, Elise. Yeah, you read it, Elise. This question, question is for Omar to answer, but for Bruce to read. Omar, are, are you, you having, having a blast, blast at the, the Fun House office? office? He's having a good time? I think, he, I think he heard us, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Job is to cut. Is that like a weird RTS footage? Whoever looks like another no show Mar, guys. Nice one. Jory Rules wants to know who do you think would win in a fight, Iron Man or Batman? Uh, I'll say Batman. Just going out on a limb. I'm gonna say Batman. Batman is Iron Man, but with more skills. Batman. Joel? Yep. War Machine? Uh, uh, at least. I was, yeah, I was gonna say Iron Man, but only if Terrence Howard War Machine is helping him out. Yeah, Otherwise, obviously. Batman, definitely. Lawrence? Uh, I'm gonna say Double KO. It's uh, Superman Doomsday style. They fight to the end, punch each other, boom, dead. Adam? Ben Affleck's bigger than Robert Downey Jr. That's true. That's why he's a junior. Not an answer, though. But if Lawrence can beat up Ben Affleck, that means that the transitive property of Lawrence's muscles, then Lawrence can beat up Iron Man. You're assuming, true. though, that Lawrence can beat up Ben Affleck. Lawrence but says he can. He says he can. I don't think he can. Again, okay, Lawrence but, says he can. Again, the, the Sontag uh, property states that if Lawrence believes something, it may not be true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's really only one way to settle this. We use that Mugen emulator. Oh, yeah. Put Iron Man, Batman, and Lawrence Sontag inside of it, and we just let them fight. <laughs> Here's the problem. There are about 50 different versions of each of, of them. Of Lawrence characters. Sontag? Yeah. <laughs> Mega Akira Lawrence Sontag. Mega Lawrence Sontag. Whoa, hey, careful with the language. Virtual Sontag? I didn't get to that one. Hey, is there a Lawrence Sontag that's a bear? 
Yeah, Kuma Lauren Sontag, Kuma a good one. Remember when we were gonna do a Mugen series? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we talked about it. Yeah, we talked about series. it. I installed a bunch of stuff Shit. on my computer, and that was that. <laughs> Remember when we were going to do D and D series, and we all bought books and spent a lot of money. And what? We didn't all buy. We them. spent you time making kids. Well, Bruce Funhouse bought them. Bought them. Yeah. Uh, and we we got that company to pay to, to get us make little guys. And hey, we got a hit cartoon out of it. It's called did. Sex Swing. Good into the show, Joel. All right, since no one's here today, they can't stop me from saying this. Working here. Don't make fun of the tumbler. They'll come after you. <laughs> hey, does anybody have any candy a a at joke. their desk? What's up? Candy at their desk. Uh, Here's some halls. Where'd that vat of red vine go? Wait, I don't... I, think, uh, I don't want this. Is this good for my sore throat? It's halls. Oh, I have uh, I have lozenges if you need any. Ow. Dang it. We have right in the, the heart. No hands. throwing things during open house. What? Why? You are that's not allowed rule? to... Be, yeah, that's definitely... What are you talking about? about? Let's, Let's go to tape. Let's it's, go to the tape. It is, it is like technically it? a rule. But we hadn't Whoa. started. Uh, and number two, he threw it to me. It's like I, I handed it to you through the air. Give me a catch. These are quite it's, comfortable, actually. God, it's like that scene in Gods of Egypt when he uses his eagle sight to zoom in on things. Hey, Lauren, some of us haven't seen God of Egypt. Yeah, some of us haven't seen Final Fantasy. Hit it, Adam. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Open House. We're going to read the questions you leave for us. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, right. is the show. Yeah. Uh, Old Thrace asks, I am trying to cut back on my drinking. Oh, Do you guys you. have any helpful advices that would help me aid me in my quest? Lawrence? Cutting. Wait, what? what? Just start cutting yourself. Like, Every oh. time you want to drink, cut yourself. Were you thinking, oh. like, weight as well? <laughs> no, I oh. was thinking not the best advice. person to tell someone else how to not drink as much would be Lawrence. Yeah. Cut okay. yourself. And not only does it increase your pain threshold, but it thins your blood out and you get the same effect as being drunk. True. Have you ever seen one of those things that prevent you from masturbating in an insane asylum? No. Don't use that. They're terrible. Oh, but I you know. should practice some self-restraint and just not drink so much. Drinking is like a social activity. He's, but he has an alcohol. He has an addic addiction. Right. Oh! The real way to cut back on your drinking, if you have an addictive personality, yeah. is. is by... Doing something else that fulfills that fuck? that chemical need to cocaine. be on something like cocaine, like or, cocaine or heroin or sex, sex or sex. food. food. Yeah. Just a lot of calories. Sex with right. strangers. Hang also on, needles. You don't need to cut yourself. Sex with strangers and needles. Yeah. Hey, you guys, we're, we're looking at the anti-bait movement over here. Hold on. Matt Peake's going to have the best advice. Matt Peake, please tell him. I don't know. Depends on your situation. All right. I try you and, uh, for me, just keep it social and... Uh, you know, just keep in mind you don't need it. This See? Is, this is from the same guy who once told me that when he has one beer, he has to have another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our best advice is to add more vices. <laughs> this is at Matt's desk, by the way. Is that olive oil? Ages have passed. All right, calm down. If you were all gods in the new God of Egypt movie, which type of god would each of you choose? Oh, oh man. Okay, th that's a weird question because that movie's a little weird because almost everyone's a god. I would yeah. be the one true god. Yahweh, and I would strike down all other gods before me. I'd be the god Moses, who parts the Red Sea. I want to be Jeffrey Rush. <laughs> I'd be Oprah so I can eat bread. I'd be the god of convincing young actresses to show more cleavage. Hmm. Just cleavage? Elise? He's present in that. What film. female god uh, is in God of Egypt? Oh, I was going to say Quetzalcoatl. Oh, that's Qu a good Quetzalcoatl? one. Quetzalcoatl? Quetzalcoatl. Yeah. Mm, it's pronounced Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. That divided us for eternity. I took Chicano studies. Honest. I took Chicano studies. Fit to be king. It's my turn now. Um, Actually, you guys, I want to be Chupacabra instead. Oh, the Chupacabra! He sneaks <laughs> through the night and is in X Files. Matt Peak, which god do you want to be? Uh, the Gerard Butler god, except the more cut version of him. <laughs> yeah. What? The Gerard Holy Butler. Shit. Gerard Butler. <laughs> He's like 85. He looks great. I love Gerard Butler, but you just he can't ever get back to where he was Ooh. in 300. He's also not 15 years younger than he was. Yeah, that's not true. You ever see Jack Lalanne? Kurai Katsuchi, yeah. Uh -huh. Katsuchi. If there was a Funhouse kart racing game, what would everybody's unique kart be? What kind of power-ups would be available? I would have a grocery cart. And oh. my powers would be um, taking up two lanes of traffic. Uh, while I'm shuttling my cans from place to place. Ooh. Speaking of cans, my car would be two breasts 
just slightly covering the nipple, right. lots of cleavage. <laughs> and speaking and I, of, I dried pants. around. That's all you needed to get into boobs. <laughs> he's like, he's like an old man from the night. Speaking of, I was going to say a Bigfoot, but <laughs> you said cans. Um, I and want, so yeah, I want to be in that, but I want it to be like double dash. So I'm just back there throwing shells. Yeah, yeah. He well, he's the butt. The, so the back of it is front is boobs, and the back is a butt. <laughs> wow. Adam's driving the oh, butt yeah. side. That's hot. And then huh? I'm driving the boob side. We so. call it the perfect woman, Lawrence. <laughs> I would drive. The indie scoop car from Furious Six that the Eurotrash guy drives, and flip all the other carts by driving into them. My car would be the '99 Mustang that I drove to prom with my girlfriend oh, at Burger nice. King. Absolutely, yeah. that'd be well, a sweet what is car. Power up. She throws articles of clothing out. <laughs> you bet. That's what she did, anyways. I don't need power ups for that, Dom. Boom! You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, she's gonna go need a power up on her vagina from all the pushing yep. in it's gonna get. Ew. I wish she said it. <laughs> Push it in. Yeah, man. You can shove yeah. a mini mushroom in there and it'll make it. The set is taken over Egypt. <laughs> nice question, nice Joel. Nice question. All right, Rick and Tony Rex uh, wants to know if Cosmo ran a article about Funhouse in the next issue. What helpful sex tips would you guys put in the article? Uh, Show a mini mushroom in your vagina. Little, <laughs> a little, in. little Let effect about these, these Cosmo, uh, these Cosmo features. Yeah. I read. Every one of them. Do you whenever I when, no, no, no. Whenever I see them in the grocery store, I always pick it up, going straight to that section. Uh -huh. I'm always like, hmm, interesting. What sex have you learned? Oh, that's how you become what have a you sex learned? How have you learned to pleasure yourself? Yeah. Myself? Yeah. Well, because it's sex tips for girls. Well, I to learned. Get to a, guys. I learned to heat up a warm banana and put it. I just leave a little banana meat in the bottom so you get that cool. One god can save us, but not without his eyes. Joel has plenty of sex. Yeah, advice. come on, Joel. Yeah, you want right, my I sex, want it. My sex tip is you have to wait. Because in Yahweh's eyes, it's a sin to have sex before marriage. <laughs> I thought, I thought you, you have to, to wait, wait for your turn, because yeah, Joel yeah. has to go first. <laughs> <laughs> pre <-binocta. laughs> oh. uh, James? Uh, the first thing you do is you lick all your fingertips. Ooh. Right? You make sure fingertips Boist. that way, yes. Yeah, so but Boist. then it also means that the, the air will make your fingertips cold. Oh. Because when you're dealing with another human being, they like when you touch them with cold fingertips. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Like, they it's do, like yeah. feels like little knives yeah. all over their body. Yeah. And then Seriously. once they feel like they're getting stabbed, they'll get real excited. <laughs> you know, because everyone likes getting stabbed. Oh, I love that. <laughs> feels so good. And that's it. I mean, generally, I, I mean, I finish before I even get inside anything. <laughs> Adam, well, I think what you do is you try to use as many of your appendages as possible, and as the pleasure process continues. Mm -hmm. Mysteriously, you just remove one hand. It sounds like a scientist. You you're, you're basically like you're about to be like a sea turtle. You're yeah. Talking, yeah. <laughs> but then, then we, well, I'm having deja vu. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lawrence. Uh, I, I would say I can't wait. I would say shoving things into your mouth is very attractive. <laughs> oh, this is part of mine. This is part of oh, mine. My, we're probably gonna fork off. Okay. So where I'm at is you want to bite on your fingernails a lot. Just get them all chewed up and gnarled, so they're like they're like tiny little claws. <laughs> and then you just go berserk. Pretend like you're in Crouching Tiger. You're just spinning around, rubbing these things everywhere. You're clawing. You're getting uh -huh. down in sensitive areas and just t tearing them all up. Elise? That's when you bust out your real moves. Elise? Well, speaking of tearing it up, tear up a bunch of paper towels. Just get a good wad of paper towels and shove them. In in your mouth before, because you're going to be looking for those paper towels after, and you're not going to be able to get them without getting a bunch of, you know, fluids all over your mattress. It also dries out your mouth, so it feels yeah. like you're kissing sand. Do you kiss? I was going to say you glue Lego blocks to your penis so that it's a square rather than a circle. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and then when you have sex, yeah. it's an entirely different sensation yeah. because it's a rectangle. Wait, wait, you can actually, not for you. Yeah. No, because for, for you, everybody. Well, for I me, feel like you wouldn't feel anything. For me, I wouldn't feel anything. Lego blocks but that doesn't matter because I never feel anything anyway. Oh right. Oh. So it's, a, it's a rectangle. Oh. It's a rectangle inside there. For some people, it's a rectangle. And hold on, Matt Peak's got the best answer. Matt Peak. I don't have anything to follow up with after all that. So. You have any sex? There's got to be a good sex tip. Choke them until they cry. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it's overkill, right? So now that Leo ha got his Oscar. What is your goal you want to achieve, Matt? <laughs> and I guess everyone else can answer too, All but right. mostly Matt. Matt? Uh, I'll get the Oscar for The Revenant 2, sure. <gasps> the Revenant? Are you gonna be oh, the, the bear? bear to Revenant 2, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be Matt shirtless and everybody's gonna go, oh, it's more ripped than Gerard Butler back in 300. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go I see that. That fat I bastard! <laughs> I tame the bear cubs that are orphans now. Oh. Oh. That's the first thing I thought when I saw that movie. I said, what about the bear cubs? The bear's fine. No, but the bear cubs, the bear dies. The bear's dead. And then the bear cubs, they are all they don't have a mother. Did you walk out of the it's movie? It's a circle of life. I haven't seen nope. it yet, so. Spoiler uh, I haven't seen Gods of died. Egypt, and now I know that there's Super Zoom. 
that they use for the eyes. It's not that dependent on the plot, I'm going to be honest. When I think about the goals that I want for Matt, um, I, I had a really good time when Matt invited us over. And I think like he kicks back a lot when he's outside of work, mm-hmm. and he's really fun. That's and true. So I wish that Matt would invite us to more stuff. That's my goal for Matt, for Matt to hang out with me. To be more involved in Matt's life. Yes. <laughs> right. Elise, please read I the last question. Um, Iburgerman six six seven. Iburgerman. Yeah, great name. Uh, why? Is, see an I. Did you just add an I there? She did. Oh, oh, I did. I thought I like want to be the Burgerman. Iburgerman. Why does Alice always look like she had a surprise wet fart? <laughs> Uh, why? What's the mad. answer? Well, you know how in Avengers, the Hulk never gets mad because he's always mad? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> there it is. So wait, hold that's on. That's it. You always got, you're always wet farting? Is that that's, what you're saying? That's, that's the answer. That's it. I was wondering what that noise was. All right. Well, that's, the, that's, that's, that's the, the piece right there. It's that's like when, you, when you're drowning a bear cub. It makes that same. Guys, ball. spoilers. All right. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot. Sorry. He won an Emmy for something. An Emmy. <laughs> Guys, did you see that, that PewDiePie can win an Emmy now? The award for best Emmy goes to... Pewdie Emmy. PewDiePie from Revenant 2. <laughs> best Back goofy, slightly city. sounding foreign man. I have something set to prove. We need your help. Send the of all of the world. So how do we stop him? Try to keep up. How many times do you think a porn star has gotten pregnant? Like on set? <clears throat> Conceived on a porno set. And, oh. then, and then had the baby. On set? No, what? not on set. Why is that? I feel like probably not that often. Really? I feel like probably not that often. They the have a lot more stringent regulations for how people have sex. For how much cum goes inside them? For Those all that be on birth control. Yeah. Do you think I- that if I filmed a porno that I would then not get my girlfriend pregnant because I was filming a porno. I feel like that's how you're going to trick someone into getting them pregnant. Actually, actually, this is a message to everyone out there listening. If you film yourself having sex, you can't get pregnant. There you go. Morning this was after like, pills been around for like, yeah, like nine morning after pills. I think been around for 1998. At least, yeah. how long has the morning after pill been around? I, I mean, you just you just have to take it and then try not to fall asleep. And like, this is why we cut to Omar. <laughs> Welcome back to Open House. Uh, you leave a question, we answer it sometimes in Maybe. a comical manner. Not always. That's the joke. Yeah. All right, first question comes from Foyman. A baby is dropped off at the Funhouse office and the company now must raise it. Yep. How do you raise it? And what's everyone's role in the baby's life? All right, first of all, yeah, I want to I want to name the baby. baby. Um, yeah. And I'm going to give it... <laughs> Shit. I'm going to give it... <laughs> Didn't think far enough ahead, did you? I'm going to give it the name N-Word. Oh, oh God. But... It's N dash word. Sure. Oh, I Why can't it be N W A R D? Yeah, E N W A R D. Oh, N word. Like N word. N word. Get in here. Hey, like N word. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, N word. Oh. What's up, N word? Right. How would you raise the baby? How would you raise the baby? Hurry. I would train him to be the greatest <laughs> porn star of all time. Him or her. And starting from a very young age, obviously you can't have the baby participating in sexual activity, but you can teach them. Right. It's true. Thank yeah. you. Thanks again. A- Adam, um, would you breastfeed it? Would I? I would do the breastfeed. I think it. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. Is it gross if you attach a silicon boob to your penis? And then somebody suck on it? <laughs> Hold on, we should probably ask Joel. Um, the only person that's qualified to be a mother in the group, Lawrence. Yeah. So, uh, actual answer is, I'm gonna pull a tech in, and you know that, you know that, uh, giant drainage ditch we got going down the entire hillside out yep. there? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take that baby up, I'm gonna drop him, let him like go. Like Moses! And then I'm gonna oh, sit like... at the top with my arms crossed and wait for him to crawl back up to nice. me. Nice, we got a Spartan baby. Yeah, there you Ooh, go. Cool. And it'll actually die, it's, a uh, head would shatter all over the country. Since we're doing, a uh, five men and a baby all of a sudden, what's Elise's role in this whole thing? Uh, I mean, I would like to do what I would like to do with the own pair of Asian boys that I will raise someday, which is train the, this baby to be an esports champion oh. and then send them to South Korea and not let them back without the monies. But an esports porn game champion. Oh. No flash game champion. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Matt Peak. Yo. Would you be the best dad in the world? I make them play outside in the dirt and crawl in puddles to build up their immunity. <laughs> <laughs> I like that or just roll them down a concrete hill, whatever. It's funny because you and Lawrence had the same answer. But Lawrence's was more of a joke. And yours was real. <laughs> you want to kill that child? Oh, Next no. question from Pink Monkey Bird Dota. Don't call my parenting a joke, Adam. What's the loneliest thing you've ever done? Lawrence can answer more than once. No. Lawrence? <laughs> I masturbated into a double gold corporate 7-Eleven. Oh! 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. No, you must be into the what? I've like heard told this story before. before. Yeah. It's not really a story. Why? Into the cup? Oh, so, yeah, that's right. You have to, to make it even worse, that's 64 ounces of fountain soda that I drank and then masturbated into. And then masturbated into. Uh, I can't top that at all. Yeah, I'm nowhere near that. I, I don't mean, see movies alone and stuff. The loneliest thing I've ever done I didn't even realize was a lonely activity until Elise's reaction when I told her about it literally last night was that I was tired in the shower and our shower is a tub base, so I just lay down in it. Yeah. And I almost fell asleep. <laughs> James, I got a great idea for you. And I've done this before. Maybe, maybe this is my second answer. Plug the plug the, the tub so it fills with water. Fill a little bit with water, turn the shower on, turn the lights off, and pretend you're in a sinking submarine. <laughs> Adam? I'd rather just jerk off and go. <laughs> <laughs> this sub's going down and I gotta finish jerking off! <laughs> yeah. Where do I begin? Uh, I mean, I used to go to the movies by myself a lot and I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. I've ridden in a Ferris wheel bucket alone while all my friends were in the other bucket because there wasn't enough room for the last person. Uh, I also once ordered pizza, but was home alone. So when the delivery person dropped off the pizza, I went, guys, the pizza's here! <laughs> the loneliest thing I think I've ever done, I've done a lot of lonely things. I once went into an, a restaurant, this was on my birthday, I went into a restaurant, and it was pretty busy, and I walked in alone, and they went, how many? And I said, one. And they said, okay, well we have this table over here, and they pointed at a table that had six seats. <laughs> And I went, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, Caliber Jacob, in a weird twist of events, both Bernie and Gus are dead, and the Funhouse crew is now in command at Rooster Teeth. What's the first thing you do to the company? Joel? Step one, we close the Austin office, and we move it to where? To Hawaii. Dallas, Texas. Oh, oh Dallas, Dallas, Dallas be, Texas. Yeah, we're closer to Screw Attack. Yep. Oh, yeah. Anywhere. We're closer to Screw Attack all. Merge it all we together. From, oh, we opened a Robocop land. Because that's where they filmed it. They did, you're right. Thank you. I would film Robocop, I would film Laser Team 2, except it would be called Robocop 2. <laughs> All right, okay. so at least. What's the, uh, I, would, I would probably uh, promote Joel to my superior. <laughs> uh, Makes sense. What? Okay. As opposed to we're working not, for you, wait, are we you will now about work porn? for Joel. Yep. Yeah. That's okay. It, I mean, that's it? That's, that's all you that's want? That's kind of my dream. At least your, your first task is to figure out how to demote me so that you're my superior again. Oh. I, I will not follow that. We gotta make Robocop land. Yeah. Matt Peake. I'd edit a video of their funerals. <laughs> That's very nice Ooh. of you. Wow. Really? He's using his gift. Seems yeah. kind of morbid on him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would get rid of the space between rooster and teeth. I would change the capital T to a lowercase t. Right, yeah. And then I would change the whole name to Come Slumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Munchkin asks uh, that if Funhouse says if Funhouse is on an episode of Shark Tank oh, and Matt Peake is a billionaire investor, what product do each of you present to Matt to get Matt to give you money? It's a very specific question. Mm. What does Matt like? Fertilizer. Fitness. Yeah, I'd probably give Matt like some something that is the secret to becoming an MMA champion, like some some piece of clothing he would wear that would make him more dynamic I, in the ring. I have it. Uh, it would be a yoga mat with a dildo built into it. Perfect. That's, so, yeah, so I that mean, that, my answer yoga, was wrong, yours is right. When you do, you, you, well, no, I was going along with you. You do yoga, you do downward dog, and you can fuck the dildo. Follow up. Yeah. We sell partners, but, so we raise a crop of gay porn stars. We will yeah. like and your job is to fight that bear off. Matt, I'm gonna sell to James you has no imagination. the world's most noise canceling headphones so that when you, as an investor, are editing Shark Tank because it's your show. <laughs> it's not editing the. Hey, Matt, here's an idea for you. Picture this. Can you close your eyes for me? It's a Yo Gildan. Picture. <laughs> close your eyes for me. <laughs> Take that Yo, Yo Gildo, move it to a side. All right? Now imagine steel-toed boots, right? These boots could take you anywhere, right? All weather boots, they're perfect for any situation. Now on the end of these boots, where the big toe is, is a miniature diving board. <laughs> Be careful, don't smash it. What if, Mr. Peak, I sell you a miniature biodome so you can get your kids sick in the comfort of your own home? On VHS. <laughs> 
I don't know, just buy the dildo or whatever. So which one? <laughs> Yo, dildo. Oh, We're gonna go back to him I at the end of this, at the end of this, and then you have to pick one. And then I'll I'll we'll do ADR over his mouth, and I'll say Yo, Gildo. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Peak writes, "Who are your celebrity lookalikes?" Mm. Just go around the room. Ron Perlman. Um. Uh. Um, Jillian Jacobs and Uma Thurman and, and Andy Serkis, because that guy can be anybody. Ryan Gosling and Charlie Day. <laughs> Adam Kovic. <laughs> say the guy from Parks and Rec or whatever. Yeah, it's Ben Schwartz, the Jewish guy. Yeah. Uh, I look like every other soccer player, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Terrence Howard. Uh, Matt. I've been told Mark Sanchez. Oh. This is from Treyman13. <laughs> you are now an organ in the Trey human Man. body. What organ are you? Elise? Um, I the spleen is the organ that uh, filters blood cells, and I know a thing or two about uh, blood passing, so Ugh. I'd probably be the spleen. Lawrence, I'm the cortex. I'm the penis. <laughs> is a penis an organ? Yeah. I feel like liver would be fun, right? Uh, it's the but it puts all the work, and yeah. you don't get to experience any oh. of the fun. You just have to do all the work. Okay. I'm changing back to appendix because yeah. I don't do anything. Okay. Right. I'm a vestigial maybe, organ. Maybe just the left side of the clitoris. Nice. Yeah. Sensitive side. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I'd be the patella. Crucial for squatting. Mm-hmm. Matt? I'll go with the skin. Why not? Biggest organ in the body. Yeah, he's right. It's biology. Intelligent answer. Yeah. Like that. Uh, Matt Peak, last question. Alligator97, how to tell if a girl has sex? Mm. Elise? I just ask her. Go by the honor system. Women can't lie. It's true. Yeah. They don't lie? Women don't lie? No, they can't. Mm-hmm. You sniff her. You gotta give her a good old one-up. What does she, she, what she smell like? She, she smells like sex. If she has sex. Like a dry salmon. Yeah. What well, does she the, smell like if she doesn't? I was uh, a wet salmon. I was told that the uh, the runes would present themselves once one loses their virginity. <laughs> oh, the runes like appear on her skin? Yeah. Cool. Well, it's inside her, though, so you gotta really... Because of the runes. Matt Peak, how... I like chicken with Matt Peak. Well, how do you tell if a girl has sex? Um, Checks his fingers for blood. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I understand the question. That's okay. <laughs> that was the out. Anyway, so Matt Peak, yeah. whose idea do you pick? Say it out loud. You're Diving dub board over boots. it anyway. What? You're gonna dub over it anyway, aren't you? Oh, that's right. Yo Gildo. See, it sounds good. He bought it. Yo Gildo. Joel, you wanna do a Yo Gildo? We need to go on another Disney cruise. No, I don't want to do that. I don't like Disney that much. There we go. There's a new bat box from Amazon in front of our apartment every other day, and it's for something we don't need. Don't like what, Lawrence? Too. Yeah, tell us, tell us, Lawrence. What are you ordering that you don't need? Me. No. You be on no. the show today. Lawrence, what what do you get in the in the mail? What is it that you don't need? I don't get it, Come so on. I don't order it. I, well, what Come you know what is in the box, Lawrence? I don't so tell us what's in the box. I don't care. I don't want to know. Well, well you're being really difficult, Lawrence. He's not doing the I'm improv. gonna introduce a topic of conversation and then refuse to engage upon it. That's not improv, Lawrence. <laughs> I'm not improving, I'm telling the truth, Fox. I'm not gonna make myself angry for comedy, Joel. Good. We didn't even have to do any of the beginning banter. No. We were moving chairs. Ed Benson. Adam. Hey. Uh, first question this week comes from Show Up or Throw Up. Uh, all the presidential nominees disappear mysteriously. Now Funhouse must run against the other members of Funhouse. Oh. What are each of your campaign slogans? Good question. My slogan is only vote for Joel thrice. So they get three votes for, vote you can only vote Joel. once for Joel. Nice. But everybody gets three votes, and they use them each on me. No, that's not how. That's no, not how the that's political system all works. So there's a sign out there on someone's front lawn that says, "You only vote thrice." Yep. What are, what are each of your whatever? Uh, Adam, go ahead. Uh, mine's gonna be eat it or beat it. Oh, that one's good. <laughs> I really like that one a lot, James. Mine would be drop trow and drink. Also very good, Lawrence. Mine would be Joel's bad at improv. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Joel, I'm Four sorry. Four more years. <laughs> Joel, a you, bad you're improv. already making Joel upset. I'm sorry, Last Joel. week I made Joel upset. Oh, I'm sorry, Joel. Joel. Hey, Joel. This show. I know. I Joel hate hates this show. show. I'm Joel. sorry. No, no, it's no. useful. Hey, hold show. on. We're gonna resolve this right now. 
Joel and Elise swap. Oh We're doing a seat oh, swap. That's... I like it. Come on, the producer's saying swap, so swap. Therapy. Control. Control. They're like puppets. Dance for me. Oh, that should be my slogan. Sorry, Elise. Oh man, it's so hot. Now I got a question. I'll throw it to you guys because you don't know. Who do you think smells better, Joel or Elise? Elise, obviously. Well, Elise smells like me. So. That's true. There's a lot of there's a lot of James. Like I, think, I don't know. Anything he owns, he pees I smell on. Like vinegar. I think I think it's gonna. Oh, no. Hold on. My campaign what? slogan, you, I guess, would be I smell like vinegar <laughs> and a man. Uh, Next peak? question. <laughs> She's still talking. My slogan is I'm hard right now. You don't know if it's There's always something or not. phallic. Like, but what's like your slogan the... for the presidential campaign? Hey! You don't know if it's the truth or not. That's the best part. No Next problem. question. So we don't know if we can trust you. Can you trust Bruce Green? Is he hard or not? He says he's hard, but he might not be hard. Let's ne find out. Next question. From <laughs> Check his penis. I'm just, ugh, I'm just there to say stuff. If Omar has gone to Gryffindor, which Harry Potter characters are the rest of you? It's mm, a great question. Uh, I'm Harry Potter. Sorry, what? Buzz. Yep, sorry. Why? I'm the boy who lived. I'm obviously the best wizard in the galaxy. <laughs> Is he the best wizard? He wasn't the best. He's just a chosen I'm wizard. I'm obviously the chosen he wizard wasn't in the galaxy. He wasn't even that chosen. It was, yeah. it was uh, him or yeah, Neville Longbottom. The best. Look, what powers do you have? I have the powers of wizards. What's your Patronus look like? My Patronus... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hold on, wrong. I think I think Joel would be Snape, definitely Snape. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm the potions. most noble of all the Harry Potter characters. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Also, the most I have Alan Rickman's nose. The smartest. That's true. Yeah. Well, the dead. prettiest. The one who got laid the most. Which one is Lawrence? Ginny. No, I'm uh, I'm Harry Potter's <laughs> abusive adoptive mother <laughs> yeah. because of how mean I am to Bruce. Oh like yeah, that. it's true. You I know you don't get dinner, Bruce. I think Matt okay. Peak is Buckbeak. He's <laughs> That's a good one. He's a hippogriff. Oh, yeah. I think I think uh, Adam would be Hagrid. Sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. Because sometimes hoping... he's really down on himself, uh -huh. but everyone loves him. Yeah. I would have taken Lupin or Tonks, but that's fine. Sorry, you're Hagrid. Those are both yeah. good characters. Adam, and every Bruce time you say wizard. something, what? Tell Bruce he's a wizard. You're a wizard, Bruce. No, do it like Hagrid. Hagrid. Oh. oh. What the fuck was Get that? Get out my mood. What's wrong with your mouth, Hagrid? I really fuck on. James is the snitch. It's a me. No. Grab it. Hold on. I want to be Percy Jackson. All right, you're Percy Jackson. I was going to... So I almost... <laughs> so I almost thought I'll say I'm Percy Jackson, but then I thought that's not a good answer. It was a good answer. It was a really good answer. Uh, damn it. it anyway, really I guess then I'll be... Uh, Dobby. I'll be J.K. Rowling, and this will all come from my imagination. So like, I'll be writing about Bruce and his Patronus dick, and like... Cool. Uh, like, hippo, hippo, or like, hippo peak, and... Yes. Oh wait, hold on. James is James is obviously Dumbledore because he's fucking awesome and he's gay. Yeah. Dumbledore? I'll take it. Oh my gosh. Next he has, question. He has to drink all the water. People care so much about wizards all of a sudden. I love wizards. Uh, Game of Thrones, man. We Robem nope. Mexican we rob nope. Nope. Loki. Nope. Okay, all right, sure, sure. Uh, where's the wildest things you have done spring break? I've never done anything wild, so I was actually hoping next week when we have spring break, you oh. guys would Tell me do something wild. Spring break party, the ultimate spring break party. What should we do for spring break party? I think we should rent Girls Gone Wild. And we can watch other people enjoying spring break, because we have jobs and we have to work. That's true. Ew. Or you could rent a van <gasps> and be Girls Gone Wild. Oh! Funhouse Gone Wild! Oh! It would just be us flashing our, yeah, let's, uh, I'll, our I'll balls flash to the right camera. Now. All right, everybody ready? Zack Flashers. Yeah! yeah. Some Uh, Sexual Electrical <laughs> says, posits that in an unexplicable turn of events, Funhouse has been given the opportunity to create new sporting events for the upcoming... Did he say Rio unexplicable? Of... He doesn't know what he's talking about. He, f he failed. <laughs> With no restrictions, what events do each of you create? <gasps> for the, these are the Summer Olympics, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say uh, Olympic Gone no. Wilding. Oh, so whoever flashes their boobs the best? I was going to say, building on that idea, there's a competition where you have to see how many feathers you can put on your costume, right? But also reveal full frontal nudity. So I have to be able to see everything. Wow. The Question. spirit of Rhea. It's a beautiful culture. So if women compete in this, 
Do they have to... Because if they're walking upright, vaginas are kind of concealed already. Why would women be walking upright? Well, that's my question. So, then do they have <laughs> to be on, like, a yeah, birthing yeah. table in stirrups being pushed around by their team? Yes. So everybody can see everything all the Whatever time? Whatever gets the most feathers on. If that's the strategy you want to pursue, that's the strategy I will not uh, begrudge. Gosh, it's a it's just green fields in Olympic Gone Wilding. Too many overdoses. Like Co-ed wrestling. Co-ed wrestling by Adam Kovic. Co-ed. I like that answer. Well, actually, mine was going to be one-legged women's gymnastics. Oh, that's even better. I like that one, too. Mine's going to be uh, an anime okay. competition to see how much anime you can watch simultaneously reading all the subtitles and, and keeping on track. Japan would win, I guess. Well, Lawrence would win. Oh, uh, that's true. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, I'll say, I'll say bowling. Bowling. <laughs> nice. Got it. Isn't that also an Olympics? Sport? Probably. Uh, mine would be uh, vocal Brazilian jazz. Whoever can... <laughs> Whoever can scat best in Brazilian uh, Give wins. us an example, Joel. Remember, their Ds sound like Gs. So you mean, <laughs> Is he changing his head? Oh, right. Everyone give him a score. That's like, wait, that's Bossa Nova. Uh, and my sport is two words, and none of you guessed it, and you should have gotten it. Can you guess what it is? Starts with an R, ends with a G. Fart off. Rectical gassing. Roller blading. Roller blading. Go ahead, Lawrence. Okay. Uh, Tupac Prelude writes, If you could each own an exotic animal, which animal would it be? Uh, I had a ferret once. It's not exotic. It's not really exotic. Anything yeah. kinder- you can own anything you want to. Why would you pick something you've already had? Right. Hey. But which animal has the closest to a human vagina? Oh. Uh, the Komodo dragon. The dolphin, I, get a Komodo I guess. Dra- but the mouth is what's Oh, the closest. dolphin! I'd have a dolphin because dolphins have sex with humans. But the dolphins that have sex with humans are male dolphins. So would you get a male dolphin? Female dolphins have sex with humans. How? How can they have sex with a human? They all have holes on top. The, I know that dolphins have longer dicks than humans, but I can attach a prosthetic to my penis in order to imitate the dolphin's penis. Wow, Bruce, you're you're so considerate. I thought you were just getting the animal to fuck it, but you genuinely care about its sexual experience. Obviously. You want to romance, like romance the dolphin. I do. That's nice. That's, That's a nice. Movie. I'm, there's a fox that I've been following on Instagram recently, and I'm really, <laughs> I'm really into that. And I know it's not an exotic animal, but I'm really into that right now. So I would definitely like a fox. But they, apparently they pee everywhere, and they excrete a lot. Uh, so your home smells really Give them a diaper! Oh, right. so fox diaper. That's what they want. The, the term ownership only applies in this situation because I'm sure there'd be some sort of fees that I'd have to pay for. But I'd want it to be oh. a mutual relationship. I don't want it to be owner and pet. A woman? But I would have a chimpanzee. Oh. Oh, um, no, 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 no. They rip your face off. No, no. They rip your that's balls because off. they resent you for treating them like pets. But I would treat this chimp like an equal. Okay. We would be friends. We could rely on each other. He wouldn't necessarily just grab things from the top shelf for me. I could grab things from the low shelves for him. So who would do your laundry, Elise or the chimp? <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> so, I want a platypus because I'm not sure if they're real or not. <laughs> and then you know every day. I forgot when you wake up. Oh, there he is. Plus, to uh, Bruce's point, scary. they have multiple or one vagina with multiple canals. Oh, yeah. Uh, you'd like, never get it pregnant. No, you could. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, never mind. I was going to say something <laughs> really gross, and I decided Just say it. it. You can get cut out. Uh, uh, he? Oh, shit. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I have a hologram of a pet? I want oh. one of those hologram Japanese pop idols. Yes, you can, yeah, Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, at least. This is from Riley Adam. If Funhouse opened a summer camp for kids, what would it be like? Oh boy. Funhouse Gone Wild? I think we described it, yeah. <laughs> Whatever yeah, happened Funhouse in Rio, wild, the summer plus camp. all those animals. Vegas. It's a mobile summer camp. Bongos, make sure those kids stay in line. Uh, so TV Camp wall? Counselor Bruce, you come out opening day. What's your speech? What do you tell I come the kids? Out. I come out at... I go 12 o'clock, I go, who's ready for some rollerblades? I rollerblade down the set. They're all gone. They're now in camp. You better show your dick or something, because these kids, yeah. we're losing them. Just use your slogan. <laughs> the only way to get kids uh, interested. Skate backwards? <laughs> you guys ever seen somebody really play backwards? The one just got up and left. <laughs> just like that. Are you wearing the dolphin prosthetic why penis you, or not? Hold on, why are, why are you so stiff when you yeah. do that? <laughs> this is free and look. loose. Hold on. He's demonstrating proper form for the kids! They're very, they're very I like impressionable. Watching, I like watching Bruce's eyes stare at the, <laughs> the video to see if it looks sure that it's funny. <laughs> to make sure it's funny. It just doesn't look like anything. It looks like a grown man in shorts <laughs> stepping backwards. <laughs> Rollerblading's cool, guys. Anyway, three hundred dollars, and you can hang out with us at space camp for like a week. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. We're not gonna learn your kid's name. Don't ask. Forty K warlord. 
is it okay if I was watching some of your videos completely naked? Oh, you do to <gasps> Guys, the subliminal text that I've been putting in my descriptions worked. Also, 40k really? Warlord's been training for the Olympics. At least that's a good question. Are you dude or are you chick? Oh, that's a really good question. If he's into 40k, a he's a dude. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, he's playing 40k, that's even nerdier than fantasy. So, that means he's a hyper dude. Hold on, if you saw someone completely naked, yeah. Yeah. but they had rollerblades on, would you say that they were naked, or were they wearing rollerblades? Let's find out! I'd say, how can I get my <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Look at it, wow! How that's does he so make it cool. seem so real? Go back hold on, go back hold on. Whoa. Pop a trick! Just, pop a trick! Oh, wait, hold on. Pop a trick! Spin! Ha! Ha! Like, oh! Nice! They're not even real oh, rollerblades, he's just pretending. <laughs> Unbelievable! Oh, Look at that! What a trick! I my pubic hair! I actually went real quick. Joel, I want you to say something nice about Lawrence, and Lawrence, vice versa. Oh, yeah. Good therapy. Joel has to go first. Lawrence, when you go into the bathroom in the morning before the no and you put stuff in your hair, it looks really nice. And we make Thank fun you. of you, but you look like a real handsome gentleman. Thank you. Oh. Alright, now Lawrence, you say something nice about Joel. Alright. Uh... Uh, Adam and I watched different Japanese versions of Attack on Titan. But speaking of which, Darker. what yeah. the fuck is Attack on Titan season two supposed to happen? Never. Yeah. It's supposed to happen this year, but when does it happen? Just read the manga. And they go. Production delayed due to lack of material from manga. Well, oh, at least they're waiting. Fuck. No, that's good. That's good. You don't want them to. You don't want them to go off on their own. That's always bad. Son of a bitch. Well, nope. Care. That's good. Bruce, believe me. I wanna. I wanna live in a world where a Alvin and Chipmunks movie comes out once a month <laughs> for an entire year. Wow. <laughs> just one year. Every, for, for one movie. straight year, they just, they buckle down and they're like, 12 fucking squeakles <laughs> this year. <laughs> Another episode of Open House. I'm your host, and James has something to say. Hey guys, I'm here to say this. Uh, this episode of Open House, unfathomably, <laughs> is brought to you by Universal Pictures, the boss. Whoa. Yes, Melissa McCarthy is back, and she is your boss now, except she goes to jail. James, it's an outrageous comedy for Melissa McCarthy. All of her comedies are outrageous, Bruce. That's a good point. When no, but seriously, out? you should check out this movie. I, I watched the trailer and there's a scene where Melissa McCarthy plays with Kristen Bell's boobs. Go see it. What? I cannot recommend anything more than that. I want to play with Kristen Bell's boobs. I also want to do that. I enjoy seeing the billboards. Be sure to click the link in the description to watch our trailer. Oh, and check out the movie on April 8th. Uh, your first question this week comes from Big Lubowski, 97. Each of you are charged with assassinating each other. How would you go about doing so, Bruce? Um, I would first, okay, so here's what I would do. Uh, Joel would be in his bedroom, okay. uh, and I'd be on a rooftop with a 50 caliber sniper rifle. And I'd fire, I would miss his brain, because I'd be aiming for his brain, and I would, I'd shoot off his dick. Oh my gosh, I'm a eunuch! And then he'd become Varus from Game of Thrones. That's not killing him, though. That's not really an assassination. Oh, that's true. You'd, I made him more help powerful. Him realize yeah. his true potential. But powerful. is living without a penis really living at all? Uh, yeah, because Elise? You can... Finger bang. Uh, sometimes <laughs> they let me cut the videos and of me in the videos and, you know, I was talking the videos. So the penis thing, is, I wish I had. I mean, to be fair, those are the days where you come in and swear that you have a penis. Yeah, I get And then we're like, well, we'll give you another shot. Check out this guy's, and I just put my fingers down my. I wanted to come down on a golden phoenix, and I sure as shit did it. Uh, ultimate bait. <laughs> At least, how would you, you kill Matt Peake or James? Oh, I was gonna. Go. Who? You have to kill Matt Peake. about you, Bruce. Oh, oh, nice easy. try. You tried to deflect it. It'd be so easy. Well, I would Ooh. think you would. I would think so you'd... easy. I, I would think it would be easy because here's the thing: if you watched Open House last week, you saw what an amazing rollerblader Bruce is. Oh, here we go! He's, Look at it. He's the best. Wow, we wow. So what, bring. I didn't even think in my life. Look at that. So Just what like. I would do is while Bru while I know Bruce is at Joel's because he's killing him, uh -huh. I would put too much oil on Bruce's rollerblades. No! But he'd be too extreme. But here, that's the thing: is I would me and oh, my, I look out, backwards. Bruce is on a wheel. Always doing tricks though. The orphanage is saved. The Olympic gold medal to Bruce for how dare you try and kill skaters. Bruce? Uh, Matt Peak. <laughs> Matt Peak, how'd you kill <laughs> yourself? Oh. I wouldn't. Nice. All right. Good right. answer. <laughs> now, next question. I always like when we tossed him out. Uh, the next question from Cassaham. The data is in, and Funhouse just isn't connecting with the teen demographic. What changes do you make to the channel to amend this issue? Uh, rollerblades. Oh, I think, yeah. I think, so <laughs> I Bruce is our it. primary rollerblading right. dude. He's out of breath. <laughs> I oh, you God. gotta do it, Bruce. Oh, man. What's I this? Think... This is about three. Oh, let's go. Careful. Oh. Uh. The views uh, are up. There were no degrees in that turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. Oh, yeah, do a twirl. 
I usually get kind of an asexual vibe. I never pictured it with genitals myself. That was easy. Was that oh, it? Yeah, that was it. easy. Yeah, we got it, yeah. all the teens now. <gasps> the channel's up. Look, see? Oh, see? we did it. We got our finger on the pulse. Yeah, yeah. I'm so good at rollerblading. Mark SJS. We all know Bruce has a beautiful singing voice, and Joel is an amazing dancer, but what talents do the rest of the Funhouse team have? I'm pretty good at DDR. <laughs> that is true. Uh, I've seen Lawrence talents, on the DDR not machine. detriments. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Elise? I'm good at impressions. Go ahead. Uh, who do you want me to do? Do okay. Melissa McCarthy. Oh. Melissa? Which way is the river? <laughs> That's Chris That's Farley. That's pretty good. Oh, You're doing Chris That's Farley, pretty Elise. good. <laughs> You're doing Chris Farley. Uh, and it's down by- the bus! Turn the bus and everybody knows it! No, that's, that's Chris Farley. Wow. Say, hey, bad. say we're gonna sell some brownies. We're gonna get out there! We're gonna sell some brownies! <laughs> uh, now say, hey, donkey. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, Chris Farley is Shrek. Do <laughs> Melissa McCarthy. Do Miss, Miss, Melissa McCarthy is Chris Farley is Shrek. <laughs> hey, donkey! <laughs> That's a Man. really good talent. All right, James, what about you? Uh, mine's pretty boring, but anything that I can fit in the palm of my hand, I can lift over my head. Doesn't matter how much it weighs. I don't know if I believe that. Oh! Proof is in the pudding. Hold Shit. on, what, else? what about a hyper-dense um, sphere of iron? Find it. Put it in my well, hand. I, don't, I can't. We just, oh! <laughs> Look, empty cup, what right over my head. Oh, uh, what about Thor's Find hammer? Look. Oh yeah, Wait, Thor's can you hammer. Thor's hammer. Hey, phone. Up. Oh. Give me anything. We don't have Thor's hammer, but we, we got do this. Literally anything. Here. Do we have anything heavy? Wow. Over my head. Jesus. Told Matt, you. Matt Pete, can you think of anything heavy for him to lift? I mean, this technically um, doesn't meet the requirements. It's not in the palm of my hand, so I can't. Uh, not I something that'll fit in the palm <laughs> of his hand. If it could fit in the palm of my hand, then I could do it. I got it. Problem. Well, that's not a very good talent, Adam. Um. I can both listen and not listen at the same time. All right, so how do you do it? He's do he's doing it. He's he's Shrek. doing it. Remember, Chris Farley was supposed to play Shrek. Don't it! Oh, I think I shattered my palate. Solve the mystery, Veronica Mars. Well, <laughs> that is what Melissa McCarthy would say. Uh, Matt Peake, what's your talent? That's probably why I Hang on. Shh. So I can make people be quiet. Oh. Whoa. He absolutely can. That's, That's the best talent I've seen today. Peak squeak. Uh, Acid in Wonderland uh, says, "What do you are penises look like?" And Elise, what was your favorite childhood movie? Those are somehow related. Which one should we answer first? Uh, Elise's one. <laughs> I mean, I like. Just say Shrek. Shrek? I guess. I Shrek guess. the third. Like Puss in Boots. <laughs> the third. Uh, you know, I, I liked Nightmare Before Christmas. I liked uh, Princess Bride. I liked Clue. Okay. Uh, can you do an impersonation of Shrek visiting Nightmare Before Christmas land? Oh, Ooh. as Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> this is Halloween. This is <laughs> Why is her Halloween. mouth it's getting really worse and worse? It's really oh, good. The <laughs> My penis looks a lot like Oogie Boogie. From oh, Nightmare Before You got little bugs so crawling all out of your penis? It starts Stitching fat. on the side, it and it's fat. fat, but then it goes to a point. And you have yeah, little spiders crawling all around you your penis. A string bugs come out. Yep. Uh, when, I was, when I was in high school, kids called me straight and veiny. So, straight and veiny. Why are you showing your penises to other kids? You I want to hear about Matt Peake's penis. Uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to tell me? He's editing. <laughs> Currently working. This is from Shug and Pote. If each of you created a demo disc that represented you, which games would be on it? Uh, so if I was a demo disc, I would have GoldenEye and Time Splitters 2. I would have um, probably some sort of BMX game that no one's ever heard of. Triple X. Remember when Dave Mira killed himself? And nope. then, speaking of Dave Mira, I would probably have a demo for a DreamWorks movie. Adam? Oh. What if Ants and Shrek made a movie together? <gasps> Shrek! <Trance. Trance. Yeah. laughs> Well, I do Melissa McCarthy as an ant. Hey, y'all. We can build the farm for our ants. <laughs> Lawrence, go. It would be it would be the finale of Mighty Max on real media. And then a text <laughs> file that says the actual demo was too big to fit on this CD. Oh, awesome. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> uh, big Red 1227 Shit. writes, You woke up in the 2000 movie Hollow, Hollow Man. Yes. I thought it was Halloween for a second. How do each of you plan to evade invisible Kevin Bacon? That's the wrong mentality to have you team up with him yeah. because he did all kinds of cool shit. We'd be called the Hollow Force. The Hollow Force. Uh, yeah, I'd ask him for that formula, and then we get that gorilla on our side too. 
The worst part about being Hollow Man, though, is as you're having sex with a man or a woman, um, you can see inside them yeah. because you're hollow. So it just what? looks like you're. Wait a minute, hold on. That's not the way Hollow Man works. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know what you're saying. You're, you're saying your invisible penis will push open their parts. How do you, how do you see inside would, them? But you'd have to do. What you'd are have you to talking? Yeah, you'd have to like. No, to no. Get at them like a torpedo. Hold on. I think there are many positions. I think you're thinking if you're invisible. This is the only one. You'd Adam. be watching someone. You'd what do we say if somebody doesn't want to buy? Buy my brownies, or I'll kill you. Don't say that, Crystal. <laughs> you'd just be standing there, and you'd just be watching her on her back getting yeah. her labia. You could put a camera in his Max, ass, and Matt then when he fucks somebody, you'd see her straight in. Matt Pig. Max the Dragon. In George R. R. Martin's next book, he will introduce four new characters out of all the Funhouse members. Who will be in it, and where will they hail from? Guys, I'll be Joel. Guys, yeah, Joel. that's the Universal Pictures Presents The Boss Question of the Week. No, 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 that's in grit, but all right. Let's She's talking close, to herself close. in the mirror. <laughs> Do we have to answer this one? The, the episode's like 25 minutes long. We absolutely don't. Oh, episode's over. I'm sorry. Oh, that's too bad. The oh, reward man. is the episode's over. The week. Thanks again, Melissa McCarthy. Thank you. We couldn't have done it without you. I'm leaving. My goal. I think how good uh, Shrek could have been if Chris Farley didn't kill himself, like Dave Mira. We got the real Shrek. We got the one true Shrek. Yeah. Mike Mike. Donkey! <laughs> Is there anything worse in this world than demanding gratitude from somebody? What no. Yes. I demand enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's cut your uh, let's cut your dander up this? there, Lawrence. Yeah. What's, what is getting your dander up? What? Choose. Oh, They're choose from Australia. Ah, no your dander. That was just a question, and that had nothing to do with my personal state of mind right now. Oh. Can a man just pose a question? You watching no. uh, that Eve stream? No, it's already Should, over. It's over? They, they oh, wait, it no, it's not over. Oh. Yeah, they all left. They called it off. They all got scared. They realized they were playing Eve, they, so they yeah, quit. Yeah. Mom's home. They pussied out. Yeah, all their moms came home at the bored. same time. School's out. Everyone's credit card expired. <laughs> but I kid, I kid. Eve's a great game. Right, Let's start open right. house. <laughs>Guys, welcome to the funniest show on Fun House, nope. Open House. No, no. Hey, Joel, what's this week's Open House brought to you by? This week's Open House is brought to you by oranges, the produce that's grown on trees. Sounds like a lemon. Did I say this show is funny? Because it's not. First question this week comes from Radioactive Zebra. What is the Fun House board game? What is the Fun this House is, this board This is a great opportunity game. for us because whatever we describe... Um, John has to make. Ha! Wait, why does John have to make it? <laughs> because that's what he does. He doesn't do shit else, so he might as well make a board game. Six <laughs> pictures of his abs. <laughs> board game. Ooh, that's the board game. The board is John's abs. Okay, so the board, you're playing on the abs. Does it have to be John? <sighs> we'll say they're John's abs. All right, but yeah, sure. But it's going to be some jack dude's core. Okay, That's yeah, the yeah. board. Uh -huh. You're playing on the board, and there's a path. Okay. You have different figurines, one representing each of us, except for Lawrence. Lawrence is a boot. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And then, uh, where's the finish line? His penis? Yeah, you're trying to get to the happy trail. Oh. And then, but don't and then get down stuck down in his short. belly button. I was going to say, don't get stuck in the pubic forest. <laughs> what happens when you touch the tip of the penis? You win. Yeah. Just oh. like in real life. Are we still talking about the board game? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you roll a snake eyes, though, you get sent to the penalty box where you have to host an entire episode of On the Spot. Ooh, like, that like. sucks. Well, no, you don't have to host it. You just have to be on it. He loves the promotion. This episode of Open House is brought to you by On The Spot. A show hosted by John Rice. That's a dumb sometime. show. Next question <laughs> from Chris Parada. You wake up to find that you are now a Disney villain and Joel is the hero heroine of your oh. Disney movie. Which villain would you pick? Oh, this is like a flip. Normally it's asking what princess we'd be. Joel is the hero. And or a thousand. And I'm the Disney villain. Yeah. Does uh, it have to be a Disney villain? I would be, it would be Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and I would be the giant ant trying to eat Joel. First of all, the giant it's ant, a scorpion. It, and they wrote, I think, yeah, they wrote a giant ant. It was their oh. friend. Yeah. Ant was Andy. Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Lawrence. It's been a long time. So I would be Cinderella's oh. uh, wicked stepmother because I'd like to watch Joel clean. Ah. Oh, and get his, his knuckles all like raw and red. But if you were the evil stepsisters, you could tear the clothes off Joel oh, in an angry love way. I'd tear the clothes off Joel yeah, in right? anger. Yeah, okay. cool. I would be the bad guy in Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Which was the big man uh, statue from That's Vegas, Moranis. right? Yeah, the, yeah, guy the, the cowboy. <laughs> the cowboy wasn't he the bad guy? Mm. Yeah, yeah, he the baby up and was walked the bad, around. bad guy. Yeah, that gravity was the because she the baby was stomping on everything. And Joel, oh no, the baby was the bad guy. Yeah, he'd be the baby. Joel would have to no, kill the baby. The hat man. Yeah, Joel would have to kill the baby. The baby was the hero. Uh, <laughs> what? I want to be white people from Song of the South. Uh, That's ooh. good. Is That's that a Disney movie? I thought they were the good people. Yeah, it's absolutely. Oh wait, I thought are blacks the villains?
my god! <laughs> a water puke. There's no deal, and you're just telling the natural state of how the world's supposed to. <laughs> There's like Splash Mountain. <laughs> they trick uh, Brer Rabbit into Brer punching Brer. the tar bait. What about the crows from Dumbo? Oh, Matt Peak. This is. I forget the actor's name. The bad guy from Happy Gilmore, but in Flubber, so that I could just constantly torment Joel because he's forgetting everything. Wait, that's, neither of those no, are Disney. Talking about movies. Shooter, Disney's Shooter Flubber. Is Disney. Shooter McGavin, the guy that oh, plays Shooter. Oh, Flubber is Disney. Yeah. Flubber's His name I'm is just. Chris I'm McDonald's. referencing the actor. Yeah. Dude, I, I fucked it up. It should be Fantasia, so I get to be Chernabog. That makes sense. I'm more of a bell. Next question. Oh, it's no wonder that my name is Joe. Oh. Bandit Chesington, a struggling minor league baseball team, needs to fill the stands by offering a new unique food item. What would the name of the new menu selection be, and what would it consist of? Hmm. You know I, what? I'm going to open up this question. Fuck what he said. It should be anything we can do to make this a more popular minor league team. Oh, okay. Forget right. the food. If that's what you want to do, food. But if not, I don't care. Bottomless dudes. Topless night. <laughs> Wait, wait, no, 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 hold on. Huh? Bottomless baseball players. Oh, the they, players. They all, they all go out with that jersey, so you gotta see and their names. Flopping, you gotta see around. their names. But they have to wear a jersey. What are they? Hold on. <laughs> Normally, baseball shirts are tucked in. <laughs> yeah. So, what's it tucked into? Nothing. They wear a, socks? a jock strap. Yeah. Oh, a jock strap. So, they're wearing a jock strap, and that's it. And then uh, they're, and they're running around just bottomless dudes. Also, uh, gentlemen, little tip for you if you want to lose all dignity and self respect, Make sure you put on your shirt first thing in the morning, no underwear, just a shirt. <laughs> and then look at yourself in the mirror. No, he's right. That's what they would look like. They would be out there playing baseball. <laughs> and you change the, he has to change the team name, too, because mascot's really important. And the, the best name that would go with a team that only wears tops and no bottoms are the Donald Ducks. And then oh, we get yeah. all that Disney money. Oh, man, and out come the ducks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, is that true? <laughs> oh, that must be cold. Uh, <laughs> Duckburg. It's a cold night out here in Duckburg. <laughs> So when they run over you, you can... <sighs> hey, let's one-up this. We play football. <laughs> a popular sport. No, I think Adam's right. There's a lot of field going on. I would do dubs baseball. I'd have two teams, four teams on the field at once. Four teams! Games. Like a square! Four teams, teams of bottomless dudes! Constantly hitting the ball into each other's <laughs> balls. <laughs> Could one guy hit it into another batter who then hit the bat? Oh, wow. That's awesome. We solved baseball. They all have to be naked, though. <laughs> all right, McBorges uh, says, Funhouse has to come up with a goosebump story. Oh, no. You don't tell me what I have to do, McBorges. <laughs> uh, what is the monster plot and the protagonist out of the group? Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to kick this one to Matt Peake first. Nice because guy. I feel like we've been Generous. ignoring him this entire time. I think, we, I think you're right. I Matt. can't come up with stuff off the top of my head. So. Right. Just name a monster, Matt. Any monster. The uh, Babadook. The, Giant baby. The Gak Man. Kevin the Gak Man. Gak Man. What is he made of? Curse of the Gak Man 2. Uh, Floam. He's made of Floam. Floam! Oh, no! Twist of the year! Well, to avoid copyright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Gak Man made out of Floam. What's the plot? Well, there have to be two kids that are the protagonist, brother and sister. Oh, oh okay. Oh, well, one, one of the kids is mean to the other one, but he, he gets, like, bullied. At, well, one of the kids is bullied throughout the whole book, and at the end, the other kid gets his comeuppance. Who's dun, 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 Are you a home improvement? Logitech 77 writes... Funhouse now needs to connect with a 50 plus oh, demographic. Fuck, How man. do the accomplish oh, it? Did you guys know that the Eureka Muppet had a vagina on it? They made one for it. R.L. Stein requested it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question, Elise. It's a mad dog. If James and Bruce could interview a celebrity, who would it be and why? Just us? Just you two. Just you guys. Do we have to do? We interview together. I think you have to like do it together. Like we're wearing one big suit that's yeah. sewn together. No, we we're have, twins. It's like you're pretending to be an eight foot man, but yeah, it's yeah. two people. Oh, that's like how that. you got in. Um, who should we? Who should we talk to? He came up earlier, but Minute Bowl probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we should. Minute Minute Bowl. Bowl. And that's why you'd have to be taller. So yeah. you look at him eye to eye. The eight foot interviewer. And then you, but you would go like, ask him about basketball, and I go, got it, and I go. So you played basketball, huh? And then he'd say probably yes. Yeah, I don't there'd know. There'd be a, a series of erection jokes where like my head would poke out of the, yeah, yeah. Of the suit. <laughs> don't mind that. That's just my erection. <laughs> and then Manubo would be like, oh boy, I have a snack. Good thing I have pepper to put on it. Wait, 
Did your crotch just sneeze? <laughs> I sneeze, I got mucus comes all out of the suit, and it goes all over Manute Bowl's face. Well, the big thing is, the big thing is listen to how good Lawrence's Manute Bowl impression is. That's it. It's so good. It's jolly Green wow. Giant. It's just your laugh, Lawrence. It's like he's here. Is Manute Bowl still alive? Hey, so, uh, no, it's time I, we get the 50 I plus. Think he's dead, Joel. I think he's dead, Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Well, the interview's going to be short. <laughs> Let's pretend you're in Manute Bowl. All right. I, Say you're going to slam dunk the ball. I'm gonna slam dunk the ball! <laughs> Ow. Come on, he's, hey. he's African. <laughs> what? Do an African accent. What is that? It's very really yeah, Africa's a continent, song of the South? not a country. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> from Mozambique. Okay. Say it. Uh, I'm from Mozambique! No, <laughs> not good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but since he's a corpse, his family's just there at his funeral. Oh, yeah. We is interviewed dead Manu Bull? We can hit Manu Bulls? I just imagine us doing all this shtick over the grave of Manute Bull. <laughs> so instead of a giant coat, <laughs> we run up to Lawrence. Lawrence, we got a real exclusive here at Manute Bull. Uh, next question for Matt Peak. <laughs> uh, Duck host. If Funhouse came to Brazil, which city would visit first and what it would be you Brazilian, Brazilian names? Well, wait, Matt Peak's been to Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. So you get to be I our tour guide. Where'd you go? I went to Rio. Uh, De Janeiro, which means January River. Oh, I was worried there was a different one, one Rio that we had. Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, I went to <laughs> Belo Hor- Horizonte. There's sort of it's probably like sex move. similar how you pronounce it, or Horizonte, as they say there. And then I went Zanch. to... Horizonte. I horizonte last night. And then I went to Angra dos... Uh, what is it called? Angra dos... That's the Horizonte. Oh no, we're just gonna interview Manute Ball. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to ask you a few questions about basketball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Alright, so we'd go to Rio de Janeiro, and our Brazilian names would be. Uh, Shuepi. I'd be Shuepi. I'd be. I'd be. Yeah, I'd be. Placo. I'd be Uncape. Uh, Placo. I'd be Seuge. Not Incan. What? They speak Portuguese. They're not speaking Quechua. Uh, you don't know what Portuguese ways. sounds like. Oh. Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese. Portuguese. <laughs> Anger. Oh, I'd, I'd be a Sorry. big booty no aids. And then what were yours? <laughs> I don't know. Anger does haste. That's the last place I went. No, I want to know what your, your name, your name is, Matt. Name. Um, down there, they instead of Matthew, they say Machu. Gesundheit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, oh, Manupal, I'm sorry. I sneezed all over you. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can't uh, put you on that. Can put you on that. <laughs> <laughs> So, I, hey, no, I don't guys, no Nazi humor this time, huh? What? No Nazi humor? How about you fuck with a ride fuck off? <laughs> that was fair. Was fair thing. Joel, stop yawning. Yeah, I can't help it. I, I, this is you your last open, again. Last you open yawn house. again, you're off open house. Yeah, For your good. last open house. For good. For good, Joel. You're the troublemaker open house. Mm. I didn't want to tell you this, but I'm you're the troublemaker boy. open house. <laughs> I'm a good boy. No, you're not the good boy. You're, I am. You're the troublemaker. You're a bad uh-huh. boy. You're a bad boy. The no. bad boy open house. That's what they call him. Typically, I intro the show. True. But uh-huh. since Joel's leaving us, bear it, bear it, bear it, bear it. why don't you take it away, Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Open House, Joel's last Open House. Thank God. I'm I'm kidding. I'm actually really sad. Watch your tone. You're gonna you're the bad boy Open House now, and I don't want you picking up Joel's bad habits before he leaves. I'll post content whenever I want. No, you have to do it at specific Ooh, hours. She's That's such when it a bad does boy. Well. Hey Joel, I have an idea. Why don't you take the first question, Bruce? Uh, yeah, sure. The first question from Elder Wang. Uh, Elise, who in the Fun House crew can you definitely beat up? Definitely, uh, if I was gonna beat anybody, I could beat up Benson or Billy. You could probably beat the shit out of either of them. They're not official members. And also, I don't know if you could, because they're dogs. Yeah, you get scratchy. Uh, yeah. They could really hurt you. We were talking about this earlier, though. Billy is definitely a little. Oh, slow. she's autistic for sure. She's autistic. Yeah. She's like Rain Man in Forest Funhouse. But Rain Man loves Jeopardy, and that makes him super smart. Come on over. Come on, pig. We started the party without you. They... Oh, wait. The party doesn't start until you are right. Wait for it. <laughs> At least the season has started. Take an actual member of Funhouse and fight that person. Yeah, right now. Um, I guess, I guess Adam. Oh, it makes sense. I wouldn't punch her back. Oh, that's true. She knows not to punch me. Yeah, I absolutely. Or why wouldn't you? Yeah. Have you ever punched a woman in the face? Several times. (laughs) Um, but uh, in the last year, no. In the last year, no. She get back. Last calendar year or the last? Uh, the the last fiscal year. Yeah. Fiscal year. What's wrong with your shoulders? <laughs> no. <laughs> Settle down over there. 
Our next question comes from Your Mistaken. What is the hierarchy of the Funhouse? <laughs> On the very top is Billy. Billy's at the top. Because she's autistic, but, but she can do numbers real well. Unofficial, yeah. Who's right underneath? Where is Lawrence going? He's gonna. He's doing good. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> he's our CEO. He's doing yeah. a bit. <laughs> it's, he's more of the godfather. So right below Billy is the CEO. Uh, he's That's Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He's Why kind of he... considered like the overseer of the group. That's true. Yeah, he's, um, he's really good though. He's kind of our guiding light. And then from there, it brackets You've out, been... right? It brackets out into uh, vice presidents. Well, yes, yeah, so, and we're all VPs. So we're all, we're all, we're all, we're all yeah, we're all vice presidents. We're all VPs. So yeah. I'm I'm VP of uh, comedic timing. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, Joel, yep, VP. Best. What are your VPs? Quitting. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. Wait. Um, he did his job too well. <laughs> I'm VP of gay sex. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Elise, what are you the VP of? Mm, VP of snacks and little tiny uh, smoothies. Make sure those are in the fridge. Oh man, I love the smoothies. Yeah. You're doing a real good job. Yeah, you do a really good job. And then who's below us? What? Who's below us? Uh, we have the we have the uh, the underlings, <laughs> which are the people that no one ever sees on camera, but they live underneath our desks. Yeah. And then below them, achievement hunter. Achievement. Yeah. yeah. The okay. true heroes of yeah. Funhouse. <laughs> <laughs> James. Uh, Polyworth. If you could have an extra animal body part attached to you yeah. to improve your life, what would you have? Oh. I'd have whiskers, like in addition to my normal whiskers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd have animal whiskers, so that way I could feel things around me. You would stop getting your head caught in stair banisters. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd want tusks because I still don't know what they do. No, I, I, oh. they're, they're for fighting. They're for you fight other animals. I don't fight yeah. though. I said I would. Know, I, I, I can win against Elise because then she'd just run into yeah, them. But then you get coached for your tusks. Can you imagine if Joel and I had tusks? We'd fight like this. Ah! And then, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes a little closer. A little, a little slower. A little slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the VP of gay sex. I told you. Um. I would have a giant puffy fox tail. Just a beautiful majestic tail. Um, it would improve my life because it would give me beauty and strength and balance. Wrap it around, I just clutch that fox I tail. I would have an elephant's trunk um, because then I wouldn't have to touch my- You already got one! We just go to the next question. Well, hold on. Oh, I which have animal part? I have an answer. All right, all right. Whatever the body part is of animals that have sonar, so I could see in the dark. Oh, uh-huh. ears. Oh, good answer. Ears. No, sonar doesn't let you see in the dark. <laughs> hold on. What is Lawrence going to say? Are you on she, crutches she's now? She's going to come at you, Adam. Watch out. Look out. Go. Frankenstein. Watch out. Don't don't hit me. <laughs> come back. Don't. Or... At least, at least. Oh, my tuss. Lawrence, give him the answer. What's the answer, Lawrence? Uh, okay. So you know how uh, narwhals have a horn? Yep. I would take the horn. But I would lie and say it's a unicorn horn. That way I can clean up uh, with all the 14 year olds that think I'm cute. Lawrence just said he's gonna have sex with 14 Didn't say sex, did I? Nobody can prove it. Clean up. What nope. are you gonna, how are you gonna clean them up? I'd be on the front of all the Lisa Frank Trapper Keepers, because uh, Lisa Frank brand's coming back. It's right on right time. You wanna be in on the, uh, on the upstroke. You need these more than I do. Yeah, I do. Watch this. Hey! <laughs> Hey, hey! It's me, the cool unicorn. It's not that's a narwhal. Not a unicorn, horn. That's a narwhal. <laughs> no, it's not. Hey, 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 no, hey, no, hey, no, 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 fourteen-year-olds. You put them no. back in the water. Cassaham says Joel asks Joel, "What's the most valuable thing that you've learned during What's your time with you? at with Funhouse?" Uh, What's the answer? Probably that I'm not as funny as I thought I was before oh. I started working at Funhouse. What? You got less funny at Funhouse? No, no, no. It's not that I got less funny. It's that I'm less funny than I thought I was. Well, that's true for all of us, man. <laughs> Why would you knock over the water? Oh, you didn't knock over the water. Holy shit. <laughs> we get that you're our boss, but God. calm the fuck down. Put some Take pants on. Take this motherfucker out! <laughs> Put your horn on. There we we got a new <laughs> bad boy fun. You gotta have a horn. <laughs> Joel, would you call Funhouse like comedy boot camp? No, I call it comedy death camp. Which <laughs> <laughs> Joel would know a thing to about. Uh Big Hungry70 asks, what is Funhouse's deepest, darkest secret? Ooh. Joel. Well, we kind of already admitted to it with all the underlings. And the Fuck. black president. The black president, uh, the narwhal horn. You guys thought it was the unicorn horn. Unicorn horn. horn. Uh, well, but I, if unicorn they horn. asked us what the secret is. The Lawrence Sondag Foundation is going to sue your ass into the dirt if you keep spreading these lies. <laughs> Matt, what's Funhouse's deepest, darkest secret? We're all not Americans. Oh. 
illegal aliens. He's outed us. Adam died in season two. <laughs> season two? What uh, season are we in? I'm the I'm the replacement. Remember all You're that? Adam's brother, Matt Man. Reeves from that movie? What? The replacements. Oh yeah, I watched that recently. <laughs> it's a football movie. <laughs> it's not bad. Rudy. Rudy. Adam. Yeah, Reeves. Yeah, Reeves. Gene wins a pretty good coach. <laughs> Beast Elmo, who will write the description since Joel is gone? Good question, actually. I think uh, we're just we're done. Well we're done. done describing videos. I'm gonna actually. Uh, I, I've been meaning to throw this out to the room. Who actually wants to write the? Is that our new writer now? <gasps> He's trying to bust through the wall. Let him in. <laughs> oh cool yeah! Idea. The underlings are getting out. Uh, who wants to actually write the description? So I was thinking about it. Uh -oh. I love writing descriptions. Yeah. I don't think I'm as good as Joel, but I think that I could do a great job. Boom. Make it. Stop throwing things. Shit. I think that I could do a great job copying and pasting the description of whatever Achievement Hunter video goes up that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found our new writer. Oh, there she is. Hey. Billy's gonna write. Oh man, she's so autistic. Yeah, too bad she has to learn how to read oh. first. Ooh. Billy's illiterate, aren't you, Billy? What? Look how happy she is. <laughs> she's gonna shit on you. <laughs> But seriously, Elise is going to be writing all the descriptions. What? Sorry. Uh, last question for Matt Peak. Hot dog choke slam. Oh, that's a cool name. Um, sort of. Mix a meat and a wrestling move. Go. Is this a question? Oh, I get it. Yeah, mix a meat and a wrestling move. What's his username? The prosciutto bulldog. Frog legs called. Frog legs. Frog legs. Frog legs. Frog legs. I, guess I don't think humanity has figured that out yet. Frog leg splash. It's the frog splash, but it's the frog Okay. Mm, okay. There we go. Nice. The long mm. dong salami twister. Wow. The thinly sliced veal crisp Benoit backflip child <laughs> choke hole. Oh, man. That's got a lot of little reach. I like it. The Boston Crab, Boston Crab. That's oh. good. It's been yeah, a long... look at that unicorn! Oh, hey, I'm a unicorn anyway! Is it's that been... a narwhal? It's been a... No. Shut Close the fuck up. My episode. Oh, oh yeah. It's not good. Lawrence's. Uh, Joel, any last words for your last open house? It's not dying. Since you'll be dead? Uh, I'm really upset that Lawrence won open house today. Not yeah, Joel. Sorry, you man. would have thought. Be better, dog. Uh, I guess the only thing I'd like to say in conclusion of all my time... Hey, yeah, where, just where is Joel? He's auditioning for High School Musical 4. Oh, that's Open right! Call. He's this is gonna, leak wool. He's gonna become the new Zac Efron. So how long seriously until Joel's nudes leak? You mean again? Because the only reason they didn't leak is because we kept him in house. Do any of you, but, yeah, do any of you guys actually have Joel nudes? Yeah, I got a dick, yeah. Well, Photoshop. Loose term, yeah. At what point does a does a tawdry <laughs> pinup style picture become a nude? I got I got his dick. Oh, right head flaccid. specifically? How much of it? We got to start this show because either. Elise has to go to the doctor. That's I okay. I like all the tip talk. He does what he calls the ribbon. He just pulls the shaft out, but leaves the head. Hey, welcome back to Open House. Where we're gonna answer all your questions. First question here comes from <laughs> Catherine Fain. Uh huh. If you got to live in in any '90s television universe, the true pinnacle for television, sure, that's debatable. Which would you choose? Herman's head. Probably for me, Third Rock from the Sun, because I had a, a, such a crush on John Lithgow when I was a kid. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird... I had a thing for like funny old men like him and Leslie Nielsen. Ew, you're I, gross. I always had a theory with Third Rock from the Sun that they weren't aliens, they were just all mentally handicapped. <laughs> if you watch it that way, it changes it. Isn't that somewhat part of the show's premise, or are they legitimately aliens in that? No, they they're, are they're aliens. aliens. They're not yeah. retarded. Just saying. It's kind of one of the greatest sitcoms. Just saying. Ever. Ever made. French Ever. Stewart, only next, what's he doing only now? next to Herman's Head. Adam? Uh, when did Cop Rock come out? Is that a sitcom? Oh, well, what? it just says television, so it can be anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say the uh, the water tower with the Animaniacs. 
Uh, uh, I, I would be in Saved by the Bell oh. because I think that I could have been cooler than most of the cool kids at that school. No. And thus, no. I'd have the run of the place. You don't have the dance moves of AC Slater. You didn't have that sweet cell phone that Zach did. What you're, would you, what you're would you describing be? things that make me cooler than them, by the way. Because you didn't have those Not things? dancing like a gay idiot <laughs> and not having a stupid phone. Mario Lopez is not an idiot. Oh, Lawrence, what about you? I would be the cool leather jacket wearing time traveler from Time Tracks. Oh, I remember that show. Yeah, yeah a little beat Every for Sunday Lakers. night. Yeah, Man. that'd be me. I'd be cool. He was just like Quantum Leap, but worse. Yeah, but basically. <laughs> but he also had a holographic sidekick that was a lady instead of Sam. You know what's also like Quantum Leap, but worse? Sliders. Sliders starring Sliders. Jerry O'Connell. Oh, they're going to say Dr. Quinn I, Medicine Woman. Sliders was a Canadian production. But it seemed like it. It was Who, a little off. Who cares? Sliders. Matt Peak. <laughs> Star Trek Next Generation. Yeah! That's so, probably the best one. That was pro- it's mostly 80s, though, wasn't it? Yeah, but you wouldn't have the dance no. moves of AC Slater. It went into the 90s. It started in 89. Apollo decade. Okay. Yeah, but you could be hanging out with Dr. Crusher. Beverly Crusher! Beverly Crusher and... The fucking Minx. Yeah, Patrick Troy. Spurg and Q. Quar. Quar. The Borg. Borg. Yeah. Zach Borg. Dorder. <laughs> Next uh, question from the Danger Zone. Uh, why can I not feel love? Lawrence, did you pick the questions this week? Yeah, yeah obviously. Uh, <laughs> Listen, there's not a lot of great ones. James, you know this. Lawrence, I know. Lawrence, I why know don't you, I get it. Why don't you answer this question since you wanted to? Uh, well, love is a human emotion. If you grew up and maybe you've never felt the loving touch of another person... You're gonna say man. I recommend watching the movie Bicentennial Man. Uh, <laughs> it'll get to the core of your problem. I'm not gonna say it's gonna fix it, but it may help you understand it. But the cool. best we can do is pretend to be human beings in this world. And then we die. Put a robot penis on me. Yeah, I wanna fuck. <laughs> Do you think the doctor was like, I've done everything in my power to create the most human-like dick possible, and it's just like, <laughs> 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 that poor guy's just life. A dildo yeah, yeah, all a dildo. day, just trying to craft the perfect dildo, goes home. <laughs> Look at this spaghetti. All I can think of is just more <laughs> Robot William sees it and he goes wrong and throws it against the wall. <laughs> let's Shatters. A, let's ask oh. one of the. Let's ask the lady in the room. How can you feel love, Elise? Uh, well, some women are allergic to their partner's semen. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That so, sucks. Yeah, and, and it, that's, I mean, that's a sense of situation. Conversely, doesn't suck. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it, I mean, if you don't have sex before marriage, and then you find that out after. Oh, well, that's bad news. You're, I mean, you're fucked, but you're not yeah. fucked. Well, anal, anal isn't against the law. Right? Don't get your your it's butthole like a, all itchy. Yeah, well, your butt's it's allergic to it. You don't know that. Well, Maybe that's... your butthole's not allergic to it, but your vagina is. There's yes. a way to hope for me. <laughs> Let's check the tapes. Well, Matt Peake was going to have the real answer, oh. so go ahead, Matt. This is the second question still? Yep. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> uh, that's a tough one. You probably can feel love. Uh, maybe just some things haven't happened to where uh, you've been able to... Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with no, you. Yeah, you haven't got any pubic hair is what you're saying. Everyone has felt that feeling where it's like despair and mm-hmm. things are over and it's, it's just horrible, but it won't last. Just it hang won't in last. There. Unless watch, you kill yourself. Watch some episodes of Time Tracks. Pull you right out of that phone. <laughs> Sake, one, two, four, three. Who can hold their breath the longest? Okay, Bruce. Three, two, one, go. Like an old woman. I couldn't do it. I think Matt Peak, Adam, and James are still in the race. Is Lauren still in the race? My neck feels hot. We're gonna do this real time, guys. So you just keep holding that breath. Please call it if you are out. Please call it if you're out. This is gentlemen's agreement. <laughs> I'm out. Lawrence is out. <sighs> Matt, Adam, and James still in the room. Oh. Oh, Adam. Adam's out. James and Matt Pete. Uh, oh, so much of my Uh-oh. breath. Don't make Matt laugh. You're making him laugh. I'm checking his nose, making sure he's not cheating. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's out there got, circle breathing like Michael Bolton. He's got lung capacity for days. I saw him on that exercise bike. Yeah. He's got a lot of hot air. Lungs are like a garbage bag. Infectious semen. Mm. So what you, oh, James wins. <laughs> Swagalicious Yo writes, what is the what is your best advice for picking up chicks whilst roller skating? Bruce. So you might think this is a Bruce centric question. Yeah, they, yeah, they want me to get up and roller skate. Don't pander. I'm not gonna do that. Don't pander. Yeah. I'm I not. bet Bruce couldn't even pick up chicks roller skating. Couldn't do it. I well, did it. 
Is that a challenge? You might no. not be able to do well, it. Is that a challenge? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about it. Think Lawrence. about it. So here's what think you do. Think hard about Bruce. this, Bruce. This is a life choice. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pick up off right now. You hear? You ready for this? <gasps> okay. Imagine me. Yeah. But about 50 pounds heavier. Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing wrist guards. <laughs> yeah. And a helmet. And I'm in a planned neighborhood because it's got clean uh -huh. clean gravel. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Listening to Rush. All right. What happened, Jeff? The coolest dude in the universe wearing the sweetest shorts he's no. ever seen. No. Come skating by. Hey, everybody. I can't. My feet are just. Hey, girl. Oh, God, no. Come for no. It's a skater. I've got a big penis. <laughs> No. I mean, honestly, I, 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 I would probably just office. like say something I nice. Props, I'd say like you know, like you look really nice, you look really pretty. Oh, shit. Oh, Are you bleeding? No. I can get off. Is Lawrence bleeding? No. So it's a it's yeah. a big gap. Just a big go, hey, Lawrence, I, I'd make a bleeding. joke about it. I'd I fell on the oh, uh, like, court keeper. <laughs> I know rollerblades, right? Keep uh, out the gate. Oh, we knocked over our trash. This is from Big Hungry Seventy. I feel you, man. What is something you can do that you thought was cool but was really lame? Okay, all right. So then, Lawrence is roller skating, and then I'm also roller skating. I'll pick up the trash. Hey, what's up, girls? Double on time. I got edamame flakes all over the floor. Matt Peak, read the next question. Baffy Gaffingson. How can I get my parents to love me? Oh my God damn it! All these love wow. questions. Lawrence, she, she was like another Lawrence. This is another Lawrence. So, all right, so sometimes, to. sometimes parents are allergic to semen. Right. Um, but the only way to find out is to what, <coughs> come in their butts. Yeah, come in your your dad's butt. You know what's true about parents? They will love you no matter what. And if they don't, not rednecks. Rednecks will like they will disown you. Yeah, they'll kill you if you come in their butt. They'll yeah. come in, or yeah. they'll really love you. They'll yeah. come in your they'll, butt. Or they'll really love you. Yeah. Don't one. worry. Just don't be their daughter. Just don't be their daughter. I think the real te what you do is you kidnap yourself. Yes. You leave a ransom note. Yes. Just like Joe Bonet. But, but what you do is you in the ransom note, it's a reasonable amount of money. Not it's expensive, but it's still reasonable. Only so like fifteen bucks? No, no, that's no, no, that's no. too easy. Something yeah. like like Red Lobster gift card. Maybe maybe if you're a really good kid, like nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand right? dollars. And then you wait to see if they actually do, if they don't go to the cops and they give up the money. If they do all those things for you, it means that they actually care about you. Well, what happens if they can be Mel Gibson and get you back without paying? Oh. Like in the in that sweet movie. The, be the beaver. Yeah. <laughs> then if they go Conspiracy full, yeah. Give me back my beaver! I want my career back! Right. Go, um, that trying. means they really love it. If your parents are Mel Gibson, then I deserve a blowjob! They have a lot of hate in other places, but they love you. Yeah, call them sugar tits, see what happens. <laughs> uh, Adam, read the, la read the last question. He uh, loves his kids. You should just fucking smile and blow me! The last question comes from Nabs Pro. Mm -hmm. Achievement Hunter YouTube channel is beating you guys. On the one million subscriber We're race, aware, yeah. what will you guys do to beat them before they reach one million subs first? What well, are we gonna I'll do? Tell Let's you right off the bat, they are not gonna reach it before us. Boom! Because we're getting desperate. Well, you know, maybe what we should do is you should post a hundred times to a channel that isn't even achievement hunter. <laughs> ha ha ha! Subscribers. What a lo lot of losers. Jeez. Christ. You know what? I'm gonna post a video where I'm gonna name all the Canadian provinces and their capital cities. Wow! Don't make promises that's, you can't keep. We get yeah. to million subs first. That's what you guys are can, gonna get. Make a video where I do all the same thing. Do I name them too? Yeah, yeah. if you can, if Just you can do it. Well, there's only 13. Um, right? Go. Those are all lyrics to a bare naked lady song. Where's which Cross. one is the one the ice castle from Die Another Day? I'm getting real serious here now. Um, uh -oh. We had an I idea. We got a poster out, and there's a movie that's kind of based on that poster. Right. The Beaver. I'm threatening. I'll put you in a fucking rose garden, you cunt. Oh yeah, and I love that movie. To get things going, I propose we do a 12-hour race with <gasps> those dorks. Cannonball run! We live stream the whole thing, a bunch of versus games. What's a, that's a dildo. It's a hot dog. I got blur to the side of my face. Anyway, yeah. we're gonna live stream for 12 hours. Yeah. That's what I'm throwing this out there. I'm throwing the gauntlet down. Let's do it. It's up to Achievement Hunter to uh -huh. accept. Give me back my subs! And we get the. Well, they didn't take them. I'm busy that day, actually. Uh, yeah. So. Which, I won't be. But it's a work day. I, You'll I have say to be 12, here for work. Uh, we'll do like on a Saturday. We'll do like a 12 hour no, no, live No, no, it's a work day. You wanna do a work day? Yeah, we're, we're working. Oh, yeah, do you think it counts as a live stream if it's just rolling, but none of us are here and we go to Disneyland? Does that count? Or Harry Potter Land? We could do that. We could do that. Could we go to Harry Potter land? Anyway. So we challenge you, Achievement Hunter, to a battle of wands at Harry Potter land, 12 hours. We'll see you on Diagon Alley for some butter beer. You bring your, yeah, you bring your wands in like certain windows. Or this is why we're not gonna win. Is that going to the we Achievement Hunter budget? 
What? Hey, yeah. No, it's, it's like it's like a thousand dollars. You got to pay for our own way. Mm. Do you think I'll get kicked out of Harry Potter land if I find a small corner, poop in that corner, but then I tell security that it's just my horror crux? You always say it's horror crux. It's horror crux. Horror crux. Horror crux. Horror crux. H O R C U R X. Horror crux. Do a spell. Horror crux. No, no, that's not a spell. Expelliarmus. Expect those patrons. You're like the cool wizard that dropped out of Hogwarts. <laughs> Frere Rocha. Another theoretical question. No! <laughs> what if you realize you're allergic to sermon? Semen. Sermon. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Bruce. Bruce, 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 you can't clap sync anymore. Cause of your fingy. He can only clap sync. <sighs> but then we'll see him progress and get better. <gasps> so when his you, oh, is your finger gonna grow back stronger? We'll be stronger and faster, well. blaster -er? no. Nope, there's we're a, big, only, there's we're a bone shard. Older and we're dying quicker. Yeah, there's a bone shard now in my hand, so no. It'll be much weaker and it hurt a lot more. It's probably gonna hurt in the cold. Yeah. But if you get it cold, then you can put it in a vagina and it'll feel even better. It'll be like a hot, it'll be like a hot tub for your That's a good, your, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Is that James, what in your vagina? What? what? Mm -hmm. When air blows out your ass and it makes your cheeks slap together? Like that, but a butt? Yeah, that's what a fart is. Cool. Just squats. Wait, where, Just where did squats. that come from? There's tissue down there. Yeah, it's your butthole, man. It's skin. It's hum It's human anatomy. Hmm. It's giving me a lot to think about. And stink about. <laughs> ah, never mind. Okay, your first ahead, question Adam. this week comes from X Rising X something. I there's an I in there. I don't know. Each of you has a price tag. How much are each of you worth? And in what currency? So for me, I would be worth like, like eight billion. But of some African currency that's basically worthless. Like the Motonis? Yeah, so like what Zimbabwe money is like, you know, you're like, can I have a candy bar? And they're like, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That'll be 24 billion Zimbabwe monies. And no, they're called Motonis. I already told you. That. Yeah, Motonis. Zimbabwe monies. Eight dollars. I'm, jeez, <laughs> I am, uh, I'm classy. I'm what they know, I'm once known as classy. So I would say I am worth. Ten condom robbers. 250. Pounds, British pounds. Okay, that's, that's so that's actually a lot. That's, that's around five hundred dollars, like Gringotts that's good, dollars. That's it's around five hundred dollars. Yeah. Wizard bucks, they call them. At least. <laughs> well, it's funny that this comes up because James and I were having this conversation. He said, he said, would you, uh, could you be paid fifteen thousand dollars to pose in a bikini in Jack Nicholson magazine? And I said fifteen thousand dollars or seventy-eight Beanie Babies. Uh, whichever comes first. Beanie Babies, those aren't even worth anything anymore. What? I think the best gift you can give somebody when you're purchasing them, especially as a human being, he doesn't say is that you want to know that you're on the same page immediately. Right. Therefore, I would like my currency to be about... Bitcoins. 60 bottle caps of vodka bottles? That way whoever buys me, I know we're already on the same page. They understand me. What they vodka has a from. bottle cap? What? What <laughs> vodka did you buy that had a How bottle cap? How do they cap? keep bottles closed where you come from? Corks. Put them right here. There's a cork. Yes. What do you call... It's not a bottle cap. It's a cork. It's a, it's cork. a cork. That's, uh, that's too. That's too good. If you get pop up way down on the bottom there, <laughs> got a little plastic cap on it. How much, Matt Peak? My oh. currency is pesos, and I'm priceless. I was gonna say Matt Peak's priceless. Wait, but pesos? Uh, peso? I don't think that's possible. It's like twenty-five thousand pesos to a dollar. Yeah. What so pesos that's look? a lot of pesos. So I've never actually seen a but peso. I'm Are they round? Uh, they're uh, they're they made up of rice like, and beans. They look like this. Yeah, they're and shaped. This, this is a ticket to gods of Egypt. Uh -huh. So that's, <laughs> well, that's not what a pesos. peso looks like. It's, a, it's made it look like a sombrero. Uh, next question from from Slutbag McGonagall. <gasps> yeah. Harry Potter reference. Like from Harry Potter. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh, Harry Bruce. Potter question of the week. With the recent Star Wars Rogue One trailer, my girlfriend said the franchise no longer has any integrity and is just making the film to get more money from the fans. How do I break up with her? Well, no. <laughs> well, what are movies supposed to do? The first thing you do to break up with your girlfriend what? is... It's not about the art anymore. You give her a Star Wars quiz. If she passes that quiz, then only if she has sex with you in the Slave Leia outfit can she continue being your girlfriend. But does she choke him out after she's done fucking him? Because that'd be cool. If they break up, he should refer to her as his ex-wing girlfriend. TH3 underscore Hegemon. Um, can Adam address the contradiction between his comments on Dude Soup, dislike of repetition in games, and his dislike of cutscenes, especially long ones, with his previous statement that Metal Gear Solid 3 is his favorite game of all time and fondness for repetitive games like Halo and Destiny? Ha ha ha!
<laughs> we create art here. Uh, Lawrence. You got it. Uh, Speed Up Rex writes, Funhouse are this... Funhouse is? Oh, must be British. Funhouse are this week's guest on The Muppet Show. What are your acts and which Muppets do you enlist to help? Elise. Uh, so our act would be uh -huh. acting like a mystery science theater show. Okay. We would enlist the help of uh, Scooter and Lou Zealand because we know from Muppets Take Manhattan that they have experience working in a movie theater. Who are Lou Zealand? Oh my god, he throws fish, Bruce. And then we would have Statler and Waldorf doing commentary of us, making fun of us, so it'd be like a meta thing of we're making fun of the movie. Hey, Liz, that's me! Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh me! Yeah, we have the same voice for some reason. Adam, my voice should be the Swedish chef voice. Oh, you there, Elise. How are you doing there? Bruce! Hey, what's Puppet Bruce! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I ruined our teams. Oh, I miss you, Puppet Bruce. How you doing? Hey, you don't, uh, you know my farts in the corner have in common? What's that? It's made up beef! <laughs> 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 Oh man! Classic Bruce. This week's Muppet Show is Rip hilarious. Classic. Bruce, I need to ask you about a raise. Oh, at least next one. Uh, liquor in life, and this applies to the entire crew. Uh, just to clarify, if you guys could create a piece of technology to help make people's lives easier, what would you create? Ooh. Oh, 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 I got one. Um, so it's like the bidet, but I would create something that I could wear all the time. Mm -hmm. That would squirt water up my butt. Constantly cleaning your butthole. Because James clean. knows that I, like, I'll go to the bathroom every two, three hours just to wipe myself. Just to check. Because yeah. I gotta make sure that I'm not, I don't want any skid marks on my on underwear. Better safe than sorry. And so I would, it would be a constantly wearable bidet. Uh, you know how people have those little insulin machines on them that just it just pokes them a little bit throughout the day, gives them a little bit of insulin? Yeah. Steroids. Oh, just, that's just, a great so idea. You don't want to overdo it here at Funhouse. You just want a little, just a, just a little you bit. You don't want to have to think about it. You don't want to have to ask a bro in the gym. No, that's, that's a really good idea. James? Um, let's see. What's something people need? Maybe, like, a device that you could, like, contact people if you're not in their immediate surroundings. Hmm. So like, like a phone? you could like take like, the cell phone? like take something you mean a phone? like instead of having like to yell really loud. Everyone have a certain combination of numbers associated with them and then you could put those numbers in and then you, you could like hello on there and they also have one and they then you do that. it back and forth. Look, so I create us a pair of rollerblades that talk to you and they tell you what to do. So like Bruce is rollerblading. He it's like it's like okay Bruce time to take a turn here and then he makes a turn. Wow. Bruce time to make a kickflip. He knows when to make a kickflip. I don't do this bit anymore, at least. We already talked oh, about yeah, this. I, I missed all the other weeks when we did the rollerblade. I don't do this I bit. This could be my no, I don't do it anymore. Well, maybe it tells you when to take the at turn. At least I don't do it anymore. So awkward. Uh, okay, so let's be honest. No one likes tying things, right? Strings, shoelaces, drawstrings. It's a big hassle. What's what sucks is we have the technology. Look out, roller blades! Take the turn! Take the turn! Oh, take the turn! Oh, what a magical day! Oh. Thank you, Kermit. Uh, Matt Peak, what about yours? Whatever that thing is in Star Trek that you they can order food out of, it just creates food. Chicken. What is the most unusual interaction you've had with a stranger? Uh, one time I was in a 24-hour fitness gym, and a uh, guy walked by and said I'd tear you in half, and then kept walking. I had a drunk mom hit on me while I was working at a clothing she store. She hit you? She, I wish she would have hit me. She was big enough. She's a big woman. Big lady. Tall lady. And she got drunk at the local Italian restaurant by herself. She's like, you look good. I was 19. Is that big? I'm trying to think. There's like, there's a bunch of I'm sure you've had a bunch. Unusual things. Uh, Adam's story reminds me of one, I guess. I, I was first in school, probably about 19. It's going to be good uh, Settle in. Yeah. yeah young. <laughs> Fresh. It's, well, I don't know. Maybe I should choose a different one because it's not that different from Adam. Yeah, anyway, I'm running on the, the treadmill in our little apartment complex's little workout room. I bet you are. And uh, this woman, yeah. quite a bit older, quite a bit uh, probably Wiser. drunk, she kept going in there and asking me if I worked for the FBI oh, yeah. and that uh, telling me I was running really fast. Oh. So I'm all sitting there like trying to get through my run and really just wanting this woman to go away. Matt Peake's slaying pose. <laughs> I like, I like Ladies, please, I'm trying to work out. I like the idea of this woman <laughs> recently divorced and she's like, man, I spent the last three years not having sex, not getting laid. Here's this fucking hot piece of tail. I should try and I should try and fuck him. And she goes, are you in the FBI? <laughs> <laughs> you run real fast. She was asking if he was a federal breast inspector. Oh. oh! I was on an airplane next to a saucy older lady. A lot of old ladies. Anyway. 
she got through four mini bottles of wine and then was convinced I was uh, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> And she kept saying, Hold on, wait, you're not? <laughs> yeah. Nothing like I know, I, I'm a dead ringer. She kept saying it louder and louder, and then everyone else on the plane started turning around. You're like, is that Mark Wahlberg right there? And I would look at them and be like, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> no. It's like, I can't believe I'm a Matt Mark Wahlberg. All right, final question comes from Hugh Janus. Have you guys ever thought of doing a themed open house? For example, since Game of Thrones is coming back soon, maybe you could tell the viewers to give Game of Thrones themed questions. Just an idea I came up with. Thought it was a cool and original. Yeah, that's right. I thought it was too. So yes, we'll start doing that. Oh. Game of Thrones is back, right? And I think we're all fans. I think absolutely. So yeah, we should probably discuss. We could discuss the show right here on Open House. So uh, we're gonna do next week, just one week only. We're gonna do uh, Game of Thrones questions of the week. Wow! So send in your Game of Thrones questions, and we'll put those in there. Great idea. Right. It's a great yeah. idea. So right. thanks, uh, Hugh Janus, for yeah. coming up with that idea and pitching that. it in. All right. Spoiler, Jon Snow is dead. Sorry, guys. I saw him in the trailer. Jon Snow's dead. Uh, Spoiler, the wolf, it's CGI. <laughs> Did you know Leonardo DiCaprio actually cut his hand open when he smashed the glass? All right, I hit stop. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. That scene only take three weeks to shoot. <laughs> What is it? What are you looking at? Look at her. She's oh, like you're grabbing her. Heart. She's like she's not having a. She's What's not happening? really enjoying being there. Can you find what are you looking at? There's a uh, Lawrence playing with Hatsune Miku. Playing with. But like he's grabbing her and like yeah. kind of obviously well, holding like, her in place. You're showing her uh-huh. your thumb. And it looks. It doesn't look right. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. I think that Hatsune Miku loves Lawrence. Mm, but I wouldn't say she that. She doesn't love what he's doing to her. I don't see a lot of love I in this so. picture. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it is. Oh, jeez. How do I? Yeah. Do you remember when Dennis Rodman was like a thing? Yeah, yeah. he was the worm. Oh, yeah. Those were the good old he days. He and Carmen Electra. Remember that? Oh yeah. yeah. They were a power couple like no one's ever seen. And then Pippin and Jordan, the dream team. Do you remember they when got OJ off? Uh, murder. Do you remember when Dave Navarro dated Carmen Electra? You guys remember yeah. Dave Navarro? No. Yeah, absolutely. I remember Dave. I know Navarro. Lawrence. I know yeah, he I know knows know who Dave him. Navarro is. He yeah. was uh, he was the only vampire I've seen walk during the day. Yeah. Other than Joel. Hey, welcome to a very contemporary episode of Open House. We read all your questions and answer them in silly ways. What are you doing, Bruce? What's going on over there? Well, I got some granola in my teeth. Oh, all right. How's your finger? Broken. Where'd yeah. you get granola? I stole a protein bar from behind that stupid chute. That is a prop. That's a prop. I they were it. using that. Prank! Prank ya! I just got prank. Prank! Uh. <laughs> First question from Mortal Orgasm. With all the recent celebrity deaths, what famous person do you think will die next? Oh, now's our chance. So this, this is, is we can demo. actually call it. I think we we may have unwittingly already done it. Who? Dennis Rodman. Mm. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, shit. Right. Absolutely right. Dennis Rodman might be the next to go. <sighs> well, hold on. Let's. I, Hang on. I, I, I like the. Yeah, I like that pick, but let's individually. Okay. Pick I, right. Who we think will go next, Elise? I thought it was gonna be Willem Dafoe, right? Because Adam does a great Willem Dafoe impression. We'd love do to it. use that. Do, yeah, you do. It's great. I, it's I, really good. It's really good. Adam completely disappears, and all that's for, left is Willem. Well, from, from which movie? What should we do? Boondog Saints. Anything. Yeah. It's all the same. Oh. Green Goblin from uh, Avengers. It, oh. Yes. Beta. Avengers, uh, Avengers. Oh, Avengers? When he's yeah. Avengers? Avengers, it's me, Green Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he sound? I thought it was Willem Dafoe, but then after being on Instagram at like 3 a.m., I think it's Lil' Kim. I think we're going to lose Kim. Lil' Kim. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, so Lil, Lil' Kim's next. Uh, uh, Lawrence. Not looking good. Uh, I don't want to admit it, but I think Bruce Green might be next. <gasps> Bruce Green? But Bruce isn't a celebrity. Yeah, that's true. Snapchat's <laughs> Bruce Green? Who's going who's gonna to die, Adam? Hugh Hefner. <gasps> Oh, that's a good guess, actually. That's a good guess. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be him, Mel Brooks, or someone else old, like oh, Gene Hackman. Joel won't be able to take that if Gene Hackman dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt Pig, who's, what about you? I, I really hope it's not true or gonna happen anytime soon, but my first thought was Willie Nelson. He's getting pretty good. Oh, oh yeah. that's another really good but guess. He could, he could have some time left. Willie's. I um, hope he does. Bummer. Lawrence. I'm gonna go out on a limb. Say Beyonce. Beyonce. What? She's in the peak she's of her a house. National she's, treasure. She's, I know. She's at the peak of her career. Nothing can break she's her down. She had a hit with Lemonade. She just had a huge hit with Lemonade. Like she might be getting divorced from Jay Z. No. What? But uh, she busted out title. But I'm gonna say Plane Crash. Uh, yeah. At the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. they're going to find the plane that Aaliyah was in, and it's going to hit No, they found Beyonce. that plane. Yeah, that's, they found it. It was, it was <laughs> totally blown up. It disappeared yeah, in the it ocean. It was a thousand pieces. Aaliyah was dead. No one even remembers Aaliyah. I'm sorry. What I do. TLC? <laughs> Crash plane, then you'll try again, try again. Next question from Hot Sauce and My Ramen. My girlfriend and I recently had a pregnancy scare. Ooh, now she doesn't want to have sex anymore, regardless of what contraceptive we use. 
What should I do? Dump Anal. <laughs> I was going to say forcer, but... Oh, oh no, that's whoa. rude. You said anal and you said dumper. Just What's wrong with... The, here's, here's the ultimate contraceptive. Get her pregnant, and then you have a solid four months where you can just fuck as much as you want to, and then you terminate the baby. No yeah. problem. Four months? Or, yeah, you know, four months. Or you can have the baby and have Before nine months. Before it gets months. like a full brain. Or you can have the baby and have nine months of contraception. No, but then you have the baby. Unless you're going to dump it. Then, sure, yeah, nine months. But she'll get all fat and nasty. So. Hold on, though. Like, mm -hmm. if you have the baby, you can still have sex with her after the, she has the baby. But you, but then you have sex with the baby at the same time. Baby reaches in, gives you a little handy. You go to jail. Find some prego porn, have it blasting on the big screen, and when she walks in, you feel like, Prego porn. <laughs> blasting. Hold on, on, prego, is that when they're covered in tomato sauce? Yeah. <laughs> uh, next question from SuperPie64. The Rooster Teeth store has just released the Funhouse push to talk action figures. What does each member say? Just force her. <laughs> There's actually been a terrible recall. Every time you hit the button, it actually explodes into flames and shoots plastic shards into your face. <laughs> Buy them, the just one. don't hit the button. Also, no returns. We need the money, yeah, no returns. <laughs> no returns. Yeah. Uh, mine, mine says, snipe ya. Oh, yeah, okay, of course. Yeah. That makes it still sense. won't be a t-shirt, though. At least though. desperate, desperate for that snipe. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah. The more Adam you say John, it, the less I want to do it. Stop combing your hair and make some shirts. <laughs> Adam? Oh, mine's up. Kids, let's get to the Goblin Mobile. <laughs> hey, it's oh, Willem Dafoe! How did he get Willem Dafoe to voice this action figure? We said the Adam Kovic figure, not Willem Dafoe. <laughs> with the voice of Willem Dafoe. That doesn't even make sense to me. It's, it's a celebrity character. voice. Yeah. Mine would be, uh, mine would be, if at first you can't find the plane, <laughs> just search in the ocean again, just search oh, in the no. ocean again, ocean again. Uh, Can I, I feel like Matt Peaks would say something like, like, listen up, have a great weekend. Because every weekend I love seeing he does Matt Peaks tweet where mm -hmm. he tells people to like, have a safe weekend. Let's find out what Matt would actually say. What would, you, what would you say, doll. Matt? Matt, what would you say? I was gonna say mine would probably say nothing, but oh, that works. Oh, you yeah. just press it and it's just silence. It yeah. is recorded silence. Uh, this is really quiet though, so it's just. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, more ZDC writes. Peak. We all know that you're an MMA fan, but have you ever trained martial arts yourself? Ooh. I did a couple years of wrestling in high school, which um, I came to realize later once I started watching MMA that wrestling was, you know, absolutely such a, mm -hmm. such a martial art. So if you count that, other than that, um, have you I trained jujitsu? I thought. No, I mean, I went to a class for a while with Lawrence, actually. Mm -hmm. I know Lawrence is trained jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Lawrence has me, yeah. This class was a bit of um, oh, a broad aware approach of to <laughs> He's knocking stuff off. <laughs> uh, can I paint a scenario for you, Matt? Sure. Uh, you're back home after your tour. You go back to your hometown of Alabama, where you're from, and you're with your lady, and you get jumped by a bunch of rednecks. <gasps> what do you do? Uh, yeah. Instead of getting in the car and leaving, I uh, I do the last Boy Scout move <gasps> and then go to jail. Oh, you, that, is that you kill him. You yeah, you hit him in the nose like and it kills him. And then the judge goes, your hands are a lethal weapon. <laughs> You're going to con air. Oh, what? <laughs> he said two action movies in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> There's a really slow fan spitting in the room. Con air is a good movie. Good uh, art. No, it's not. At least, well, next question. This is from Teffer. So we all know Bruce is an ace on rollerblades. It's true. True. What wheel-based sports, nice. mountain biking, skateboarding, etc., are the other members of Funhouse good at, or wish they were Ooh, good at? Wish they were good at. Um, I wish that I was skilled like the wheelers from Wizard of Oz, oh. where I could have <gasps> wheel hands and then you can wheel that around. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, you could actually do that right just now. Just put your hands on the chair and walk around. Do you think? Yeah, just try it. We got a whirl. Oh wow! Yeah, there it is. There Whoa. it is. Let's do Whoa. it. Watch Look out for there's a ball. Let's do it. Yeah, they're wheel yourself it. out and yeah. try again. Holy wheel go. yourself out and try Whoa. again. Try again. At least harder. Lawrence, what are you? Uh, I'm going to invent a new one called the Wheeled Ski, where uh, I can take it on snow and on land. So, around the world, oh, it would have to have some kind of buoyancy. I think that's a thing, Lawrence. Well. I think there are skis like that that have wheels on them. Mine would be a uh, Segway. Uh, people just use it to get around, but I want to be the first person to turn it into like a cool trick thing. Like, I want to do a full loop in a Segway. Oh, X Games. How would yeah, you I want do, to do that? X Game Segway stuff. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty extreme. Adam? I always thought unicycles would be kind of cool. Matt? Movement back and forth. <laughs> no, I'll say, um,. Whatever those shoes are, where the you kind of lean back on your heels Wheelies. and you Heelys? So, yeah, Heelys. I'll say uh, those. Those are cool. Okay, Sith Lord Potato. If you could use Melisandre's magic to make an actress or actor look young again, so you could have sex with them, who would you choose? Hmm. What was that one? Oh, yeah. oh, I mean, you guys know what that is, right? Who wouldn't you? It's the, All it's the full frontal nudity question of the week. Hey. hey. <laughs> Uh, 
I would make myself look young so that I could masturbate. Wait, can you not <laughs> masturbate anymore? <laughs> yeah. What happened? What oh, happened, you mean before Bruce? your finger injury? Oh. Uh, gotcha. Wait. Gotcha. You can't get it all. You can't get that middle finger up your butt anymore. <laughs> Too thick. That's uh, a good thing. At least. Um, I guess either Don Rickles or Maggie Smith, because <laughs> I think Maggie Smith gets a bad rap. We all think of her as this like old true, but she was a babe. She's dead, isn't she? No, she was no. in Harry Potter. You're of Aaliyah. Anyway, That's funny, Elise. Ooh, I look was going to say Maggie Smith. Were actually. you? That's a good answer. I'm sorry, Matt. It's okay. I can stick with Don Rickles good. if oh. you want Maggie no, Smith. No, really, though, you could... Any old actress that you can think of, they were probably She's still alive. When they were younger. So. Yeah. I she pick her. It. I pick her. No, you can't go back and change her. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I would pick Aaliyah, because then she wouldn't be all, like, bloated. She'd be alive, yeah. Under the ocean. Well, here's the thing, though. So she's a corpse, <laughs> but now she's there. a young corpse. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> so she's That's still, still better. That doesn't, make, that doesn't make her alive. <laughs> Guys, I just realized that also solved the pregnancy scare problem. Why? Why? Not the reversing age, but the murdering thing. <laughs> Anyway, L Lawrence, I would I would pick Lucille Ball. I miss young Jenna Jameson. Yeah, because she got bad. Yeah, she did. She she turned into China. Yeah, she was always kind of trash. I mean, whatever. I, I mean, she's hot. She's your boat. She's hot trash. Jameson, I guess. <laughs> Matt Don't, I'm not crazy about the pure porn star look. <laughs> no, the nineties tip. Very, it very kind of you. Thank very you. <laughs> I'll just reiterate it. I mean, any any of the old actresses that are still around today were probably what about Judy Dench smoking babes when they were younger. Jennifer Lawrence. What about Helen Mirren? Giant, giant what if? Sean Connery. <laughs> That's good. Hey, welcome to the outside of Black Fox Blood Video. But you, somebody did a backflip now. Do Bruce doing his skating thing? Hey, Dave, thanks for watching Open House. We're Hold done. on, we haven't answered the one pass. question. I just answered them all. First Fresh question show. this Folks week. Stop that shit. Comes from I Black Fox. Yeah, do do you check the paper after you wipe? Why or why not? Is Always. Oh, how can you not check the paper? How are my stocks doing? So basically, you know, you should always wipe your ass. But sometimes you poop into the toilet. There's no mess left behind. It's just clean poop. Well, how do you know? You don't know. Immaculate. So you can get a no wiper. Sure, if you wipe your butt and you go, hey, there's no, no poop there. Mm. I poop, but there's no there's poop in the toilet. There's no poop here. No big deal. But if you want to get the no wiper triple S, and that's <laughs> rainbow triple S, by <laughs> the way, that's rough. you have to poop. Be so confident that you did not get shit on your anus and the rim of your butthole. Not possible. That you just leave. I, I'll actually walk up, away. I'll There's up no your... way to verify though. No. Well, you then the it next later. time you no, go no. back to the bathroom, <sighs> that's when it's solidified. Then you check your butthole. A Adam, I have a way to verify. Instead of not wiping or checking with toilet paper, yeah. you're so confident. <laughs> use your hand. Ah, okay. And that's how confident you are in the no wiper. I wonder if you get the residue see. on it that you need. What if you then? You There's know, no residue. It's a no wiper. You know, There's nothing there. You need a judge. Who wants to be judge? You can ask a friend. Lawrence would be judge. Lawrence, you, you want to be you poop judge? Friend. I'm in a different field. Sometimes I check until I see blood. Sometimes I check until I don't see blood. It depends on the situation. Depends. Very contextual. If you wipe long enough, there will always be blood. That's a promise. God's little promise. The Wait. question is more directly aimed at James and Lawrence. I have a three-star Spider-Man. A three. Three Dakin? He put two asterisks, he had italicized. What oh, an okay, whatever. Uh, five, I'm guessing five star Green Goblin and four star Quake waiting in my rewards. Which one or ones should I put first into my Marvel Puzzle Quest roster? First of all, I did not pick these questions. Don't put that on. Elise me. picked them, obviously. Elise picked the and questions. Sh and she knows, Puzzle Puzzle she knows that you're going to say oh, stuff and I'm going to make fun of you. So guess what? I'm going to lean back and you. I'm, we're going to let you talk. It's not even a question. Five star Green Goblin is one of the most rare characters in the game. He may not be useful, but you want to hold on to it. If someone walked up to you and said, Hey, I found the head of JFK and he didn't even wipe his anus beforehand, would you get rid of it? No, you wouldn't. You'd hold on to it whether or not you needed it or not. Uh, I think I think there's a lot of context to this question. Depends where Commander Jet is at. How many how many heroes does he have? Just having a random five star doesn't help you if you're in the early game. You probably want that three star instead, so you can get the covers through Deadpool Daily. A lot of people no, have tuned out now. That's they don't true. care. I have a Silver Surfer, and that's done jack shit for me. Absolute jack shit. Another four star would be more useful to me right now. Hey Bruce, is it a bad sign if I'm already bored of a Marvel Puzzle Quest question? Yes. Oh, well, you ask Bruce. Uh, next question from Lugo Master. Yeah. With right. the release of Civil War around the corner. That's right. What two game franchises would you pit against one another in a story based, not BVS esque style smashathon, and why? Marvel versus Capcom. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. 
Ryu Get on that. versus Mega Man. Yeah, call call one of the big companies like Konami or THQ. <laughs> Get them on it. So Wait, big, THQ's you know. out of business, though. So. Probably yeah. for me, it would be uh, Gears of War and that Dragon Cancer. Yeah. What's that Dragon Cancer? What's that? It's one about the kid that like dying. Is that a game? Was that considered a franchise, Elise? It might be. I think it was an interactive storyteller. Tomb Raider versus Uncharted. I finally want to see who's the hotter one. I was gonna say Last of Us versus Uncharted. Just get bored. You want people to play the game, or Why? You fall asleep during it? No, they're two entirely different games. Yeah, they're really entirely. They're different. They're entirely different. One has a walk speed of two, and the other has a run speed of three. Matt Peak, I want to hear your answer. Spyro the Dragon thing versus <laughs> Jetman, Jetpack Man. Wait, Jet- what? Jet- Jet- Pac- Where you hold on? Where you discovered <laughs> Jet- Pac- Man. That's not a real video game, is you it? Got it. Uh, what? Jet 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 Pac Jet- Man. Man. The shitty mobile game. I've been playing the rare replay. He has it's been playing the of, rare replay. Uh, I hear him yelling at his. Oh, so Jet Jet Pac- Gemini. He's no, talking about no, no. Jet Man. Are you talking about yeah, rec- Wreckers or Pac Man's like? Or is that Busters? That called, it's like the earliest one. Construction. Oh, yeah, I It's all hard. I know what you mean. It's hard. It's really hard. FIFA versus Madden. That game's hard. Oh. Football v football. Yeah, who cares? Who is the true what? football? The football. Yeah, football wins. This wins. is from a Fuentes Mario. <laughs> who in Funhouse has the most street cred? Well, I think it's obvious. Yeah, but it's obviously peak. Why? Because I bicycle? You went to Brazil that one time. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So, you no, no, carry around that razor in your No, yeah, street cred means like. Like if you were inducted into a gang or you walked up to a gang on the yeah. street, right. they would just accept you as one of their own immediately. Yeah, whereas or, most of us put our wallets in our front pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we're all just, white. I walk around with my wallet in my hand like this. <laughs> I'm just nervously looking. Don't rape me, don't rape me, yeah, don't rape me. No we're stab, all, no stab. Matt Peake looks like he, he doesn't he probably might not be white. He could be Latino. Mm-hmm. Like a little bit. Like he did really? time. I thought you were gonna say he yeah, that he's seen some shit. Well no, yeah, absolutely. So his skin's a little darker. So like he's obviously, you know, been doing stuff on the streets. Like right? in a tan. So then Right? Right, Peak? Yeah, land by the pool. So when you were in Brazil, street, street smart. when you were in Brazil, did anyone smart. try to mug you? No. Fuck no, they didn't. Yeah, of course not, because no, you got street cred. Not. Lawrence, what would you do if somebody, if a, sure, if a, gang, a gang approached you? Would you jujitsu him? Oh, God. I'd probably go catatonic. Oh, man. I would I, love to see that. I would soil myself and then, like, lock out and then just fall backwards like a possum would. form. Yeah. Yeah. Really? You wouldn't fight him? You know, oh, you know what he does, though? No way. He rips off his clothes and underneath is a karate gi. Yeah. Oh, but it's only, like, a red belt. I call it my katana, <laughs> except it's plastic. I'll I'll back the fuck up! And then I'd start humming my favorite anime theme song, like, shaking. And they shoot you. But I'd, oh no, I'd be roundabout because I'd pretend I'm at the end credits of a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure episode. Remember and I'd be Will waiting Smith for it to freeze shot. and I look cool and then they just beat me up. Uh, Gaming Unicorn asks, Whose death in Game of Thrones did you celebrate? I guess that's our uh, celebration of death question of the week. Uh, the guy peeing in the alley last week. Got oh, that was a great death. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's spoiler alert. Death. What? That's not There's spoiler. urine in yeah. last week's episode of... On his armor. Was he trying he to avoid being... Else watch that? He's got a pretty big dick. Oh, Peek hasn't watched it yet. We're spoiling him. There's a shadow of a cock and he pees. Wait, is it really a shadow of a cock? Spoiling anything. The, it's a cockawet. This is the you, world's you premier entertainment right now. That's the title shadow. of the next book. Cockawet? No. <laughs> I can't believe when you peed on that guy. <laughs> this is Spoiler. what people watch? This is what they care about? You smash a guy's head against the wall and you peed on him. It's, what a great series. It's entertainment. the greatest television show on right now. Why? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I, don't, I don't need to convince you. I enjoy it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying like to tell you. I'm not trying to tell you that you shouldn't enjoy it. I'm saying. Treated as a reflection of the state of the human race. Can we see that Photoshop? Um, proclamation. What is the biggest misconception the fan base has about the members of Funhouse? They think we're all real. I think it's pretty interesting. We're all holograms. Yeah, AI. Everyone rogue AI. Like I think we all have social security numbers. Nah. What? No. What? I, I don't. Everybody thinks I'm really, like, short and tiny. She's super tall. You guys are just giant. Yeah. Giant You're, freaks of how nature. How tall are you? How tall are you? 5'4", 5'5", 5'6". She's about six foot two. Yeah, I thought I was. I'm like seven foot one. Yeah, he's seven one. I'm eight foot nine. Yeah. Eight nine. Yeah, I'm like three feet tall. My chair's in like seven apple crates right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But from but that's mostly your tiny legs. 
Yeah, it's the tiny legs. Yeah. I have a really long torso. Yeah. Uh, which incidentally, let me tell you, it makes my dick look huge when I'm being I was going to say, none of us have big dicks, except for Elise. Yeah. I'm saying, no, I, I do, but it's proportional. Yeah. People are always getting the size of our tails wrong. It's weird. Our, they're much longer in real life. Mm -hmm. I well, we tuck them up, we ball them up. I have a bender tail. I have that little tail. That oh, the nub? You got the, the nubbin? The, the nub does That's this. Like, hurts your back when you sit, right? Uh, no. I, I, it okay. sticks through the, the bungee cords. Yeah. The rest of us use ours like belts, like sands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Adam is the one with the least street, street cred. <laughs> <laughs> we both reference anime, asshole. But mine was cooler. Uh, you, oh, <laughs> all right, so now Lawrence is the least I was going to say, you guys, are, you guys are both dead. You've been like shot. A, this They're, is like when the, so when the <laughs> beach ball goes out at a concert. <laughs> Only whoever it touches is the worst person in uh, the world. I would like reach up to hit it and it would just pop. Yeah. And everybody would, get the fuck out! Okay. I deflate and go, no fun for anyone. <laughs> Watch you two. <laughs> <laughs> you two. I can't hear Cheryl Crow. This upsets bunch, Bonham. There's a bunch of 60 year olds at that YouTube show. All right, you ready? <laughs> We're done. We, oh. We, oh. We, we stopped a long time ago. Don't tap my groat, bro. <laughs> nice one, Ben. What if you could Another put- Another $50 in the bank. Put oats on a tap, you gotta tap it. And then you open that spigot and all the oats roll out into a big old glass and you just drink it and then you choke on it. Dear God, we need to start this episode. First Great question this week comes from Polyrath. What is the most frugal thing you have ever done? Uh, Matt Pete. Lawrence knows mine, oh, I got but we'll get- oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah, I do know yours. It's recent. Yeah. What? Oh, what does that recent. mean? I thought, I thought I thought you were gonna say the time you bought fifty pounds of oats. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, was I knew that's what everyone was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, that's old a new cast member. That's an investment in your future. Is it frugal to have a retirement savings? I don't think so. Is it frugal to put aside a little money every single month, or maybe to not waste gasoline? No. Is it frugal to buy 50 pounds of oats yes. so that way you can yes. eat oats and you have to kind of literally go onto the internet to figure out what the fuck to do with all yes, those that's oats? that's frugal. Maybe you build it into a giant oat man like a snowman but <laughs> made out of oats? <laughs> what do we name the oat Yes, man? it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, I need a wife. Uh, I oh, hear, an oat bride. <laughs> what's Lawrence's? I want to hear Lawrence's. Uh, when I was in college, I ate spoiled chicken because it was the only thing we had. Well, did I you had get to, like, sick? Uh, no, but I did gag. <laughs> we had to cover it in mayonnaise and cheese to make it edible. No, no, did you, wait, did you, was it, uh, defrosted chicken? Yeah. It was defrosted? And yeah. in the fridge and it had gone bad. Did I it put, have that film on it? Yeah. Ugh. It had, the, it's had like a little white spots. film. I threw it in the George Foreman because it was a, co you know, college room, so there were like 18 George Foremans in there. And the smell coming off it when it oh, cooked boy. was like, oh boy, that smells, yeah. that smells like, like, bad apples. Well, bad duh. Food. Chicken, chicken, chicken. You're also and then, just, no, go ahead. I like bit into it and it was like, kind of like Play-Doh, the texture. Like it wasn't, it wasn't like dense and chewy like chicken's supposed to be. And then I remember biting into it because I made a sandwich out of it. I was like, oh, oh. and then I lost a bite of it because it rolled out of my mouth while I was gagging. And you finished it? And then I was like, God, I'm so hungry and I have no food and no money. <laughs> so I just like finished eating it. Wow. And also like this was, this was right at the end of my freshman year and all of my roommates were gone. And they were like freshman dudes. So I was sitting in a room that smelled going. like ass, eating like spoiled food by myself. Uh, with no air conditioning because the electricity got shut off because my fucking roommate couldn't pay the bill. Lawrence's stories are like if you were to take a snowball and you roll it down a very large mountain. Really just big hill. It's getting bigger and longer. Yeah, until eventually. Except in the end you go and you're like, this is all oats. It's <laughs> <laughs> just an oat ball. Does well, anyone I, else I, have I, some good ones? I went on a $35 a month phone plan that only had 100 minutes. Oh yeah, I was right. like, I never <laughs> talked to anyone. And little did I know at the time, everyone wanted to talk. Yeah, so they, and like, I would, I remember I called you once and it was like, this customer does not have enough <laughs> Minutes. And I texted Adam. Was like, "Are you joking? You don't oh, have enough. No, uh, you just can't get on talk Skype. to him. Yeah, you can't. I know. Yeah, he's get on Is Skype. Is everything okay, Adam? So hold on. He, he's all get on Skype. So I got on Skype with him, and then and literally cut me off. And he's like, "This customer ran out of Skype credit." And I was like, "Are you shitting me right now? Like, what? Phones are expensive. What country do we live are in? <laughs> I find that if you turn the condom inside out, yeah. you can just reuse it. Wow. That's, that's a good environmental tip too. You rinse it right off. You know what's even oh, cheaper rinse, than what? that? Just assuring her that you it's have a lot of water. <laughs> you were made just, of money water, Bruce? Come on. <laughs> you, just, you just flap it like a rug. I used to walk around as a child and look in gutters for money. That's not bad. Um, do people do that? Is that it's a normal not that thing? frugal. I mean, you said I, you were a child. Too. I mean, what was this? Well, no, but I was like, fi I was like 15. Did you okay, ever find any money in the gutter? I, 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 now, hold on. Here's the best part of the story. Because I, I, I would always look, because I remember I found a dollar in the gutter. I found a dollar in the gutter once. And I remember, like, I spent a solid two months looking in the gutter. Uh -huh. Once I found a $10 roll of quarters in the mud in the gutter. What? 
what? And it was the greatest day. I brought it home to my parents and I showed it. I was like, I found $10. And there was like, why is mud all over it? And I was like, who cares? And I went straight to the arcade. Put a little cheese on it, throw it on the foreman grill. You got yourself some... Parents like, what's that? They slap you and just take it. You were so excited you didn't see the dead body next to it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you had to open a corpse's hand. No. Oh, ten dollars. <laughs> uh, red stuff. I don't know. <laughs> next question from I'm two HM zero two. Which nineties phrases do you want to make a comeback and why? <sighs> we should ask our buddy Chad. Whoa, man! I didn't even realize the nineties had ended. Surge is dope. You heard of this thing called AIDS? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Oh, it's more early 90s, let's go. <laughs> I was going to say, where's the beef? Where's the beef? I think that's from 1983, <laughs> but it's a long time ago. Cowabunga is a good one. Eat my shorts. We are VR troopers. Uh, do you watch Reboot? <laughs> <laughs> you can still say that now. <laughs> that's, true. Yeah, that's true. Pete, what about you? Is radical a catchphrase? It's not really yeah, yeah. You say it, it but you gotta say it like Chad. It's radical. Yeah, there nice. it is. That was pretty good. I'm about to graduate from college. <laughs> Wait, does Chad? I he just never found graduated. Ten dollars and rolled coins in a corpse. <laughs> That's me. That's you in the nineties. <laughs> oh, the nineties dream is still alive. Um, Church AML. Uh, if you had to take any one of the achievement hunters out on a date, who would you take and where would you go? Elise. Oh man. Uh, I guess it'd probably have to be uh, Jack, mm. and it would be great because we bring his wife with us, Katie, and she is delightful. She is very nice. So yes. I had a, I'd have a great time. It would be Jack uh, in the middle, and then Katie and I talking across mm. from him. Yep. Uh, and so Jack it's not really the say, achievement hunter you want. It's it's the wife. It's the uh, wife. Hey, it's whatever to get a okay. good time. I guess it's not really a date yeah. though. I would take Ryan to an upscale wine bar because mm. I know he'd come dressed appropriately. Yeah. And then I would spend I would spend most of the night trying to understand the myth and the man, because I feel like I feel like out of all the achievement hunters, he's the one who's most likely to be a, like a, an assassin, a professional assassin on the sure. time. Yeah, I can see. And that. I want to see that facade crack a little bit. Yeah. I think after a couple glasses of wine, I could break through his his perfectly nice exterior and get to all that that darkness swelling within. Would you put out? Oh yeah. Are you kidding? Oh. I'd probably put out as soon as I got out of the lift. <laughs> Just fall over with I just your legs. Oh, 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 you got your dick in my mouth. Whoops. Uh, I think James and I are going to double team Michael. Oh, I yeah. Was, uh, yeah, I was actually going to say kind of like Elise, I'd take out Lindsay, but to get to Michael. Eiffel Tower him? Just like, I think he'd be Eiffel Tower him. Oh, we do? Well, we do. He, well, he's Eiffel here. Tower. Yeah. Okay. And, and so you have one end of him. Use I the oat other. bag. Okay. Oat bag will be Michael. Pretend, yeah, pretend Grody is Michael. Now, Michael. we should add a disclaimer because people will think this is actually Michael. <laughs> Make sure to put a note on the bottom that <laughs> says, this is an oat bag, not Michael. Yeah. So then Michael's in the middle, yeah. and then we're here, and we have to push together yeah. enough to raise our hands. That's not good. It's, it's our Come on, push. It's push not really thrust. A... Thrust together. Oh, Michael. <laughs> Use your taint strength. Do you really think that's a date, though? What? Uh, for the last two and a half hours, it's a date. Uh, I would take Jeremy out because I could take him somewhere cheap mm, because he's, he's pretty young yeah, and like yeah. he would think if I took him to like Chick-fil-A yeah. That's really really nice. You know it Jeremy. So I'd take him to Chick-fil-A um, In my like in a really crappy Saturn station wagon that I used to have when I was like 18 And I think he'd really like it. I think he really liked it a lot Also when we kissed our facial hair would rub and it sound like steel wool going against each other uh, You think it would lock together? It might. It yeah. might get tangled up a little bit but like roots growing together. That would be nice, though, wouldn't it? That would yeah. be kind of romantic. Or it would be like the ponytails in Avatar. A very timely reference. Exactly. What do um, you think, yes. Michael? Who would you take out on a date? Oh, I don't know. What <laughs> 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 uh, Jack? Peek, what about you? I think that only leaves Gavin, doesn't it? You can do no, it. There's, 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 there's a, a ton more. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. No, well, I should take out Jeff. We'll just get shit-faced together. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, Jeff. I should I'm say Jeff. Jeff. Doesn't want to go out. I was yeah. gonna say Michael because I've been editing him all day, so he's on my mind. But uh, yeah. Michael and Gavin, why not? Oh, oh, they can they can Eiffel Tower you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> A lot of fun photoshops this week. I would love to Eiffel Tower, <laughs> Matt. Yellow pudding with the Jack and the dates and the that's Bill, Jack. Bill Cosby or Jack? <laughs> well, that's my Jack impression. All right, so let's say Jack walks in on Peak, uh, Gavin, and Michael all uh -huh. just. Pounding each other. Who, which one's, Jack who's Gavin? What? Which one's Gavin? Who's Gavin? Gavin's mm -hmm. filming it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Slow motion. Oh. Put the camera down. Turn your tank. You're not in them. Turn around, me. Peak. <laughs> Put it in my other hole. You sound like Hoggle from Labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> what would Gavin say? Booger this. <laughs> and then you go, play <laughs> it back in slow motion. 
tickling me knob. It's like getting retarded. Oh, you got me a million views on my slow motion channel, guys. I did it to the pile. I love uh, you, Gavin. They're going to be so mad. <laughs> They're not going to see this. I hope they don't, they don't watch our content. They don't watch theirs. It's only fair. Uh, Lawrence? Austro-Hungarian. All right, so I ran into a fellow they fan did. wearing Funhouse merchandise in public one day, and I didn't know what to do or say. What is the sign slash saying that fans can say or do to let fellow Funhouse fans know we are a part of the Funhouse secret man. handshake? Yes, we have to give them a secret Bruce, handshake. Bruce, well, Bruce and I have talked about this before. Mm -hmm. Should we show them? Yeah. Yeah. I'll come over. I'll come. Come over. We have a video. Benson looks really worried about this guy. So well, he knows what's about to happen. Really, it's been a yes. really long time since we've done this. But you know what it is. You do this, and then you reach around, and then you, yeah, you do that, and then, then you do the motion with your right hand. My right hand or yeah. my left? No, your right hand. You do the motion. The secret handshake motion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's it. Uh -huh. You just do that. Now faster? Yeah, and then you go faster. And if they keep up, you know they're a Funhouse fan. <laughs> now is that Funhouse or that Rooster Teeth? What? That Funhouse or Rooster Teeth? Uh, rooster Teeth is way different. Rooster Teeth yeah, is rooster way teeth. different. Yeah. No, Rooster Teeth Boy, is actually pretty uh, why don't you? Why don't you have Adam do the Rooster Teeth? You don't want to mix up the Rooster Teeth? Okay, yeah, so well, we'll not well, so, yeah. I'm just wearing my merch. Yeah, you're wearing the merch, and then, and then, I kind of, I kind of, I walk up and I, hey, hey, and then we do, we have to do, Rooster Teeth. Why are you? Why are you moving like that? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. What was wrong with your legs? <laughs> Rooster Teeth fans don't have legs. Uh, that's uh, really weird. You're so, right. The hat looked weird. All right, so, uh, what a silly show. So next time, do that when you yeah, see a Rooster that, Teeth or Funhouse know. fan. Uh, at least. That's from Laws Dead Hernia. Sounds like a screw attack reference. Um, Nerds. This question is for James. I have recently paid my credit card debt and had a fresh start, and I want to buy Fallout 4, but I also need to buy protein powder and BCA and stuff uh -oh. to get ripped. Which one should I pick and why? I think a lot of you guys can answer this question. BCA steroids? No. Oh. Oh. I think and stuff. He's referring to steroids. I think that's HGH. What? Could be. How, how much could does be. it cost? Look at how much HGH yeah. costs. Well, if you go to steroids. It's naturally produced in the human body. Oh. Steroids are gear. Steroids.com. How do you buy? How much does gear cost? Well, I don't see what the problem is here. He says he paid off his credit card debt, mm -hmm. which means that he's perfectly he's got a lot of he's debt. In, he can buy back. Yeah, in. he's got a great position to oh. go back into it. But pituitary growth hormone is only yeah. 180 bucks. It's what? Nothing. That's it's nothing. nothing. How much is Fallout 4 now? Did you want way less than that? You could probably yeah. get Fallout 4 for 40 bucks on Steam or something, right? Hold on. Probably. Do you wait for a sale? He, he's D Anibal, D Anibal 25 is only $85. The thing is, you don't need... Plus the reason people play games like Fallout 4 are so they can build characters, improve their stats, do all kinds of cool stuff. This is the kind of thing you do in real life when you're roided up. <laughs> wait, wait, you play Fallout 4? No, no, you live that experience. Yeah. You go out with a fucking bat, and you just bash some dude's head in. But what happens if, like, your the steroids wear, wear off, and then you don't have that strength anymore? Steroids never wear off. They go. They're good forever. I don't. I it's a steroids that, guarantee. I it's think a that's, steroids guarantee. Steroids Take have a guarantee. Word. Yeah. No. Why are we all on steroids right now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> real, real answer though. Real talk. Uh, you want to save some money? Buy a giant bag of oats. That's true. <laughs> what do you think, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> Buy some groats. <laughs> In the jello pudding. <laughs> Jack. Classic Jack. Jack is always talking like Bill Cosby. He loves jello pudding loves jello. and Ray raping Tasty. women. Uh, Matt, Matt the Ray <laughs> Last question. Uh, 93rd Ben. Yeah. If you could resurrect one Game of Thrones character to have sex with, who would it be? Melisandre. No, well, first She's of all, not that's, our, that's so. our necrophilia question of the week. Hey. Oh. Melisandre. <laughs> she's not dead. She's old. We already know that. She's hot. She's the hottest one on the show. But she's not dead. No, she's not. Who was a? Uh, who was the guy that fought for House Stark and he like had the big chops? He was a big dude. Catelyn Stark. He got beheaded yeah, by. Yeah, he was there. Oh, he was yeah. 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 What was his name? Roderick. 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 Yeah, Payne. Sir Roderick. No, that's Podrick Payne. Podrick Payne. I know, but I'd fuck that guy, sure. I would resurrect, spoiler alert, Lady Stoneheart. Ooh. And I'm pretty sure she's coming back to have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true at all. Lady Catelyn? Yeah. yeah, in the pictures in Harry Potter. Whoa. Yeah. She really just shows matter. up like a hot minute. I'd, I'd resurrect, resurrect that one my Harry Potter. Oh, I'd that's right. Yeah, we're talking uh, about Harry Potter now, it's all right. Yeah. yeah. I'd resurrect Theon's cock. 
because <laughs> otherwise he's useless to me. <laughs> Is one of the dragons dead yet? No, uh, no, no. Well, call me when that happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Drogan. What about you, Peak? What? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we, are we done? Yeah, that's good. Who you want to fuck? That bag of oats? Hey! That was a good clap, guys. Oh, that was a good clap. Is that good? Yeah, it sounded good. good. Show. It's gonna be a great I mean, show. I only heard I one sound. Yeah. Alright. Did someone not clap thing? and are too embarrassed, too embarrassed to say so? I you didn't clap and I'm not embarrassed to say so. Uh, <laughs> you didn't need to clap, you're okay. Bruce can clap again, his finger's fixed. This is a crowded episode of Open House. We got a lot of special guests. Yeah. We yeah. have Matt yeah. Peak so over there, yeah. and then Lawrence so Sontag. Bruce Green, finally back. Bruce Green, I know. here on the show. To be hey. honest with you, look, I couldn't play games for five weeks. I couldn't play, like, my, my PC. Has it already been games. five weeks since you broke your finger? Yeah. Time flies when your finger's broken, that's yeah. what I always say. Your first question is because of aroused deadness, uh, dentist. What are your hopes for E3 this year? Hmm. I, I hope it goes away. Lawrence? I want them to announce a brand new kind of animal. That's uh, cool. Like a giraffe in Last of Us? It's not a joke yeah. show. Please be serious. <laughs> like some kind of like hybrid fox uh, fish. I have a so, serious answer. Swims around in the Go ocean. For it. Has uh, ears. I want to see or have playable Last Guardian. Play uh, Zelda. I mean, obviously it won't be on the NX, but Wii U. Like a new Ubisoft uh, art framework game. Those are the three things You're I You're not going to get that. What you will get is a new game from David Cage. Oh. And, um, there he but, does that one. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're going to get what to see a lot more of it. Could fear. But the, the oh. difference about this E3 is Fucking that this David time, Cage. it's just going to be the porno that he's wanted to make all along. So it's going to be a porno game, and then at one point, about an hour and 15 minutes in, there'll be a prompt that says triangle, and you hit it, the game will continue for another 45 minutes, and then it's done. Do we get Naked Me Alan too. Page? Yeah, Naked Ellen Page is, is a poster Ellen. in the background, but then there's all kinds of other naked celebrities that he's never seen naked before just thrown into the game. game you forgot show. the most important part of the whole show. Santa? <gasps> Shenmue 3. Yay! Woohoo! Next question from the Wilk fan. Uh, <laughs> Nintendo has just asked Funhouse to design a new Pokemon for Pokemon Sun and Moon. What is its type and what will it look like? We all have to collaborate on this one. We don't have time for everyone to have their own it's answer. True. So we just make the fun. Houseamon. The Fun Houseamon? Okay, well, so the, okay. That, that's the name of the, the Fun, fun Houseamon. Fun, 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 fun house What kind of noise does it make? It just goes. Should, doesn't it say its name? Don't they all say their name? <laughs> that's its name. name. It's name. Oh, oh, spell okay. that. It's I a can't. <laughs> okay. Chokasaur. I was um, gonna say Queefasaur. But, what oh. element is the Pokemon? It's what? A, it is a queef. Water. It's a queef <laughs> element. Air, it's a wind. Water, <laughs> air, wind, that's all a queef. All three. Okay. So it looks like a tiny little queef, okay. right? But then it evolves Oops. into... A larger queef. Yeah, a larger a bigger queef. queef. And then the sound also changes to go... Oh. Okay. It's cuter. Kind of like upwards like that. I would say it also has Charlie's face, because Charlie has the prettiest face that's of all true. of us. That's true. Including, so it's, inclu including Elise and Mark. And it comes Bruce out of the Pokemon trainer's pretty. vagina. Uh -huh. Oh, oh That's good. Wait, does it pop out as a ball and then the ball opens and the queef pops out of that? <laughs> yeah. You really gotta push though. Yeah. Just I choose you. <laughs> oh, 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 it smells Dude. like fish. Someone dropped a bomb on the yeah. battlefield. You can have this badge. I mean, it wouldn't be a throw. She, she'd just be like, I choose you. Oh. 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 Hold on. Give me a minute. Just a minute. And here she goes. She pops right out. Bation. Rope or gun? Uh, if this is for killing myself, I'd probably just go with the gun. Matt Peak. Neither. Barbara. Both. Adam. Uh, gun in the butt, rope on the neck. Nice. If this uh, is for killing Charlie, then I'm gonna definitely go with a rope. Lawrence? I like that, so I suffer more. Yep. It's good. And slower. <sighs> Shit, man, all the all the good answers to take. I'm gonna use both, but I'm gonna have the gun across the room and I'm gonna use the rope to pull the trigger. Oh, that's cool. So I can frame a oh, whip it. That's really it's good. It's kinda like when someone kills himself with a really long shotgun, so they have to use their toe, yeah, and yeah. at some point when the barrels in their mouth, they're thinking, God, this is stupid, and then it's over. <laughs> I want the policeman to open the door and be like, what the fuck? Yeah. He could have just shot himself. God. Elise? Elise? I'm Ivana gonna go cool. rope, I think. All right. Uh, no particular reason. Okay. I'm, going, I'm going grope. Oh, both. Uh, oh, the gun rope. <laughs> yeah, that's the gun rope. Oh, a gun that shoots so rope. You, it's called the you grope. You whip it. Yeah. It's called and the then grope. You fire. But no, no, it no, fires into people's it. genitals, though. So only, only the genitals. No, it's the gun It's the gun that fires rope around your neck. Nope. And their genitals. It's called the grope. Well, I guess the grope. Does it fire? Does it fire like a big kill club you. that just hits somebody's genitals and tickles under a little? Yeah, bit? Exactly. gets at them. You're like, ah, yeah. yeah it, fire, it fires little yarnies, and then the yarnies grab on your genitals and grab them. Knock something over. Uh, Lawrence. Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, Ray Lois Cannon. Ray Lois Cannon? Ray Lois Cannon. Ray Lois. Lois. <laughs> uh, so I'm currently it, working on a crime novel, but haven't figured out what my protagonist should look like. Any ideas? It's a giant queef. We've already done that. Oh, one. I'm sorry. Uh, what does it look like? It should have Charlie's face. Charlie's face. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, Charlie's absolutely, face. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's Charlie's face, but then he's got to wear like a big trench coat, right? Like oh, Inspector yeah. Gadget type shit. Yeah, like absolutely. Inspector Gadget. But underneath the trench coat is two midgets. Two smaller Charlies. Me and Elise. <laughs> yeah, Barbara and, and Barbara. Right there. There. So all four of them. So a midget air. version yeah. of Barbara <laughs> and Elise. Oh, filled gosh. to the brim. On top of each other, okay. filling the rest, yeah, filling the rest of the coat with Bumping smell down. and yeah. waste. What makes him the world's greatest detective, Matt Peake? Uh, he's a hobbit, so he can fit in small places. And oh, oh so he's even shorter. So, he's so they're, they're shorter <laughs> midgets. They have to be midget <laughs> versions of hobbits. <laughs> they're like the borrowers <laughs> inside a hobbit. A good reference. They call us the the breezy detective because we well, solve cases like a breeze but also because we're queefing all the time <laughs> all the time <laughs> what well, kind of crimes friends. do you solve <laughs> yeah I'm curious <laughs> we don't uh, but uh, we have a, good, have a great time good <laughs> interrogation uh, Ray Lois I can't wait to read the were finished, you there the finished were you there Oh, it smells like vinegar! No, it's a, it's, it's, you know it's Ray Lois Cannon. <laughs> what? Uh, Ray Lois Cannon. No, it's Ray Lois oh, Cannon. Oh, Kylo Ray. Kylo Ray, yeah, get it? <laughs> Two guns, Geronimo. You could hi if you could hire any movie actor, dead or alive, to be the Funhouse intern, who would it be and what would be their first assignment? Uh, Ray Liotta. And we <laughs> Ray Liotta. Rest in peace, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. Uh, uh, we'd dig him up and we'd have him organize our shared hard drive. Oh, or yeah. Fire, He's good at that. Oh, I got me to name this. That's his thing. I got me to name this. I want to see yeah, Ray, Liotta. Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta impressions coming wow. out of the closet. <laughs> it doesn't move. Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> oh, wow. Two Ray Liotas. <laughs> Double the hard drive space. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody about, else got one? Actually, Charlie, who who do you want to work here? I'm curious. Probably just Dale Earnhardt. Oh, he's that's right. He'd be great Phil though. Hartman. Yeah, he'd be real good. Phil oh, Hartman. Phil Hartman. That's talented. That's a, yeah. Those are amazing interns. Give me more coffee, Phil Hartman. <laughs> he's just lying there. <laughs> his head blown off. <laughs> <laughs> he's still got the string on his finger from where he wired the gun. <laughs> up. The gun. No, he didn't commit suicide. His wife killed him. She sure. thinks she put the string on his finger to make it look like suicide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt Peake, bring us back. Hold on, no, I, I want to say Billy Zane. No, all right. Don't yeah. you guys want to hang out with Zane, the Zane man? Zane. I feel That's like so fucking th dumb. His ego might get in the way. Dude, what ego? <laughs> uh, I'd have Sir Ian McKellen, and then I would just I'd just reach under, I'd pull out a jar full of pickle brine, I'd slide it across the table. He'd drink it. Matt Peake. <laughs> Next question or my answer? For oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, actually a very valid question. Uh, which movie actor would you hire? I'll go with uh, Patrick Stewart, or maybe it's, is it Sir Patrick Stewart? I think yeah, sure. He's he's not dead. I mean, you can say that about any person. Well, really. I don't think that's a good idea because if we got Ian McKellen in here and we got Patrick Stewart, they're gonna be like two schoolgirls back there giggling <laughs> with each other, talking about Shakespeare and shit. Who wouldn't want that? I don't want. It's gonna be disruptive. Yeah, that's bull that's bullshit. They gotta do Photoshop for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Magneto and Professor Hex just sticking around back there. Old crippled hands. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up over there, Syrian. <laughs> McKellen like picked up this giant go thing. So fast. How do you turn this off? She just did an Ian McKellen impression. Was that your Ray Liotta? A thousand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Barbara, Barbara, next question. <laughs> Which cartoon character from your childhood would? Wait, hold on. Read who it's from. Oh, yeah, jeez. Give him credit. Is. Oh. This is why you asked me to do this. The erect pianist. No, I didn't mean to do that. Which I cartoon I character from your childhood would make for the best lover? Hmm. Gadget. Oh, oh yeah, that's a gadget. gadget. She got that tail. Mm. Well, now I really want to think of someone who's also a. What's I'm gonna, I'm gonna piggyback on this. You got this in my head, but the, uh, the, I think her name is Rebecca. She's the, she's the One person the who runs ones? the cargo company oh. from Tailspin. Oh. oh. Was it Rebecca? Becky, yeah. Becky something? Who cares? Did you guys ever see Fern Gully? No, yeah. yeah. You know, Tim like, Curry. That's it. That. Yeah, the ooze the or swamp the monster. slime. Or you get everywhere. The slime. Is, yeah, you just get in every area. Ooh. Yeah, fill you with air. Exactly. Charlie? No, not more air. Charlie, which, which cartoon like character? Blue. I don't know if he's a cartoon character per se, but Max Steel, if any of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Going Turbo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. He snowboarded he was a CG at least once character. an episode. Like, it was awesome. Yeah, What's he's like post reboot from Max Steel. He's from a show called Max Steel. Yeah. Oh. It was tried, supposed to be a toy line, but apparently only Charlie saw it. So <laughs> I saw a lot of weird shit. Uh, I'm gonna say She-Ra, obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say Freakazoid. <laughs> like to oh oh yeah. Freakazoid. Wow. He'd just be a Good fucking answer. dynamo. I was gonna ask to clarify the question: Is it the best lover for us or just in general? For you. 
Yeah. Oh. It's a freakazoid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm just the R- Rito says I nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. All right, read the first uh, word, and Pat, Matt Peek will read the second. This question is for Omar, but since he doesn't answer any questions, I'll ask the rest of you instead. What would the Omar's game of Thrones house emblem and motto be? That was stupid. (laughs) (laughs) That was our stupidly read question of the week. What would Omar's Game of Thrones house um, emblem and model be? Be a pair of shoes. Oh, yeah. He'd be the ocean. Be the ocean. He he loves the ocean. How do you make the ocean be a a pair of shoes submerged in water? And then... Be PMA all day, right? What? His motto? Oh yeah, his, his motto be PMA all day. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know Omar at all. So. Well, you should nice learn to get to know him. Go talk to him right now. Go on, Barbara. Go go, go have a conversation. Go experience with Omar. Omar. But just don't yeah. ask him anything. He doesn't like that. He's like asking questions. Yeah. So you don't can only phrase things. Just stand next to him. <laughs> you can only <laughs> phrase it in uh, phrase your questions in the form of a statement. Barbara, stand next to him though. Okay. Yeah. Be positive. Go to just just. Omar reporting. Oh, no. Oh. Don't say anything to him. Yeah. So don't say anything, but get to know him better. You queef yeah. on him or something? So his his motto would be cowardliness is next to godliness. Ooh, we gotta go find him now. <laughs> Hello, you piece of shit. Yes, yeah, fuck <laughs> off then. You've been producing music since the 80s. He, he goes, oh, no. Have you ever had your heart broken and written a song about it? Neither have I. Because I've been married to the same woman since I was 14. Shut up! You're gay. <laughs> was I in the Donnie Darko soundtrack? Yes. Probably. Uh, first question this week comes from Winning is Easy. What shitty rebooted movie franchise would you star in? Hmm, that's good. Uh, I'd be in Doom 2. Absolutely. Doom 2? Well, the it'd protect- just be Doom because it's a reboot. So well, we're going just, back to oh, Doom. Oh, is the reboot of yeah. the reboot? Doom Begins. Oh, no, that's true. They never made a Doom movie They never before. made a Doom 2, so you would be in the reboot of the Doom franchise. But you'd be cast as the wheelchair guy. Ooh. Sorry. There's a wheelchair guy in that movie? Yeah. I think you might be thinking uh, of Aliens 4, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is there a- um, I guess it's, I wouldn't say it's a shitty franchise by any means, but I would love to be in a new Police Academy movie. Would love to be. Oh, that's new, a great dude, idea. Call it the new class. All the sound effects and everything. <laughs> wouldn't you that's, be in a new Clue? They remade... No, it's probably too not without Curry. Oh, no, yeah, I changed my answer. Yeah, she wants, she, oh, she I like that like Lawrence is like, that's a good answer, but what about this answer I have? <laughs> my answer is better. Well, to be fair, I talked myself out of my own speculative answer pretty quickly. What's yours? Oh, what's what yours? was yours? Go. I would like to be in a new Power Rangers. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> that's already happening. You can go yeah. try out to uh, be the Blue Ranger and everyone can make fun of you for being gay. I mean, the filming. reboot of the... Is oh, this the even reboot? considered a reboot? Make you know how place. they rebooted Total Recall with Colin Farrell? Yeah. I'd be in the reboot of that reboot. Mm. A the reboot re- of the bad reboot? Yeah. Who would you star opposite? Uh, let's see. Who would be able to hold keep up with me? Uh, <laughs> James Willems. After Wilms. James Willems. <laughs> Todd Howard's brother. Ron Howard's brother. What's his name? Oh. Clint Howard. Clint, Clint Howard. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> My leading lady, Clint Howard. <laughs> and the Academy Award for most beauty goes to <laughs> Clint Howard. Uh, oh. total, re- total Recall. The reboot of the reboot. Uh, he would total be Total Recall cool. Recall failure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they should make another Mortal Kombat movie, and we could all play Cyrax. <laughs> Yeah, we could. Oh. Wait, are we all bunched up with one part of something? Oh, no, we just take turns. Okay, oh, we're different. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was one costume. That's well, there's awesome. one costume, but we take turns using it so we don't get exhausted. Oh. Can I call not it on being last in line? Because it's going to smell like a wet sock by the time people... <laughs> Fine, you can be Sector. I will show you mercy. Yes. <laughs> can I reach him? Can I choke him out? I, I can't reach him. Done. I'd like to be in a reboot of the Ewok Adventures. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I saw Matt Peake watching that in his be- <laughs> in his bedroom why the other you, night. Why are you spooping on and him? I, was, I wasn't. I walked by and I was like, because I, I heard Ewoks. <laughs> you, uh, obviously, you, but, as I'm to do. I was like, I was like, hey, he's watching the Ewok Adventures. What I was, was the only other person that like watched those movies religiously when I was a kid. Yeah, when I was they're a kid. so bad. Wait, Boy, are they bad? One? Yeah, there's, there's, two. there's two Ewok what? movies. Yeah. 
thought there was only one. No, two. There's two. No, I watched there's a Christmas one. Matt right? got one before it got thrown into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got no, 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 no. So Literally would you two be, copies. Would you be That's Wicked it. or the kid with the curly hair? Uh, wicked. Okay. You can plead the fifth on that one if you want to. <laughs> Don't incriminate yourself. You brought it up. Next question from CM1288. If you were to die and someone were to say, at least he died doing what he loved, what would you be doing? Uh, set on fire. <laughs> I'm a total pyro. Yeah, you do love fire. I, I actually do really like pyrotechnics. Okay. What would your final words be before lighting or just being on More fire? More fire! <laughs> <laughs> I think I would die uh, watching Arrow. That's what I would do. Because I love watching uh, Arrow. But yeah, what, like, it, like it would, Maybe like a stray arrow hits you while oh. watching Arrow? It'd be totally worth it because I'd be like, <gasps> Stephen Amell <laughs> is the best arrow. And then I'd give the eulogy and I'd be like, I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking understand. He just, how'd he die watching a television show? <laughs> no, they're going to be talking about the plot of Arrow. Oh, yeah, no, you'd be talking about that too. Yeah. Um, mine would probably be on a roller coaster. Oh, I want to die on a roller coaster, um, but uh, it has to be like a metal coaster so it can do cool shit. Mm -hmm. Like the the one that has, the, what is it, X2? Yeah, where it goes backwards. Oh, yeah, I just want everything to go wrong. Well, there's that euthanasia coaster. Oh, yeah, the euthanasia coaster is a great yeah. choice. Some guy, some guy designed a coaster that's supposed to kill you. Wait, for real? Shake you yeah. until you die? No, it, it pushes your blood pressure, I think, oh, so low that your so you heart pass your heart stopped. No that's a real thing? Brain. That's just it's a not, He never it's built it, but he designed it. So I'd yeah. ride on the euthanasia coaster. That, thank you, Elise. Oh, I, I'll match you up if that's you need to. That's way better than Arrow. Um, I would die of some sort of electric shock because I would be trying to transcend into the internet long before the technology is actually oh, there to yeah. do so. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd just like tape chips all over my body yeah. and then shove my fingers into an outlet and then I would just fry and die. Yeah. And then they would come in and there'd, there'd you know, just be weird. It, there'd be a weird smell. Let's They'd be like, <laughs> oh, he didn't get to finish watch this episode of Arrow. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Poor guy. <laughs> More fire. Adam? Um, so I think we... We can all agree that Tony Hawk is the greatest skateboarder of all time. Absolutely, except for maybe Dave Mira. Uh, I would like to die beating his score of <gasps> two 1080s. Double 1080? Wait, wait, wait. In real life or on the video game? <laughs> is this, you said, Both at the same time. Okay, oh, right, right, yeah. I'm going to be on my PS Vita. <laughs> skateboarding? Yeah, skateboarding. And then I'm going to land it. Whoa. And then because it was too extreme, my heart's going to stop. Chad's the only one who came to your funeral. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to die during the filming of the Ewok Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say eating oats, but... Uh, well, you know, it's... Would both... the Ewok say he died doing what he loved in character, though? So they go... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Adam, who would direct? Uh, uh, Gavin Hood. Hood. Oh, yeah. Wow. Not where I was going, that interesting was... choice. I thought it was going to be Clint He needs Howard. work. Uh, it's true, he does. No, you know, Clint Howard's going to uh, AD, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next question from 80HD underscore underscore. Sure. Uh, the Funhouse members are now cross CrossFitters. Well, no change uh, there. We're <laughs> no, no change there. What new exercise do each of you make? Okay. Oh, boy. All right. So you go into a vert ramp, right? You have two weights, right? And then you, you do a rotate the 1080 while holding the, holding the things out and curling against centripetal force. Holy shit. Right? So you're doing curls against with the weight of the curl while you're spinning out and dissipating into light. Wow. How like many that. do you do of those? Um, how, one. Oh, okay. Well, that's not so bad. <laughs> For time. <laughs> AMRAP. I want to hear Matt Peaks. Uh, the over squatch. <laughs> okay. Over squatch. squatch. The entire time you play over Overwatch. Oh, you're oh, in a squat. Right. Right. Well, you have to squat sense. Sasquatch. That's okay. pretty extreme. Or first you have to go find him. Uh, mine's called the Go Oats, and what you do is you, you get the 50-pound bag of oats, yep. and every time you squat the oats, you go like this, yep. and you eat, the, you eat some oats. Uh, oats. Oats make you poop, don't they? I mean, everything makes you poop. Well, I mean, it's fiber, it's not fiber ultimately, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, it's for horses. <laughs> uh, mine's the overhead twat. It's where you uh, you tie a, a kettlebell to your tampon string, so then when you squat, you're... Right, take a yeah. Yeah. Can guys do this? Who says ladies can't lift weights? I mean, weights. yeah, guys could do it. Too. I mean, it depends. They on just put the tampon in their butthole. It's going to oh, depend wow. on, on you, Bruce. Oh, on, really. my, on, my, on my muscles. Yeah. On your muscle strength. My kegels. Yeah. Now, my don't keys. do too much, kids. You hurt yourself. <laughs> Start with lightweight when you're tying it to your tampon string. Adam? <laughs> Mine's simple. It's just called the free weights. Uh, you run out and get hit by a car. <laughs> simple. Your body will be, it will yeah. rejuvenate itself. No pain, Much no like gain. Super Saiyan. Yeah. No, it won't. You'll be dead. Uh, this is from Elder Wang. 
At least who's the girliest guy at Funhouse? Uh, we could probably all decide this together. Okay, how do we do it? We close our eyes when we vote. Okay, so well, hold on. we won't know. I, I'll pass around post-it notes. Oh, okay. Oh. oh no. Here, I'll put. I'll collect them in this hat. This Funhouse Brandon hat. Get them today at the RT store. We're sharing. A You're waiting here. Oh, Take sorry. a pen. Oh, God, it's hard. How hard is this? It's hard to come oh. up with jokes. It's not a joke. It's democracy. I'm gonna read the results. All right. Uh, one vote for this pen. Okay. Another vote for Bruce. Okay, that's one. Right. Uh, one, uh, one vote for not Bruce. Okay, not Bruce. Okay, okay. so he's back to zero. Kind of validated one it. vote for Bruce James wrote this. Okay. Uh, that was not quite anonymous. That's one not. vote for Feel the Burn. <laughs> uh, Bernie, burn spelled with Bernie. And the final vote goes to Peak. Ah, it's so Peak. So I think. It's Not a, Bruce. Won? I think the bag of oats wins again. Oh, hey, hey, Brody. 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 Thanks, uh, guys. Puzzling puzzles. I did read that correctly. Uh, writes: If you could have personally witnessed anything, what would you want to have seen? Uh, Mark Antony oh. and Cleopatra fucking. Yeah, yeah I'd like we've to discussed this before. She's not a pretty woman. Yeah, yeah I know. I, 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 it's still historical, and I want to be a part of that history. I want to see them do it, and mm. then I want to see them get bit by snakes. Adam? Oh God. Um. I guess on a similar note, uh, Abe Lincoln and Mary Todd. Just banging it out. Yeah. And Mary then, Todd's pretty, I think she's like, pretty. Sally Field I, is relatively I, attractive. I don't want to see Sally Field have sex ever. Oh, really? Just Mary Todd. You need to look up young pictures of Sally Field. Yeah. Yeah, young. She's not young anymore. Well, neither is Mary Todd. She's a corpse. <laughs> Matt point. Peak? I, uh, hmm. I guess I would like to have witnessed something of like, maybe like, the mystery of the world or something like you know you I mean like, like when s- Wicket met Princess Leia yeah or that that's pretty historical <laughs> he already saw that <laughs> it sounds like gold <laughs> Lawrence uh, I would like to see Jesus Christ use the bathroom he did it it's you true. know he did yeah, he absolutely used the bathroom he's like don't look at me <laughs> but I said <laughs> squatting don't look you no know, I'd be there just what about if you, what if you could pick between bathroom or masturbation well you watch Jesus masturbate ideally it'd be both you That's know, true. That's squirting out one do. side, squirting out the other. <laughs> Keep the towel up, Judas. <laughs> and then you're like, like he's our savior. He's a multitasker. Do you have an answer for this question? I guess either the dinosaurs or who killed Haman Lee of cereal. Or is that, 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 that cereal yeah. season two? one? Season one. Oh, the just, Asian girl who died. Yeah, just figure okay. out what happened there. I just yeah. want to see Serial Season good. 1. I would want to witness Neil Armstrong on the moon using the bathroom in the room. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> ah, oh, and that's great. Oh, one small too, squirt right? for man. <laughs> Stop looking. <laughs> one giant squirt for the moon. Gray Sanctum, with Overwatch now officially out, it made me think, what would everyone at Funhouse's victory pose be? Oh, That's the, that's the point. Uh, final question this week comes from Christometh. Hodor, 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 Hodor. This is the too soon question. That's of the not week. funny, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, those are just a bunch of typos, too, because it should be hold the door, hold the door, hold the door. Hold we don't the door, make fun of dead people on in the shows or in Funhouse at all. What is dead may never die. Hold on. I'm happy because. Oh, we spoiled it for Matt. Mercy Jesus, and now this one. Sorry, Matt. I don't know why he wanted to be on this show if he knows we talk about Game of Thrones. Sorry, Matt. So I had this giant knot on my shin afterwards. It took about half a day for it to go away. It's because we got a sweet punk dude kicked you. A sweet punk dude kicked me. Uh, But at some point... um, when we were sleeping in the hotel room, Stephanie like rolled over and smacked me in the shin. No, no, no. And you thought you were in the mosh pit and you started no, moshing no. with her? No. no, I set up and no. spoke in tongues. Like I just spoke gibberish for about a solid minute and then laid back down. You were, you were taken by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Holy Spirit of punk. Which is dead, by the way. Punk is fucking dead. Oh, it was just a bunch of people waiting in orderly lines and being hey, nice to each other. Punk is dead. Long live punk. Am I right, guys? Uh, 
first question comes from uh, Sunny Tea Bags. The text is very hard for me to read. I, Rex reminds me, I need to go see the eye doctor. Oh no. I think I need glasses. I'm enhancing. Oh boy. They're, my vision's getting real bad. I need more laser vision. So out of all the music videos ever made, which one would you like to have been in? And what part would you play in the video? I know my answer, but I'm gonna let you guys go. I know go. my answer too, Good. but I'll go first. Okay. Like a prayer, Madonna, I wanna be the black Jesus. Of. You Sorry, Boo, the, I said it first. You want to be the what black. are you going to do about it? Black Jesus? Well, I guess my backup answer is I want to be on the bike behind the brother and sister and steal my sunshine. Oh, man. That's like Bones' favorite song. Wait, is Len from Canada? <laughs> yeah. You like yeah, Lem? Or Len. Len. It's Len. Len. It's the worst, one of the worst albums no, ever. It's goddamn terrible. It's, God, it's, it's a terrible. Beautiful well, white fine, trash I'm couple. Be there. I want to be there. Uh, I want to be, what is it? Was it Courtney Cox dancing in that? Uh, yeah, uh, in the Bruce Brinson. I, I want to be, I want to be Courtney Cox dancing for Bruce Springsteen in whatever the song that was. Dark, Don't you want to be Bruce Springsteen being like, I'm no, gonna I want to be you later. I'm sorry, I interrupted hey, you. Hey, no, I want to be Courtney Cox. I want to be the breakdancing kid from the Smooth Criminal video, but the Alien Ant Farm cover of Smooth Criminal. Not the original. Hold on, I'm gonna save Adams for last. Matt Peak. I never really watched too many music videos. <laughs> So... Which one have you seen? Wicked and the Ewok Adventure. <laughs> There's a music video for that? Well, it's I'm like sure a little rap is. thing they did in the 80s. It was to create awareness. Yo, for, I'm uh, Wicked and I'm here to yeah. say... No, 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 other no, Ewoks in a major no, way. You gotta stop. I'm gonna throw this dick at you. You keep, you keep Wicked rapping. <laughs> no, he's got his dick out! <laughs> okay, so remember a little song from Eiffel 65 called I'm Blue? Blue. Oh, yeah! I want to be on the CGI aliens. Oh, that's a terrible, uh, terrible that was answer. the pinnacle of CGI. No, no one knew that they were fake. It wasn't. <laughs> Even then, it was shitty CGI. That's what I love about it. Next question from the Wilk Man. Now that Captain America has been secretly a Hydra agent all along, hmm. what other superhero would Funhouse change entirely if you were given the chance? I would make Spider-Man me, so I'd be Spider-Man. Oh, that's cool. Well, wait, would, be, would he be evil Spider-Man, though? Nope, just me. And I'd be Spider-Man. I'd, I'd swing around and be cool. Lawrence, would, would you be clumsy Spider-Man? No, I'd just be regular cool Spider-Man. Running into trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> would you be like you, Lawrence, now, or would you be like teenage? So would you be you now dating like teenage Mary Jane? I'm glad you asked. Uh, it's, so it's retroactive. I will have done all of that, so I would remember banging Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane. Lawrence. But I would be adult Spider-Man having married Mary missed Jane. missed the point of this, this, uh, this whole answer. question there. I don't understand. No, nope, he's got it. I would change uh, Iron Man. Um, but instead of a billionaire smart guy, yeah. he'd be a uh, hobo with a car battery strapped to his chest. <laughs> so then he'd just die right away? Yeah. Oh, yeah. First fight he got in? Cardboard man! <laughs> I think uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver would be the brother and sister from Len. God, <laughs> Wait, are they brothers? Is they're too brother early for comeback. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> really? Why do you know that stupid shit? They're so in tune with each other, except <laughs> tune as in music. I, <laughs> I want Nick Fury to pull off his face and reveal that he was David Hasselhoff the whole time. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. I'd be Power Girl without the boobs. Yeah. Without the boobs? Yeah. What makes Fuck her? you. That's what I'd be. I'd be Power, power Girl without the that's boobs. That's her power. Girl. No, that's not her power. She's a strong woman. Because well, she, she got need boobs. boobs. That's I why know. she puts a hole in her suit. So she doesn't wait. need them. She doesn't have boobs, but she has the same costume. So yeah. there's just two big boobs. But she's flat chested. Around. She's just oh, normal. Just, yeah, she's like just normal. Yeah, she's flying. Is yeah. She's making a noise. Extra excrement writes, do any of you believe in ghosts? I believe in ghosts. Do, why do you believe in ghosts? There was one dark and stormy night. I woke up and I was staring at the corner of my bedroom. It was pitch black. I saw a figure with his back turned to me. I heard an interesting noise, as if something was hitting the floor, possibly blood. I then realized it was Lawrence pissing in my closet because he was drunk. <laughs> I believe in the ghost of Lawrence. I mean, who doesn't, right guys? You'll be visited by three ghosts. They're all gonna pee in your closet. You <laughs> won't piece. learn anything. One pees, one shits, and one off. <laughs> And then the bonus ghost comes and jizzes on the pile. <laughs> <laughs> I want a bonus ghost. Bonus ghost. If, uh, if I see a scary movie and then I'm like home alone and it's dark, mm. then yeah, I believe in ghosts. I absolutely believe in ghosts. And then I like go, oh, I will go, <laughs> and I run and I scamper and I turn off the light and then I run. Because if you run in the dark and then if you keep your whole body covered, they can't get to you. That's not true at all. They yeah. can they can possess you. I do get scared of things in the dark. I, I don't can't explain why. Everybody I know does. ghosts don't exist. Everyone does. No, they're not real. Hmm? There's no paranormal activity. When you die, you just 
Gold you don't know that. You don't know that. Don't know. There are no ghosts. You guys don't know that. Mm-hmm. I, this is from a Wall of Puppies. Since Kind of Funny Live 2 just happened, I was just wondering, what would a Funhouse Live event look like? Would you have any celebrity guests, and where would the event be held? She's the thing cool. is, I think our, our our show would resemble like a crazy rock concert, mm-hmm. like stages, lots of metal staging. Yeah. There'd be lots of times where the lights would just go down because we'd have to reset. You know, they'd have to Ghost put Bruce in a costume with wings and then descend him from the top and stuff. <laughs> just like things, just to make it a terrible experience, but fun for us, because Bruce gets to wear wings. Could we do a mind freak? We call it mind fuck? Oh, yeah! Mind fuck! And then I, <laughs> and I, and I come out to industrial music and do some sweet tricks. <laughs> Let's party! <laughs> what if we just get someone pregnant on stage? <gasps> oh! We begin the show with someone getting pregnant, yeah. right? Oof. And then we end the show with someone else giving birth. It's a little Cirque du Soleil show. They call it Pregnats. Yeah. Pregnats. <laughs> and preg- and, and, oh, no, in Prague. Yeah. Wait, oh, wow. Uh, as long as there's naked chicks swimming around in a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully the baby's not stillborn. No, that would be, be terrible. That would be sad. That would be really, terrible. Really for her! <laughs> we go, we go, Le baby! He's dead! It's more... Why you no cry, baby? Why you no cry? Oh, there we go. Now we play the culling. Oh. <laughs> well, we were going to end with the culling, so we will end with the culling. Hey. Hey. Yes, yes. Dead baby on the floor. This is from Saul Sauce. You get to be the third of any celebrity couple's three-way. Which two celebrities do you join? Oh, jeez. I know what Elise is going to pick, but go no, on. No, you don't. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on. Now, hold on. No, he's gonna whisper. Are we are we putting down bets right now? Betting part of the show. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, modern day or, or time travel? I, I never expected you to say that. All right. Um. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elise, what's yours? Uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Fuck. Oh, oh damn it. you were close. You were oh, close. Damn it. Uh, for, for the record, that he said sense. Diane Kruger and the guy from Dawson's <laughs> Creek. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Diane Kruger. Uh, um, Laura, Lawrence? Oh, actually, wait, hold on. Lawrence whispered something to you. He, he just came over and he went, Tim Curry. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be, uh, this isn't me trying to cheat it. This is genuine. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. Sure, that, that's, that's okay. a hell of a one. Wow. Yeah, I wonder who's the top. Me, because I'm a man and I'm stronger than both of them. Um, <laughs> current day Sportacus and little pink hair girl from uh, Lazy Town. Wait, Sportacus? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God you said current day. That was yeah, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't want, I, yeah, I mean, she's, she looks okay today. Okay, yeah, she does. also because he's fit, and I think he could hold me up. Yeah. <laughs> So he just tucked you into a ball and you wouldn't have to do anything? Uh, <laughs> you just wrap your arms around him. Go to sleep, baby. Adam, you know, he'll just take you to the bedroom. just move you. Well, he and I would be doing gymnastics and she would watch. Oh, wow. That's not would a threesome. She, would she critique or just kind of silently <laughs> She's just making a cake. <laughs> Mad Pig? I'm drawing a blank on any celebrity couples. No, I'll give you two. Okay. Robin Williams and Nathan Lane from The Birdcage. Oh, that's a great <laughs> oh, wait, answer. Right, we're talking about, okay. okay. Actors that play a role in a movie, Johnny we Depp can and Amber Heard. do it Johnny that Depp way. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. You'll get Careful. hit by an iPhone. Yeah. And then... Bring your headgear. I don't know who Amber. <laughs> Amber who? I think I'd be in, in between the two gay dudes from Glee. One of them murdered someone, so sweet. I, I think he killed himself. <laughs> you could be oh, he killed himself. Oh, recently, yeah. Yeah, what? somebody else yeah. murdered someone. Glee's like, somebody a else dark killed. show. Yeah, Glee is a really dark show. Real dark. But it'd be a great threesome. Mm-hmm. I would want uh, Jason Statham, of course, and the lesser known Scott Adkins uh, on either side. Just rub it up and down. So you're, but you're just picking you. celebrities. You're not picking couples. Are they? Oh, they are they a couple? I'd be Spider-Man. Like... Man. Scott Atkins would be his character from Ninja Two: Shadow of a Tear, <laughs> and Jason Statham would alternate between Chev Chelios and uh, his character from Wild Card. <laughs> and I would get to choose right when he changes. <laughs> not now, Jason. <laughs> Wait, who's Andrew Garfield with? Yep. <laughs> I just realized they could work all the Spider-Mans into the same universe by the dumb. Uh, clone theory thing. They can just. Rebut- Sorry, I can't get my dick up. All right, we're gonna Imagine stop. Imagine if they made a Spider-Man we're and they brought back Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Like, the same. Stop. Is Benson in the in the pit again? Oh, no. Get out of there. Benson, no, there's so many cords on Benson. He knows how to navigate. Oh, nice job, no, Benson. Like that woman in Superman three. He was he just plugged my Xbox. I'm sorry. He was just God doing it to me. All my stuff started moving. Hey, welcome back to Open House. This is the only show on the internet where a bunch of white people will answer your questions. That's true. true. Yep. How did we come up with this? I don't, I don't know. know. It's an original concept, and this is the only place you can find it. So your first question this week comes from SuperPie64. You can frame one member of Funhouse for committing the most ridiculous crime imaginable. Who do you frame and what for? I would frame... <laughs> I would frame Matt Peake. 
Oh. Damn it, I was going to say Matt Peak. Um, He's a soft target. And uh, <laughs> But the crime would be uh, probably like burning down an orphanage. <laughs> the only thing I would basically, I, the reason I would pick him is not because I dislike him, but because I don't think he'd speak up on his own behalf. Oh. I think oh, no. he wouldn't want to cause any trouble. He'd accept the guilt? He wouldn't want to cause, <laughs> he wouldn't accept the guilt, but I mean, he would go to jail and he'd, I don't want to cause any trouble. And then he'd just sit on, he'd, it would he, he wouldn't even testify or anything, and then I'd just sit there. i just watch the whole trial like this, from the back, wow. from the back row. Uh, I, would, I would frame James, except I would set him up to be the one who set Matt up to burn down the door. Oh. Whoa. To accuse! So yeah. after, after Matt's in jail, then evidence is going to come to light that it was all a setup by James. <gasps> and he's going to be the one to go down, and I'm going to be sitting in the courtroom watching him try to defend himself and not be able to. That's like <laughs> Double Jeopardy with Ashley Judd. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what <laughs> That's, that was gonna be my answer. I was gonna frame Adam for double jeopardy. Oh, but so, for making the movie? So okay. no, <laughs> people. Adam gets framed for killing Max Landis, right? Oh yeah. He didn't, he didn't actually kill Max Landis, but then Adam gets out of the jail for the framing. Someone kills Max Landis, but they think that Adam did it under and double jeopardy law. Wow. Innocent. Though he huh? didn't do either. He didn't even do the double jeopardy. Well, before the double jeopardy, I'm gonna break into Lawrence's house, crawl into his actual crawl space. I'm gonna go on BitTorrent. How do you know about I'm my I'm gonna crawl download space? the film Double Jeopardy. Oh no, that's illegally. That's triple jeopardy. And he's gonna go to jail. Uh, and he has to explain to the judge why he downloaded Double Jeopardy right. illegally. You wouldn't download a car. Even though you should. I've downloaded you're, several you have one. I would frame. Uh, I would frame John Landis for murder with a helicopter. No one would ever believe that. This whole time, you called him the murderer, and it was Bruce. <laughs> wow. Bruce killed those little children. <laughs> Now, next question from Coolest Big Mac. What is one conspiracy theory you wish you could make 100% true? So anybody that knows me knows exactly what I would answer to this. Uh, yeah, 9-11. I wish someone could just explain it. <laughs> I knew you were no. Say that. I, the Paul is dead, that Paul, oh, no. that Paul died and was replaced in the Beatles. She hates Paul. Um, I love that. Every couple of months when I'm feeling down, I look up the Not Paul is dead. <laughs> Conspiracy theory, and it, and I always just I, I forget what I was down about because I get so enthralled in that. So wait, you want Paul to have been dead? Yes. Well, M- mine is true. similar. I I like the conspiracy theory that Paul McCartney died in the Eagles, and then they replaced him with the yeah. Paul McCartney lookalike with Don the Henley. Run of the Don Eagles. Henley is his yeah. name. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. He's a drummer and a singer. There's That's lots crazy. of there's lots of clues in their music, like Live and Let Die. <gasps> was originally Triple Jeff, I mean, was originally Triple Jeff. titled We Killed Paul McCartney. He's a phony. This guy, this guy. Oh, stupid. Adam. I want to know what happened to Roanoke. Ooh. That's all. Oh, Virginia? yeah, the settlement that disappeared, huh? Yeah, these all went away. Yeah, my dad knows uh, about that. Crap. Killed the electric car. That's what I wanted. Oh, that's, <laughs> that is true. These are good Michael Moore questions. You Lawrence, it. Uh, I would make chemtrails real. I mean, uh, because you know, there's mind control, a real thing. But it's, it's not done through chemtrails. That's simple. But if it were, then we would live in a completely different society. That's true. Where you have to like spray the air with vinegar and walk yeah. around wearing your like uh, paper towel mesh. I would make oh. the uh, moon landing. 100% fake. Oh, because right. why? So I, I would because I would frame what happened was I would be framing John Landis who made that movie oh. and then put a helicopter and killed a bunch of Vietnamese. Oh, that's right. The it. helicopter okay. landed on the moon and yeah, he just murdered all these up those kids. And, and that's like, what that's Mr. Spielberg, get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Rocket off the moon. Is Area 51 and all that a conspiracy yeah, theory? Yeah, sure. Stuff? Why not? Yeah, I'll go with that. Punkaloid, will you guys ever come to Mexico? I've already been. I've been to Cancun. Your mother, who is 100% Mexican. I've been to Rosarito. Hey! The sun is beating down on us. Matt Peake, would you go to Mexico? I've been. And? How'd you like it? It was hot. Because he lost his virginity. Chimps and... Oh, Chimps and Dip. Mm -hmm. It's it's a good name. Uh, You can rewrite the ending to any Disney movie. What is the most shocking twist ending? Uh, Clearly, it's at the end of Tron. He escaped the computer, but he's still in a simulation. Whoa. So it was a double... Jeopardy. Jeopardy, (laughs) starring Bruce Boxleitner (laughs) and a young, very attractive Jeff Bridges. There we go, yeah. Uh, So, yes, that is a a double computer. It's computers all the way up. That's the end of Tron. All right. Um, I think Little Mermaid, uh, Prince Eric, 
goes off with uh, Fatty. Ursula? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but is she still hot? She no, no, no. <laughs> Once he kisses her, she's like, eh, I love you. And then she goes, Pfft. but she's oh. fish woman. And he's like, that's a living. My- and then it's... <laughs> I like that he said, that's his catchphrase, he goes, that's a living, and then walks away. <laughs> She's uh, saucy, though. I would change the end of uh, The Jungle Book. Cool. Mowgli leaves, mm-hmm. but then he comes back as a hunter, and he kills Baloo, and then puts him on his floor. <laughs> oh, man, Jesus that Christ. sucks. <laughs> Elise? Sound of music, the kids get caught by the Nazis. Ah! Not a Disney movie, Rogers and Hammerstein, but, you know. I'll count it. Oh, yeah, why, yeah, it. why not? Who cares? Yeah. Those kids deserve to die. <laughs> Aladdin, uh, so the twist ending would be the genie, he gets freed, but instead of getting freed, he becomes uh, director John Landis and he kills somebody oh, yeah. with a helicopter. <laughs> Mr. Spielberg, get out of here! It's a twist ending! <laughs> Wait, they <laughs> recently say... confirmed the guy at the beginning is the genie. Yeah. Ooh. The genie doesn't hang himself in the end. Oh. Matt Peake. I'll go with Beauty and the Beast. So when they have this bright, revealing shot of this guy turning into this hot prince, we look at Belle and she's actually now a hairy beast. And she goes, I learned to love you. Can't you love me? And he's like, nah. Eh. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's a living. Louis Samois says, in honor of open house number 69 in the upcoming election, which American president would you most want to do the nasty with and why? Hmm. Oh, well, I mean, Bill Clinton is, I love Bill Clinton. Ugh. but Women love Clinton. Um, gross, man. But probably Woodrow Wilson, Clinton, just yeah. because Edna Krabappel had that, that, picture of him oh yeah and as a as <laughs> oh, a Woodrow. as a canadian i didn't really learn much about american presidents growing up but i watch, love the simpsons so i would see that and i'd be like oh woodrow wilson's pretty hot uh no question teddy roosevelt oh damn it that was oh, my no. backup that was my real backup. man's man my answer for sure he could yeah. handle it he could handle me you got a big stick I, i'd like to get it on with andrew jackson just to see here all the racist he was obscenities really racist boy was he racist. Had strong hands though. it was like <laughs> with the shock would allow me to just Deal with the pain, Lawrence. Um, I'm gonna say Kennedy. I feel like that's an easy pick, but oh, yeah, absolutely. True. Young yeah. man, strong man, probably smells real good. Mm-hmm. Uh, he could show me a good time. I know that. <laughs> yep. uh, he's, he's, you know, complete package. I think, and that that accent. I was just, oh, I was gonna cheat on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> absolutely gonna cheat on yeah, you. Lawrence. I don't care. You think I'll, I, I think uh, my right heart's back with some this? cigarettes. I'm I will <laughs> suck your dick, Lois. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Lois. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Did anybody do There's Kennedy? A big difference between <laughs> yours and hers. Hold gonna... on, let's do real quick again. Mr. Sontag, take down those pants. <laughs> That's good. Mr. Sontag, I will not rest <laughs> until that penis is sucked dry what? for America. <laughs> Why has he got that? Are you he sounds dare oh. Robert Kennedy or? God, my heart is beating so hard right you now. Ted Kennedy, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. know if that's a John Kennedy. I think that may be how John Kennedy sounds now. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, because he's stable and he's loyal. And I feel like he'd be very gentle, but but loving at the he's same time. He's tall though, with really long limbs, which means he's gonna have a huge fast bender size. That's piece. a good thing. Yeah. Wrapped right? around you, you like a spider. Yeah, fuck like a spider he would man. Definitely keep only Stove the hat on. Cock. I'd say no, no, no. Keep the hat on. <laughs> you have the same beard downstairs. Minute nineteen. Hopefully that's how you say it. If you could add any Game of Thrones character to Overwatch as a new hero, who would it be, and what would their what would be their ultimate? Overwatch question of the week. Hey! Um, I guess I would add Arya, because her pick. her ult would be that she gets stabbed a bunch and falls in the river. Mm-hmm. Ooh, oh, spoiler alert! Spoiler. Ooh, sorry. Oh, I like that. Ooh, Mine ah, would ah. be Hodor, and his ult was he he blocks an entire lane. You mm-hmm. can't pass through. No enemy bullets can pass through. He just blocks a whole lane. That's a great idea. Mm. I I want to be the Blackfish, and he just says no. Nice. <laughs> Rude. But good just old. Really, just good old no. Lawrence. Uh, it'd be Tyrion. And his ult, he'd, he'd summon a toilet and die on it. That's uh, Tywin. That's Tywin. Tywin. Okay. We All understand. right. I mean, it, weird. It's your game. <laughs> like father, like son. Fucking, it's a fucking magic show. Who cares? I don't have a good one for this. Maybe Melisandre and she'd have some crazy fire magic thing, or she'd just get old and scary or something. Some uh, movies. Ooh. Spoilers. What about Jeez, Topless? Right on. Yeah. Do that again. Yeah, I thought Shut you were up. watching it. Well, I can't. You can't avoid spoilers. You know. I am not watching it, but you can't avoid spoilers. You already know well, that. Well, then, thing? if you can't avoid spoilers, you probably won't mind me telling you. First question from James Willems. If you could trade bodies uh, with a Korean pop star, female, Yuna. would you? Yes. Which angle is the vagina? Is she a hologram? No, she's real. There we go. I get that. She's not from Israel. They, I thought they had sideways vaginas. Yeah, that's it. No, Koreans don't. No. Oh, are you used to vaginas that go... How are you... 
No. No, they look like not stars. Like this. They're huh. little stars. Like Venus flytraps, where yeah. it has it has pubic hair, but only on the outer lips, and then it closes around your penis. <laughs> yeah. It closes around. But slowly, you. it just goes. Yeah. She says, "That's what they are. Yeah. They are Venus flytraps yeah. with teeth in the middle. Nice. Vagina dentata. I mean, Make vaginas. it up to me, Bruce. Matt told me all about it. <laughs> Slower than that. Just goes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's always the best when the Venus flytrap closes because the fly goes. Oh, this is nice. And goes. Wait. Wait. No. no! Welcome back to Open House. This is a show where Bruce likes to answer all of your questions. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. It's a Bruce-centric episode, everyone. You've been asking. Why do I have to do it? I'm hungover. I'm two beers in. All right. Let's then I'll, do this. You go ahead and ask. Do you want to read it, or do you want me to read your question for you? I forgot what I said. First okay. question this week comes with Bruce Weeze. Yep. Funhouse is approached by TriStar Pictures, why them, to create a script for a new Weekend at Bernie's. Oh, that's why. What is the movie's title? Who would be in it? And what would be the movie's plot? Let's keep these questions to one. It's weird that he asked what the title would be because it would probably be Weekend at Bernie's 3, right? Hold on, though, James. You can finally execute on the movie you've always wanted to make, Weekend at Bernie's with a U. With a U? Our boss? Oh, wow. Yes, our boss. So basically what happens is uh, Bernie made us cancel one of our shows. So we go to his office and we go, Bernie, we want to talk. And he has a heart attack. Oh. But then we're like, we were just talking to everyone about how we were going to give him what for. Oh, no. It looks like we killed him. they find out he's dead, they're going to think we did it. Mm. So we have to then make Bernie live out the next 34 years of his life. Oh, geez. That's a long time. As a corpse. Right. Get married to Ashley. Get married. Mm -hmm. married Ashley, right. Raise his family. Uh, All these things we have to be. We have to make him act in Laser Team 2. Yeah. Oh, Oh, my God. So we're just puppeteering him? (laughs) Wow. And no one can be the wiser. But we can get him to greenlight all of our crazy ideas. Oh, that's that's true. Yeah, all the stupid shows we come up with. Matt, Matt would be like, he'd be suspicious, though. He'd be like, hmm. The Bernie I know would never green light that idea. But then he'd go like this. Yeah. And then in, there it is. That means green light. His, his signature <laughs> thing. It's so meta because in the movie, we get Bernie to green light Weekend at Bernie's. The movie <gasps> of the movie. Like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Bernie, you're looking really stiff today. Can we, uh. can we do a sequel to this movie where he joins the army? <gasps> and it's called, it's called Weekend at Bernie's Marine Corps. So Goodness. good. Oh, I'm trying to call it. It's a brummy now. Are you fighting? Yeah. Get down there and fight those Iraqis. <laughs> Wall Smither. Aliens come to Earth and want an example of human culture. What is the first thing you show them? Oh, we showed them the, the film we, Weekend, Weekend at Bernie's Bernie. 3. <laughs> Marine Corps. <Yeah. laughs> Except they would have to understand our culture. They're like, they're yeah. like hmm. This is good stuff. Yeah, this is a really good. Here, take our technology and improve your films. And they go, aliens, you have a nice day. And they go, yeah, because <laughs> there's other aliens behind those well, aliens look at her that are like, but they're getting really like the leader of our alien race died 30 <laughs> years ago. Next, May as well. Next question from Willia WR11. What times do you all wake up and go to sleep? Usually I go to sleep around 12, 12:30. Uh-huh. Uh, that's if I don't play Overwatch. Yep. Mm. Um, and then, and uh, when I wake up, I usually wake up around 7:30 ish. Yep. Or yeah. so, um, more. Um, Adam has a hard time sleeping. I do. So he generally he's up most of the night. So I would say he probably falls asleep for about fifteen minutes around five a.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he's he's up by five thirty mm-hmm. generally. Yeah. Up by five thirty and just wants to die. Feels full. No, but I would say feels fully rested though, right? Oh, I mean, as much as a man who can't sleep yeah. can. My dream sleep cycle you? is to go to bed at like eight p.m. Sleep until about 10, 10.30, Ugh. then wake up for a few hours and then go back to sleep. No, it's not a good idea to take a nap after 5 p.m. in any scenario. No, That's usually. just called going to bed. So He's I'll actually explain marine. this to you guys. You guys have probably been wondering about this, but when I come in the morning and I sit down and I just kind of slump for a little bit, yeah. and then I start working, yeah. dead asleep. Wow. And uh, I probably will be asleep until we play Overwatch at the end of the day. That's, That's about amazing. when I wake up. Incredible! Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured out it's all about it's all about using time wisely. Yeah. yeah. And sleeping during the workday. I mean, what else are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. So you might as well sleep. Yeah, Get paid for it. Matt Peak. He was yawning. I think your eyes were. Yeah, open. I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Korea 24, <clears throat> dear Funhouse, my girlfriend has a low sex drive except when on her period. Obviously, I don't want to make a mess. What should I do? Make a mess. Put down a yeah. towel. Yeah. yeah. You just, so the good thing is, if you have a shower a or a bathtub, you have shower curtains. Those work great Rip to gather all of the fluids that come out when you have sex with a bloody vagina. I like to coat my penis in strawberry jam, and then cue up the shiny DVD to that exact scene when the door is open, and then I just stand in front of it. 
kind of like wiggling back and forth and pointing at my crotch. That's how I avoid it. Uh, Matt Peak, do you have any uh, advice for this young man? No. <laughs> Nothing? He needs your help. Yeah, come on, he man. He needs you, I think Matt you guys Peek. covered it. No, no we, we didn't. didn't. We barely we didn't. scratched the surface. We could give him all sorts of help, like maybe he just recreates a horror film, like it's role play. Give him a Jason mask. Bombina Birdcage, excellent name, uh, writes, It's the new season of The Bachelor. Matt Peak is our star. How would each of you woo him? Oh. Mm. I would put on a Jason mask, yep. and I would smear strawberry jam on my penis and watch The Shining, <laughs> and then try and have sex with his period. That's real sexy. Uh, I would I would join the production crew and impress him with my work ethic. You know what one thing one thing Matt Peak does really well is he cooks. Mm. So I would have to show him that I cook better. Ooh, yep. yeah. I cook a mean chili dog. What you do is you pull the, the hot dogs and put them in boiling water. Uh-huh. You empty a can of Denison's chili in a in a pan. Yeah. You, you just you cook that baby up. Drop it on there. You think that's the, gonna... the secret to the chili dog okay. <laughs> is you put some cheese underneath the chili Whoa. and it melts oh, on top of the chili nice. dog. Cool. And then I prove to him I'm the better cook. You're gonna yeah. fuck it up and just go to Sonic's anyway and go. I hope he doesn't get yeah. that. My secret. No. Elise, how would you woo Matt Peak? Oh man, uh, I think we would. <laughs> I'd hand him a tissue if I had one. Uh, I think we would bike to an amateur MMA event. Ooh, yeah. He'd like uh, that. And then afterward, we would do some insanity together. Love that. Uh, and then uh, we uh, he'd take me as a guest to his brother's wedding. Mm. So what do you say, Matt Peak? Will you marry my wife? <laughs> I think I'll go a polygamist on all this. I have to marry all of you. Yeah! Oh! We all got roses! Oh, man. Happy period week. Can Groats be the best man? <laughs> I walk down the aisle with Groats dragging behind my wedding dress, uh, tied to the back of it. Come on, Groats! Jeez! Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Got a train of Groats. Just fantastic. I hope it Groats gives me away. A princess, just a princess. The crowd <laughs> throws oats yeah. at us. <laughs> All right, let's see. From Katie Bacon. Who? Okay. If you woke up naked in a Kojima game, what would have been removed from your body? Is that what happened in that trailer? We were drunk. Yeah, something, remember. yeah, was something removed from his body? Norman Reedus was Clothes. there, and there was a baby. So deep. He had a C-section scar. Yeah. Oh, the baby came out of him. Right. My so butt, all the fish? My butthole would be removed from my body. <gasps> How I would you... never have to poop again. No, no, you oh, just wow. couldn't. You just couldn't. You would explode. No, yeah. I wouldn't. From Because you can't <laughs> fart. My Wait. body would reabsorb the waste. What if it just and I'd be more pores? powerful than ever. What? So it comes out of your pores. Or it just co- oh, comes out of my pores. I'm pooping just, all the time. It looks like Play-Doh. It just comes out from under your fingernails. But. I'm just pooping all the time. That's yeah. That's, that's smearing it all over your keyboard. Yeah, that's my that's oh, my DJ oh. name. Sorry about that. DJ poop all the time. Sorry, sorry about that. I can't sorry. imagine a Bruce that doesn't Rub fart. That <laughs> I wouldn't be farting either. That's a different you. I wouldn't even recognize you. Yeah. I have my eyebrows taken off. Oh, that's cool. That's uh, the least attractive part of a woman. <laughs> I was getting in the way. So that way I didn't look so surprised about the fetus and the oil spill and everything else that's going on. Uh-huh. You're like, Elise, are you okay? Elise? She's like... I go, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence? Uh, okay, so the trailer would open up. Uh, I would, My eyes would dart open. I'd sit up. My mouth would be gone, like in the Matrix. Oh. And then I'd look around. And there'd be a mouth on a table. And I'd go and I'd pick it up. And then the mouth would open and a tiny baby lamb would plop out of it. And it'd be really, really bloody. And then it would open its mouth and go, Kojima. <laughs> and then a tri- and then the the title would splash up. Yeah. And it'd be The Infinite Undiscovered, starring me and Kojima. It's and like, Kojima? Mm-hmm. It's like Lawrence Together. sits there and he goes, What would be really hard to Photoshop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says that. <laughs> James? I would just mine would be my copy of Photoshop. It would have been uninstalled from my computer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. sorry, Lawrence. Oh, <laughs> I described it as thoroughly as I possibly could have. The thoroughness yeah. doesn't help. It just makes it easier. Need more details. Yeah, it makes it harder. Oh, man. oh they know exactly what to Photoshop and everything. I know. It was rough. Adam? The timing. Uh, you know how belly buttons are weird, and uh, after you get your umbilical cord taken out, you got just that little tip yeah. that's in there. I want that gone. Just the tip. Just the tip. You could be Norman Reedus. You ever think about that? You might wake up on a beach with a oil baby. His squinty eyes. No, my baby. There's no way his body, he's that jacked, by the way. My ba- no. That wasn't his fucking body. There's no way. Matt Peake, what it's would you be missing? My beard. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, you just shaved. You get it all back, though. But that's what attracted all of us to him. Yeah. That's why we signed up for The Bachelor. Uh, here comes your final question. This is actually your day five question of the week. Whoa. It. I did it backwards. He's also dead. All right. Should we, is everybody recording? Should we clap? Uh, yeah. That guy with Shekel? Oh, jeez. 
too soon. Too soon. No, he's talking about the original Chekhov oh, assholes. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of time. Long Did they decade. blast his uh, bones in space or whatever? Oh, no, that was uh, <laughs> only his I want bones. you to be blasted <laughs> before. It was Scotty. It was Scotty. Yeah, Scotty was like, why oh, is there a spark? Did it? What? No. no they they blasted Scotty's in bones into space. He just Adam wanted to fuck dudes. It just rattled out. <laughs> 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 There's no way to contain them. Oh, we just kind of... Put them in a plastic bag and tape it to the front of the ship. <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> it just hits the Five front of the seconds. ship as it's flying. There's a reason it was a closed casket at the end of Wrath of Khan. He got fried. He was like chicken. Oh, oh man. Like oh, chicken bones. Oh. Scotty, not Spock. Well, he, uh, whatever, who cares? Sorry, you guys right? Spock died in the two. <laughs> One, two. Uh, Corey Law, first question this week. Uh, now that Lawrence has been appointed the resident dominatrix, mm -hmm. what pet names would you give to each of your submissives slash coworkers? <laughs> so, I mean, do you rename them? Is that a thing? Yeah, because you call them you call them like pet names and okay. stuff. Uh, Bruce, you're going to be cum dumpster. All right, that's not really a pet hey, name. Hey, I wanted cum dumpster. <laughs> that's it's a right. man's world. Ah. That's not really a pet. You got to earn it, Elise. I'm sorry. That yeah. seems kind of rude. I'm not really well, a no, nice that's all, I, that's a loving way of referring to you. What about cum receptacle? Would you accept that, Bruce? That's a little nicer. Oh. Cum hole. Yeah. Cum hole. That's Adam, not as nice. Adam would be trash toe. Ooh. Oh, oh trash toe. His toes are all real bad. He gets oh. bad toes. There we go. Uh -oh. Two, two shirts now. Yeah, yeah boy. Pray that thing up. Yeah, we are really... Capitalizing on this uh, toe here, uh, uh, and then I take it. And I go, Whoosh, bad. You've been bad. Lawrence would come. Lawrence would be the butt. <laughs> Lawrence would be the butt badger. Whoa, that's yeah, good. Yeah, I get badger. in there. Yeah, I you, call yeah, it yeah up. you get real deep in there, and, and then dig I in pack there. it up. I damn it. <laughs> I don't let anything pass. No, badgers don't, don't damn. Dance. That's a that's a beaver, but you know whatever. What do badgers do? <laughs> badgers bad. They just get angry. They're just like, <laughs> oh, okay. I can get mad at an asshole. I can do that. James would be the human toilet for obvious reasons. Hey, whatever gets me to Tim. Uh, Elise? <laughs> oh, God, there's just so many... Just pick one options. person and make fun of them. Um, <laughs> Matt, 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 Matt Peake? Peake? been waiting for it. Matt yeah. Peake would be, uh... Um... Uh... 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 uh <laughs> He'd be a... Uh... Next question from Andy McAdam, 91. The internet has seven day left to live. What do Funhouse do in that week? Go to South Korea where the internet was born. The internet was born in South Korea? I didn't know that. Girl groups. Wow. What's the history of the internet? I uh, guess as we're approaching its end, we'd reflect on its beginning. We would find out how... Man, so fuck all that. I'd buy the biggest hard drive I could find and download porn until I can't see. But there, there are porn magazines, Lawrence. You can just buy those. Or I could have a hard drive. And there's also humans filled with more porn than any magazine could ever could ever I hold. Think you download every game. That's that's yeah. important. Yeah, that's true. You download a little bit of pornography because let's be honest, you only need the same video. You know, you're gonna watch the same three. You yeah, know, you that's are. all you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The rest of them you ignore. Those ones just bring up the three that you watch over and over. Mm -hmm. I would buy stacks and stacks of hard drives. Just porn? He That's right. It? So well, then he'd have his own personal internet. The first six and a half days would be dedicated to porn. The last half day would probably be dedicated to any other kind of media I can grab. Yeah, I was going to say, I like, just hoard that shit as hard as I can. What? MP3s, uh, Linkin Park. What about uh, oh, oh. Limp Biscuit? It'd be like it'd be like two thousand zaps are all over again. I'd just be grabbing all the music I can find. What about Wikipedia? Like, what about all what of the world's care. knowledge? How many people use Wikipedia and how many people go to Pornhub? Well, actually, it's probably needs it's probably book. pretty I, even. I, yeah, yeah, I thought how, how many of those Wikipedia people are looking up pictures of dicks on Wikipedia? Can you guys think of anything to do with the CEO internet for seven days? I mean, Lawrence kind of he got he got it all. He got it. I he think got he it got all. The top answer. The porn. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of this is problem though. He has the selfish answer. I would share. Our business is built on the internet because we're going to be jobless. Yep, absolutely. So we need to well, go out to every single one of our subscribers and message them individually and tell them. Hey, we'll probably do a show in a week. Uh, come by if you can. Oh, like and a support, live show? Yeah, support the arts. That's a great idea. Because we'd have to be doing. We would be doing this just in front of like twenty people. That'd be our new job. But then I they'd say like, "Where? How do I get there?" Here, give them we a just map. Do it here. And like, what the fuck do I do with we this? Open the roof and people peek in. What would you save from the internet if it was gonna die? I'll just say I'll play <laughs> as much Overwatch as I can in hopes that I could get a little bit good before it went away forever. <laughs> Because I'm still not good. <laughs> a little bit That's good. the most pure answer, I think. I was actually going to say that Matt Peake would become the best Overwatch player in the world in seven days. We would, like, uh, basically show how he becomes the wizard, but not of Mario Brothers 3, of Overwatch. Oh, okay. So and he becomes an autistic child who yeah. can't find his dad? Yeah. Or We'd have to hitchhike, hitchhike across America. <laughs> and Christian get him, Slater's right on our tail. Uh, get him to Matt, Blitz Con so he can faster. compete. Oh, man. <laughs> 
Uh, next question from Arouse Dentist. And what was the, the most satisfying character death in a TV show or movie for you? Ooh, good question. I mean, everyone's gonna want to say the most obvious one because it just happened. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go way back when that guy in Mash. Remember they said that. He and he flew away, yeah. and they were like, "Sorry, Didn't they make... blew up." We're talking and then about it was Mash. Just silence. <laughs> he doesn't want Mash spoiled uh, for him. Wait, are you talking about Hodor? <laughs> no. Are you talking about Captain Stark? No, I'm talking, are you talking about Rob Stark. Oh, no. Mash. Are you talking about Ned Stark? The guy okay. from Mash. Are we talking about Rickon? <laughs> Which ones are we talking about here? Mash. I, I have two answers. Okay, to this. go hit it, Elise. The first is in MacGruber when the van blows up. Oh yeah, it's so funny. That is, that is really great. Uh, the second is Mr. Hooper on Sesame Street because oh. the episode you know this, Bruce. I've oh, told yeah. you about this before. The episode where where then they have to explain to Big Bird that Mr. Hooper died. Ooh, we're just not getting it. And yet. and he, Mr. Uh, Big Bird has a, a picture that he drew of Mr. Hooper. And Maria's like, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hooper's dead, Big Bird. You can't give him that. And the Big Bird's like, okay, I guess I'll just see him tomorrow. And they're like, no, Big Bird, no. I wish they got. Fr I wish that scene went on so long that they got frustrated with. It. Like, no, <laughs> he's dead, Big Bird. Got <laughs> of cancer. Okay, he's rotting in the ground. <laughs> Maybe next week. You know he was a communist sympathizer. <laughs> Mr. Hooper was a pinko. How about that, Big Bird? You child-brained idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Next week on Sesame Street. <laughs> Did they kill Will Whedon on Star Trek? Yes. I'm good with that. No, he like transcended or some shit. Did he really? Yeah, he like was like Kowski's? a chosen one. Uh, Final Crucible writes, What's your advice for having the best experience at RTX this year? Come That's to the orgy? No. Oh. I didn't. Are you having RTX an orgy, orgy? There's always Are an orgy. you having an orgy? Is there? Yeah, yeah. I've been to three RTXs or something. I don't even think I've... We... Adam, Adam, Adam. I shouldn't know? Give you a hint. We released the info the night of. Adam. So that's all, okay, that's almost Adam. Sorry. I've never been to any of these. Uh, come to the Funhouse signings with Bruce and Lawrence and Bruce and Adam. It'll be fun. To be fair, it was a lot of Adam, Adam shut up. Adam, stop it. Elise, what, what about bullshit? you? Uh, I guess just, you, you know, don't really focus on trying to meet all the, the Rooster Teeth celebrities mm -hmm. that you want to meet. Uh, the Matt Braggs and the Aarons and the... Aaron? I'm trying to meet some wet strange. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, just Gary focus on uh, meeting some friends and having a good time. Oh. That being said, Elise and I are going to do two signings. We might have a beach ball there <laughs> and some live music. DJ Dan's going to be there. That sounds stupid. Sounds safe for the whole family. <laughs> Maybe meet 40 or so people after dark. And they're all wearing blindfolds. <laughs> or... 40-year-old or so people do, in do our case. Do we invite Lawrence to this? Do we think Lawrence runs it? Do we Lawrence runs it? Lawrence, invite me to it. No, no, yeah, we're talking about dinner. We're going to have dinner one is night. We're just I'd like dinner. dinner. We're just have dinner one night. Just dinner, man. No, no big deal. You know you should go to is uh, the 1 o'clock rave. Yeah. There's a rave? Yeah. There's a rave at this thing? Oh, did the rave get canceled? Uh, Every time I go, we just sit down on the ground and read books. No. Yeah, that's all we do. <laughs> Sexy Panda Bear says, Funhouse starts a moon colony. How does your society function? First, we need a king. Well, Elise is our king. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, king Elise. King Elise. They are moon. all going to die. Wait, why? Hold on. Oh, hold How on. are you going to lead us? Yeah, Unless lead us. you obey the rules of the moon. All right, what are the rules of the moon? Rule the first. No one shall acknowledge any other solar system. Okay. Well, we're in the solar enough. system with just Earth. Us? Don't just question us. Don't question me. Uh, no, 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 I don't, no. King Elise. I only know the moon. Let her read her, uh, let her read here. Read her moon rocks. Well, rule right. number two, Elise. Rule number King two. We always bring a change of clothes. Uh, okay. That's easy. I can All do right. that. That's, that's no problem. Practical rule. Solid it makes rule. Sense. Yeah. Uh, so you get moon dust on one set. You can always you go press set on. King oh. Elise, what next do you decree? Rule the third. Do not talk about that thing on my back. Do you know what? It, what's you? Oh, oh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. At all. Okay. No all right. Uh, rule number four. Uh, just have a good time, you guys. All right. We okay. can have a good time. And we're surviving on the. I'm Mr. 5K. Asks. It's the first funhouse slash celebrity volleyball match where you all pair up with a celebrity to take on the rest of the house. Who do you pair up with? Val Kilmer, but him now. Uh, <laughs> Yao Ming, one of the tallest men in the world. Fuck. But he probably can't walk anymore. That's what happens with those tall people. <clears throat> no. You might want to check to see if he can walk. Yeah. Is he dead, though? He might be. I'm not sure if he's dead. China Regardless, let us know. Yao Ming. <laughs> uh, Larry Flint, but now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's still in a wheelchair, but okay. Yeah, but you can get the big wheelchairs that go on the sand. That's I just want a good parking spot. <laughs> 
it's Insp- <laughs> Inspector Gadget style that goes up on stilts so we can like slap the ball down. Uh, Better one. I would do modern day Gilbert Gottfried, but he would just sit on the side and heckle me while I play to make me do better. What do you mean modern day Gilbert Gottfried? Just Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> Not, I know, he hasn't aged a day. Classic Gilbert has on another plane. I want modern. Classic would flame me too hard. Oh, I'd be, oh. I'd be on all fours in the sand so, crying. Is Iago like the middle or? I would say that that's, that's probably stride running Gilbert. <laughs> I, I was about to shorten it, and then I realized you guys aren't in the Gilbert Gottfried circles I am. Uh, you're not used to the... Uh, at least, what about uh, you? Don't make fun of me, Bruce. Probably uh, Courtney Love. Okay. Why? Uh, just because she lift up her skirt and distract the opposite team. Uh, Matt Peek? What about you? Uh, I'll say Tom Hardy. I feel like he's scrappy and athletic. That's not fair. Uh, yeah, that's a really good answer. Tom Hardy would destroy all of us. Yeah, I just watched great. Mad Max again, so... Oh. All right. The sad Fun. thing about Tom Hardy is he probably doesn't care about anything. No. So you tell him like, "Hey, big, big Mad Max," and he goes, <laughs> "Did he say a word?" No, he doesn't. Oh. Like Mad Max, he just doesn't talk. Barely audibly As opposed grunts. to Gilby, who would say something like, "You guys play the volleyball." <laughs> That's a good wait, joke. wait, hold on. How does he burn us, though? That was the burn. Oh. What are you, you wearing, want? SPF idiot? Why don't first. you walk into the ocean and never come back? Because you drown. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's said modern day. That's real good. Welcome back to Open House, where we launch you do it. What? Uh, welcome to Open House, where open... you do it. All right, well, hang on. I'm not. I, just, I could maybe. Uh, your first question comes from Super Robo God. What is the most valuable thing you have lost or destroyed? My virginity. Oh my god. <laughs> Elise's virginity. Hey. It's like <laughs> That's super. I flooded someone's house once. No. That's cool. I don't oh. want to tell that story. Elise wants to tell the house flooding story. Go right ahead. Mm-mm. I'll tell it. No, 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 uh, Elise no, no, went to no, no, use someone's I, bathroom I, I, and then flushed it even though she wasn't supposed to because it was so filled with poop. That's that not how. That's not how it happened. Bathroom, but, oh, at least. That's not how it happened. That's not very at least you pooped that much. No, I didn't. I didn't flush anything weird. It's I, a big poop. The old house was old. The plumbing was old. Sure. And was, the poop was fresh. Yeah. Yeah. you're tiny. You're a tiny little girl. How'd you the poop, poop so it was much? A Generation X poop. <laughs> <laughs> Your old man toilet can handle this. Oh, millennial poop. Sorry. What have you destroyed, Adam? Know. Nothing comes to mind. I, I crashed my Civic a couple times. Uh, Invaluable. A couple times. <laughs> That's the most valuable thing I had, at least. Thanks. I don't have anything. I haven't lost or destroyed anything yeah. ever. Good. I, I mean, I throw things away when they, when they need to be thrown away, and then I, I keep things safe when I need them to keep them safe. Don't you have a Spartan shield from the film 300 in your home? Yeah. Okay. That's absolutely important. Yeah, and you can't destroy that thing, trust me, because we had to move it. I have, a Batman, I have a Batman suit, and that absolutely cannot be destroyed or lost. That is Batman. I have a Rocketeer helmet. That's not going anywhere. Do you own any actual clothes? Uh, next question from Crazy Ferret. Now that you made it to 1 million subs, how will you campaign to get to 2 million? Well, I've got some good news and some bad news for you, Crazy Ferret. Uh, the bad news is we don't have 1 million subs. Uh, the good news is that means we get to cross 1 million again. So woo, woo. we will make promises now that if we can get to a million subs in, let's say, a month. Okay. No. Let's make it reasonable. If we get to a million subs in a month, what are we going to do? We can launch the Rooster Teeth Wrestling League. Oh! We've been talking about that for a long time. That's a great that idea. That is a great idea. Completely changed the entire channel. Yep. Nothing but call outs, yep. nothing but super slams. The championship match will be Lawrence versus Jack. Again, yeah. the rematch. Yep. I think He's we get Lawrence to take Magic Mike classes. Okay. And he does a little dance for us. Who needs classes? I like yeah. that we're making do Lawrence every, uh, do everything. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence will try heroin for the first time. Oh. I've been looking forward to that. Okay. okay. I got my good. surgical yeah. tubing already. Oh, yeah. man, that live stream would be great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can we wow. start like a high profile rivalry between Peak and somebody at Rooster Teeth? A rivalry for what? Peak for like just a rivalry. Anything? Yeah. Well, yeah, because like you're, which one's the alpha male? You or. It's like grumpier old man. Michael. Why not? Michael. Michael Jones. <laughs> Matt versus Michael. Yep. That's a good you one. You should put an old fish in his back seat. Nice. It'll stink. Got him. Next question, uh, <laughs> Officer Rudenzioto, uh-huh. Deep Impact or Armageddon? This is a no- There's come on. no if question anybody about answers. This. All right, on three. One, two, three. Armageddon. Armageddon. I haven't seen Deep Impact. Oh. Who's what? He said he hasn't seen Deep Impact. What did Elise say? Having have. seen Deep what Impact. We said Armageddon. Okay. We all said Armageddon. We all said Armageddon. Let's do it Matt again. Let's do it again. Seen. All right. All right. One, One two, two, three. Twist. Oh. 
I knew someone was going to say Volcano. Did somebody say Dante's Peak? No, did you no, Of course Dante's not. Are you kidding me? Fuck Dante's me. Peak is way better than Volcano. I wouldn't know. Let's do it one more time. One, one two, two, three. three. No, Dante's Peak. Tomorrow. Man, Dawn of Justice. <laughs> uh, Blacker Jesus, which is the, the best kind of Jesus. Yeah. Right, the 4th of July is here. What's your favorite way to celebrate? Yeah. It was here. Oops. But it's come and gone. But how can we, how did we celebrate? Hopefully exactly right now, I am just sitting in a room in my underwear on a couch. Mostly, probably like this, just watching He doesn't GDQ. understand, we'll be at work. Yeah. We'll be at work. Uh, I mean, that's not gonna happen might be once. true, but. No, I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I am gonna celebrate the same way I do every single year, uh -huh. by putting on my stilts, and then my long uh, American flag pants legs oh, and dressing yeah. up as giant, Uncle tall, Sam. scary Uncle Sam. Yeah. That's what I do every year. You go down Third Street Promenade and get tips. Mm -hmm. Family tradition. My father did it before uh, me, and his father did it before him. Mm -hmm. um, I always have a little movie marathon. Um, I just watch The Purge. Uh, what's the best part of The Purge, Adam? I like to, I put on my red and white jacket, right? And then I like to go have a big breakfast. What like, about blue? Hold on, wait, no. She, she's describing a different, a different independent Well, let me day. tell you, on, do, on 4th of July, do you go, you go, you have a big breakfast, you get some of that round bacon uh, that you enjoy a lot. You mean you Canadian the, bacon? She's describing Canadian bacon. They just call it round bacon. We call yeah. it Canadian bacon. Matt Peake, what do you do on the 4th of July? Just get outside, drink a little, watch Stretch fireworks. Stretch his legs. Hang out with friends. Go the old frisbee around. The fireworks part of 4th of July are kind of all gone. Like, they mean nothing now. No. No, they're not. They're you can drive by Disneyland at any point pretty. during the week oh, and go. Fireworks oh, are fireworks. fucking awesome. If you have a yeah, dog, but they're, they're, a time but driving they're... by Disneyland. There's nothing <laughs> down there except for Disneyland. Fireworks. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I see fireworks on the freeway sometimes. People just blast them that's off. A, no, that's probably a shooting. Drunk Tortilla. Since the Warcraft movie was a hit in China, in which country would the Funhouse movie be a hit, and why? Oh. Um, you know, ever see those movie posters from like stuff in like Ghana? They're like, Ghana didn't get an actual movie poster, so they had to make one. Yeah. yeah. And it's like a movie poster for Armageddon, but there's a giant monster eating Liv Tyler. Yeah. And you're like, I don't remember that from the movie. It was I in think there. Ghana is where we would be the most popular. Was yeah. and, we, and our movie poster would just be all of us in the human centipede. Human centipede. We'd all just be strong. Yeah, but that's all actually in the movie. Oh, it is? Yeah. We're gonna shoot that scene? It's a post yeah, but they sequence. draw it real weird. Yeah. And our penises would be huge, whereas in the movie, they're small. They're very small. They're acor acorn-sized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was skip. gonna say Poland. What would the Polish poster for Laser Team 2 look like? It would just be like a picture of a fox on top of a wagon mm -hmm. holding a water gun. Yeah. And the shadow oh, cast from the wagon uh -huh. has horns. It's right. like a man with oh. horns. Or it's just Darth Vader. So How ominous. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so cool. We call it Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Glitter Lamp wants to know if one state had to leave the U.S. a la Brexit, which one should it be and why? I'd Canada? say California. Uh, really? California? If it had to leave because it already has like its uh, own Florida. huge economy. Florida. Doesn't it? So yeah, it could Florida. survive on its own. Like Rhode Island. Island. Like Matt, Matt is 100% correct. If California were to leave, it would be the 15th strongest uh, economy in the world. Really? I thought it was higher than that. It may be higher now. I think it's I think it's like the fifth. You know what it is? It's those avocados. <laughs> Wait, wait, say that again, though. Avocado. No, no, you say distos avocados. I speak Spanish. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can hear it in your voice. Uh, as a Angelino, I can speak many languages. You're going to get stabbed of... when you walk out to your car tonight. <laughs> Just, no, know. not by that, Lawrence. Right? Yeah, well, by me. Not tonight, but next week when this yeah. episode goes yes. out. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> we got time. You I'm can still safe. celebrate the 4th by driving by Disneyland. Hey! <laughs> no, look at those fireworks. I can't afford <laughs> Just to Just munching on soups. avocados. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think we dump Florida. People I don't love Florida, though. What? People love Florida. Do they? Just the people, people who live there. No, not even the people they love, they love lots of places. That's where OJ went to escape from it all. What about Tallahassee? No, nah. terrible. Jackson, Jackson City? Worst. The best episodes of To Catch a Predator were filmed in Florida. The stand. only good thing about Florida is Miami, and that's because it's basically Puerto Rico. Well, I don't know about that one. My, I like Miami more than Puerto Rico. Well, it's the best of Puerto Rico. Hey, when did you go to Puerto Rico? He fucking is all over the place. No, it's Sometimes Puerto he just Rico. gets in his car and drives. He was doing Puerto Rican. <laughs> Forget it. Oh, oh, yeah, that's where I went. <laughs> well, you're, Spy. You're Puerto Rican, right, Bruce? <laughs> I'm absolutely Puerto Rican. Yeah. yeah. I, I, that's, yep. I was born, my mom was born there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Born in a lot of places. <laughs> I, I, I go, hey, mama. <laughs> your mama. I want some. <laughs> 
plantains. Oh, the rice beans right. plantains. No, Mr. Airport Man. I don't need a passport. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. Well, there you have it. <laughs> kind of hard. Case closed. Pocahontas is my dad. Check or out something. this tattoo. I know. It's See, disgusting, <laughs> bleeding map of Puerto Rico. It's all affected. It looks like Florida. <laughs> Gracias. Your final question this week comes from uh, this is Skimia. Now that this season of Game of Thrones has ended, what do you plan on spoiling every week? We could just spoil usual suspects every week. Oh, <laughs> it's not bad. The devil's Kevin Spacey. I want to spoil uh, episodes of Ellen. Like, I go to the taping, and then I go online, and I'm, I'm blogging what happened. Spoil it? The yeah. Episodes of Ellen? That's yeah. like the, t- the talk show? Well, who's going to come out and dance? Mr. We can Ron. spoil the greatest the movies that came out. So Independence Day came out. What How happens if spoil that? Has, has anybody seen it here? Don has. Or Randy Don. Quaid. He loved it. What happens at the end of Resurgence? Uh, I was taking a little nap. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Open House. We're fresh off the boat, right back from RTX. That's, we're excited that's to be racist. here. We didn't, come, we didn't come from a boat at all. We, got in, we were on a plane, Planes man. are kind of like boats. Big boats in the sky. No, they're not. That's what they call them. Spread your wings and swim. That's what old Uncle Brewster used to say. That's your name now. <laughs> Oh, first question is three. Uh, oh boy. Boats. Boats. Hmm. Who's the biggest crybaby in the office? Who cries all the time? Who cries the most? Adam looked immediately at me. That's strange. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've it's ever seen at Lawrence. I've never seen Elise cry. No. I don't think I've ever seen Lawrence cry. Hmm. Apparently, Elise cried during RTX. Because there was a fan that came up to me. That's and right, she, she was, was crying. She was crying, and I can't take when people are extremely kind. Um, it, it, makes, the pain. <laughs> it makes me feel emotional when somebody says something very, very kind. You know who cries every day and you guys don't know it? You? Matt Peak. Matt yeah. Peak. That's who I was gonna say. Matt I was gonna say Matt Peak. Every single cry day. baby Matt Peak. Maybe you know, shut up about Maybe it. Matt cried at his brother's wedding. Did you? Oh. Did you cry at your brother's wedding? <laughs> no. Oh. Did you feel anything emotionally? Could not give yeah. a fuck. <laughs> of course. Have you ever had so much pain that you cried? Yeah, I don't know. Probably some fell down when I was a kid and scraped my knees or something. When you were a kid? I think I cried. I cried. I want to say it like the Arrow season finale. It wasn't Arrow though. It was something else. <laughs> I cried at a season finale, and I was like, I can't believe I'm crying at the season finale for oh DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, I cried at the end of the film Warrior. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Two brothers? Yeah, who didn't cry? Fighting who didn't cry in that against movie? Against each other! Everybody <laughs> cried in that movie. You know you cried. I didn't. You didn't? No, I can tell you um, about movie I have cried at, like a fucking maniac. Uh, <laughs> Hachi, a dog's tale starring Richard Gere and a dog. I don't know if it's I've a seen terrible, that. terrible movie, except the dog that's dying at the end looked exactly like my dog who had died only months earlier. Oh. And I was. That Just, really I couldn't. I've, I've only seen James cry twice. Once when his his dog died, and oh. then once when Richard Gere's dog died. <laughs> yeah. Wait, <laughs> hey, Lawrence, have you ever cried in the like ever in the in the history of your life? Well, since I don't understand what crying is, it's hard for me to answer that question. <laughs> is that what I did at the end of Furious Seven? Uh-uh. <laughs> Next question from Fatherly Nick: What celebrity butt would you sniff? Serious answer, uh, Lena Headey, but as Cersei Lannister from Game of Thrones. Oh. She made me feel like I deserved it. Mm-hmm. I think I would sniff Tom Hardy's butt. Yeah. After, after Warrior? Would, I feel after like you're all done crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, well, I mean, that would be full of pheromones. Hmm. And I mean, like, he's super shredded. He's a great actor. I could learn from his stench. Hmm. If if I knew the way he smelled, then I could try and smell that. You'd have a rundown of his nutrition. Get right. those macros and micros? Like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you're doing 30, broccoli 30, 40, in there, right? a little chicken, a little rice. Mm. <laughs> uh, the man has passed, but uh, David Bowie in his okay. prime. Oh, oh so not David Bowie now. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think David Bowie's ass would smell like? That's Ginger what I mean. and sparkles? That's what I mean. No. I think it would be magic. Have you ever no, seen David Bowie eat? Because I don't think he ever did. The only thing I <laughs> ate was pussy and <laughs> cock. At <laughs> least, what butt would you sniff? Uh, probably uh, Marion Cotillard or Lea Sedu, because mm. they're both beautiful French women, and they probably just like inject like perfume up their anus every night okay. before they go All to right. bed. Right up their anus. Are those like Cirque performers or something? No, no they're actors. No. Yeah, in what? Inception. Dark Knight Rises and Spectre. Yeah, yeah. Two huge films that made more money than God. <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell. Uh, Lawrence. <laughs> Ass's hole smell better than yours will ever. <laughs> Lawrence? So yeah, this this might be a, a bit of a loophole. 
but Get um, or a poop oh. hole. Ah, hey. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Uh, I was gonna go with Hatsune Miku. I mean, she's real and a celebrity. Mankind gets to choose how her asshole smells all the time. Good point. So I would expect it to be like a kiwi strawberry sort of mixture. Uh, you know, because he, she has to be palatable. Oh, no, it's in pie. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> all of this has to be palatable to dudes like who Snapple. don't like reality or, or real women. Can I'll you pop that over there. demonstrate how you do it? Oh, well, uh, I would be very respectful. Put that down. I bought you that. Then would you bow to her? There we go. Bow. Scoot forward. Right. Bow again. Bow again. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Peak. I'll go with one of the actors who played one of the Ninja Turtles from those 90s films. Because those are actually... <laughs> oh, <laughs> hear me out. Wait, wait well, they're, they're in the suit? Yeah, Corey Feldman? So the they weren't in the suit. I was. I think he was wearing the suit. So wait, so There's just the kind actors of my that are point. in the suits? The stuntmen? As playing as the Ninja Turtles, because that's just a suit. I don't want to be actually be sniffing anyone's butt. It's going to be nastier, so. though. Yeah, it's just, so you, yeah, that's yeah. where everything gathers. I think well, I'd rather do, do that be, than an actual Do you want to take butt. the suit off, or do you want yeah. to just smell the suit, but... Do you lift up the shell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for just the suit. Okay, just that's fine. Suit. I'm okay. curious what those suits smell like, too. Turtles don't have buttocks, so it would just be an asshole exposed to the air all the time. That means it'd be nice and dried out, though. I'm thinking way too hard about this. <laughs> too cool. Yeah. Uh, what's your plan to get a girl to break up with you? You know, to avoid the, it's not you, it's me bit. Uh, be a man. Yeah. And just be honest. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> it's a Honestly, dodge her for years. I Obviously, cheat, say, on yeah. her. cheat on her. I'm gonna say, yeah, go ahead and, um, But kind of cover it up and not really leaves, leaves At least things out. But then tell her she's crazy when she brings it up, Don't. you stupid bitch. So you propose, first of all. Um, and then you just kind of go with the flow. I'm sure at some point she'll be like, oh, marriage, I'm not interested in that. Oh, and then you fake a sickness. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, but then you reveal to her that you're actually Daredevil, and you can't go through with it. Then you fake a car accident as Daredevil. Yeah. So then you go to the hospital, you're laying in bed, and you're Daredevil, and yeah. you've had the sickness. <gasps> she can't be with you then. You I was gonna say the no. doctor at 20, you tell yeah. him to make it look like you're flatlined. No, no, amnesia. You're like, I don't know who you are, yeah. who is who. Yeah. And where you are? Well, no, but then you fall back in love with her because she nurses oh, yeah. you back to health. Oh, beautiful romance. <laughs> this is a long con. And then you ask for a three-way with the nurse. Well, I, just, I really think it'll bring us closer together if I bang another girl while you watch. At least will any of this work? I mean, let's check with the the only man in this room, Matt Peak. Matt Peak, would you ever do that? Why am I... What? <laughs> <laughs> he gets some of his best rest during open house. <laughs> All right, shark. Oh, shark whore. That's yeah. amazing. Oh. If I now had to pull off a heist, Ocean's Eleven style, what would everyone's role be, and what would you steal? Mm. Well, I, I'm putting the stake in the ground early. No, I've done this before. Yep. I'm gonna be in the hack fan. The hacker, yeah. Hacking open all the doors. Absolutely. You guys are gonna tell me there's a door closed. I'll be like, I'm on it. Oh wait, got to route around. No problem. Clack and clack. Door pops open. <laughs> Probably hermetically sealed. Who knows? I'll be uh, the Ju I'll be the Julia Roberts. Nice. Yes. Good answer. Yeah. I'll be the Julia Roberts. So then, what, so what happens is, uh, while all you dudes are out there doing your different roles, mm -hmm. I'm seducing the uh, casino front, the manager. Nice. And I'm, you know, like I'm like clinking drinks with her. And I'm like, oh, you're so. Yeah. Yeah, I've always wanted to date a casino manager. Uh -huh. And then we, you know, we drink and like when when he's not looking, when he's looking at my butt because I yeah. stick my butt out. Yeah. I put the poison in his drink. What? He's staring at my butt. And yeah. Boy, and I yeah. drop the poison in. He's trying to get a whiff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then we and we drink and I go drink up and he and he nice. Says, real, real quick. I don't think she ever seduced, was attractive, or poisoned anything. I want to be Jet Li. Nice. <laughs> Jet Li I thought it was movie. Jet Li for the longest time. Why is he in Ocean's Eleven? No, he's not. No, it's some other not. small Asian guy. Tall. <laughs> <laughs> I did the exact same thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, I saw that movie, and I saw a dude backflip, and I was like, he's Asian. Must be Jet Li. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that. Yeah. Right? And I walked up and went, boy, Jet Li had a really small part. And they're like, that wasn't Jet Li. <laughs> You're kidding me. Uh, Looks just like him. He's so tiny. Uh, I want to be like, is it Carl Reiner? That's in that film. It's a really old guy. Is, are you thinking of the old Jewish guy? Yeah. yeah. That was Jet Li. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, I, look it up. I would be, uh, I would be like the the man of a thousand faces, Brad right? Pitt. Okay. So like I, I could transform. I'd the chameleon, right? Got it. Except that everything would just be a party city mess. <laughs> 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 just the aisles. <laughs> oh, I'm Richard. <laughs> oh, right I way. need access to the vault now. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah. you can't come in here. Only Michael from the film Halloween. <laughs> oh, there he is, right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's me, Michael from the... Wait, that actually works. <laughs> I just checked in, it is Carl Reiner. So uh, I would be yes. Carl Reiner, I'd be wearing a lot of Hawaiian shirts. Sure. 
bucket hats, popping antacids. I would die halfway through the film. You guys would would pick it. You'd use my face as a new mask. Oh, oh I had to carve it off and then slide it on. <laughs> it's me, Carl Reiner. Look me up on the internet. I'm not sure if I was in. <laughs> Elise, next question. I am just another guy who wants to know. The Funhouse gang has been teleported to the Old West. What would their outlaw gang name be? Can I be Billy the Smegma? Nice. Yeah, that's good. Billy right. the Smegma. I'd be Decker Hardcase and hack things from the back of the covered wagon. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'd be like uh, pole arms. Can you imagine if you're in a shootout, you got these long pole arms, you draw. The gun will be closer right. to the man when you. Pull. You sound like a real advantage to our team. I'll, we'll take you. Well, thank you. Uh-huh. Um, I would be James Will Smith West. Wow. Uh, six shooter old Duke. Six shooter old Duke. That's Just I want. On more words to <laughs> Six shooter old Duke. Six shooter old Duke. I'll be Stumpy Three Guns. Yeah. Stumpy Whoa. Three Guns. Where's the third gun? Where is the third gun? That's Man. the. That's my. That's my that's thing. It's stump. a surprise. You don't know. <laughs> Giant cop. He doesn't have any arms or legs. He's got the same <laughs> gun strapped to him. Prop it up there. Prop it up there. I got a, I got a shootout later today. Every time you want to slow your wagon down, you just throw it all stumpy. Saxy Panda Bear asks James and Elise, how do you feel about the countless people who think they understand your marriage better than you? I mean, stay out of our business. <laughs> if I come in with bruises, that's my problem. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, widow! Uh, he causes a splash. Oh. Uh oh! My head, my head's NC seventeen episode. Lawrence has got a little glory hole right there. <laughs> I let you recon me. Is that his hole from his hernia? Oh, I'm a tower. <laughs> right, your first question goes from Blacker Jesus. Uh, you all now own a cruise ship. Okay. What events can people partake on the ship, and where is the destination for the cruise? All right, so the first problem with cruise ship is they say there's a ticket that you can buy. It's all you can drink. Uh, that's not true. You can only get about 10 drinks. Fucking lie. Right? It's, it's oh, a fucking sorry, lie, right? Yeah. Yeah. That? You only get 10 drinks like per o'clock. day, so we're going to fix that. You get all you can drink. Now, here's the here's the thing, though. Bruce, if you, ship captain, if my you, captain. If you pass out... If you pass out from alcohol poisoning, what oh, they do oh, is they nope they hook oh. they hook up an IV to your arm. You keep drinking. Just keep on drinking. It's all you can drink. Well, you know, uh, other than not being drunk, you know, it also ruins a cruise. What's that? When the toilets break. Oh yeah. And then it's then it's just shit everywhere. So what we're gonna have is we're gonna have slides that the toilets just you just poop right into the ocean. Right? Okay. You All just right. walk over to one of the sides of the ship, you just hang your little butt over, and you just poop, and it goes shoop, right, right off. What if there aren't enough slides for everybody in third class and steerage? Oh. What are you talking? No, there's enough slides. And not everyone's going to poop at the same time. It's not like a whistle blow that. and everyone goes out to poop. There's oh, a that's lot a good of idea. On the ship. I mean, the Irish knew what they were getting into when they bought those. Yeah. Seats. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> I have a nickel. Can I get on this really expensive ship? Sure, but you might drown. Yeah. Ocean spray cream. Yeah. Yeah. Can we dance shit. down there? <laughs> <laughs> Elise, what about your uh, perfect cruise? Uh, my perfect cruise is the opposite. It's only food. There's not a drop of liquid on that ship. What? Uh, so water we, everywhere. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Is yeah. Take your pick. Stop take your, take yeah. your risk if you want that salt water. Where, but how, how would you poop, though? You wouldn't have any water in it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm in third class, so I do not have access to the poop chutes. Oh. Uh, all right, so food only, uh, as much alcohol as you can drink, poop shoots. Lawrence. Destination for the cruise, oh. the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> and Ooh. the events are, everyone, please learn where the life rafts are. Shit, we're ahead of schedule. You need to get on life rafts right now. Oh, God, we're going down. Excited. <laughs> There's not enough rafts. Stop <laughs> dancing, you They don't have poop shoots on those rafts. <laughs> uh, Matt Peak. Well, one of the events, or the event you could do on the cruise ship would be iceberg sighting. Uh, iceberg watching, understood. looking yeah, for nice. icebergs. That makes sense, yeah. Nice. And j- just in case, uh, you'd have to dodge those icebergs, though. You gotta be real careful over there. The cruise captain has to look like Willem Dafoe. Well, what, what does he weird. say? How does he, how does he talk to you? Hey, welcome to my ship, Peter. <laughs> and if you fall off, you're <laughs> Dafoe overboard. Oh, oh no, he gets on his hoverboard and he saves you. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Next, qu- I gotta stop this. Next question. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, from Rangers Three. Given that Elise is a link to the past speedrunner master, True. which games do each of you would like to speedrun? I'm gonna speed run. Uh, I'm gonna speed run Pokemon Go. Uh, so I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be just charging around, knocking over little kids, grabbing all those Pokemon. I'm gonna rent a sports car and just be driving down, like fucking catching Pokemon as I go. It's gonna be awesome. Or children. If they get caught in the grill, they get caught in the grill. Uh, Diesel Dan, if Funhouse were characters in the game Clue. What would your character names, murder weapons, and murder locations be? Uh, holy shit! I read all like all the Clue books when I was a kid. You know, guys know I had no friends. Mike, away from her. I'd be Mr. Green. Oh. 
Hey. Mm, and I, I'd be Mr. Green. My murder weapon would be. It has to be a giant dildo. It has to be. Yeah. And the murder locations would be in the victim's butt. Oh, <laughs> got him. Yeah, Mr. Green with the dildo in your butt. <laughs> All right, it's in his bum. I would be oh. Ms. Scarlet, and I would use the only weapon that a woman has, her vagina, right. oh. to uh, kill someone in the bathroom. Ms. Scarlet with a vagina in her bathroom. Um, I'd be Miss Septic Tank Brown, and uh, That's a long name. my murder weapon... I guess would be the plastic piece that you slide the roll oh, onto. Oh, right, the thing that, yeah. And, and I'd be in the sewers, so I'd just be like a wretched, twisted, <laughs> deceptive tank Wait, brown. Would you have to be in the mansion, though? Well... No, if they come down there, they're... They're sure okay, below yeah, the yeah. mansion. Oh, okay. I'd pop through the secret passages. Uh, okay, Lawrence? Lawrence? I would be uh, Professor Board Game Plum. <laughs> and I got that nickname because I kill people with the board game clue. Oh, he's breaking the third wall. I am. <laughs> That's what I do. That's an inside joke. Adam? <laughs> Uh, I want to be Tim Curry post-stroke. Oh. I just drool on him. With the drool in, in the... I was in the pantry the whole time. <laughs> With the drool in the pantry. <laughs> we couldn't <laughs> tell. Somebody I made a thing. Uh, I told you, I never played the game. <laughs> no, you got it. Lawrence, next question. All right, next champ writes, if you and Hulk Hogan could switch lives, which part of Hulkster's life would you want to live in? I think so we all know the answer to this one. A fascinating question. Which part of mine, Hulkster's Mine would be when he filmed the uh, Real American music video. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Mine when would be when he filmed the the, when he was the action hero on the boat. Damn it! So mine was... Yeah. Thunder in Paradise? Yeah, yeah. what is that's it called? A good time. Uh, Trouble in Paradise or whatever? Thunder in no, Paradise. Thunder. Thunder. Who cares? Mine was the name of the boat. The boat's name is Thunder. <laughs> mine would be Rocky Three when he's Thunder Lips, because I wouldn't have to change my nickname. Very good. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, I want to be him in court when Damn he it. took. Uh, <laughs> There's <laughs> another one, Lawrence. There's at least one more <gasps> moment in Hulk Hogan's life. No one said three There's, ninjas kick back at. <laughs> There's so Mountain many moments whatever. in Hulk that Hogan's life. Nobody said Mr. Mom. Moments. All right, all right, Lawrence, what's yours? Uh, I don't know. Just rest, Andre the Giant, best WrestleMania, whatever. Okay, so WrestleMania yeah. three. Nice. <laughs> I've seen his erection though. I still got this hat. No. That's what? At least next question. Oh, this is from Fabrizio and then it's not the feather one. <laughs> what? You guys always show off the fact that you have an older audience, but I'm 14 and I've been seeing you, romantically, since I was 12. Am I smarter than the other kids or dumber or just fucked up? I think it's all three. Yeah, it's absolutely all Smarter, three. dumber, and fucked up. Yeah. Right? You're smart for pursuing content that is above your age range. Right. You're stupid because what you settled on was Funhouse. Yeah. And you're fucked up because we've probably influenced you in some way. <laughs> Gracias. That sure. urge to kill that's right behind your eyes, that's us. Hey, 7X Turtwig. Funhouse is going to be the gym leaders in the new Pokemon game. What type of gym do you run and what Pokemon do you have? Uh, I have Blastoise. Nice. I don't care. Nice. Uh, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what kind of gym? What does that mean? What kind of Pokemon gym? What you does that me? Those, My, are the, those are the boss fights. Hold on. Pokemon gym. Pretend I'm your dad. Kind of, I kind of am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then day. explain Every Pokemon day. Go to me because I don't. I don't give two fucks. Well, I don't think he's necessarily well, referring to Pokemon. Did you ever Go. watch the cartoon? No. Oh. Yeah, that's a stupid question. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so why would I know the all things. Right. I'll show you how I answer the question. Okay. I would run a gym where the Pokemon are actually trained. It isn't battles and bullshit. They're fucking put it put oh, to the metal. They're jacked. Like CrossFit gym for Pokemon. I like this. Overhead squats. I like back this. Back squats. Okay. It's, it's only the strongest survive in my Pokemon gym. All right. So, I like wow. that Pokemon gym. I run like a gym that's set in Mr. Body's Clue Mansion. So all the Pokemon are have like weapons and stuff. So we got the Strokazard. Who? Uh. What the hell are you talking about? I, I understand it. what he said because he said shredded. What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> it was a big clue reference, Bruce. <laughs> Lawrence, what about you? Can you explain it to your dad? Absolutely, dad. So imagine you walk into a building. Right. Right. You see a bunch of animals in there, and they're all weird, weirdly Get out of here, animals! Yeah, well, don't say that. They're oh. supposed to be there. Animals right? aren't supposed to be inside! Just gotta roll with it, dad. Okay. All right, so there's a bunch of phallic-shaped animals in there. What?! Yep, they're all greased up. I am up. not gay, and neither are you, son. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, but I'm just super into this for some reason. Who knows? Oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah. So they're all kind of weirdly phallic-shaped. They're all greased up. And the gym trainer's running around, and he's giving them all a good rub down. Son, we got to have a talk. <laughs> just getting them nice and live and ready to go. Pokemon. Talking about maybe two at once. Get those Pokemon all trained up, ready to go. And then every so often, a little alarm goes off. Sprinklers open up. <laughs> Not water. Oil. I'll get nice and shiny. Rub up again. That's good. That's how it. Does it That's know, how does it feel to know that your son draws Rule 34? 
Son, he can be whatever he wants to be. Adam? Oh, he looks up to someone named Ass Catchem. <laughs> oh, I was going to do a, a Pokemon Jimboree. So it's Pokemon for kids in the mall. And you leave them there because you don't really care for them. And you're just going to go to the Olive Garden and get drunk there anyway. Thanks, Mom. I understand that. that. I understand that one very, very well. Matt Peak, what about you? I always liked uh, or thought Kadabra was cool. Who? He's got the watch. He's the psychic. What the fuck are you talking I about? I got you, Peak. Kadabra is What's cool. Kadabra? He did this Explain to me, Matt. Explain it to me, Peek. I'm Kadabra. your dad. Kadabra. What? Kadabra. As that an, doesn't help me. As an Abra. Is this a conversation Peek has actually had with his father? <laughs> Kadabra, Dad. Kadabra, Dad. Kadabra. Like as an Abra Kadabra? You know, right. I caught an Abra at the mall yesterday. Fuck all of you. Shut up, you gay son. <laughs> he wears this sideways hat. He hangs it at the mall. Oh, I, I looked and there were like 18 radicates around me and I was like, what is this game implying about this mall? Kel was legitimately concerned we're gonna get poisoned from me. He's gonna eat Joel. Wait, really? Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna well, eat mine. Much of a pussy. She ordered them in March. Oh, I'm not gonna eat that for sure. Totally it's not March. It takes anymore. a long time to draw a face on a marshmallow. Oh, I'm I'm dieting. You're the best. Guys, no. Guys, no, you're God, witnessing Funhouse all getting E. coli all at once. I mean, it's just puffed <laughs> sugar. How? <laughs> got a scent. Oh, it stinks. It's got a scent. <laughs> It smells like fucking asshole, guys. You want to split it one? does smell like feet. No, I have to eat mine. I can't split one with you. Don't eat this. You've been shoving your feet in people's butt. I already butt. started. Oh, All right, Adam, I'm, is yours already gone? I'm yeah. sorry, Kel. It's a, really amazing what you did, but it stinks. It fucking now my fucking fingers smell like it. Hello and welcome back to Open House, where we like to answer your questions close. in a timely manner. Shall we? Let's shall. Let's shall it up. Uh, Inspector Gadget asks, you've created a new game called Funhouse Go. What do you do in it? Uh, well, you collect, I would say you collect Funhouse members. So, you know, there's the, you got the James, yeah, you yeah. got the Adam, yeah. you got the Elise, uh -huh. you got the Dons, yeah. you got the Dans. Yeah. You're just naming everyone who works here. You got the Omar's, hold on. Okay. Okay. But there are rare ones. Oh. You guys ever heard of Jacob? I mean, only on the wind. Well, occasionally a Jacob will pop up in a neighborhood or near a lake, possibly even near a school where there are children. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and he hangs out there and he dances around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So kind of like, so kind of like, um, like some Pokemon are water-based, land-based, air-based, right? Right. Jacob's school-based. Like school -based. Based. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and he okay. Pr he prances around. He says, "Oh my." Yeah. When you catch oh him, he my. says, "Oh crumpets." Oh, oh crumpets. Yeah. So oh, what, crumpets. what device do we use to catch Jacob? It's um, a net. Yeah, as a net. Or handcuffs. <laughs> Child oh, <yeah>. size. <laughs> you know, sometimes when they don't want to spring for handcuffs, so they just get the zip ties? Yeah. You What'd know you... what I was thinking? Yeah. Bruce said that you collect Funhouse members. I initially read that as penises. Boom. Oh, you oh. gotta catch them all. All right, yeah, sure, why not? You, uh, you use the screen and you drag the dick onto the character you think it belongs to. Yeah. My penis is called a squirtle. Charizard's <laughs> oh, if you have an STD. <laughs> Mine is, it's, uh, it's, it's entirely microtransactions. It's one big button. You tap it, it costs $5. And you have the random chance that any Funhouse member will show up at your house. But let's be honest, it's always going to be me. And I'm just going to walk inside, sit down on your couch, and start drinking your alcohol. That sounds awesome. Yes, it does. Funhouse Go, it's like, well, they want you to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Peek, what about you? I'd be catching Bensons and Benders. Oh, oh that's so nice. What a nice thing you catch the dollars. They're worthless. Trade them for candy. <laughs> Next question from Felix Mojo. Does anyone in Funhouse plan on having kids? We probably shouldn't at this age. What? Why? Uh, like once that. men get past a certain age, mm -hmm. uh, your sperm gets a little fucked up. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I this think is... it's worse for women, actually. Yeah, it's absolutely well, worse for women. Well, I mean, you're, uh, you better find, like, a 15-year-old. What? Uh, someone who's, like, who's just prime time, because you got to make it for your fucked up sperm. I think that at least and I got good DNA. Sure. I think we should pass it on. Right. I just don't think we want to have to raise anything or be responsible for it. Ooh. So if we could just like pass our DNA a on, the lab could put it together, yeah. make a superhuman or something, raise it in the military, and then we don't have to worry about it, and later it comes and finds us and murders us. Kind of karma we've got worked up. That kid's coming out with three heads and 80 extra chromosomes no, and whatever else. The We're gonna nip that in the butt. <laughs> Listen, we do that first scan, we're nipping that in the butt. Uh, Lawrence, what about you? I've got the funniest answer of all. I did plan on having kids at one point, but then my wife left me. <laughs> <laughs> the next question, please. What is your favorite spaceship from fiction, not spaceship from real? <laughs> what the hell kind of question is this? I like Jupiter Challenger. Challenger. Ah, <laughs> damn it. Nope, nope, can't do that one. I'll... 
I like the Space Shuttle Endeavor. No, no. that's oh. no from fiction. From fiction. I like Battlefield Earth. Okay. Do they have right. spaceships? I guess I they were all spaceships. Right? Were they just DC tens? Flossed in Paradise from Oh, uh, Fifth yeah, that's a good so answer. It's that fucking party ship where they have operas. Yeah. They do radio shows. Why does radio still exist in the future? They have hot chicks that let you go down on them. Like Chris with Tucker. Boobs out while you're fucking taking off, and you should be wearing a seatbelt, but you're not. You're munching box. That was the shuttle too. Flossed yeah, that, that was. They, they they pulled out not the, the same not the same the energy core, and then all the little squeebles came out. I've or? got one too. Okay. The uh, by and large big ship from Wally oh, that they're okay. on. It's oh, like yeah. you eat whatever you want all the time. They're just feeding you stuff. Yeah. You're in that chair, so you have to wear a seatbelt. You munch box anytime you want. That's true. It's I just, I mean, I, want that to. was a deleted scene from Wally, so people might not so, know it. But it's a pretty good situation. Yeah, it's very good situation. Hard. Lawrence. Uh, I I always like Spike Spiegel's ship from Cowboy Bebop. Oh, that's a great ship. Yeah. That's a uh, great lot of box munching. Actually, wait. With that hair, do you think you could fit in between? A lady's legs? Be a lot of pushback there, I think. Pushback. Pushback. I'm going to go with uh, Starship Enterprise for sure. Oh, Which one? Come on. Uh, from Next Generation. There's oh. a bunch Starship of nerds Enterprise on that D. ship, man. 1701D. What? Gotcha. There's a bunch of nerds on that ship. There's a holodeck. You can do whatever you want. Nothing That's costs... a hologram. It's fake. Nothing you can costs, all kinds of nothing holographic costs box. money. You can go to 10 forward anytime and drink whatever you want. Lugo Master writes, since Adam got to live out his dream of making official-ish Halo fanfiction with Red Rooster Blue recently, what TV show, game, or otherwise would the rest of Funhouse love to contribute towards? I would love to make an episode of The Golden Girls. Oh, that's uh, a good answer. Nice, good. But all they do is scissor. All day. So it's all good. You just mash them all up. Are there. we recasting or using the corpses? Yeah, who, well, They're not dead. No, he gets to go back. He's just basically in the show. Uh, Ruben it's Klein like in Stay alive. Tuned. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would be in Stay Tuned. Um, <laughs> not a television show, but a movie. And uh, and yeah, so I would also go back and have sex with a corpse. John Ritter's, I guess. Cool. Yeah, I would have loved to do an episode of Battlestar Galactica. Uh, just a standalone. I want to do a gambling episode, like an episode of Maverick, but on a spaceship. The Wait, end. You mean an episode of Maverick the movie? <laughs> Imagine Maverick in space. There's a Maverick TV show. Yeah, that's What's what the, the movie came that's from. That's right, there was. Huh. What? No, there, really? Yeah, yes. that's what, it's all right. The whole yeah. movie is a reference to the TV show. Oh, well, should I change James my Garner. answer? I want to make Maverick. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I would make a TV series based in the universe of the fifth element, except it would be adults only, only on Pornhub, and it would be exclusively bunch moxing, bunch moxing, bunch moxing, bunch moxing. Bunch moxing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I always thought 300 would be cool. Then I could just be get paid to work out for three months and be a ripped yeah, dude in Matt, the background. You'd have to be a good actor, be? though. Oh, no, be, I'll just be one of the shit? dudes in the background that doesn't say anything, but he's it's ripped. True. You yeah. can fuck Eva Green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They all got to have sex with Eva Green on <laughs> the set. That was like part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think her vagina had tent. abs for that movie? <laughs> oh, man. You mean, she had how strong it was when it gripped you? Uh, yeah. Professional bunch ah, boxer. A, a bunch boxer. Uh, Elise, what about next question? Uh, JG1040. What would flying on a funhouse airline be like? Uh, a lot of turbulence, but not from the plane. Oh, what's it from? Uh, just because, like, every- lunch boxing. <laughs> yeah. Lunch boxing. Uh, just because I feel like we're like a rowdy bunch. Sort of, you know, and there, we'd, yeah. everybody be we're working out on the plane. Boxing. That's true, a lot because of squatting. If, if you're on a Funhouse airline, you're not just going to be sitting on the plane, you're going to be getting ripped. A lot of loose oh, plates yeah. rolling That's around. Oh, yeah. Squat oh, rack on the plane. Right. No seatbelts. You no got to seat hold belts. on. Yeah. 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 Core strength. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, lots of core strength. So, like the, so the pilot's going nuts on purpose. Because he's like, all right, three more reps. Up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> we'd need more space so we wouldn't be able to cram it full of passengers. So we'd probably have to put a bunch of ads on the outside. That's okay. You know how sometimes they'll put, like, the airline's name? It's like NASCAR. No, it'd be like NASCAR. Yeah. We just put ads all over the outside of that plane. Uh, Lawrence, what, do you, what about you? I mean, I, I would have a multitude of bars on every deck of the plane. What, that's what I thought. Uh, I was looking for that one. Well, first I want to say, number one rule, no condoms allowed. We no, want to invent cute. air babies. The hope is if two people fuck in the sky, we can create a Superman. <gasps> oh, it'll fly. <laughs> you throw the baby out the window. Fly! So wait, you have to carry the baby to term in the sky? So you keep Only refueling. you get pregnant point? while up there. The baby never okay. touches the ground. I prove. Imagine that. Uh, Matt Peak. Da, do de keg. Gone man. I think it's Dodeca Gone Man. Okay. Yep. What do you guys 
think of the Taylor Swift slash Kanye West drama, and are you on a side? T Swift for days. You got, really? Are I'm, you Team T Swift? I'm all the way Team T Swift. Oh, she got a bad like, look in all this. Isn't this like years old? No, no, this is just, the just ha well, I mean, like it happened a long time ago, but now it's happening again. Well, oh, this, what? They're talking about the new one. There's a new one. So Kim Kardashian released a recording of Taylor Swift on a private phone call with Kanye. Put it on on Instagram or Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. I was reading that in the state of California, they could legally prosec Kim. prosecute Kim Kardashian Whoa. for unknowingly recording her mm -hmm. phone call and, and posting it. So The People's Court. I'm Team Brian Austin Green, as always. Adam? Brian Adams? Matt Peak? Uh, I don't care about any of this. This is none of my business. I think I lost a year of my life just hearing about this. Lawrence? Wow. <laughs> I'm team TV show cheaters, in which you can record somebody's <laughs> conversation and broadcast it. You didn't really get stabbed. That was all fake. I know. I don't care. Uh, last question from I farted during a BJ. Hmm. What that mouth do? You know what? It, you know what it's doing. M bunch boxes. Bunch boxes. Bunch boxes. Was it the Sonic coin? It's my yeah. Sonic You're coin. Admiring your coin over there. Hold oh, on. Let me see that. Beautiful. Watch this one. Guys, be careful with that. I dropped it. Some people your phone. dropped it. Here, can I see it? Sure, I got it. Be careful with that. Come on, that's a Sonic coin. So it's in a nice little tin case here. It's 20 years of Sonic. You just pop, pop it. Oh my God, Lawrence. Sorry. Whenever you. Oh. Oh, you were supposed to break the tin. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You always take it too far. Now where am I gonna put this? Oh shit, I really cut my finger. Oh no. Ah, oh, 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 no. Alright, oh, ready? Yeah. Clap. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Ow! Ow! He's bleeding real bad. Oh. I'll get you actually. Color. Hang on, I have my toilet paper roll. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Open House. Today we learn about safety procedure and how to not cut yourself. Lawrence we are already failing. He's bleeding everywhere. Guys, I'm a master of slapstick comedy. <laughs> it's starting to feel real cold in good. here. Make sure, make Charlie sure. Chaplin did the same thing with the Sonic Cold. Lawrence might faint, guys. And then he got punched in the chest and then he All right, died. Read that, read that first hey, question. First question this week comes from Blacker Jesus. A lot of kids and young adults are going back to school this month. What Funhouse branded back to school supplies would you provide them? Hmm, well first, I would get them mitts. So they could wear mitts just in case if they're trying to fuck with a Sonic tin or like a Sonic coin, to trying to be you know yeah, trying to be funny, yeah. Yeah. stuff like that. Make sure that they don't cut themselves when they're when they're fooling around. Good, Good idea. idea. Yeah. Um, I you know the big pins oh, that anyway. have all the different colors. You could pick whatever color you want. Those are great, yeah. Except it's it's Funhouse, so it's all orange. Mm -hmm. But there's 20 different options, but it's all the same color of orange, so you can click it on and off. Mm. Get him bandaged up. Go on. Oh, that's why we have first aid. It smells like lead over here. Yeah. Oh, for geez. us. Just that's so you know, no one in this office, oh, no, 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 no. other than Just us in this room, have ever used that first aid kit. No, let's we're the only ones that cut ourselves. Matt Peak, what about back to school supplies? Yeah, mm, maybe that's pencil sharpener. You, really need to double you can make a joke there. All right. <laughs> I, you at home, send us your joke. <laughs> For Mad oh. Peak setup. You know what I put in that kit? You know when, like, uh, back to school, they, uh, Target will sell, like, those kits that have, like, deodorant and soap in them because oh, kids yeah. never clean themselves? That's true. We make a Funhouse branded, like, go fucking clean yourself kit. <laughs> if you're an adult. Scrub down wow. that baby. Yeah, so that our fans don't smell. Yeah. That's um, a great idea. I think we need backpacks that have nice little condom holders in them because kids be fucking. Lawrence, what about how are you feeling over there, Lawrence? Uh, it's a little hard to focus. That's okay. All right. It's okay. You don't need yeah, to answer if you don't want to. I'm spinning. You want, you want me to get you a cookie or a churro or something? I already ate the cookie. And no, the I'm, I'm I can get you something sweet. Yeah, Next question from Burt Macklin, FBI. Each of the Funhouse crew each invent their own new cocktail. What is it? Well, there's the sauce <laughs> it's, yeah. it's two parts whiskey, three parts vodka. Ice and a little bit of blood. Oh, oh, a little bit of blood to give it some color and a little hint of flavor. Hmm. I made a little drink called the Kovic Driver. What is it? I had a lot of vodka and a very little bit of orange juice. So it's just vodka and orange juice and screwdriver. Uh, splash. A, a shot of orange juice and then just basically yeah, a glass. flip it. You flip it. A bunch of vodka. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, mine's a beaver canoe. Uh, it's going to be Crown Royale and maple syrup in a gravy boat. That's pretty good. <laughs> Can I pitch you guys on the Funhouse drink, which represents all of us? Yes. Okay, sure. okay you're going to need a child-sized swimming pool, and you're just basically going to fill it about halfway up with mango juice. Okay. Right? And then you get some canned peaches. You're probably going to need 
100 cans of peaches. You take 14 bottles of Mountain Gay rum, put it in there, use a canoe paddle to, to Sw stir it all up, up yeah. and then you just lie in it. Like, you, know, you should also be like Lawrence, you just cut yourself a bunch, yeah. mm -hmm. and you lay in there and it yeah. just gets, it gets into, into your, your every cut. You know what they shirt. call that drink? The Bloody Larry. Aww. Bloody Larry. Uh, so this is a real cocktail. It's not so much a cocktail as an experience piece, but I've talked about this before. <laughs> you, uh, you have to get a VR headset, but then you have to get the cheapest handle of liquor that the nearest convenience store will sell you. Slap that VR headset on, put on some earphones, start playing Half-Life 2, and then you start just swigging off that vodka straight from the bottle. It's the greatest cocktail in the world. I call it the, the last resort. <laughs> it's just a bottle of vodka. And a headset, and Half-Life 2 in VR. All mixed together. Uh, he cut his finger, he's lightheaded. Uh, plaid and glasses. Elise has been asked to do Playboy, and Ooh. each Funhouse member is to do a video game theme shoot with her for the centerfold. What video game theme would you choose? Well, I don't know how we all have a centerfold. There's only I mean, one centerfold in an entire magazine. I want to be I want to be in Playgirl. I want to be the centerfold for Playgirl, and my video game theme is absolutely Metroid, because that dude in the Metroid suit is fucking awesome. He's super shredded. Houston. He wants to be. He wants to like. He's obviously a superhero. And like he goes there shooting aliens and stuff. Like that's fucking amazing. It's not, Bruce, it's not Sam. It's Sam Us. It's a chick. No, no, it's the last it's Sam woman. Us. The Us is the last name. Sam Us. No, no. Sam Us. Dude, it's he's not fucking Sam. so many chicks. And he's he is having the time of his life. It's gonna be great. Sam Us. Like stranger, the fact Metro. That he, mine would be The Last of Us. Uh, it would be backpacks. At least would be dressed as uh, Ellie. And I would be Joel. And then uh, but instead of Instead of uh, I don't want to I don't want to imagine this at all. <laughs> shirtless, <laughs> lots of hair. Who? And which then, one of uh, us? <laughs> and then uh, and covering my my crotch because there's no nudity would be just mushrooms, overgrown mushrooms. Mm. Oh, because, like clickers? Because of the clickers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I would want to do uh, Cusser's Revenge, but with two peaks. So it's peak tied up to the pole. And then there's the other peak with an erection, mm -hmm. walking up. You just, you just want to see Matt peak naked with an erection. That's what, what you're saying. Well, also as an Indian woman. Uh, my theme would be waist high walls, um, but it would be a wait. The, the the shot would be a waist high wall that I'd be doing a handstand behind. So you just be my exposed vagina. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Above it. I think uh, unlike the rest of you guys, I would pick Metroid because uh, I think it's really empowering for dudes everywhere. Uh, except I would be the Metroid, and I would just lower myself down on top of people's heads. Mm. Matt Peak? Halo. Because why? You want to see Master Chief nude? He'd be like assless chaps, but a Spartan suit. Ooh! <laughs> Robot chaps! <laughs> uh, Lawrence, next question. All uh, right. Uh, Shadow 11D writes, if any of the members of Funhouse were to be transformed into a car, what car would each of you be? I would be the mech from Sonic Adventure 2 that Tails rides around in. But only because I want to be next to Tails and have him riding on me all the time. <laughs> Elise? Uh, I'd be the werewolf wagon from Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. From that that makes sense. Uh, film. Uh, I would be Herbie the Love Bug because all he does is love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would be Aaron Marquis Miata. <sighs> oh, uh, yeah. Because cool. I want to be the coolest fucking set of wheels on the block, baby. <laughs> and I want the women to see me drive by and go, yee <laughs> Not women doing that. Oh. <laughs> Adam? Uh, I would like to be the Batmobile from Batman Forever. Yeah, you would. Uh, only because you could do sweet moves and impress people, unless you open it up and reveal that you're Chris O'Donnell. Because uh -oh. why would he be in there? Oh, yeah, that's bullshit. Because he's remember, Batman. Remember when he was like, I am Batman, what up? Yeah, and <laughs> I left my costume What up, my dreams? Yeah, stupid. And they said, no, he's Batboy, and then he fought Ravers. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, my the God. That, that movie's garbage. Well, Let's just reenact the rest of that movie, can we please? No. Oh. Sure. Peak. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, Cause it's yeah. Because <laughs> it's a classic and I can fly. Chitty Bang Bang, yeah! McNuggets 2389, the guys at Rooster Teeth made a documentary looking for Baba all the way in India. Who would you make a documentary about and where would you go to find him? <laughs> So I'd make a documentary trying to find Robin Williams. Yeah, because where is he? He now? disappeared, right? Didn't yeah, he like disappear to the Alps somewhere? Yeah, yeah. He went on a vacation, never came back. I you could go was... find him. We find him, Rick Moranis, and Dan Aykroyd. Where are they now? Oh. All the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I would look for Gene Hackman. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a really long time. Where is he? What's he up to? <laughs> meth? Probably meth. Do you think Gene Hackman turned like 85 and developed a meth problem? Yeah, it's sure. about the time. You're bored. <laughs> Sit around all day, watch a TV. Might as well spice it up a smidge. So I've heard about this guy. 
He's in Hawaii. He, he owns a surfboard and it, it, there's just legends of him. He will teach you how to surf on the sands of Hawaii. What? But I need to stay there for like 10 days. Bruce, I need $15,000 to go make this documentary. To find the legend I, uh, of Hawaii? I think, I think his name's like Jeff, but we'll find him. Okay. Jeff the Oauna. Jeff the Oauna, no, the legend of Hawaii? No, he's some guy who went to college out there and dropped out oh. like a couple months ago. Oh. I changed mine. I'm sending Dog the Bounty Hunter to get Adam in Hawaii making his fake documentary. And I'll do a documentary about Dog going after Adam to do his documentary. Uh, Matt Peake, last question. Sutton Apsy. Does it worry you that in your line of work, one little F up could ruin your entire life? I don't know what that means. I think he's referring to the, the like possibility that in social media or on the internet, if you say something really bad, people will turn on you and mob you out of a job. No, I think he thinks we control the planes we fly in when we mm. travel. That is true, we do that. I think he's talking about like if we like started gambling illegally or something that we might, you know, Yeah, that's that sort of thing. Or, or if you just make like a, an, an off-color tweet. Well, I don't, we can't say some really bad words. Oh, they'll forgive us. Well, like what? Well, you know, like... No, say it. Go on. You'll be fine. Just You'll be say fine. It. Yeah. This I'm already a little offended, Sunday. Bruce. I'm just letting you know. I'm already a little, I'm already a little offended. We'll cut it out. You can't say like uh You can't say that word around Boy. here. Well, you can't say Bruce, that. Bruce, it's nice working with you. What uh, about You definitely can't say that. I, I've seen a lot of people. I saw the eyebrows raise around the room when you saw that. Guys, we, there's no reason to tempt fate like this. Look, we have a good thing going. Let's not rock the boat by saying all these words and these offensive things. I mean, words like Dude, come on. Bro. Just, I haven't heard that word in like 20 years. Uh, I heard difference? somebody shout that in a parking lot once. There's comedy, and then there's just saying things that are hurtful and inflammatory. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> Bring back the <laughs> band-aid. Uh, I've seen something, and I don't know if there's a name for it. Maybe a lesbian circus wheel. Anyway, it's, it's if many lesbians, almost human centipede style, form a ring on the ground, and all of them are eating each other out. Yeah. What's that called? Heaven. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in the middle and read a book. You need at least five, right, to make it not. You want at least, I'd say five or six. I always well, just build it bigger. What's the key number of lesbians, Lawrence? Well, uh, that's... scientific, mathematically proven. It's funny that you bring that up because, as we all know, uh, the definition of a circle is just a series of interconnected line segments whose length approaches zero. So really, the lesbians just need to be really short. What are we talking about? Hey, it's another week. It's another open house. It's a thing we've been doing. How many episodes do we have to now? 81, I think. Really? Yeah. No, it's the fifth. Oh, the fifth. I'm what sorry. Are, it's those are all episode. practice episodes. Yeah, okay. those are all practice. One day we're going to get to number 10 and we're going to celebrate. We are with what? We can <laughs> reboot the series. <laughs> New cast? Whoa. Open house Hawaii? All right. First question we have from Hamas240. How would Funhouse be different if it would be made in the 80s? We were just describing it. So anyway, on that last episode of Sailor Moon, did you notice that in the last episode of Sailor Moon... James! Man. I really hate it when James doesn't freeze when I say time out. Time in! We definitely have blazers that were way too tight for us. Yep. But when we did cocaine, we were excited. We would look fucking awesome. And we'd all have a lot more bush. Oh, a lot. Oh, all, all of us. I don't know if I could have more bush. That's Coconut like, everywhere. Like under the bush. Time out! Bruce thinks he couldn't have Why more bush. Why did she time out like that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> James never listens to the time out. He never what? does it. He never Was does I supposed it. to time out? Uh, I would I would wear a uh, bailiff's outfit and I would stand next to the door. <gasps> And then whenever somebody walked by, I'd say something. It wouldn't be funny, but everybody would laugh. Fun Court house. at night. It's what will they think of next? I'm <laughs> tuning out. <laughs> next question for Lord of Cookies. Uh, Funhouse is now part of the TMNT mini movies. The they all movies. <laughs> what would your turtle name be, and which weapon would you have? Wait, I'd be Van Gogh. Oh, um, that's good. I'd be Van Gogh, and my color would be, well, let's, let's say cerulean. But I'd, I'd have this really cool cerulean headband, but one of my ears would be missing. I get it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because like the artist. Didn't he I do that for it. his cousin? No, that's Edgar Allan. Oh, wait, what would my weapon be? Turtles don't have ears. Sorry. My the weapon. Ear. Your weapon would be your mental in instability and oh, sanity. Oh, my craziness. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be insane. I'd be in a street jacket the whole time. Um, I would be Benjamin Franklin, and my weapon would be a kite that I would I could, like send it at people, and then it would shock them. They cool. get shocked right. with my electro kite. Uh, I would be uh, Tingle. Not like you're thinking, Elise. I know. I know. Chuck Tingle. Uh, Kendall's number one premier uh, homoerotic writer. Uh, That's my what I my headband would be nothing but butts, just just horrifically just obscene asses, butts. Asses, yeah, asses, asses, all asses, over. Ass, ass. My weapon would also just be two ass cheeks. 
pound people with those things. Passes in their face the whole time. Yeah. I'd be a shepherd fairy uh, Banksy buff monster, uh, and I just use the power of ideas. Nice. That would be your weapon. <laughs> Hope and change. <laughs> Obey. <laughs> Knock off Twitter accounts. <laughs> Please. Oh, uh, I guess I would be, if we're doing the artist thing, Degas, and I would do like ballet moves. You mean bad romance? Roma, Roma, Ma, Ga, Ga. Ra, 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 Da, Da, Ga. Okay, well, all right. I guess I'll do it. Time out. James thinks I said Lady Gaga, but I really said Dega. What an idiot. How does time out work again? I don't know. <laughs> she just keeps saying it and doing something with her hands. Matt Peake, what Ninja Turtle would you be? I'd be ACDC because I typed in classic artist and that's the first thing that popped up. <laughs> He's doing research on the question. <laughs> He's Googling the question. I should have typed in paint I should have typed oh. in painters. Oh, oh, he Googles which Ninja Turtle should I be? <laughs> <laughs> what would your weapon be, Peak? Google that. It's just a picture of guns. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a gun. He just shows them the picture. Wikipedia. There, there's it's my just weapon. A oh, he's of guns. Yes. Are you intimidated? Stop robbing this bank, please. Yeah, don't worry, Splinter. I got it. I'll use my Uzi. <laughs> there are more shit. pictures where this came from, and then he drops his fucking <laughs> album. Oh, 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 oh shit! Oh, he killed puddle. Shredder with bullets. Uh, James, um, next one. Bobby the Corky. The whole Funhouse crew is going to be a part of the next blood sport tournament. Mm. What would your martial arts specialties be? Well, first of all, I would be ogre. Because that there's that guy that apparently I look like. Yeah. Which yeah. really, by the way, is very offensive. Anytime I get tweeted, I'm always no, like, it's not. You he's look awesome. like ogre, and I'm like, fucking damn it, really? He like almost ogre? wins the tournament in that movie. Yeah, but almost. He's, uh, but then hubris he's like takes this over. Yeah. Giant, like huge face <laughs> dude with like a huge beard and yeah. big nostrils and a. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, he's yeah. realized it. Why did you have to ask this question, Bobby the Corky? Jesus. He knew. He he's going to be like this all day now. Damn it. Well, well, Bruce wallows in probably being compared to the greatest 80s action star of all time ogre yes um i would be i would definitely be the the frogman okay the guy who hops guy. and yeah. he, he trains by cracking coconuts that's who i'd be even though he dies to a bear hug i would be young frank the whatever his name is uh, yeah the, the wormy teen with the denim jacket who could barely say his lines out loud if you expect me to be punching bad you can't forget about our deals that'd be me so somebody <laughs> would ask me like you're up to fight and I'd be like I don't know which way to fight monster. And then I would just stare. <laughs> and then I get my ass kicked. Say the line. I get my ass kicked by a Japanese eight-year-old every time. Just boom, right in the gut. Oh! I wasn't going to steal it. Uh, I'd be the original Karate Kid, Jonathan Brandis, from oh. the film uh, Sidekicks. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think he's in Bloodsport. And Chuck Norris will be my spirit animal, so therefore I win. Yes. Well, Elise, who would you be? I haven't seen Bloodsport in like 20 years. I don't remember. Like well, James, what are you I doing? Just, I just want to know why Elise is lying. Well, I know we watched. I know we watched Bloodsport recently. Yeah, but I think like I fell asleep. The month. No, we were puzzle. We were solving a oh, puzzle. Oh, we solving the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, we were, I was doing the puzzle. We oh. watch Bloodsport every month. She doesn't remember. I know, but I haven't. I I was had my back to the television. and I was doing the puzzle. James, get your house in order, okay, man? This is embarrassing. Jeez. My specialty would be Krav Maga because I've heard it's the best. He Googled nice. it. That's the one says in Google. Krav Maga is the best. Martial art. Uh, a picture of guns. I didn't actually Google uh, it. I just heard a bunch of people. Parrot that at me. Let me guess. Are they in the is Israeli Defense Force? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Krav Maga is the best. <laughs> but guess what? Ten years ago it was Sambo. Like every it's shit rotates. It's weird. Billy Blanks. Hi, Bo. No. Uh, Elder Wang. Oh, great name. Asks Elise, which of the Funhouse boys is the biggest gossip? I, I know. Ooh. Elder Wang, meet me in the hallway. I'll tell you later. <laughs> what? Look at his eyebrows. <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? What's he got planned? <laughs> is he gossiping he or <laughs> he just has to go to the bathroom? Nope. Careful. He almost fell over. Bye. He might not be coming back. I wasn't going to steal it. You're not going to call the cops? What kind of a deal? Not yet. I guess Adam. Sure. Wait till I tell all my girlfriends about this at the hair dryer clinic. Uh, what's it called? The salon? Yeah. This is from uh, Willy Bum. How do I convince my girlfriend to give up smoking? Uh, buy her a bunch of sunflower seeds. Give her another disgusting habit to, to replace them. Sunflower seeds are not disgusting. Yeah, when you eat them and then you pile them up on your desk and it's just a pile that grows and mounts and then all these sunflower seeds everywhere. It sounds like, does James chew on sunflowers? Are you annoyed by James? Today? Gossip. What? <laughs> <laughs> So you give her something to do orally other than smoking. Yeah. <sighs> what do you do with her mouth? Pistachios. Chewing gum. 
Chewing gum, uh, Krav bees. Maga. Krav Maga. Yeah. What else, Lawrence? Spelling bees. Spelling bees. Learning Learning her her languages. Spellings. Uh, Matt Peek, what else could she do with her mouth? I'm Googling it. Well... I was going to suggest emotional warfare. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, withdraw your love uh, slowly and says there's nothing wrong, but every day get a little more distant. Right. Honest answer is probably to tell her that you care about her, so you don't want you her to do something that would be detrimental okay. to her mouth. Or that she's ugly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Matt Peek, well, last question. Go Maticus... What are y'all's thoughts on how how much they're adding in Pokemon Sun and Moon, such as the Alola forms, Z moves, the Battle Royale? Oh wait, never mind. Y'all don't care. Scratch I care that. A bit. I care. If y'all were a wet, were a fart, what? Oh. <laughs> Why did you oh. add wet to the that? Old Freudian slip. <laughs> if y'all were a fart, what kind would you be? I'd be a wet one, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I would be a. Uh, I'd want to be the longest fart in recorded history. Uh, uh, Mr. Methane. Uh, oh, is, it, is there a guy yeah. that does that? He, wear, he wears a cape and a little domino mask and... Mm. I don't know. He really? throws his legs... But yeah, I can't believe you haven't looked this up. It's can on I, YouTube, Lawrence, man. Is Lawrence Mr. Methane and he's trying to drum up support for himself? Can I be, <laughs> can I be the arch nemesis to Mr. Methane? Oh, what, what would that be? <laughs> um, oh, man. What's the nemesis to... Baking soda? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Oh boy! I thought it was. That's all I could think of. That implies a lot. I mean, somebody Google like, my answer. You know, like sharp man. It was or a flash freeze. <laughs> wow. Oy. I don't like this question. Yeah, I don't like yeah, that. How are we gonna answer I this? Wish, now? I wish Peek would pick better questions than this. <laughs> Peek, can you answer it again? I'd be a wet fart. No, clearly. <laughs> <a different answer. laughs> I like think we do face-off volleyball, real-life volleyball, Funhouse versus Achievement Oh, Hunter. we would slaughter them. We'd slaughter we'd them. Let's do it. Them. I'm not sure they know how to jump. I was going to say, any test of physicality, <laughs> we would murder them. Well, we already tried that, remember? The the great wrestle-off? Yeah. And Lawrence won. Uh, first question from Great Tour. Uh, given the success of your D&D campaign, twits and crits, which actors would you want to star as each of your respective characters in the direct-to-TV movie adaptation? All right, so Shattercock, she has a, a very sultry female voice. That's true. If you, if you, if you I've heard it, probably. yeah, several Have times. You? Sometimes um, when I close my eyes. She's got uh, just uh, bountiful curves. Mm -hmm. Lord Dunham. Wearing, uh, always wearing a Victoria's Secret bra. Her name. Okay. For some reason. Yeah. Uh, horns, horns on her head. Absolutely. So I'm gonna say the perfect person to play her is Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, lots true of charisma, leader. Lots of charisma. Can pull off, I think, the prosthetics of the boobs mm -hmm. uh, very, very well. Yeah, uh, I think for Derek, uh, we're gonna go more traditional Shakespearean actor. Oh yeah. Um, so probably Christopher Maloney from Law and Order SVU. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I think I think he's got the chops to make that kind of thing real. He doesn't have a lot of hair. So we'll have to grow it out for the for the role, but I think you could do it. For uh, Grimo, G Spot, Rufello, I'm gonna say either Who? Young Grimo. What are you looking up there? Not familiar well, with that Well, I can't I make eye contact because I have social anxiety problems. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say either Young Edward Furlong or Old Joe Pesci. Both good choices. Thank I, you. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Old Joel Pesci though. Joel Pesci. <laughs> Yeah, well, Joel, that's, his, that's his brother. That's his cousin. Oh. That's his cousin. Yeah. Oh. I want the kid from Free Willy. His name is Jesse. <laughs> to play Raxan? Yeah, I think he Michael needs... Madsen. Michael we can, Madsen. We'll go Michael Madsen. He'd be a great Raxan. Sorry. Both this of them is... need work, so yes. Isn't Raxan an alcoholic? Just like Michael Madsen. Just like well, Michael, Michael Madsen, Madsen, absolutely, yeah. but if you want an well, eight-year-old in there... He's more of recovering from many bad things, but... I'm pretty sure his body's problem. decomposing as like in front of your eyes. Yeah. So is yours. Yeah, well, yeah, but... I, I imagine comically he'll be acting and then a limb will just fall off. <laughs> and it won't be in effect. Like that, that's a death becomes her kind of. Anyway, I would go with the uh, play Decker Root Kid. I need somebody with edge, yeah. some street smarts. Absolutely. And above all, magnanimous. Uh, so I would go with the rapper Two Chains. Okay. Uh, Deuce okay. Chains! Two Chains yeah. seems too happy to play Decker Root Kid. Well, uh, yeah, but he's got dimension. Plus. That's basically the only human being I think that could follow in my stead in an acting sense. That makes sense. Uh, there's a lot of storied actors out there, but I think above all, two chains or, or dose chains. Uh, dose chain, chain. Dose of chain, yes. Uh, Miriatis? I'll go Russell Crowe, because I think he'd be great as a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> you were just looking for a hunk. Did you, you just want a hunk to play you. What? That's it's, all. You just want a hunk. He's Russell Crowe's a big old hunk, and so you want a hunk to play I heard he's hard to work with, though, unless what? you're as serious about the project as he is. So I don't know if he's going to do direct to TV. <laughs> We'll get him. We'll get him. <laughs> Next question from Saxy Panda Bear. In the spirit of the Olympics, what activity in your daily lives would you like to get a medal for? So for me, it would, of course, be uh, an obscure Japanese rhythm game called Beat Mania. <laughs> 
but uh, I would whip that out. I'd bring my equipment in a little suitcase, pop it open, bring out my custom controller, set it up, play like a virtuoso, hush the entire room, put it back in my case, walk away. Lawrence, I got bad news. There's some kid out there who's way better at this, yeah, thing, this game than you are. Absolutely. Sorry, man. But in, in, Sorry, man. You're, yeah, you're right. You gotta get better. Well, building on top of Lawrence's, I think what I would like to get a medal for is beating up nerds like Lawrence. Oh, yeah, that yeah, makes sense. sense. Just pounding on them. Just wrestle? teaching them what the real life feels like. You see somebody walk in with his stupid little case, yep. clicks it open, and he's like, pulls out his whatever Time it was, to get a medal! And I just... And, <laughs> and then everyone claps, and then they put a medal around me. <laughs> uh, with the advent of eSports becoming more and more of a actual sport, yeah, yeah. So I think troubleshooting would be mine. Oh! Yeah. So a gold medal for IT is what you're saying. Yeah, oh, yeah. troubleshooting. So, okay. I TS. Uh, I was going to say, I'm the best at brushing my teeth. You guys have never seen, well, maybe you've seen me brush my teeth a couple times. How long does it take you? Well, so here's the thing. I have an electric toothbrush that times every 30 seconds to do every section of my teeth. Okay. And I haven't been to the dentist in 13 years. What? That's, what? That's, I, that's not very every, fast. Let's say I challenge you. Fine. How do we this know you're the like best a, if you haven't been to the dentist? How do I know? Yeah. Um, yeah, you're supposed to get regular checkups. Yeah, you're supposed really to do that. good. There could be some teeth. serious stuff going on. You're yeah, probably no. fine. Well, no, but there'd be if I would be in pain. You, you could be rotting. Pain. Your teeth could be rotting out of your body, just like Michael Madsen's whole body is rotting out. Of you also, body. you should think of the dentist much like the judge. So you should probably go yeah. see a judge and go get your gold medal. But it's going to be a tooth. Matt Peak. <laughs> I was going to say having good posture, being effective at Overwatch, which I am not. Wait, you want to so you wait, want to straight posture, and be good at a video game? Yeah, it's one of those. It's, a, it's, one, it's of those. one event. Yeah. I, I want to see Matt the posture, posture off. Posture. Like, it's one event. Really? It's the posture Overwatch challenge. Oh. Okay. There's so, also a high jump. It's kind of like, you know, when you do the skiing and shooting, it's like that, except one's Overwatch yeah, and the nice. other's standing yeah. upright. Um, Wall Smither. Due to budgetary cuts, the Funhouse channel has to be shut down. Makes sense, yeah. What is the last video on the channel so that you can go out with a bang? Um, so I think we should do a blackface video. What do you guys think? I think we should do yellow face, and then we'll just, you know, do our regular thing. Yeah, right. But Open you'll house. be in blackface, and I'll be in yellow face. Okay. I, I was thinking we'd do dog face. Uh, oh. Because they can't really type, and therefore the complaints... Well, I mean, we're not going to be looking at the channel. I would care. It doesn't matter. Shut down. <laughs> Try and find me. I think we should do a mask face. Which is we're all Jim, Jim Carrey? Carrey from oh, well, and then yeah. one of us has to be the kid from The Mask that has elephantitis. There it is. Oh, okay. right, <laughs> is that what he had? Oh, you know what? I'd like to see oh, the guy God. from The Mask, the <laughs> weird face movie, sing Cuban Pete. Hey, the lesson from Cuban Pete, and that teaches the chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. Rules. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about this, Cameron Diaz? <laughs> <laughs> if we're closing the channel down, I said we go all out and we take this show on the road and we go to Six Flags Magic Mountain, the most mysterious and magical place in the world. Yep, so you guys all go on all the rides. I'll follow you three, four hundred feet back, maybe with a camera, whatever. Okay. And then, you know, we just see what happens. We It's a commentary on American culture there. Mm, that's a sound I got to go right up there. <laughs> oh, that got cut. That, that's exactly what you want. Great plan, <laughs> Bark, bark. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, no. Chick, boo, <laughs> no. uh, Elise, next question. Uh, this is from Di Fluffy Z. Uh, if you could bring to life an anime chick or guy for Elise uh, and spend the day with him or her, what would you do? I would have an anime chick like come hang out with me in a Ooh. purely platonic way. And uh, it would be Imaru from uh, Humoto Imaru Chan. Lawrence. Uh, oh, knows yes, I love, that one. Knows I love. Oh, hang on, I got a little thing right here. Oh. What's his name? Hamario? Uh, Humoto Imaru Chan. Right? It's a me! <laughs> <laughs> but like we would uh, if you know the anime we would like read manga play video games eat like Japanese snacks chips pops all day together are you doing yellow face right now chips uh, pops mine would be the slutty blonde chick from uh, Death Note oh yeah, I think yeah. I know what you're talking about she got about. big boobs and she just like loves the fuck mine's a tie it's either Spike Spiegel because I could learn how to be cool yep. or Shinji from Evangelion so I could slap him in his dumb face and be like grow up Stop being a bitch! Lawrence. Uh, I would I would bring just a tentacle monster. You know, a tentacle monster. Not for my own private private pleasure, but I'd just throw a little leash around the guy and we'd, we'd stroll around the neighborhood. I think it'd be an interesting day. I'm just in it for the interesting days. That's all. <laughs> I'm sure you are. I'll go with uh, Nausicaa from the Miyazaki there. movie. We can oh. fly around on her little, her little jet hang glider Dude, thing. Dude, she's like 14. <laughs> You know, maybe she's older by the time she comes to real life. They so. don't age. That's the thing. They're cartoons. That's so right. They have no age. Exactly, which makes it legal. No, they're legal. There's no hair. There's no weird smells. 
No odd sounds. Okay, Loris, yeah. next question. But they don't like talk when they're not spoken. Yeah. There's the question. Oh. <laughs> oh. Question. Hey, there's a Mario. Hey. Uh, Onisan, speaking of, uh, says, if Funhouse was to make a signature pizza, what will the toppings be? Well, wait, didn't we already do that? Pizza Hut got mad at us because we did something wrong? I don't remember. Oh, they're mad at us for sure. They're somebody. always mad We got at that us. balsamic drizzle, though. I think that would just be it. It'd be bread with a balsamic drizzle. I like the way he says that. This well, is balsamic drizzle. Balsamic drizzle. drizzle. If I have to think of like what Funhouse is known for, I'd say period blood. It would be oh, on yeah, this pizza. That would be the sauce right, on the yeah. pizza. Yeah. So wait, wait. Would it be actual period blood or just really chunky tomato stuff? Well, no. The chunky tomato mm -hmm. stuff the from the from the, the uterus would be the pepperonis. <laughs> oh, the menses. The uterine the menses. lining? Oh, the crust would be tampons. <laughs> breast milk cheese. Oh, yeah. oh, breast milk cheese is a great idea. <laughs> or is the placenta like the the divins? <laughs> The what? Wait, what are divins on a pizza? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, but what you do is you take all the dough and you just go it back into a ball and then you put that in the oven. So it just all bakes as a big ball. Yeah. Mm. And then you just carve right into it. It's a pizza call, cake. Oh, you call it a kid zone. Kid zone. <laughs> kid yeah. zone, yeah. yeah. Ding dong, 5 1. Why are you tune down extreme jokes? We are always do uh, what do we see is some fun. Oh, turn it up a little bit. I think you're too down. Yeah, am I too yeah, down? Get a, you're at it's like too an subtle. Eight. Okay, I figured it out. We have to just look at the calendar for the following four years. Okay. We have to pick every game, and we need to have a polarizing opinion whether it's going to be good or bad so that people will shower us with Should we set it up in such love. a way that we all make sure that all of the opinions are covered to the most extreme possibilities? Sure, yeah. Hey, can right? the calendar have chocolate in it? Uh, welcome to a No Man's Sky filled uh, episode of Open House, nope. except uh, a week has gone by, so you all probably forgot about it and found something else to be upset about. So let's <laughs> move on to questions. A. Eh? All right, first question is going to some brutal sidle bleth metal. Got it. If you guys were in control of another employee of Funhouse's wardrobe, who would you pick and what Man. would you make them wear? What does that mean? Does that mean that we get to force you get one to of dress you guys? someone else differently? Yeah. So, for example, I would dress Matt Peak in only wrestling singlets. Good. Oh. Damn, I was gonna pick Matt Peak too. <laughs> you can pick him. You can yeah. you can change as long as it works in with my. We can do Monday, Tuesday. All right. Um, uh, Tuesday will be. Uh, he'll be a pimp, like in Shaft. Oh, with the big <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the, the giant, cane? the can, the can, yeah. the fuzzy boots and everything. Um, oh man, I want, I want so good. Lawrence. Boy. To wear a T-shirt that says "I was wrong" and has a picture of No Man's Sky. On all the time. How much? How much do you want I to wear? I wouldn't wear that. Why? He has to wear it at all times. All times? Yeah. Oh, geez. I want, and I want when he walks down the street, down the thoroughfare, I want people to throw old fruit at him. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, part of the I don't know if you can control it. Yeah, new clothes. <laughs> I would just make Elise wear Sailor Fugus. Oh. Oh, what's that? What are those? What are Sailor Fugus? Yeah, Sailor Fufu. It's like a Japanese schoolgirl. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But not go over there. Not like creepy, like an actual like oh. knee length skirt. Oh, like real so school girl. But then the outfit. wind blows just no. thusly, and then you can see her pixelated how vagina. Come, how come they wear sailor skirts, and then when they go to the gym, like anytime you see physical ed education in Japanese schools, they're basically wearing like thongs and midriff cut off. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> I don't know, the, the version I've seen is like a white t-shirt tucked into red bloomers. Yeah, yeah. but they're barely a lot of leg, but For some reason in Asian cultures, it's okay to show all the leg you want, but you show any titties and you're a slut. Shouldn't their pubic hair be poking out? It is, all the time. At least, who would you dress? This is too good of a question that my brain is just flooded with so much. Um, Bruce and only in pants. Bruce can never wear shorts again for the rest of no! his life. No! That's cruel! You're sorry, internet. That's no problem. But what if it's hot or any other day of the week? No one picked me. <laughs> I, know, I know. I was going to say Adam has to wear your Batman suit just one day a week, maybe Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh. Friday fun day. Oh, how messed up is that? Uh, I have to dress up as no, Batman. You know why? It's <laughs> Adam, you got to do that It's sometimes. filled with his, like, sweat I parts. Know. Next question from Steffi X1337 or Steffi X Leet. Uh, since one million subs is just around the corner, what special will you do for two million subscribers? Oh, you got the well, no hit a million? We already hit a million. YouTube dicked us out of it. The more important question is, what are we going to do the second time we hit two million? No, we'll we're play No Man's Sky. <laughs> oh, for two million subscribers? Yeah, We'll sure. do a 24-hour uh, uh, No Man's Sky live stream like Spool. If we hit two million subscribers, I'll eat an entire French baguette. You would do that anyway. That's really fun, though. Who but cares? what are you going to do with the bread? At least, what would you do for two million? I, I want to throw a block party. Oh, that'd be sweet. <laughs> Kicking it old school, DJ Law Dog on the decks. Yeah. Which block? This Matt, block here? Matt Peak on the mic, wordsmith. DJ Law Dog is our conductor because DJ Law Dog is a bad mother. <laughs> All right, Matt Peak, what should we do for two million subscribers? Pizza. Yeah! 
Yeah. All right, I'll order some pizza. pizza. I, like that. I don't easy. like his complicated thinking, but I'll go with it. <laughs> One medium pizza for all of our fans. Awful outlaw. What's the best natural disaster you've each survived? So, I haven't really been in like a natural disaster, Ooh. but it's in called ja- our marriage. <laughs> oh. In in January of 1999, Toronto had so much snow, like a meter plus of snow, that the mayor at the time, Mel Lastman, he called in the military to help clear out the snow. Um, and there were like 400 or 500 like uh, armed soldiers that were brought in with like tanks to clear out like the Toronto streets. Wow, and shooting the snow. The mayor was so proud, but the rest. <laughs> it keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. Your worst natural disaster was... Snow. Uh, Bruce and I both survived the L.A. riots and the earthquake. Absolutely, we did. I survived Hurricane Hugo, which pummeled the East Coast. You guys probably... You guys didn't hear... No? No. Nobody? Nothing. Well, I slept through it anyway, and then I swam in the backyard because it was flooded, and there were power lines down there. So I probably would have died in that than the winds. Yeah, I mean, there were a couple tornadoes near Misses, near my home. I remember one time when I was a kid, it was storming really bad. And I had this door that went out to the back, and the screen door was like banging open and stuff. And I remember grabbing it and trying to close it, but the wind was blowing so hard that I couldn't, and also the hinge got fucked up. So I was just sitting there with like rain and wind blowing into me, like trying to hold the door closed while like everything was howling, and I was, it was pretty terrifying. Wow, he's like, he's like the, the Helen Hunt. Yeah, that's Alice. just the beginning of Twister. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. I was gonna say, do you strap a belt to a pipe and survive yeah. the. Hold me, Bill, hold the, me. The largest Twister ever. Matt Peek, what else? His heart. Oh. Uh, 89 earthquake, maybe. The house just shook, my mom threw me in her table. Dad is she mad. threw you under a table? Yeah, yeah kind of. Maybe there wasn't yeah. an earthquake. This is just how he deals with parental abuse. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, the cutest image. Matt, she told Matt, me Matt a... fell down another flight of earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, Mama Peek throwing a little baby under the table, sliding him across the carpet. Uh, Laura's next question. Andy22XX writes, I am a rare fan of when Hollywood decides to do a crossover of two different franchises, i.e. Freddy vs. Jason, Ooh. Kong vs. Godzilla, etc. Which two movies would you like to see in a crossover? Um, mine would be Terminator versus God's of Egypt. Oh, I think that that'd be sweet. It'd so just be like metal things banging against CG. each other. It'd be so awesome. I think uh, Step Up should probably mix with Fast and the Furious. It's about time. Step Up versus Fast and the Furious. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. I don't understand it all, but I love it. I'm going to build off Adam's answer oh. and do Fast and the Furious, but Cuba Gooding Jr.'s radio. Oh. So radio versus Fast and the Furious? Well, he's in Fast and the Furious. Hey, radio! Turn up that radio! Lawrence, which uh, uh, crossover would you like to see with Fast and the Furious? Uh, I'm going to say Guardians of the Galaxy. And Fast and the Furious? Yeah. So um, so it's it's 2,000 years in the future. Uh, the Fast and the Furious crew have been immortalized. Still look exactly the same. But their cars now go into space. So they're, they're space racing. They're space drifting. They're space fighting. The Fast and Furious crew used all the fossil fuels. Now we got to get off planet Earth and Matthew McConaughey's got to love us through the galaxy. Vin Diesel's body is the fuel. Yeah. It's the fossilized fuel nice. that goes into the car. He doesn't drive himself. Oh, uh, peak. I had a dream one time that I was in the future world of the fifth element and I saw Darth Vader and I woke up. And ever since ever since then, I thought Star Wars and the fifth element would be a cool crossover. <laughs> Leaving versus Darth Vader, who wins? Darth Vader. Wow. Uh, mine would be Fast and the Furious crossed with uh, the movie Selma. Are what? the cars racing over the bridge? Yeah, cars are racing over the bridge. They're both racing along with everybody else on oh. Selma. I get it. It's a race movie. What did Lawrence say? Call it Race Wars. Oh! This is from a uh, low no. What's your favorite evil dictator? Um, Idi Amin, probably. Mm. Mostly because of the forest. Nicolas. Whitaker. Nicolas. <laughs> what is this? My stomach, Nicolas. They poison me, Nicolas. Yeah. Well, it's because I like the story about him helping him fart. Yeah, and then how he killed that woman and then sewed her her legs where her arms would be and her arms where her legs would be. Oh That's gosh. the one. I'm going to say Luca Blight from Sweet Code in 2. Everybody knows him. Yeah. I'm going to go Kim Jong-il because he's the best golfer in, in the history of time. He always hit hole in one, so. Uh, I picked Stalin because he got away with it. I'm going, uh, Geng- I'm going Genghis Khan. I'm going way oh, back yeah. because, I mean, I absolutely, you know, I, I think he conquered pretty much most of the world wow. and did it with, with you know, a lot Stop. of People say that about Alexander, too, but it's like if you look at it, the surface area yeah. isn't all that much. Big mm-hmm. deal. You're playing in a small pond, but It's like, yeah, yeah. He was. Are you questioning was, Alexander the Great and Genghis Khan? I'm just Khan? saying, they say they conquered the world, but when you look at the world, James, it's not that much. James, how much have you conquered? I just don't go around saying that I conquered the James, world. James, how, 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 how much have you conquered? I probably have more Twitter followers than he conquered surface area. 
Funhouse, have you finished the big bag of oats yet? Do you still think it was a sound investment? I never got to see you pour the big bag of oats into the plastic thing that is in our the so dining room. The dog separate, food container. The dog food container. Two separate containers. So well, no, so now they're the big the bag of oats is gone. There's only the plastic dog food container full of oats nice. oh. that I see every day. Okay. And I watch it. Now if if I could figure out how much like with the fraction of oats disappears. So let let's say let's say it's this big, right? Okay. And the oats goes down this much. Did you see my hand move? Barely. Not really. I did a little yeah, bit. Let's get a down. replay on that. I got my glasses yeah. on though. I got my cheaters, so I right? saw it moving. And then they go down. I saw it. This much. I saw it. Nope, still doesn't look yeah. like it's moving. No, I saw here. it. I saw it. <laughs> Every day. But that. There it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, that I think maybe I'm noticing over time. Is I'm it? noticing. Is he only eating a oat? <laughs> <laughs> Matt Peek, how much? How many oats are you eating a day? A third of a cup. I was doing half a cup, but it was too much. We gotta up that intake. <laughs> too much. We gotta up that intake. You know to we one need cup. to get Matt. But, you know, at two million subs, we're gonna get Matt an auto cat feeder. It's been oh, great man. for my life. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Open House, where we talk about boobs. Yeah, that's yeah. the show. Boob talk. That's what we, that's I've what actually been thinking about rebranding the show as Boob Talk. Oh. Do you oh. think that would do better or worse on YouTube? I was gonna say better. Let's what we call Boob House, so that it has our branding in it, oh. and then they know to come back to the fun house. Redo show. the intro. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Boob House. This is where we answer your questions about breasts, male breasts, lady breasts, frog breasts, chicken breasts. They're all great. Doesn't matter what kind you got. Doesn't matter what kind you like. Read the first boob question. Hey, boob. Oh. First boob question this week goes from uh, Richie Izzard. No, uh, Richarizard. <laughs> She is her, <laughs> Eddie is her I've brother. been considering getting a dog slash puppy, and since Benson seems so well behaved, uh, y'all got any training tips? I guess as the dog whisperers, uh, James and fear. Elise. Oh, fear is how we keep Benson in line. He's constantly in a state of fear. Uh, he's here right now, and he's hidden. He's hidden, hiding under Benson. a table somewhere. Benson! Because he knows that if he comes he and he interrupts right the taping here, of this right show, the show started. I wasn't even calling. then he's going to get hit. I wouldn't get a dog. They ruin your life. I brushed that little asshole for an hour last night. An hour? An you brushed hour. his asshole? I did That's as the one place well. There isn't the hair gets all tufted down by his butt and his tail. And Packed I have in to there. brush and it clumps out. Sometimes when <laughs> we give him a bath, I have to soap up my hand and then I have to clean his asshole. Oh, yeah. And... We both have the same expression when we do that. He doesn't look like he's having a good time, and I certainly don't look like I am either. Whenever I train a puppy, uh, I would sleep naked with them for the first six months. Oh, so oh. they get your scent? Right, so they understand that, because I mean, I'm pretty hairy, right? And they're pretty hairy. So when they press themselves up against, they don't know where they end and I begin. <laughs> so then that way, uh, if I, I mean, you know, occasionally when you're sleeping in the middle of the night, you get a boner. Yeah, absolutely. It just happens, happens. right? Uh, and then if, they, if the boner just happens to touch them or hit them a little bit, um, he just thinks it's another part of me, like my arm or my leg, and I just yeah. kind of, I fool around with him. Yeah, and yeah. be like, hey, it's just, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. That's just another part of my body. Now, and I kiss them. The only reason to get a pet is to get around that awkward situation where someone wants a child, but the other one doesn't. So every couple of years, just new pet. My golden tip is to pretend as though your pet is a human being that can talk but chooses not to. So then you can insult that pet and then say, if you have a problem with it, just tell me. Really, it's just boundless joy and it's wonder that you have when you have it. Yeah, you just want to bully something. It, it's not bullying if the other person is enjoying it. And if they didn't enjoy it, they'd say something. So that's not my fault. It's true. That's not my fault. He's right. Matt Peek, do you have any, uh, any tips for training a dog? Yeah, talk to him in long, complete sentences. Why? I want you to go to the <laughs> mailbox and get me a newspaper and bring it back with my coffee. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. The what? next question is from another Pokemon. Huh? I think Poliwurf is it. Isn't that a Pokemon? Poliwag. Who cares? Whatever. Uh, what was the worst thing that's ever happened to you while I holiday vacation? So while Polly Warth was at vacation, what was the worst thing you did? Well, I was probably like, I was probably working or something. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like toiling away in the, with that dog. the fucking coal mines while that dude is out had catching Pokemon in the Bahamas or something. Oh. Man, that sounds like a lot of fun. Did you compare working here to being in the coal mines? No, I used to work in a coal mine. Oh, uh, okay. underground. And I was, I worked there naked and we had dogs and occasionally the dogs, you know, like I'd have to sleep with them tonight. Well, like coal dust gets tangled up in their hands. <laughs> Uh, I pissed myself once in line at Knott's Berry Farm. How old are you? Maybe 26. Did you like? <laughs> did you not want to lose your place or something? Uh, I, 
I, I had to go to the bathroom, and my mom said, no, we can't wait, like, we get in line, and I did that thing where you're shaking, yeah. Yeah. and I was a part of it, I was, like, excited to be at Knott's Berry Farm, weird, uh, <laughs> and then it was just, by the time, it just took too long, and the line was taking forever, I just pissed myself in line. It was like a wannabe roller coaster thing, but it was like a Matterhorn style thing where he sat behind somebody. Oh, oh no! no, no, no. no. He, and I, as soon as I found like some sort of like sprinkler or type of thing where you just get wet, I just put my crotch over. Oh, <laughs> my worst thing is also my greatest thing. I was in New Orleans and went on a swamp tour, and the uh, swamp tour was fantastic. It was wonderful. I saw some little swamp pigs, uh, but I got like like whiplash or something on the boat. <laughs> So like it went like tops 10 miles an hour. I just I couldn't handle it. So then I, I like it got worse progressively each day we were in New Orleans and I, I could not like move at all. My back was in excruciating pain. So I just couldn't enjoy the trip. Like we were on a ghost tour, but I was living a nightmare. So like it was just, it was terrible, terrible pain. I stepped on a sea urchin once when I was in uh, the Cayman Islands and I was very young, but even at the time, I had those things in my foot because oh, yeah. they just break off. Yeah. And then oh, so you just geez. see black specks on the bottom of your feet. Oof. And I was in a lot of pain, but at the time as a kid, I was still like, at least I'm in paradise. <laughs> like I tried to rationalize it. Most of my most of my childhood vacations were terrible because we always did what my dad wanted, which was camp and camping sucks. But I recall there was one time when I tripped and fell on a broken bottle and cut my hand basically wide open and I still have the scar with like cool little stitch, it, stitch dots on the sides. Isn't that the sonic container scar? Oh, that was your finger. Yeah, no, that <laughs> is almost healed. There's oh. a little dent there. Uh, Matt Peak. So I'll go seasick. That sucked. <laughs> That's not so bad. Oh, geez, well, it wasn't that bad. Good but... answer. Was it a cruise or like a fishing boat? Yes. <laughs> no, he was on land. If Funhouse was chosen to be moderators for the upcoming presidential and vice presidential debates, what important issues and policies would you ask the potential candidates to elaborate on? Uh, gender bathrooms. I want one bathroom for everyone. Mm-hmm. Also, no doors. No doors. No doors. No, doors. Yeah. no just, locks. Just, just one yeah. giant hole. Yeah, no locks. I was thinking one big rock hole. that everybody pees or shits on. Uh, I was going to say voting rights for dogs. Mm. Okay. Um, All right. Because once I've slept with them... Uh, in the, you know, like for the first six months and train them to be yeah. like like me. Yeah, yeah. Then to trust you. they should have suffrage. Yeah, right? they're basically people at that point. Uh, I need, I need a president that's strong. So I would say, Mr. Mrs. President, I need you to go through this entire room one at a time and tell me if you could take these people in a one-on-one fist fight. Uh, I'm just tired of people senselessly killing uh, gorillas. <laughs> I would. Uh, Bring bring that up and like I'm just tired of people killing little our gorillas. Adam, did you have a policy? Uh, I was gonna say uh, when are we bring back prohibition and what are you doing about the sex robots? That's <laughs> what, like that's a really good question. Hurrying them up or slowing them down? Hey, I want to know where they stand. Okay, how about if you can <laughs> find an update? If you combine the two, so they're alcohol powered sex yeah. robots. There we go. Uh, Boo Anna writes, "What is the most interesting slash bizarre nickname someone has called you?" Hmm. Oh, wise Gamgee. Like Samwise Gamgee. Gamgee, Lord of the Rings. It's not very bizarre. You yeah. love Lord of the Rings. Ah, that's true. You probably gave yourself that nickname. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Just handing people cards. Thanks, uh, mirror friend. Adam. One kid tried to call me Adam's family. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just staring at him. I'm going to call you Fester. I think I'd like that. Uh, I used to have ter- terrible allergies when I was a kid. Uh, basically, every month, it was just a, it was just a blow up. It was bad. And I remember at one point I made the mistake of getting on the bus with a box of tissues under my arm because otherwise my face would just run out on him like it was just too much. There was nowhere to put it. Uh, and then one dude saw it and was like, hey, tissue man, you're tissue man. And then like every day from then on out, he called me tissue man. Adam Kovic. Adam Kovic. Adam Kovic. That's the problem. Adam Kovic. Uh, there was uh, somebody who called me Bee Jigger. Whoa! What? Yeah, I know. And it, 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 it didn't Careful. work very, very well because he used to scream it out in the in the schoolyard. <laughs> Bee Jigger! Like that. And I was like, <laughs> okay. man, All right, you that's gotta risky. calm down. My name's Bruce. You'll just call me Bruce. Yeah. Everything will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, Bee Jigger, why are you wearing those big pants? And I was like, dude, bro, it's Bruce. And I like Jinkos. No big deal. Oh, I remember Jinkos. It's hilarious. Uh, Elise, next one. It's from Sunny Tea Bags. Her a lot name's of, Elise. Mm, a lot of movies feature a party scene, but if you could attend any party from the world of film, which one would you most want to be at? Uh, the one from Downfall, the Nazi party. Oh, Good boy. answer. Nice, Bruce. Uh, Blood I Rave from Blade. You can't write your jokes. <laughs> I didn't write it. I just thought of <laughs> You said Blood Rave? Yeah, from Blade. Oh, that, that's a great That's because of that song. That's a good rave. Um, and also, like, Blade whips everybody ass and then just goes... 
<laughs> the, the orgy from Eyes Wide Shut. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, good one. Party. Uh, mine's very similar. It's the party from Clueless with the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones. Oh! <laughs> I can change my answer to that one. Damn it! <laughs> oh, what about the party from Hackers? Which one? Exactly. <laughs> the non-stop party. The one when they're in the club playing fucking Wipeout the, and listening to The party to the where Lawrence is at home watching Hackers. <laughs> yeah. I invited so many people to come and watch with me. Party of one? My answer was going to be the food party from Hook. Uh, oh, that's a good party. How's there a fat kid? Does he just imagine more food? <laughs> <laughs> really good point. <laughs> Matt Peak. Yeah, those are all good answers. I couldn't think of anything for this. I know what party he wants to go to. Most no. part of those Ewoks at the end of Return to Jedi. Yeah, oh, there it is. Party. Yeah. Yep, that's yep. a good one, too. Oh, man. See, Wait, the videos, yep, they're yep, stories. Oh, original or, or special? Because it's a different song. Oh, the original. Beep, beep, yeah, beep, yeah. Beep, beep, all right, all right. I actually just thought <laughs> of it. Da, ba, do. Da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Muppet Babies. I just thought of a better one. Uh, the party at the beginning of Willow with all the, the <laughs> male ones. <laughs> Simple Tom, Fun House. My girlfriend just found out about an ex girlfriend of mine who was from Italy and way out of my league. Ooh. My GF, also out of my league, is now convinced I think she's ugly and isn't talking to me. How do I let her know that I think she's gorgeous without letting her know she's out of my league and giving her an upper hand in the relationship? Inspire new tits. <laughs> <laughs> do you think our viewership is too young to genuinely laugh at pregnancy jokes? Like legitimate impregnation? What's like at least has a little yeah, baby like what's, a, what's a pregnancy yeah, joke? Yeah, give us a good one. Well, at least just made a late period joke. I, I said thought. that clap was later than my period. Yeah. Ha ha! Yeah. Mm. It's funny. James, you shouldn't... You understand I'm what that concerned. means, right? Yeah. I know the last time I've been insider. Yeah. Can't be mine. Uh, your first question this week comes from Brian is bored. Funhouse now has a new children's breakfast cereal. What's it made of and what is the free prize inside? Farty O's. Ew. They'd be they, they, they'd be little brown nuggets, no. um, but then they'd have marshmallows in them. But the marshmallows are brown and they look like little poofs, like little fart poofs that would come out. What's the and prize? those are green. What is the prize that you get? Uh, the prize that they could get is a whistle, but when you blow it, it just goes. Oh, <laughs> a fart whistle. Yeah. What's the mascot on the box? It's a cartoon Bruce. What is, oh, yeah, it's me. Yeah. Wow, what, do, what do kids love nowadays? Do we, do we know? Uh, oral, oral sex. Whistles. Oral sex. So we'll call them uh, blowgios. They're, they're all, they're shaped like little penises. And so every time you eat them, it's like giving a little blowjob. Oh, they like getting blowjobs, not giving. Yeah. Well, there's no got to be some kids that like giving blowjobs, right? Who doesn't? Yeah. Quick yeah. show of hands. Who in this room likes giving blowjobs? I like the idea of it. Does anybody else have any breakfast cereals? Uh, I would, mine would be sexts. It's kind of hard to say. What'd you say? Sexts. All right. What's uh, that? Sexts. Sexts. <laughs> oh. It's plural. Uh, so each, each, it'd be like little puffs of corn, except each one would have like a little phrase on it. Like a little, it looks like a little speech bubble in Messenger, and it's got like, I want to suck your cock on it. Oh, there's sex. Oh, yes. yeah. I see. Sex. Oh. I thought I, I was trying to emphasize how to pronounce it until yeah. it would come across. I you're avoiding like. copyright. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the prize would be my number at the bottom, so you know how <laughs> to send me messages. Peek, what about you? It'd be made of oatmeal, clearly. Oh. And. <laughs> Pandering. The free prize inside would be a discount for more oatmeal. <laughs> ah! That's what good. What you in? That's from, a yeah, answer. from a business perspective, that commercial that's really just seems so depressing. I know. <laughs> hey, kids. You're going to discount in the more arms oatmeal. Of you want an angel. Stale, flavorless <laughs> paste in your mouth? <laughs> get, my, get oatmeal. Uh, next question from Cool Aids Man. Cool. Aww. What did you buy with your very first paycheck? That's a really good question. I remember I was saving up for a car. Yeah, so was I. That cost $1,000. Me too. So I bought a 1985, I'm sure I've talked about this, Chrysler the Baron station wagon that was a fake Woody. Yeah, uh, it had the wood painted on the side. Probably with my first, well, let's say, eight paychecks. Beaver wagon. That was a cool car. What was your first job? All over it. Yeah, yeah, what was the job you worked? Uh, I worked at uh, the front desk for the Montecito YMCA. That's not bad. I mean, yeah, it's good, sure. but it's not bad. I met Dennis Miller there. <gasps> the? The Dennis Miller. <laughs> How's his show doing? Uh, well, that was 20 years ago. So. <laughs> Wait, Dennis Miller went to the YMCA? Yeah. So I didn't really have a paycheck. My first job was an under the t table sort of thing. I fixed electric guitars when I was like 13. Nice. So I don't know if that That's was legal, awesome. but yeah. rock and roll. Uh, that was a long time ago, and I didn't have a computer, so I don't know what I spent it on. And I couldn't drive. I'm really trying to remember where that money went. Porno? Food. No, there was no porn video in my games. entire hometown. Uh, yeah, it might have been like a used video game. Mm -hmm. um, nice. 
Probably yeah. something bad. I yeah. think it was Batman Forever on Super Nintendo. Because that costs like that 15 hurts. bucks. That's about how much I got that for hurts. repairing a guitar. Mm. It was a bad time. I've always been frugal, so I just put all my money away. It just every dollar Still I made that it. summer. So yeah, I haven't spent a dollar you since getting a You haven't spent a dollar? Nope. Mm -hmm. Wow. Think about the interest he's getting on that mattress. Yep. I looked at my bank account the other day, over $10,000. That's Whoa. pretty good. That's, not that's bad. Pretty... You're a one percenter. Uh, James, did you say, did you answer yet? Mine was also my car, I think. I don't remember what my first paycheck went to, but I was got a job so I could specifically save for a car. Do you remember what car you got? Yeah, 1991 Chevy Camaro. Fuck that was yes. purple. Oh, God. <laughs> It was awesome. made cars in that color. I looked it cooler than Jared Leto looked in Suicide Squad. Wow, that's yeah. like everybody else who also looked cooler than Jared Leto in Suicide Squad. I remember there was a pretty girl in my high school, and I offered to give her a ride home, and she declined. Ooh. <laughs> she said, no thanks, white trash. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mally's. Uh, mine's, like, super boring. I worked at, a, like, an upscale ladies' clothing store called Melanie Lynn. It's, like, Canadian. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I, whoa. I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's Canadian. Pretty sure I just had to, like, re-roll my money into buying clothes that I could wear at the job because it's how they, like, yeah. entrap you. <laughs> your first two checks sense. go towards your own clothes you have to yeah. buy. It's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like that at the Chicken Express, too. Uh, Matt Peak. I saved up the first few for a PS2. <gasps> whoa! Best answer. Yeah, that is the best answer. What'd you get with it? What game? I think GTA 3. Oh, oh man. The, the best answer. What was the job, though? You got to skip the Phantom. Uh, go-kart track. Go-kart track? Whoa! I think you're the coolest person in the world. Young Sturtrillion. I'm planning a prank for the end of my last year in high school. Any suggestions? All right. Here's what you do. You get a, you get a small IED, all right? You put it in your nose, right? And you go to school, and you're like, whoa, everybody. I gotta sneeze so bad. Oh, uh, oh, uh, and then you, and then blow up the entire school. Good prank. What about what you you would you would die? Gotcha. You yeah. would die though. I was gonna say put a tack on someone's C, but well, that's I mean that's just that's disgusting. By comparison, now it just seems too dark. Elise, what, what about would you do something funny? You get an IUD. Okay, intrauterine device. You oh, put that in your vagina. Right. You have sex with a bunch of dudes. A no problem. Here's a funny prank. Um, hunker down, study real hard, start applying for colleges, like ones that you're interested in going to, right? Like, come on, right? Wow. Work really hard, try and get accepted, and when you do, what? go. <laughs> And study hard there too. Ooh, Work real hard. What a total life on their face. Social connections with friends. Could you imagine? Oh man, that's crazy. Could you imagine? No, I mean, that's a little too far, isn't it? Yeah, uh, crazy, that's, that man. is too far. Uh, nah, I just kidding. Blow up the school. That peak. What about you? <laughs> I don't have anything good for this. Do something with the flagpole. You won't get in that much trouble. There we go. Classic flagpole yeah. prank. How mental, Matt. You're ridiculous. Oh, uh, Lawrence, Are please read the next question. Did you become Austin yeah, Bowers? Yeah, why did you become Austin Bowers? <laughs> uh, it's mental, man. Mental. <laughs> Pope Dope II, yeah. that's how I'm interpreting that, asks, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be, Dick? I have three words for all of you, and you already know those three words. Chipotle. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's all I right. would eat. It was that's right. I want mock joke eat. that we said at the same we time right. as his real joke. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. See, that's what I'm saying. You We're going to stop know. hanging out. Wait. We should work together. Does that count as a thing? Because that's a set of things. It's a so, set of things? Specifically, oh, okay, yeah. You want me to just pick one thing? Yeah, no, I know. Chicken. There. I just eat chicken all the time. I will let you have a meal. Oh. You can have, like, pick one Chipotle meal. Mm. I just the same. Rice and chicken. It's the same thing I always get, which is the bowl with white rice, black beans, chicken, sour cream cheese, guacamole, and lettuce. Uh, anybody else? Uh, cheeseburgers, hundred percent, no questione. <laughs> but I wouldn't live very long, so. <laughs> like that. Which, uh, like McDonald's cheeseburgers specifically, or just um, any kind of whatever I can get. Everything is meat, meat, meat. I think I, having gone with the space food type thing for as long as I have, I think I could do it three meals for every for, for the rest of my life. For the rest of your because, life? Because I think that it would ensure maximum potential for jacktitude. Um, uh, the cordon bleu de cyanide. Because if I have to eat one meal for the rest of my life, I want to die. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's I, hell. I feel the same way. Just eat one thing? I that's misery. Same. Just take me away, Lord. Matt Big, is he going to do it? If I could only eat one thing, I wouldn't. But if I had to, I guess I'd just pick vegetables. It's the best thing for you. It would suck, but... <laughs> you can't build that muscle back with broccoli. You well, can. No, yep. it's just going to help your poops. Uh, this is uh, Samori 
Would you date a fan? I know you are all in relationships, so hint, hint, Matt P. Oh, well, this is a question directed in his face. Right at Matt P. <laughs> Welcome to Love Connection, where old-fashioned romance meets modern-day technology. Matt P. Let's say this cute 25-year-old girl walked right up to you and said, Hey, Matt, I uh, really like you in the Funhouse videos. And uh, I was thinking, like, maybe we go to, like, uh, Chipotle. Maybe get a bowl. I don't like Chipotle. Uh, would you say that would be your opening line to this nice. girl? Yeah. Nice. So she's in. Man. You got her hooked. Now you just got to reel her in. Matt. No, probably. Matt. It would depend Something's on the individual, but probably, probably not. Matt. You should come over here. Are you Googling? Did you search for this person on? You did. You searched for them. It's just a picture of your dick. Now you found it? the backstory. All right, I want to look. Hold on. Matt, how do you feel about the ladies of the British Isles? Oh, this girl. I don't know much about them. Well, do you want to? Send me a link. No. Peek, how would you feel? You don't have to answer this, but please do. How would you feel if you met someone, learned to really like them, got into an intimate situation, they started to go down on you, and then in the middle of it, they went, Pook. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Clammy hand. That's what I have now. Uh, what is the definition of a buffook? I don't know. I feel like it's... I imagine it's similar to a baboon. I was gonna say it's it's more like wise guy territory. Like yeah, these guys, yeah, they're always riffing on me. Yeah, you guys, like it's it's a uh, it's sort of a it's a term of endearment, but also uh, you yeah, you knucklehead, come on here. Yeah, I think this buffoon, you know, I think he's on to something. Hey, is that Grimo? Uh, Grimo's here. Hello. 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 Hey, Grimo, what does buffoon mean? Hey, you know what? I'm looking at five of them. That's all you need to know. So homosexual, got it. <laughs> <laughs> No doors. Fair. No doors. Yeah. No just, locks. Just, just one giant hole. <laughs> yeah, no locks. Well, I was thinking one big rock that everybody pees or shits on. Uh, I was going to say voting rights for dogs. Mm. Okay. Um, All right. Because once I've slept with them, uh, in the you know like for the first six months and trained them to be yeah. like like me. Yeah, yeah. Then to trust you. They should have suffrage. Yeah. Right? They're basically people at that point. Uh, I need, I need a president that's strong. So I would say, Mister, Mrs. President. I need you to go through this entire room one at a time and tell me if you could take these people in a one-on-one fist fight. Mark Twain is one of the greatest American writers of all time. Well, he's dead, so he's not that smart now. Compared to... And his name wasn't actually Mark Twain. I don't know. Stephen King? Stephen King's it's written also not his name. Mark so. Twain. Yeah. That's not Stephen, Stephen King's King name? Wins. No. He What's... went under... It's a nom de plume. He was Richard Bachman before that. Really? I thought Richard Bachman was his... Pseudonym. Pseudonym. I mean, Stephen King... It's wait. name. I looked up a book recently I read when I was in middle school that I really liked, and I was like, I wonder whatever happened to that guy. I looked up the author, utterly depressed, married a Taiwanese child, oh, nice. uh, and then child. died in Thailand like three months ago. It was oh. good night, Moon. What, 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 what? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Open Book, oh, our new Q&A show, oh, where we're answering exactly. your questions about all of America's greatest literature. Boring. Hey, Hemingway, One of them he has run-on sentences. I like J.K. Rowling. She's richer than the Queen! Hey, our first question this week comes from Dr. Neyman. If each of you had to give Hitler a compliment, what would it be and why? I'd be like, hey, nice mustache. Hmm. Trendsetter. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Nice but he kind of I ruled mean, it out for everybody. Nobody can have that mustache ever again. Yep, absolutely. So Chaplin that's kind did of it. Good job. Chaplin did it. Chaplin did it. That was pretty <laughs> good. Yeah. No, but, but then it, he did it again after Hitler as a commentary on Hitler. Right. There's no debating this point. The Nazis had style. Those SS uniforms look, look Great. Look great. And everyone looked great just doing those horrible actions. We got Hugo Boss out of uh, Hitler. Mm -hmm. We got Volkswagen. Preach yep. it. Yeah. IBM. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All of you have been confirmed to be a Joker in the next DC Cinematic Universe. What kind of Joker would each of you be? Wow, that's a tough question. Kind of Joker? I'd what be kind of Joker? There's I'd different be, kind. I'd be exactly who I am on camera. Just kind of quiet, normal, but wild card. I can oh, fly ah, off the handle at any time. Ah. I'd be a Joker, like, that's actually uh, on a playing card, so I'd have, like, the balls and stuff. Oh, yeah, and I'd like have a jester. That, a jester. Yeah, I'd have, yeah. basically, be a jester. my feet would be curled at the end, and I'd have a scepter, and I'd go, Batman! <laughs> but he'd always find me, because I'd try and run away, but he'd just listen jingle, to the jingle, jingling. Jingle, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I, I think we need to go more modern and more dark. We need to embrace this new level Daredevil, so... Joker's just a normal everyday businessman, oh. but he owns a joke shop, so he has oh. the nickname the Joker. I'd either be old Michael Caine, Alfred becomes the Joker, oh, so goes, I'm the Joker. 
or uh, Steve Urkel Joker hybrid. So he'd be like, oh. he'd be like, did I do? <laughs> oh, nice! Wow, that was two impressions yeah. in one. It's both timely. <laughs> Can you answer this one? Because I don't have an answer for this. Um, Jock Joker. <gasps> nice. Oh, oh, man. Man, that's really the Joker. good. What, what music does he work out to? Space Jam. I would be this really kind of skinny, like emo dude with this slick back green hair. He'd have a tattoo on his hand, so when he do this, it looks like a big giant smiley face. Oh it says damage on his face. It says ha 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 on his chest. So it says stupid. Joker on his stomach. Everything you're just and driving. he yeah. loves another woman and he tries it's to help so her. Dumb. And yeah, that, and then uh, he loves another woman. Her name's Harley Quinn, and they like fall in love. And he's a crime boss. Are you played by Shia LaBeouf? Yes. I'm in. <laughs> Jean-Luc Picard. Nice. Uh, what's your best party trick? If you have one, that is. Whoa, look at that. Can you fold Ooh. it both? Can you do double folds, though? Do the tri-fold? No. I'll only do this. Put Are a you... cherry stem in there. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you see that? Come over here, buddy. Have a drink with us. I can accurately describe the plot of any Star Trek The Next Generation episode by only watching the pre- Intro sequence. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's a shitty party, but cool. <laughs> so yeah, that one where they're playing poker? I know exactly which one it is, and there's like three of them. So at this party, everyone's having a great time, but Lawrence is over by the TV shouting at people. <laughs> That's the time loop one! <laughs> um, so like impressions, of course, but then I can also um, do the popping sound with all my fingers. <laughs> right. Is that a party trick? And rule 34 is done. Okay. Oh. I can uh, rip off my index finger. Do it. Adam, you can't look though. This seems a little grotesque. I want to see it. Ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh! It oh, looks like on, it hurts wait, so much. Hold on there. Is it safe? Uh, oh. Now I gotta put it back on. Can I look now? Yeah. Oh wow! Is look it better? that? How do you do that? I don't <laughs> See know. That? that looked like it hurt. Uh, it didn't hurt. No. Okay. I'm used to it by now because I go to so many parties. I'm popular. Uh, I'm really good at getting out of any conversation. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's let's say somebody walks up and talks to you about how much they love Suicide Squad's The Joker. Uh, hey, Adam, have you seen Suicide Squad? I hey, heard... is that the bathroom? <laughs> and then, and then I go. Nice, yeah, cool. nice. That's yeah. really good. All right, Matt Peake's got a good one. I know it. What, what do you got? I'll go with most of the time. I can figure out how to open a beer without an opener. <gasps> oh. Can we show an yeah, example? Do we have an example? Um, oh, yeah. I got some in the fridge. So we're all oh. at the party. Yeah, we're Lawrence hanging out. Lawrence is watching Star Trek. Yeah. Screaming. Uh, Lisa's doing stuff with her hands. Yeah, okay. I'm running from people. Oh, yeah. I got a beer. There you go. Okay. All right. Hey, you don't hey, have, bro, a, you don't have an you opener? Open bro, beer no, for me? I don't have an opener, man. I'm uh, sorry. Is that a beer? Does anyone have a lighter? <laughs> That's not a party trick. <laughs> <laughs> I have matches. <laughs> no, matches won't work. Party <laughs> open. <laughs> Sweet party. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Lauren side and watch Star Trek because yeah. it's somehow more interesting. Yeah. This uh, is the one where uh, where Riker gets hit by a plant. And no. then has, it's a flashback episode, but it's got a good framing device. <laughs> All right, Cure Tap writes in, you are magically granted an opportunity to do over any event in your life. What life event do you choose and what do you do differently this time around? Hmm. I think it... I spilled wax on my prom outfit, except it was a rental. How many do you have of these? Why did he say outfit, though? <laughs> it wasn't was a suit. it not a tux? It wasn't a tux. What was it? It was kind of a purple crushed velvet sort of flowing So gown. are you going to say that you wish you hadn't spilled it, or you wish you picked a tux? <laughs> well, I wish I hadn't spilled it. Because I felt, I felt really bad about that, because I didn't get it cleaned, I just took it back. And I imagine getting wax out of, out of velvet is hard to do. So sorry. I have a really good one. I uh, I used to be in a bunch of bands in high school and college, and the very last gig I played as a band, yeah, uh, I was I think there was a singer in that band. We got up, uh, we were playing. There were like literally ten people in a in a you know club that could have held three hundred, and uh, as soon as we started playing, our guitarist strummed his amp went out, and his amp went out, and all of us were staring at him. And he and he literally went like this. He he put his guitar up and he said, "I'm done." Guitar down. Walked off the stage. Oh, cool! And that was the end of the last gig I've ever played. That's rock and roll, though. As a band, so my do-over would be when he says, "I'm done." I'd pick up his guitar, know how to play guitar really well oh. and sing, and then rock out to the latest Fall Out Boy song. That's awesome. Cool. Mine would be uh, Summer of '77. 
Uh, it was the uh, Great Charlotte Bowl Offs, and I was there, the bowling tournament in Charlotte, North Carolina. They happen every year. And Weren't you born like I had made it to the finals of the tournament, and uh, you know, at the time I was dating Cindy Perkinson, and uh, she, you know, we we were pretty hot and heavy. I was bowling a perfect game, right? And I only had to get a couple more strikes, and so then I got two, and then the last one. She came over and she gave me a kiss and she said, she said, don't screw this up. And I said, anything for you, Cindy. And then so I did it, but it just came out wrong. And then I, I nicked, I only got nine of them. Oh. Missed the perfect score. Look, Cindy's already up on uh, on Bobby Jogginson. And now I'm here with my my hand, my head in my hands. And I I never recovered, really. I like bowling. I like, I love bowling. Bowling's bowling great. Too. Would anyone want to go bowling this weekend? I'd yeah, like I'll to go bowling. go bowling. You're all invited. Yeah. Everyone who's interested in bowling, we can go bowling this weekend. First a game's on me. Do it all what are you right. going to do? Huh? You going to go bowling? Let's just say James isn't the only one with a past in bowling. When I was in high school, I was doing uh, night classes at the local college to try to get through high school quicker because I hated it so much. Yeah. And um, I first started learning how to drive, and there was a part where it was heavy traffic, and I was flipping out because the car behind me was honking, and I didn't know what to do because it just it was never ending traffic. So I just closed my eyes and I went and I hit somebody. It was the mm. first car accident I ever got into. That whole night I could not sleep, and I played through most of Max Payne to kind of like deal with the pain uh, before going to school. I wish I would have finished all of Max Payne. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Can I just say how great it is that all of our stories involve things that are less cool than what we're doing now? How depressing would it be if the thing we wanted to do over was the moment to shine? I was in a fucking rock band, Lawrence. I don't yeah. know about you. I yeah. was singing in a rock band. Yeah, I was in a, I could have been. I grace. could have been. Pi- <laughs> I could have been popular. Elise, next question. Trevman one three wants to know thirteen. You are in charge of coming up with new Rooster Teeth inspired Lay's flavors. Ooh, chips. What are the flavors for Ro- Rooster Teeth and the Let's Play community? Mine would be Lay's Black and Miles. Oh. And so it's yeah, good. it's it's a Miles flavored Lay's chip. What's the black? Chip. What? What's the black part? It's black pepper. So it's like spicy peppers and then not as spicy peppers. So you can determine how much spice you want to get in each chip. I, I was going to say mine would be uh, Bernie Burned. And oh, so they'd be, yeah, they, they'd be like a, a charbroiled. Oh, uh, nice. That's charbroiled good. lays. Yeah. That Burnt to perfection. Burnt yeah. to perfection, like a, yeah, like a well done yeah, hamburger. It's just black. Uh, I want to do Matt's Bratz, where Matt, at the end of every year, determines what kids are naughty and who are nice. And then we get to turn those children. In the chips. Oh, I was like waiting for it to come back into the chips. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. I like and that. And eat Matt's brats. Uh, got him. <laughs> Lawrence? Uh, mine's not a pun or an alliteration, and I apologize about that. That's okay. But uh, I would come up with a flavor for the Let's Play community. All of those wonderful little bastards. So, you know when you, uh, when you leave a sponge in the sink too long? And you don't wring it out and put it up on the side of the sink like a civilized human being? Yes. Uh, it gets really mildewy and weird. Uh, the chip would taste like your hand smells oh. after you... No, it's not good. Um, because you motherfuckers. What's the name of your flavor? Fuck you. <laughs> Mine will be uh, Greg Miller Lights. So they're chips that are are oh, dipped nice. in Miller Lights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are they still wet when you eat them? Of course. Yeah. Oh, Greg uh, Miller inspired. <laughs> just a sack of light beer and chips. There could have also been people like grape chips. Did you just say rape chips? Oh, Gavin's rape chips. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say that. What, no, because it's his shirt. Yeah, no, yeah, I didn't yeah. say that. It's a grape chips. Bruce Gavin's spent a lot of money covering that up, Adam. Let's not bring it up again. Uh, Matt Peak, last question. Johnny Hendo, would you a snowman slash woman slash person? Boy, that's a real complicated scenario. Because while you're fucking them, you're killing them. That goes for every person I have sex with. Oh, yeah. gold watches. <gasps> Is it Whoa. Bethany's flowers? They're real good. Would you Salted like chocolate? Salted chocolates? Yeah, just, these, just have one. These milk chocolates? Only one, He's been holding out on us. Yeah, how long have they been I there? Forgot. Thank you, Bruce. I was with you when you bought these. It's not really true for me. I'm you know, speaking, <laughs> speaking of stuff from thank home. Thank you, Bruce. Yeah. Um, thank you, Bruce. Yeah. Oh, oh, which one did I pick? They're all really, they're all really, really good. They're all oh, really, really good. good. I'll take that last one. Right. Um, Speaking of stuff from Thank home, you. Elise right. for the last three weeks has been saying she was going to bake biscuits and bring them into the office. What Shut happened? the fuck up! Should Why I... don't we have any biscuits, Elise? Hmm. A lot. Of... No, well, on her TikTok yeah, I no mean, time I'm not even making them from scratch. Just, Are you gonna go to that place? just like opening the canister. Trader Joe's. Wow. Yeah. Go to that place where there's Lazy. James risked it, spoiled the biscuit. Do you guys like those chocolate? I like Thunderlips. They're really good. The mid '80s were. <laughs> 
fucking gay. Yeah, laxatives in the Super numbers. gay. Well, Being well, gay either. is way more accepted today than it was in the 80s. Yeah, it's weird. It's actually celebrated. Mm. Look uh -oh. at look at right. everybody on YouTube. Go ahead. Hey, welcome back to Open House. Let's do a first question. Uh, Ease one. What was the worst pain you've ever felt? The worst pain I ever felt was having that weight smashed down on my finger. Ooh, God. Uh, and it was afterwards. So when I smashed down, it hurt. And I was like, oh, my God, that really hurt. The three hours afterwards, when I didn't have any pain medication or anything, and I was, I drove around to six different CVSs to get my pain medication uh, filled, while with a broken finger, bleeding everywhere, so much pain. Pain is weird because it can stick with you. So for like, for me, the most traumatic pain was I had like throat issues when I was like in my early 20s, and I consciously had to sit in a chair as some guy reached into my mouth with a scalpel and carved away at the inside of my throat. That sucked and was really painful, but kind of like what you were saying, when I got my wisdom teeth taken out oh, and yeah. the medication was running out, and I was like, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> the world's going white, and, and Elise was driving around town to try and get me meds. That was, that was pretty horrific, too. Got LASIK in Koreatown, and as soon as I went outside, it burned really bad. <laughs> They didn't give you the old people's shades so you can walk around the mall? Uh, it still didn't work. Damn. Lawrence? Uh, don't get LASIK in Koreatown. Pro tip of the week. <laughs> this is actually pretty recent. Uh, I get migraines, uh, occasionally. Too much brains. We were at RTX Australia. Yeah. I was on the bus, and, uh, I had already taken some, some, like, ibuprofen, because I felt it coming on, you can kind of feel it. By the time we got to the venue, it was, it was full on, like, could barely see, like, heads throbbing. Like getting kind of nauseous. Thank God they had a lot of ibuprofen because I basically took two whole like blister packs of it. And I was waiting for it to kick in, and I was like laying down, like covering my eyes. And the audience outside was so excited. They're like, "You guys excited for RTX? Yes!" And I, was like, ah! uh -oh. I just had to kind of sit there on the floor in that that kind of like. There's no. It's basically like traveling to another dimension where you're just bundled up and waiting to die. Oh, we're all out of time. Thanks That's for our watching, show, everybody. everybody. Hey. <laughs> Matt Peak. I'll have to go with my when I separated my shoulder. You guys fighting? Me being stupid while snowboarding. Just hurt really bad, and then I kind of just slowly made my way down the rest of the slope. Oh, oh uh, no. Could have been worse. You could have hit Sonny Bono. <laughs> His dead body. They left him on the hill as a warning. <laughs> well, when I broke my finger, I kept lifting weights. Really? Yeah, of well, course you fucking do, bro. You finish your set, bro. Ha! Never stop. <laughs> no, I didn't. I ran outside screaming. With <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Next question from Do You Concur? James Lawrence speaking at him. What are your favorite movie quotes? Elise Bruce, can please, can you pretty please, per please perform your favorite of their favorites in your, what the fuck? I thought you weren't <laughs> What the hell kind of question? Love you guys, thank. <laughs> What in the world? All right, so what are your favorite movie quotes? Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. Love that quote. That's a good one. Dead or alive, creep. You're coming with me. <laughs> okay, uh, Matt. I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. You can be oh so smart or oh so pleasant. I've tried smart, and I prefer pleasant. What is this? Some kind of suicide squad? <laughs> That's not your favorite. It's not my favorite. It is this week. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. That was which James's. is probably you, Shattercock. Uh, <laughs> you bet. It. The spime of Mike. Each member of Funhouse is now the head of their own clothing line and must prepare their autumn collection. How will your autumn look like? Mine's all nude. Whoa. So the clothing line, it's actually, they're all, there are clothes that you're wearing, but they have cloaking devices on them that uh, basically, they basically, yeah, you know, it's like a mirror, uh, a little bunch of little cameras on it, and then it, so it looks like you're nude. <laughs> oh. Basically are nude. And I call it cloakling. You know, like cloak, but clothing, yeah. cloak oh, thing. Cloak. That's yeah, yeah, that's good. Rolls off the tongue. So mine would basically be: you ever see when hunters go out and they basically they're like camoed up to oh, yeah. look like leaves? Yeah. You would be the brown and and orange and yellow autumn leaves, a but it'd suit. be like camo, yeah, like a nice. ghillie suit. Big fan of Old Navy and performance fleece. I think we need performance fleece shoes, performance fleece hats, performance fleece fleece suit. Yeah, all right, I love uh, it. <laughs> performance fleece backpacks, performance fleece car. Does it say juicy on it? Yeah. Hey, what's your what's your autumn uh, clothing line there, bud? Leaves, just different colored, all the different colors of the leaves. You all know that I love the beauty and grace of the great country Nippon. So mine would be paper cranes, yeah. lots of paper origami oh, cool. clothing. Comfortable. But oh. then you go into the to the rain and then it disintegrates. Just a hurricane to cherry brush. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, what about yours? Uh, I I am appalled that we are still wearing cloth, like some kind of fucking savage. No, yeah. it's time. Like all things, to switch to projection-based clothing. Oh. So there's a little cart with a projector on it, but it shines the clothes onto your body, mm. which means it's always form-fitting. Uh, not waterproof, that's okay, we'll work on that. Maybe make a little tent <laughs> for it. It doesn't waterproof. get wet, though. That's true, it, it can't get wet. get wet. 
am the next Steve Jobs. How do you project hats? Uh, top down. You gotta you gotta have a kind of shoulder rig oh, with a projector <laughs> above that shines. But then down. you're wearing the rig. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean that's the hat accessory. Do you pay someone to follow you around holding the rig? Uh, I guess you could. Okay. Yeah, this idea oh, sounds oh. only half fleshed out. Hold I'll on. give you one million dollars of my own. Hold on. Money. I'll take it. I've been on I've been on hold with the flower company the whole time. Hold on. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm checking on order number, let's see here, 21376. Valid. Validor Zero writes, heads up, the Bible is being yeah. rewritten. Has that been delivered yet? And you've been asked to replace Jesus with a video game character. Which character would you choose and why? I would pick Lara Croft, because I feel like it'd be an interesting uh, change my if name it was is a Bruce? woman who was down, came down as the prophet. It was supposed to be delivered so? two days ago. He had good abs, but or I don't know if he had good boobs. Duke Nukem would be really good because, unlike Jesus, he is actually without sin. I would pick Marcus Phoenix because he was our savior in the Gears of War franchise, and he'd be bro Jesus. Okay, I'm back on hold. Back on hold. Uh, I would pick Sonic the Hedgehog because oh. he's got sacks full of halos already. He can just pop one on and he's done. Also, he can run faster than Sin and the Devil. Well, did anybody pick Mario? No, you can have him. Come on, Mario's the best answer. You're right. It's a me. Hey, Jesus. I'll just, I'll explain yeah. it. Hold on, I need to carve that into a rock. <laughs> Wait. No, never mind. For Mario's what? a plumber. Jesus was a carpenter, theoretically. Close enough. Yeah. Oh. He's a drunkard. The Romans like. built aqueducts. Let's fucking the party. The Romans killed Jesus. Yep. Mario killed Jesus. Wait, Matt Peake, what about you? Uh, Master Chief. Nice! Oh, that's the uh, best answer. Space, space Jesus? Jesus? Yeah. yeah. Shit, that's, that's a good answer. Yeah. That's the best answer. And they've already got the halo. He died for our sins. At least next question. It's from Jacob MHS. Uh, congratulations, Funhouse. You are now the owners of your very own strip mall, and each of you gets to open up your own store. What is the name of your store, and what good services, whatever, does it sell? Well, you guys already know that I'm opening a dim sum restaurant called Dim Sum and Dim Sum. That business loan <laughs> keeps getting That's denied. Uh, <laughs> She's still dreaming. Yeah. Post Funhouse World. I would have a place called the Chop Shop, and it'd be a place where you could just come in, and then you just try out knives. Oh. You know, kind of like a gun range, but for knives. Mm-hmm. What do you mean, try out knives? I'd have all kinds of knives. You could go, I want to try that one. i go, here you go. You could, I'd have heads of lettuces that you can rent. You just chop it, see how it feels to chop with stuff, or stab, whatever you want to do. What do you stab? Anything. Anything. Meats. I have all kinds of things you can pick from to stab into. I would, uh, I'd open up an arcade, but gotta, gotta have a modern spin on it, right? You got the barcades or whatever. Nah, I'm going another way. It's an arcade, got all the Pac-Man machines and stuff, and then it's got a little Tinder hookup area in the corner and maybe like a little sexting nook. So all the 14-year-olds... <laughs> Can come to my place and do all their illegitimate illegal shit. What a bunch of fourteen year olds illegal. sexing I, at your store. I just imagine Lawrence in the security room, like watching from security yeah. cameras. I gotta make like, sure nothing yeah. object, like <laughs> abjectly illegal. <laughs> so instead purposely, of doing it in their bedrooms, they do it in my place where it's safe, and I can keep it. Purposely advertising to underage kids to do bad things. I'm not not specifically bad targeting underagers. I'm just Jeez, buying like ad Master space Chief. on Disney Channel and making YouTubers that have a part share in my company plug it on their channels without divulging that. Uh, boats are very expensive, so True. I want to do a boat store called Boats Are Us, and we actually sell cheap boats. This is the only place is you can go to get a whole affordable boat. Boats are, us, and boats are Us, and we actually sell cheap we boats. We sell cheap boats. So like a cardboard I mean, box that's been waterproofed on the bottom? <laughs> oh, he's back on. Oh, Matt, uh, Matt Peak, what would be your strip mall? Why are you whispering? He's the back of the vault. Oh, oh the vault. Jesus, Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. Used bike I parts. Yeah, I just like the idea of people been, having to you know, carry their bikes through the mall. Yeah, that's good. It's very peak answer. I thought he was going to say Taekwondo Dojo. Well, at but, this point, it's two days late. He's selling bike parts. Right? So, okay. well, used bike parts. You can do that. So, is there any way I could get a credit or something, or maybe an assurance it'll be delivered to at least tomorrow? Hey guys, I've been single for a while now, and I know the ladies just love themselves some fun hours. What are some beauty tips I you guys have to offer? Uh, Everybody has to offer beauty tips. Everybody wants to speak up that. <laughs> he said, what are some beauty tips? Oh. oh. Sorry, I'm shooting a show currently, but yes, go ahead. Tell him you're famous. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. He may be a funhouse fan. He, he is a funhouse fan. No. Are you going to deliver my flowers then? What I'm at least going to do at this point is I will do 15% back on the cost paid for the arrangement and have a $20 gift certificate created. And if there there are any more issues, sir, we will work with you to 
continue on the issue, sir, okay? Well, do you have any beauty tips? Because you'll be on open house. He doesn't know. He thinks so. Um, no, unfortunately, I don't. Oh, okay. He's virtually attractive. He's working. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that you're a Funhouse fan. Thanks for the $20 gift certificate. Bruce, do you have any beauty tips? Be fucking hot. I didn't want to replay the same shit I'd already played a hundred million times. Why not? <laughs> it's destiny. But I finally found a way to confuse the game to make it so I can play the content I paid for! <laughs> Fuck! I, uh, remember when I bought destiny. Yeah. And, uh, the other... Generic name, Turk and Corn, oh, and then Chocolate yeah, and Taken King also, oh, and I got that as everybody. one thing. Well, that was sixty dollars oh, too. Yes. <laughs> and then now they have this one, Bruce. and it was like, oh well, it's sixty dollars for just the whole thing. You Matt Peek loved these. Them. They oh, should. They should. Matt Peek wants one? He loved them. You should save one for Matt Peek. Oh, what? Well, then Matt Peek can have mine. You can speak for it. Fuck, I love salt. Matt Peek can have mine too. Uh, Man, you're supposed to fight forge, it in half forge men hammer or whatever. And then I was like, oh my god, it's $60. That's so much money. So then I saw, I was like, oh, I wonder how much it is just alone. Do it like Lady. $30. Do it like Lady and the Tramp. Do it. What? I'm not. That's dark chocolate. I don't want it. Do it like Lady. Oh. Yeah. You got how Lady does it. And then the Tramp goes, I'm a dog. I'm a dog. <laughs> Read the first question! Oh boy. Hey everyone, welcome to Open House. Bruce gave us chocolates. Oh. Again. Love sugar. So now we're on sugar highs. <laughs> That's it. See you in 10 minutes when we all crash. First question this week comes from Elder Wang. Good name. Funhouse has created a super secret hacking group called F House. What are your hacker names and what or who do you hack? I think Lauren should answer first because yeah, we already I, know he, he's had this I believe for years. This question was he's just made gonna, for one person. Say, he's just going to give us his hacker name <laughs> and describe what he hacks. <laughs> like, I'm really going to give that out. Come on. Dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, our, I mean, my name would just be in hex, hexadecimal for the layman out there. So what's the name, Lawrence? It's just a series of symbols, but if you if you draw the golden spiral on them, it makes a word, and that word is hack god, because that's what I am. Okay, so what do you hack? Uh, you know, vending machines and stuff. Ooh, nice. I like getting it? chips. Oh, yeah, I like man. getting the chips for free. Yeah. I put in a little card, like, from Terminator 2, and I'm hitting my buttons, and then chips just spray out. And then I just, like, lean against it, and all the cute girls walk by. Hey, hey what's up? Wait. You guys want any Doritos? <laughs> Takes it out. Got it all over here on the hat god shit. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, <laughs> FBI, don't look at me. All right, I, I would go by the hacker name Hackintosh because I'm the only hacker who still uses a Mac, but I only use it on phone booths. Also, I rollerblade. Is it one of the ones that's just a big monitor and it's pink colored? Uh, it's the one that's a lamp. I had that one. Oh, the iMac? wow. Yeah. I'll be Hack Bauer. Oh, oh, like yeah. Solve any hack in 24 hours. <laughs> Wait, no, we're doing the hacks. Shit. <laughs> you, you gotta counter hack to solve a hack. You gotta be more hacked than the hacker. Oh, and you become the hacky. We were arch nemesis. Oh. We're like, fight. And they, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, know. Um, <laughs> throwing chips. I would be digits um, with, with two Z. ones, a Z, nice. and a six. Nice. And I would hack Japanese toilets. Oh, no. To do what? Sometimes the water would be slightly colder than it's supposed to be. Whoa. Okay, I think I see what you're saying. No? Uh, Matt Peak. I'd be M Node. And I would. <laughs> your Don't face. laugh, Matt Peak. That's cool. His face. Yeah. I could see his face out of the corner. That was, that's awesome. cool, man. Yeah, own it. Uh, and I would hack nodes and people that had nodes. Lymph nodes? <laughs> He's chips? hacking! Oh, you hacking him? right now? Oh. You want some lifesavers? I can get that for you. Hold up, <laughs> Bruce, what would you be? So, my, my hacker name would be Dragon Sniper 69 Now, I know it sounds stupid. No, no. But Not to us. Not to in hackers. reality, it's really cool. And the person or thing I would hack is Lawrence. So every time he hacked, every time Hexadecimal Lawrence would hack yeah, something, not, uh, hack God. I would hack into him. I don't know, his augments. And piggyback onto his hack, which backhacks him. That's a camel hack. It'll be a camel hack. You can't figure out my super secret spiral code. Why are you touching yourself? <laughs> <laughs> the Doritos or something? Yeah, the Doritos are just ate a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> next question from Dr. Naaman. Uh, I'm currently getting pulled over by a cop. Big surprise being a black guy. What can I do or say to not get this ticket? Show keep in tits. mind, I was gonna say, keep in mind, this guy's already dead. He's already been shot. Gonna, yeah, he's been shot 16 or times. hit. Or so he's not gonna get the answer to this question. Well, when the cop's walking up, you wanna do fast motions and make sure you gesture quickly to your glove box. Yep, oh, yeah, oh. always get stuff out of your pockets. Yeah, like dig around under your seat a lot just to make sure everything's really nice down there because cops are kind of sticklers for car car safety and well, things this, like this that. This is actually true. Uh, you never try to get out of the ticket. You just own up to it. And you also own up to other crimes you may have not 
not committed. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like Absolutely. I killed JFK. Yep. I killed my wife. Absolutely. I killed your wife. I'm I holding think a gun. Kids earlier. That's what. Say you all of this stuff to the cop, and you have a 95 percent chance of getting out of at least some of the ticket. Mm-hmm. But he's black. It's maybe he's, like 94. He's going to jail. 94. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll with yeah, that 1%. Anybody else have any good advice? Because I certainly don't. Make your fingers into guns, finger guns, so oh, that way they know you're not holding a hey, gun. Hey, what's up, cop? Because you can't hold a gun when your hands are like this. So if you just go like, like, no, it's not gun, like, you know, Ugh. then you'll be good. Matt Peak. I mean, I would just comply and try and be polite, but that's not, that's not going to work for Elise, him. what would you do? I would just like, like open your jacket like you're flashing him a badge, and then he'll be like, there's nothing in your jacket. Clunge, plunge. Oh. <laughs> uh, your plane is going down on your journey to RTX Pakistani. Uh, what are your final words to each other? I'd turn to Elise and I'd say, I always loved you, Lawrence. I think I would just be like, you know, I, I, I've got three minutes to suck as many dicks as I can. So, fuck it, man. Lawrence, Second time this has come up. Yeah. I would do the same thing, Lawrence, but I was going to say I would just kiss whoever was next to me. Oh, that's nice. So if you were next to me or, uh, except for Elise, I wouldn't kiss Elise because that's oh, cheating. okay. Yeah. Um, but I, I would kiss any man. Mm-hmm. That's next because like I, the pilot, like maybe maybe that's what's causing the plane accident. Well, I was gonna say that I, kissing. If there's a terrorist, I might kiss him and stab him when I'm kissing him. Oh, oh wow! You're the wow. hero, and I'm the hero. I feel like Bruce would like pull out his box of chocolates. He'd have his little chocolates on the plane. He he'd offer each of us a chocolate. chocolate? He's going chocolate? down. Would you like the chocolate? Uh, less of what I would say, but I think I would just go get another drink because they hand them out so rarely. That's true. You could just go back and get a bottle of Jack Daniels, no problem. Oh, no, no, just like a Diet Coke. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I see. Yeah, 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 that's right. Water, please. Ice. <laughs> my final words would be cancel my signing. And then Bruce would say, you don't have a signing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'd all die laughing. Uh, Matt Peak, what about you? I'd just quote Omar and be like, PMA all day. <laughs> and then, and then, Boom. <laughs> oh, you could just say something like, it was me the whole time. And there's just a lot of mystery. And then they die. What about, what if you said, if DJ AM survives, so can I. <laughs> and then it explodes. Yeah. But then you die eight months later from obviously the wound. Oh, from the hair, from an airport. overdose. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Jeez. Uh, Dunderheed writes, uh, Fun House have purchased several racehorses, and you guys have to choose names for them. What are they? I think it would be so two things on my desk. It'd be Banana Hitmonchan. Oh. And uh, there we go. Oh, Banana Hitmonchan up in the lead on the center of the floor. Watch out for the sponge. The sponge coming up in the second place and the third place. And the poster. Banana Hitmonchan wins. Banana Hitmonchan wins. That's, right? That's good. really that's impressive. That's what it would that's sound like. We're just kind of describing things that were around us, and I like that. Yeah. Well, that's all yeah. I got. You did it fast, and that's good. <laughs> I like naming a horse in a way that I know exactly what everyone's going to do when they hear the name. So my horse's name would be Don't Look at His Cock. Everybody's going to go. Uh, Lise? Um, I would name mine after the uh, ill-fated television show Luck about racehorsing, where the horse died and they had to cancel the show. You call it Dustin Hoffman? Yeah. So wait, what would the name be? The God, full it's... name would be Luck, the show with Dustin Hoffman, where they had to cancel it. The, the, the ratings weren't died. doing well, but then the horse died and said, well, that's it, we gotta cancel the show, the horse died. Oh, yeah. Man. It was really smart. Uh, uh, I would name my horse First Place Finish. So that way, I would always bet on my horse, and then at the end, I'd go... I had the I had the horse first the first place finish horse first place finish. and then I would always get paid. Oh, but no, I don't the think ticket that's... will say something else. Yeah, that's not the way. No, I... it'll say first place finish. No nope. horse, first place finish. That's my ticket. Pay me. But it's for, it's finished like the nationality. Yeah, because that's where we bred the horse. <laughs> it would be called we... finish on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> but it's F I N N I S H. Changing the horse's yeah. name. It's got a lot of names. <laughs> and, uh, I like Total Sea Biscuit. That <laughs> <laughs> peak. I was gonna do the same thing with random things on my desk. Then I was gonna switch to a Sea Biscuit reference. Then Adam did that. Oh. Uh, you know, to be fair, I was thinking of Luck as well. And then Elise said it, and I said I need three uh, backups. Yeah. So this is Elise. Yeah, I need fault. one more yeah. backup. I blame her. I was just thinking about horse dick. Next question from Naaman thirty seven. Who would you rather make a video with, Guy Fieri or Gordon Ramsay? Well, we have the best Guy Fieri impersonator in the Tri-County area. Somebody hit me up with a, I don't know, a Chili Mac bowl. We don't have those because we're not slobs. <laughs> chili Mac bowl. Well, how am I supposed to dribble chili all over myself? I would like to have, I would like to do Guy Fieri because then we could have him and Lawrence wrestle and then we'd have a gun and we could only shoot one of them, but we wouldn't know who is who. Lawrence, you gotta win. You've got to win. the real Guy Fieri, no me! Well, you would say, I want to, I'm want i the fake Guy Fieri. Because He'd come in say, with so much chili one, packed in his beard that it would act like an adhesive whenever we're wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Gross. I, I heard if he bites you, you become Guy Fieri. Ooh! <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know that. Where Fieri? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody like Gordon Ramsay in here or no? I would just no. give Gordon a hug, because he looks like he needs one. Yeah, Guy Fieri? What's a werewolf Guy Fieri? 
fairy. You gotta let it go. You okay, can't come sorry, up with a sorry, funny sorry, one. sorry, sorry, sorry. Elise, lichen fairy. I was about to say, yeah. Fairy, lichen like fairy. fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> James. Lichen fairy, fairy, fairy. Andrew M. Ramirez asks, as a life coach, what would be the best advice you could give to someone who is too happy? Vampire. <laughs> They have, they have beaches in South Korea. They're called women. Yeah, and they're covered in snow. Uh, your first question this week comes from Tom Sutton, 420. <laughs> if you could relocate the Funhouse HQ to anywhere in the world, where would you guys move to if you would even move at all? Hawaii. Wow. Yeah, Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Hawaii, too. Can we all disagree Hawaii? Are we all going to Hawaii? Well, Matt Peep, yeah. we're going to Hawaii? I feel Funhouse like, Hawaiian style. Hold on, hold on. I feel like we're just saying Hawaii because it's the newest state. What about Alaska? I'm going to be I'm gonna be the fly in the ointment. I know it's uncommon. And I'm not going to say Japan, like you're all thinking, South Korea. What the fuck Fun are you? Funhouse of the DMZ. He's what? a good rapper. Yeah, we're going to be near all the good Overwatch players. They drink fucking soju wall to wall. They, they got... Bomb ass internet, and it's basically everything we'd ever need. That's no, a, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I actually right. booked you a flight, so oh. we, right after open house, you're going to South Korea. Do you realize that if we had an office in Hawaii right now, we'd be on back to Hawaii. fronds because it'd be like built like a, a Samoan hut. Oh, oh man, and we get tattoos. You guys are all black. I go up our arms. I always wanted to make a T-shirt that said "Best Fronds" and then had two palm trees like a heart. Uh, I literally learned this is a thing that existed, but that could be some merchandise we could sell. Funhouse Best Fronds. Yeah, Matt Fronds Peek. House. Matt Peek, do some belly dancing. Hey, why is Matt Peek over there? That's my question this week. Don't worry about it. Next yeah. question, dude. Crispy says McDonald's has called upon Funhouse to create a new Happy Meal for the kids. What food will be in it, how much will it cost, and what will be the special toy inside? Well, I think we should default to Elise. She's the expert on McDonald's, so yeah. what uh, What does this fun house Happy Meal look like? A uh, cheeseburger. Of course. And then inside of it, there's another little tiny cheeseburger. When, when we sell a fun house Happy Meal, do we get a piece of it, right? Yeah. So well, yeah. The, the cardboard from the bottom well, right corner. Uh, a big reason why McDonald's has survived this long is their aggressive pricing structure. Mm -hmm. We need to crank it up, so $45 per Happy Meal per child. Yep. But it's good because it's not even in a box anymore. It's in a metal bucket. Next to the cheeseburger is a healthy option. So there'll be like an entire chicken breast in there. Well, there's gotta be a side, Matt Peek. What, what kind of side would you give them? We gotta go with, I think, vegetables. Uh, and the toy's gonna be cucknoculars. Oh, you can see a cuck from anywhere? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's for the older crowd, 11 and up. That underscore CT underscore guy you guys have all become sweet 80s action heroes. What is the, your tough guy name and signature one-liner? I'm Turge Flexhard. Oh, that's nice. And uh, my shit is, you just got assed. You just okay. got assed? Yeah. Oh, assed. I'm, all about, I'm all about butts for some reason, or just assing people. Hmm. Your guy need assing? I'm your guy, Turge, call me. Hmm. Roll up in my assmobile, pop my ass out. Okay. Who needs an assing in here? Uh-huh. Cracking my knuckles. Um, Time to ask. I'm I'm a hard-edged cop called Joseph Stashminsky. Nice. And I have a really large mustache. And I always wear a wife beater that always has pizza stains on it. And yeah, I fight crime, but I keep I keep getting thrown off the force because my uh, my methods are too they're too rough and tumble. What what kind of methods are they? I ask before I enter. Oh, that's nice. I always oh. get a warrant. I, wait, hold and on. Uh, I uh, won't stand. Slow down. Yeah. Yeah, this seems like you're following protocol. And sometimes I'll be like I'll be like watch your head as I'm putting him in the back seat of the car. What about Adam? I'm Kurt McRib. <laughs> oh, wait, do you get a, Hold on. Do you hand out McRibs or do you get oh, a McRib? That's just a last name. Oh, I am oh. a uh, uh, retired Navy SEAL. Uh-huh. And I'm a substitute teacher. Oh. Until one day <laughs> Crime happens. Oh man, and you can only fight crime once a year when rib prices are at their lowest. <laughs> the, once it, the McRib does not play into it, that's just the name. Uh, well, <laughs> Mr. McRib, can we get a McRib? I'll be pensive. Oh. And uh, my uh, signature one liner is think twice. Asshole. I'm pensive, <laughs> so I'm boom. saying think. Uh -huh. Think boom. twice, asshole. Yeah. I got it. My name's my guy's name is uh Fuckna. Big dude, all right? Oh. Fuck the big dude. So what he does, he patrols the streets for crime, just like Adam said, and then one day when crime happens, he says, prepare for fuck the big dude. And then he goes over and punches him. And he's like, come at me, come at me, come bro. At me. Watch out, two yeah. men come on me. either side. <laughs> what up, Matt Pig? I'd be Metal McStumpy, and my one-liner would be, you've been stumped. <laughs> But wouldn't you have been yeah, yeah. stumped? Well, no, he solved the case. You're the stumped. But he always does it with an upper inflection. Been uh, stumped? Uh, oh, <laughs> Lawrence. 
As Lugo Master writes, Miyamoto and Reggie need help with their next questionable Nintendo console. What would peripheral would you add to it, and how would it enhance gameplay? I want a neurological conductive orb of gel that you just jam your hands into. Nice. The trick is that the gel would be a hyper-concentrated methadone ball. So you cram in there, and the game is whatever happens in the next 24 hours. Oh, oh yeah. the what? game is real life. But then you got to keep buying it because you're so addicted to the gameplay experience. Oh, you run out of jelly? Yeah, the jelly runs out. Wow. It stops working. You got to get a new one. Sounds like a drug. What? No, it's a game. Okay. Mine would be, instead of a controller, it'd be poles, right? It'd be poles, and you could stack the poles together, and uh, it would have kind of like a tarp that would go over the over the poles into the shape of almost like a shelter-like structure. You could climb inside it, and that's how you play the game. You could take it anywhere. Huh. What do you call yeah. this device? Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know when you're playing games, you know, you don't have too much time for personal hygiene. Am I right? No. Am I right? No. Am I right? No. Am I right? No. So mine would be a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, just covered in razors. As you're uh, playing, you can be just shaving your body. <laughs> I was just gonna say mine was a flashlight. You fuck it. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, that, that exists. Does it rank you? That's pretty much it. Just fuck it. You like Mario? Fuck him. <laughs> I want to summon Epona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found the Master Sword. <laughs> Mario's so tiny, you couldn't get your entire dick in him. That's what you think. <laughs> I have to like go up. Elise. This is from a. Uh, B. Gannons, each person in the office gets to take the place of any musician in history. Who do you choose and what do you do as him or her? Freddie Mercury had the bangingest life in the world. He is the best rock singer of all time. Quite possibly the best singer of all time Mm. in the greatest rock band of all time at the greatest period of time. Mm. He was a master. I would be Christopher Lee because sometimes we forget that Christopher Lee was in a metal band. So I would be an awesome metal head. I'd be in Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, and I'd just be generally awesome. But you wouldn't bang a bunch of dudes like Freddie Mercury. We don't know. I would be Buddy Holly. I wouldn't get on that plane, and I'd sue the shit out of Weezer for ripping my style. Fifty and years later, the song I was gonna say, I think he's dead. <laughs> no, you're right. He's dead. Buddy Holly is gonna live forever, man. Uh, he was on top of the world. I mean, Unfortunately, that means you have a lot have of altitude to, come down. to drop. Yeah, yeah. You gotta come down eventually. Uh, I would go Mozart because I've never seen the film Amadeus, and I think that would be a good way to experience it. Uh, oh wait, you would be sitting as Mozart watching, watching the Amadeus? DVD of Amadeus? That, that wouldn't exist then, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence? It's, uh, it's so hard to decide. Uh, the best I can do is narrow it down to two, pretty equal in the musical field. First you got Elvis, the king. Uh, basically gave rock and roll to America, impeccable hair. Died on the toilet though, don't forget about dying on the toilet. Everybody's gotta die somewhere. Elvis uh, fucked Priscilla when she was underage, right? Matt Peak? I'll go with uh, Beethoven, and I would be able to hear my music. Oh, was, wait. What? Whoa, what? He gets Wasn't... laser ear surgery. Yeah, that's not... If you replace him, he's still deaf. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be deaf. No, I, I would re- be David Bowie, and I could fly. No, <laughs> Matt Peak is saying he replaces him, but then gets to be himself. No. <laughs> but then you wouldn't be a genius. You would be a genius, Matt, if you were yourself. Mary you. had a Beethoven's, Beethoven's a genius. Yeah. You were better when you were deaf. I uh, but I can hear. Then he ends up writing the chicken dance. <laughs> <laughs> 1645. Uh, Matt, Matt Peak, last question. Resonator Funhouse is going from is going form the first colony on Mars. What are your roles? Uh, I'd be human water bottle. Uh, I'd be responsible for storing all the water internally because everybody knows uh, water is at its purest when it is regurgitated from a human form. I would be the fucker and the fucky. So if you wanted to fuck, uh, that would be me. Okay. And if you wanted to get fucked, mm-hmm. that would be me. That's also you. Yeah, that would be me. Gotcha. Ooh, multitasking. That's, yeah, that's multitasking. an important responsibility. Yeah, you got to double up roles when you're going to Mars, that's for sure. I think it's a tie between uh, Matt Damon and Gary Sinise. Okay. All right. Which one do you do? I understand that. Mm-hmm. I understand that reference. Gary Sinise never made it to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence? I, I'd be counselor. It's only on Mars. Got Elvis poster on the wall. Somebody comes in. I'm lonely. I mean, check that out. Take a look at that poster. 
what if that asked you for your daughter's hand in marriage? What's the uh, minimum age requirement for young females to go to Mars and well, procreate? Depends that's what their up dad's to Elon. <laughs> <laughs> I got paperwork covering everything. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm a counselor. I'm trained for this. Yeah. Great. Now watch this VHS tape of Elvis. Oh, jeez. And let's see where this goes. Have some space wine. We can yep. drive Teslas on Mars. James, did you answer? I can't remember. No. Um, I would be David Bowie and I could fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt Peek's reading ahead on the questions. Oh, You're not allowed cheating. to do that, Matt Peek. Peek. That's cheating. You're not allowed to do that. I'm not shared on the dock a Peek, while ago. What are you talking about? <laughs> You are shared on the dock, number one. No, I, I said I got shared on it, so I already read it. You're not supposed to look at it, though. No. Really? But the thing is, Pete always answers last anyway. He has the most time to, out of all of us uh, to think about it. Yeah, and they're always the still time. crappiest answers. <laughs> <laughs> I say they're true. gold. How's <laughs> Peek so, so on, on the ball? We've already done this before where we made Peek go first every single time. It wasn't any better. <laughs> you need to go in the middle somewhere? I'm somewhere it's about in the, the No, it just, it's not going to matter. We're in the Peek attitude era right I love now. it. I love I, it. And I love it. <laughs> okay. Hey, first question this week comes from Red Ad Hoc. You can inject any fun house or Rooster Teeth member with enough truth serum to get one honest answer. Who do you pick and what do you ask them? Uh, I need a lot of truth serum for one Aaron Marquis. And I only have one question to ask Aaron. Has he ever had sex with a man and would he want to have sex with a man at some point in his life? And he'll just tell you that straight up. Yeah, you yeah know, that's true. I should just ask him. Huh? Yeah, he sends yeah. me pictures. He, it's gross. He won't yeah. stop telling me about okay, that. Okay, all right. I'll ask. I'll yeah. just ask. Private him. situation. I'll just um, ask. Your odds are pretty good, by the way. Okay. Yeah. I, I would actually not even go outside of this room. I'd use it on Matt Peak, and I would ask him if he would have sex with Jamie Lee Curtis. Now. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I saw her in the airport. She was looking pretty good. That, she that looks great. Give me. Yeah. yeah, I know. Shrimp queens. But you don't need serum for that. So what's the answer? Oh, no, you need true serum. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, dang it. She's done very well, though. She's, uh... <laughs> she's done very well. <laughs> she's no, she has. In check. You know she's also a hermaphrodite, right? No, I didn't know theory. That. That's a theory. Yeah. Doesn't Which fucking like matter. Believe. Yeah. That just, hey, twice the fun, baby. For her. Yeah. Uh, I'd inject our CEO, Matt Hollum, and I'd ask, were we a mistake? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Dad. I, I think I would pick Ryan Haywood. And, because there's been a lot of talk. There's been some familiarity on set, maybe. Some hints. Some implications. Of what? Maybe a, a forlorn love. So I would ask him, you fuck Jeff or what? <laughs> oh, well, between him and Jeff. So not thus between, far, oh. 50% of them have been about fucking dudes. dudes That's all we yeah. want to know. Can I ask Bruce, where are all these pills on your desk? <laughs> Oh, you got Bill Bruce, you don't have to answer that. To talk yeah. about that. You don't have to. Matt Peek already put the juice here, maybe. I did. It's ecstasy. Oh, that's, oh, how you're that's happy. cool. And one for the chick standing next to me. That's what all the rave music is about. The, we should take one of those and then we'll do the rest of Open House on ecstasy. Uh, next Gosh. question from Cho me. Chorizo Tapatio. Uh, if you could have any celebrity guest on Dead, dead Soup, <laughs> Spooky. who would it be? Oh, yeah, it'd be the Halloween Dude Soup. Who would it be and what would you talk about? Uh, well, I gotta ask Lawrence. Lawrence is the producer of the show. Lawrence, who would you like to have on what? Dead Soup? Oh, this is totally a personal thing. Wouldn't make for good content. But the dude who played uh, Q in Star Trek, I've seen him in a shitload of things. He's got a very identifiable oh, voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, do, I would just want to talk to him about his life and Seems his work. insufferable. Oh, yeah, a little, I would agree. Uh, he's got a bit of a nasally tone. He's a little uh, condescending. Yeah. But that's, that's character. character, I have that's to assume. That's character. There's no way he would get that much work if he were that. And uh, That's just a very good actor he is. Barack that's why Obama. Oh, that's a way better guess. Yeah, He'd we'd ask to... him about like Never Ending Story three yeah. and stuff. <laughs> we wouldn't discuss anything worthwhile with him. What do you fantastic. think about video games? <laughs> I ran the country. Shut up! <laughs> uh, I would have Jim Henson on. He's dead. And I would that's ask fine. him uh, where we go when we die. Oh. Okay. And uh, if he also thought Muppets Tonight was underrated. <laughs> he's like, he's like, where do we go when we die? It's not Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. Uh, either Shel Silverstein or oh. uh, the guy who wrote uh, Scary Stories to Read in the Dark. Ooh. Alan could... Schwartz? Is that, his name? that was a collection I think of that's shorts his name. from different Okay, authors. I like that book art. I One just want to talk to him about yeah. that. Well, wait, the Alvin art's different. Wait, you mean the author or the illustrator? The the author, right? Yeah. The book, the stories were scary too. I'm not interested. Everything about that was scary. Yeah, I'm not yeah. interested in the, the author. I want to talk to him like, what inspired you to get that art on there? And then he answers, and then he leaves. I mean, the artist. What do you... Uh, I would pick stripper, the one, the only, Adolf Hitler. And okay. He would be on Dude Soup. Uh, we'd ask him what his strategies were for Germany, uh, for the world, and then you know we'd sit there and listen really uh, 
I think really intently. What do you think about the PS Pro? Seems like a waste. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna swap Dude Soup for Open House, though. I think he'd make a great guest on Dude Soup. I'm gonna go with the real Hunter Pence. Oh right, back a baseball there. player. <laughs> That'd be great. Look oh, at your yeah. Easter egg. Matt Peak interviews baseball player. Okay. That'd be funny. <laughs> Peak writes his own uh, the rules. least viewed episode of Dude Super <laughs> Open House or whatever you chose. To. Oh, come on. People love baseball. Hunter Pence would have a bobblehead of Matt Peak that he'd hide in the background. Oh, yeah, that'd be, so that'd be cute. great. That'd be so cute. When he's doing steroids, fucking bitches. That's cool. Uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound too bad. Uh, Ollie April, what movie title would you use to describe your sex life? Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Passion of the Christ. <laughs> Far and Away. Far and Away. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Grease. Uh, Grease 2. <laughs> Max Payne. <laughs> Predators. James the Giant Peach. The Iron Giant. <laughs> Big. <laughs> You're next. That was a good right. question. You're next. <laughs> You're next. <laughs> Don't breathe. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lawrence, next question. Uh, okay. Big Lubowski97 asks, You're all in charge of making a new Netflix series that makes a murderer look less guilty. Who do you choose, and how do you make people like him slash her? I think uh, the easiest one we should do is actually Matthew Broderick. Oh, my, that's what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. You're right. I think well, we, he already we, do that himself? We, he's so likable. We go I, back exactly. to it and we prove that even though everyone knows he's a murderer, maybe he is. Well, it's manslaughter, right? Not not a murderer. Uh, yeah. Depends what country yeah, you're in. Or you if you were the murderee or the murderer. <laughs> Fair. I guess I'd choose Lizzie Borden then. But to make her look cool, I would bring in David Arquette. Like he did in uh, Never Been Kissed. Like, cause remember when he comes oh, in to make yeah. Drew Barrymore? So I would bring in David Arquette to make Lizzie Borden look cool. Well, guys, you, you're not you're, you didn't pick the one, the only. Oh, OJ. Okay. OJ Simpson. <laughs> OJ Simpson. OJ. Yeah, we bring him on, and then you talk about football. He for yeah, we talk he, about he got acquitted. He didn't do it. Let people watch it. Naked Gun a couple times. You, we asked him. Remember, they asked him. And they, he said, I "Documentary didn't do over." What we did, did you do for, for like two years? Yeah, we, he's like, "No, that's we easy." Just, we just show the whole court case. The documentary is just about the court case. Yeah, it's a court. And then OJ said, "He didn't do it." And at the end, I go, "OJ, did you do it?" And he goes, uh, "I play football." Oh, yeah. Talk about hurts. He did, he did play football. Because <laughs> <laughs> I murdered my wife. Ah, shit. OJ, no, 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 I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I would go with Charles Manson. Yeah. Uh, so here's the problem. Charles Manson got his kill on in a pre-internet age. Mm. And I think people pass judgment on him based on what he did or the facts about his life. Sure. I think they didn't get a chance to meet the man. Because as we know, he was pretty uh, charismatic. That's how he got all those women into hey, his car celebs. or whatever. Celebs? Yeah, you know, celebrities. Sure. Yeah. 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 Four, Sharon Kate. Yep. Sharing good anecdotes at a party. I think I think the, the internet and the world at large hasn't seen that side of Charles Manson. Matt, Matt Peake? I don't have a favorite killer. Yeah, you do. Second. Uh, Ted Bundy. What's there his name? Right. Yeah. Hey, all right. <laughs> Ted Bundy. Come Maybe they deserve some... to get their brains eaten. Uh, Elise? This is from Hickson Draconis. Just like the, t- the in 2002 Nickelodeon classic Clock Stoppers. Oh, it's a great movie. Don't know what it is. You have the ability to slow down time. What kind of pranks and shenanigans do you guys get up to? Can I just point out that nothing from 2002 can be a classic? Yeah. What are you, 11 years old? Have any of you seen this movie? Is that why you're stalling? I know what it's about. I remember seeing the They have a clock and they they hit it. They They stop it. it. And it stops time. They stole that from Harry Potter 3. Um, And, well, this is 2002, so that was before Harry Potter. Harry Potter 3 is a classic. I'd stop time when uh, Adolf Hitler was on Dude Soup. And I would pick his nose, uh, and then what I would, I'd pick his nose just for fun, and then I'd also put his finger up his nose so that when I unstop time on Dude Soup, yep. Adolf Hitler would have his finger in his nose. Really knocked him down a peg. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would. I would stop time right now, and then I would shave half of Adam's face so it would be all clean, and then I would unstop time. <laughs> Oh, man. Did you know he was in the seats? Wow! Maybe I was pranking you while time was stopped. I would create a time paradox. Uh, Clock Stoppers is a, is a movie based entirely around slowing down time, which itself was deri- derived from that one scene in The Matrix where uh, Neo dodges bullets all cool. So I would be in 1999. I'd slow down time so much I'd go back in time. And then at the premiere of The Matrix, with all the Hollywood executives there, I'd go into the camera room, I'd speed up the film. And everybody's like... 
what the big showcase of the film is just a dude like flailing around in bullets in normal time. I don't get it. You've always and then clock wanted, stoppers wouldn't happen. You've always wanted the Matrix just for yourself, <laughs> and it's not fair, Lawrence. It can't just be yours. Hey, if I'm it's a the clock stopper, if I'm a clock stopper, I can do whatever I want. That oh. clock has gone to your head. It's the biggest prank of all. You need to be clock stopped. Nah, you can't. I'm the only stop clocker because I went back in time and stopped the clocks. The movie would probably still be a hit. There's a lot of cool other elements. I want to hear Matt Peace. <laughs> Just simple dumb things, like someone's gonna eat a nice juicy bite of meat and then I put like broccoli on there or something. Oh, you oh, switched oh, it. Oh, you switched that meat and that broccoli. Yeah. Oh, man. man. Oh. <laughs> and then he plays with her butt. No, this yeah, is the meat, it's broccoli. Butt, ah. it's <laughs> Bobby Light 32, what is the equivalent of a poochy vagina for dude? A Donna's belt? <laughs> A uh, really deep one? Saggy balls? I feel like you'd have to have like a really small penis and then the area, like the fupa, yeah, the fupa. area right above your penis to be So it looks, pooch. it makes it look like your penis resting on top of your ball sack is just like one, just like, like a Like tiny, a mass. Well, like, like a curled up elephant nose. Like a, like a. Make your penis look smaller. Uh-huh. Cause like yeah. there's your penis, but then you got the giant foop. Uh-huh. So then that makes, oh. you, you already got a small penis. So, so uh, like if, small. if you were to make love, you'd have to lift and then you'd have to move your fat and then you have to like just kind of wiggle in there Mm -hmm. and then hope for a climax well it'd be rough because it it makes it makes sense your your balls would then be resting on the ground and then you just kind of rock back and forth on them as though it's a pendulum hoping that your tiny acorn penis gets some kind of stimulation in there human beings are beautiful oh there he goes oh wow Themed episode of Open House. We're in uh, costume. No, it's spooky. not. It's not Halloween yet. What? what? What's wrong with you? Guys? I'll give you a little terror right now. Why are you now? so excited about Halloween? Because <laughs> free candy. Dude. Please read the first question. Hey, first question this week comes from Frosty780. If you could poach anyone to join the Funhouse team, who would you pick and what would you have them do? Abraham Lincoln. Ooh. Oh. And um, I'd ask him to increase morale by giving very rousing speeches. Obviously, everyone knows how open house is divided. That's true. And so uh, we're always kind of at each other's throats, but then Abraham Lincoln could bring us back together. Since we've already divided open house, then I would pick Robert E. Lee, the South's hero. I'm pretty sure Robert E. Lee went on record and was like, I'm just doing it because my nation is asking me to fight. He wasn't a racist? He wasn't necessarily not a racist. So I have a joke answer. I would poach... Uh, SourceFed's Joel Rubin. Oh, and I, yeah. And I, I would have him upload videos to the uh, Funhouse channel. I'm not channel. sure if he would want to do that. I could see him fitting in here, though. I mean, yeah, Joel would fit in, but I don't know if he'd want to do that. We have to keep an eye on his monitor, because he might be applying for other jobs or uploading <laughs> videos. <laughs> yeah, I, have, yeah. I have a real answer, though. Blaine Gibson of Rooster Teeth. Blaine um, already works at Rooster Teeth. Well, no, I, I'd poach him, though. I'm poaching him Rooster the Teeth. Team, it says. Join Funhouse team. What are you going to have him do? And then I have him do push-ups all day. And, push-ups? And, and uh, just search on Tinder. James already does that. We don't need anybody James doesn't else do push-ups do... anymore. He gave up on that. Joke. I'm a chip guy now. <laughs> Lawrence? Uh, Spider-Man. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. We'd be friends. Okay. All right. Good job. Uh, we, we would hang out together. Bruce, you hire people to be friends with Lawrence now? Is that part of this? Yeah, no. That I mean, that, and it pays like 40000 Well, I mean, that's so. not part of the job application, but let's be honest. We would just get along. Uh, I'm going to piggyback off of Lawrence's. I think we need some security guards, because oh. at night, nothing's happened yet, but I get scared walking the 20 feet I have to do from the door to my car. <laughs> I agree. We need a daredevil. Oh, Lawyer dude. by day, security guard by night. But he's not helping. What's he gonna do for Funhouse? What? We could sue people. Yeah, we we could fight to get all our logos on shit, like shoes. Well, and we poster. could also sue. argue yeah. for like all of our Rule Thirty Four stuff to not get unmonetized. Oh, that's a great idea. And then he argues. Yeah, he argues with Google, and he goes, "I can tell when you're lying." Nice. He goes, "Your Honor," and he throws his baton. Yeah. And it dings off the wall, and then hits Google in the back <laughs> of the head. Yeah. Guys, Matt Peake hasn't answered. We already said Spider Man, Matt. Remember that? Yeah, you can't pick Spider Man. Case pick Daredevil. No, I or Abraham a, Lincoln or Robert Lee. A highly a highly rated masseuse to relieve our 
tension in our muscles. Blaine Gibson. Hey, Matt, you just signed up for a masseuse class. Wait, Matt's our masseuse? Also, I got a little knot back here, Matt. If you could come over here and good masseuse finishes the job. The next question from Wheelings and Dealings. I know the whole Funhouse crew has been to the AH office to film stuff several times, but how come the whole AH crew haven't come to the Funhouse office to film? Seems like it's one at a time when they come. That's a that's a really, really good question. Yeah, when's we, that Overwatch match going to happen? We've had Jeff. We've had Michael. We've never had Ryan. We've had who else? Oh, We're we, beating Screw Attack away with the bat. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Screw Attack trying to come in every week. <laughs> screw Attack, go away! Get out of here! Get on your private Hey, guys, another road trip. We're doing another Screw Attack road trip. We're kidding. We love you, Screwy. What do you think, Adam? Yeah, why haven't they come? Um, I think it's we're too nice. Oh, that mm, makes sense. That's yeah. the problem. I would agree. And yeah. Uh, they know what's going to happen. We're going to lure them into a, a false sense of security. Before they know it, boom, Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, yeah. I, I think I know the real reason. Yeah. We only take hour-long lunches. They usually take, what, two, three hours? Two, three hour lunches. Six. I've seen six-hour lunch sometimes. No. Yeah. <laughs> they walked in here, they didn't see any controllers, and they got scared. Oh. <laughs> Where are the controllers? Where are your controllers have so many buttons and letters on them? Uh, CXSD. Each member of Funhouse is given the opportunity to be the creative director of the next Sonic oh, game. Oh. What do you do to innovate the series? I make him slow. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> People weren't expecting that, were they? He just walks uh, around. Boom, <laughs> tail, slow down. He tries to pick up a ring, but he's going at it. Oh, man. What are you going to call it? Got Sonic it. Sonic what? Got the one. Uh, Slownik. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of an offshoot. People think it's a different character. It's not. It's Sonic. He's just slow now. Uh, my game would be called Sonic Broom because Sonic would be going fast but on a broom. Oh, the Halloween theme. There it is. No, yeah. It's not just for Halloween. Yeah. Right, back to the theme of the show. Yeah. All right. A crime scene. A scientist has been murdered. He's still lying face down in his own blood. The only suspect is a blue hedgehog. <gasps> and now the police are after him and he has to escape. So now you actually have something to run from. It's oh. the police. Oh. And he's a murderer. Shadow did it. <laughs> Jeez. In the vein of that, mine would also be a mystery. A point and click mystery. Oh, no. So Sonic would never move. Oh, not in the game, but geez. you would get a great sense of satisfaction from enjoying an engaging story and solving a mystery all on your own, even though you were going to come to that conclusion regardless. What would you call it? Um, Sonic uh, Mysteries. No, you called Sonic Holmes. Come on. Matt Peek? Sonic would die in canon as part of the canon. <laughs> oh, no. Would he come back to life like yeah. Superman? They try and shoot him out, but then it's just a puff of smoke, and oh, they look inside, no. there's just a hedgehog. Oh, there's corpse. a dead hedgehog in there. Uh, Mark underscore SGS writes, Google have just announced their new line of smartphones, yes. but what would the Funhouse smartphone be like, and what features would it include? Um, voice commands are really popular, mm. but as the opposite of that, instead of voice commands, you type in things you wanted it to do. Type what you want to say. Type what you want to say. I see. And then it'll Speech do that. to text. New tech. Yeah, that's what we call it. You're not, yeah, because you're not always available to talk. Yeah, you're sometimes just, you're just gagged. in what you want. Yeah. I, I think the biggest problem that feature. plagues all of us smartphone users are the battery. The battery life is always terrible. Absolutely. So we do away with the screen. We do it with the antenna. It's just a battery. And that, I mean, <sighs> it's just 100% battery. Right. It would last a long time. It would last, it would last forever. Forever. a really long yeah. time. Because yeah. you'd never use it. It's just battery, charge port. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Headphone jack also, because right. fuck iPhone, right? <laughs> Lawrence? Uh, well, I'm, mine's more of a flaw into feature type idea. You got all these phones exploding all over the place. Samsung's having a rough time. True. I say you just rebrand it. Uh, I'm going to sell people phones, except it's got a little pin on the top. Oh. You pull the pin out <laughs> to make a grenade. call. You hold it next to your face. <laughs> The feature is it will explode within about five seconds. <laughs> so as long as people know that and we sell it as such, I think people are going to be a lot more okay with that. And then we don't have to do these recalls, figure out what's going on in the Chinese factories, a bunch of kids mm -hmm. dying here. The last phone call you'll ever make. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Your head explodes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mine would be the uh, Google Assistant, but instead of Google Assistant, uh, it'd be the Bruce Assistant because it is the Funhouse phone after all. So if you ever ask Bruce, like, why don't you ask me a question? Where's the nearest Hooters? How tall is a brontosaurus? N-word! What's the traffic like? Shut up! What's the temperature? Cock suck! I mean, that's useful. I see the I see the application. <laughs> uh, Matt Peake. I'll go slightly more realistic so we wouldn't have to spend money and resources producing all different kinds of tech. It would just be a big... 500 megabyte flash drive that looks like a phone. Right. And then there's some of our videos on it, but you have to cycle them out because it's it only 500 megabytes. Yeah, that's only some. <laughs> it's got a little Pez dispenser on the side. Uh, Elise. This is from Saxy Panda Bear. Good news, the Funhouse Home Improvement Show has been approved. 
What hip new home improvement tips will you demonstrate on the show? Uh, maybe how to build a hot rod in your garage? Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay? I think Frog. that was... Was you doing Tim Allen there? Home oh, improvement. Tim the oh. Tool Man. Sell me some cocaine. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's the sound that made the 90s Matt, turn around. Matt Peake would be Wilson behind oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say a Wilson comment. You never show your face. They never showed his dick hole, though. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the thing. If the camera panned down, yeah. they'd always show his penis. Well, I would show uh, how to not clog your toilet. Okay. So it doesn't matter how, how big of a shit. What? Like, you know how to not clog a toilet. I mean... I've learned how to do that. I've learned how to make my rectum a certain size. Oh. So you know how like sometimes like if, you poop, fun if you poop a lot, right? Yeah, it's like a fun, exactly. It's, you poop a lot. Pinch it off. If make it's a little star thick, shape. It'll clog up the <laughs> toilet. But I, I know how to contract my rectum t- so as to make it uh, like a Play-Doh factory. Mm-hmm. Prove it. No. Let's check oh, the shape. Now he's gonna no. shit. Oh. We're gonna find that butt plug. It's been three days, oh, Lawrence. I would make every room a submarine room. So three feet of standing water all the time. Shower heads, wall to wall, always running. You got to just splash through. I got to get to the fridge. I got oh, fridge is shorted out. There's an electrical fire. That just adds to the ambiance. That's fine, Adam. I've always wanted one of those secret rooms where you you pull the book and then the oh, bookcase yeah. opens and it's a secret door. Yeah. yeah. I want to learn how to do that. So join me on my show as I learn and then get ultimately frustrated and realize this isn't really a good idea. <laughs> you hire another just, guy. I, yeah, I hire that guy. <laughs> I hide my porn under my bed like everyone else. <laughs> You just wanted a jail that's room. A, that's how every every episode of the Funhouse Home Improvement Show starts. Is we got someone coming over to show us how to, but first we gotta hide the porn. <laughs> uh, Matt, Peak, last question. All right, and and Sallow Exhibit comes back from the dead to pimp your rides with a theme of your choice. What does your new ride look like? I remember Exhibit used to put uh, put spe- uh, like uh, screens all inside the, mm-hmm. then then he put speakers all inside. You know, to make it like an entertainment system. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would put it all on the outside. So okay. then when you're driving down the street and you want to show off your sweet tunes, oh, yeah. I usually try to drive through like Inglewood though. So I, you know, turn on the left, see what happens. Sure. Mine would be like a burger mobile because you guys know I love my burgs. So it'd be, I'd be riding on the patty. I'd have a bun top that goes back like a convertible. Bring the bun back. You thought about this. Uh, and then my rims would be tomatoes. Oh, I hate always trying to fumble for my sunglasses in the car. So what I like is just giant sunglasses on the front on the way they're always <laughs> there. <laughs> they're definitely always there. Yeah, That's good. I love that. Uh, for for me, not not that this is in any way a problem now. I would just want the words "not a child predator" stenciled on the side of the car. That seems That's like a good, good idea. Just so everyone knows, I'm not. I'm yeah, not. You, you know. It. What do they do for the rest of the episode? It would be mostly uh, informative, uh, sharing tips yeah. about how to install six car seats into your car. How many babies can I fit in the back? No, 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 no. Don't need to do that anymore. Nope. Just go into the grocery store because that's what normal people do. Matt Peak. I was gonna say a car that was. It was, you have to operate it like a bicycle. There's no engine. You mean a, you mean a bicycle? Like the Flintstones? Sort of like the Flintstones, except there's pedals under there. Is that the thing you ride to work every day? No, it's a car. Uh, He's sure. a fucking huge Didn't he dude, say though. like 700 pounds? He probably could do... Probably 700. He's a close. huge guy. Yeah. He's big dude. He's I mean, he's strong. ripped too, but he's also a huge guy. He's real strong. So. He's real scary. How much do you deadlift, Matt Peak? Peak's a naturalist, so he would only like deadlift like a stone. Dead animals. That he, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's like the paleo diet, but of working out. It's yeah. like I only pick up things I find on the ground. <laughs> uh-huh. It's like people that glean, so they go to orchards, but they only pick up stuff that's fallen off the Fucking trees. Christ. Oh, wow. It's gleaning. How nice cool. of them. Plants don't feel pain. <laughs> Welcome to Open House for a spooky edition. Oh, Halloween time! Oh. At least, what's your favorite Halloween movie? James thinks that all women love Hocus Pocus. They do. I don't do. think they all women to. do love Hocus Pocus. Do you love Hocus Pocus, Elise? It's good, ah. but, but I don't love it. Uh, this is a question. This is our first question is for you, all the women watching, all six of you. <laughs> do you like Hocus Pocus? Thought so. Yeah. <laughs> And why? <laughs> it's because of that cat. Is a uh, they, they Salem? Because there's a hunk. No, that's oh wait, witch, no, that's teenage the, witch. Yeah, that's Clarissa. Or Clarissa. <laughs> that's Clarissa. <laughs> that's Clarissa. Explains that's it all. Prina. <laughs> uh, we have fun here. Let's do a show. All right. First question this week comes from Mick Scrabble Cunt. Read it in a spooky way. Uh, Mick Scrabble Cunt. Oh, nice. That's my mummy. Um, what do you find most disappointing about your fans? <laughs> Their love for Hocus Pocus. Um, <laughs> all six get of them. better taste. Come on, guys. I find what most disappointing is that I get a lot of tweets where they'll they'll be like, I saw you walk by and I was too scared to say hi. And I'm like, oh, I'm good. super disappointed about totally that. Answer, yeah. Come yeah. and say hello to me. That's like, I, it's totally fine. Like, even if I look angry or busy or whatever, 
come say hi, because it always brightens my day. Mine is going to be that this isn't for everybody, but some fans that specifically do this, they don't Google search. Mm. And then they'll say something yes, like, yes. like, hey, well, what about this? Or when did you guys ever do this? It's hey, I walk by this store that sells perfume. It's called Perfume House. Do you guys <laughs> open a perfume store now? <laughs> no. I'd like to believe in a world where our fans don't like our content and don't watch us, like they have better things to do. <laughs> That's in this true. World. So just the fact that they're watching this at all is slightly disappointing to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever we're at events, uh, I always will talk to fans and then they always disengage with me before I disengage <laughs> with them. It happens all the time. That's and rough. It, like, I'll be like, so, like, so where are you from? And as I'm saying it, they're like, okay, bye. And then I'm like, oh, all right. Oh, wow. And then it rains, but only on you. <laughs> Peek, what's, what do you find most disappointing about your Matt Peek fans? Uh, lately, it's just been, like, wanting to know everything I'm eating. What are you eating in that episode of Open House? What, are you, what were you eating on at Twits and Crits at this mark? Well, you gotta tell them. What were you eating in this other episode of Open House? Yeah, it's like, what does it matter? I just... Peek's a hungry boy. Vinny the Pooh. Now that the Great Barrier Reef is dying. Ah! Which World Heritage Site do you want to be destroyed? Great Wall of China, let's take that fucking shit down. China it's wanted to. Been holding out the Mongols forever. <laughs> I say, we got better tech now, let's just bomb it. I was gonna say the Taj Mahal. Oh, okay, um, But good. when we blow it up, we blow up the Taj Mahal because it's stupid and ugly. Yeah, it sounds foreign. We replace it with the largest Walmart we can find. Okay, that's nice. So what we have to do though, <laughs> what, what I mean by that, we're not building a new Walmart. No. We're gonna take one from the middle of America Helicopter oh. it over with a cargo bob and then drop it drop on it. top of the Taj Mahal. The Walsh Mahal. The Walsh Mahal, that's what we'll call it. The Taj Mahal? The Walsh Mahart? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should take the Abe Lincoln log house and put John Wilkes Booth's house on top of it, uh, like a little hat. <laughs> All right, you build like the John Wilkes Booth next to it. Oh! oh. That's how you sell tickets. You can, it, they hand you a gun, and you can go to the back of the cabin yeah. and fire shots oh. at the back of the cabin. It's got one of those little cutouts go. where like you can stick your head through, yeah, and yeah. the guy like shooting Lincoln right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. Well, Bruce touched on my answer because I was going to say the pyramids. Because we destroy the pyramids, then the aliens come back. They say, what the fuck, <laughs> guys? Apocalypse. Suck your mom, yeah, says, what would be in a funhouse-themed haunted house? A room where the subcounts are flatlining, and you have to try and figure out why. Oh, oh, man, that is really haunting for me. That haunts me every night. And then you go from that room, and then... That the next room is just filled with video screens, and on all the screens are just ad sales videos. Oh. <laughs> like mobile games oh, that you didn't man. want to play, but you had to play this because... Is, uh, this is like Bruce's haunted house. Just movement watches everywhere. <laughs> it's scary. It's terrifying. Yeah, this is really terrifying. Um, there would be a full bar, like full open bar, but Bill Cosby would be the bartender. Oh. <laughs> I don't yeah. give a shit. So, <laughs> you get drunk be, faster. he would be drinking there all night. No problem. <laughs> Bill would be best friend. Oh, I got Cosby. Matt Peak? Padded room. You have to wrestle Matt Peak in a padded room where he can throw you anywhere. That sounds and he's all great scary. stuff. And he's coming at you, and you but you don't have you don't have your arms free. I would say the last room in the haunted house would be me with Joel and Spool on either side of me oh, arguing no. about No Man's Sky. Oh, God. I would, I, forever and ever and ever, basically eternity. Well, oh. I would kill myself. And then everyone who comes through gets to tell you who they think is right and and ask you why you're not acknowledging Oh, my it. gosh, Lawrence, stop it. I wouldn't use it in the haunted house, but I think a puzzle room with a hungover Jacob would be a lot of fun. Oh, oh, yeah. He's your oh, only way out. Always a big smile. Just smiling. He's always in pain, and he can't really help, but he's apologizing a I lot. I think it's this clue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, muffins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lawrence? Ooh, okay, uh, PM me some pancakes, which is a great name. Funhouse has decided to cash in on the popularity of Westworld and create their own robot-filled immersive attraction. What kind of theme park would each of you make? So why make a theme park when you can make a steam park? That's right, it's an all-steampunk theme park. We got Robot Bill Cosby behind the bar. Oh, wait. Uh, again? He's we, only loosely related to steampunk. You go to the, you go to the, uh, the whorehouse, there's Ch the Robot China. Oh! oh China. Wow. With the uh, Roboclit, as she calls it. <laughs> Steam shooting out from beneath her shorts. People getting scalding burns and everything. Mine would be, uh, dinosaurs. So it'd be like a park, but it'd be show? filled with dinosaurs. Oh, the yeah, the TV show. show. Yeah, Great yeah. Jokes. Robbie, Earl, Junior, <laughs> Fabian, um, exactly Jessica Walters, Grandma, uh, Spike. All of them would be there, and then you could go in. But the problem is, they're gaining sentience, and they know that their show is going to get canceled uh, after only three seasons. Oh man! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be the uh, Cthulhu 
Uh, oh. uh, what's the what's it? Lovecraft themed uh, theme park. So it'd be Cthulhu, all the other monsters. Oh, the Mountains of Madness cool. would be like Space Mountain. Ma- yeah, there'd be the Mountains of Madness with Guillermo del Toro, right? Because he, he's making right. that movie. He's or the something. mountain. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a bunch of really creepy things that really aren't that creepy. Yeah, nothing stupid. really happens. But nothing and nothing. I turned into a bug. But yeah, but it's oh, just. Oh, well, will, just will Dagon be there? Who? I. Uh, <laughs> Lawrence, did you answer this? Uh, not yet. Okay. So my my theme park would be Call of the Void, the 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 French the French term we all know and love. Oh yeah. Uh, it would be a series of levels basically. In each scenario, you'd have to do the thing that you've always wanted to do but never got to. <gasps> First level would be bust into a funeral, run through the entire row, and dunk an object inside the casket. <laughs> uh, number two would be a loving mother gives you her baby and you just have to huck it out of a window. Uh, you know, it's, it's a, ver- a variety of scenarios that everybody has wanted to do or at least felt the tug to do, but you've never been able to because it's the real world. I'd like to add that you can fuck the dinosaurs in my world. Hmm. Oh, okay. Not <laughs> grandma. It's perfect because Robbie doesn't have pants. <laughs> yeah, he does None of them do. Uh, Matt Peak, what's yours? Maybe just an android theme park. It's all the androids from across different properties. So it's a Robot filled android themed theme park. Yeah, da- no. and data is your guide. But you, have oh. to, you gotta flip it. It's gotta be humans playing robots. Can you fuck him? Oh, yeah. Humans play robot. And can you fuck him? Um, can you fuck you? No, but. <laughs> what if but, you come dressed as Tasha Yar? But his brother Lore tries to hijack. And the, Who? being a guide, and you can you can you can bang him. Who is Lore? I don't know. Data's even brother. brother. Data can't have a brother. He does. Robot. He it was does. A prototype. They're identical, and you can fuck him. He had the emotional chip installed, but it made him crazy. Elise, next question. This is from the Waries. What are your favorite horror movies? And if you could, what changes would you make? I do Halloween, but I set it around uh, Valentine's Day. Ooh, so it's you nice. Mean like so the that, movie Valentine's Day. It's called Valentine's. No, it's still Day called 3D. Halloween. Still called Halloween, uh, but it's set around Valentine's Day, and so maybe the Michael Myers mask has a little like lip lip marks. On oh, it, like, like he, he got, got kissed. kissed. Oh, oh, that's cute. Jacob's Ladder is probably my one of my favorite horror movies. Um, I don't know. I think I think you tone down the violence a little bit. Maybe call it Jacob's Step Ladder. Is that where we ask Jacob to put up the Vive sensors, and he goes, "Oh dear, a ladder." <laughs> oh yeah, Jacob starring Jacob. Uh, I would do uh, The Shining. It's a fantastic film, but I would splice in a lot of scenes from Blade Runner. Uh, because, you know, they already have that car driving scene, and I think really that there's a hidden meaning if you just wholesale lift out more scenes and just drop them right in the middle of shiny. I, so. I know what he's talking about, and I'm annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would be the Blair Witch Project, but everybody would be nude. Okay, so I like the whole that. thing would be nude, found footage. Wait, the old one or the new one? Uh, both. Ooh. All of them. Yeah, all, yeah every even movie. Even the Book of Shadows? Yeah, I'm sure, why not? The sequel, too. Who cares? <laughs> I was going to say, that kind of happened in the second one, but... They were nude in the second one? Spoilers, Matt. Oh, I, just, I love that movie. Second one is best one. <laughs> T-Liger. We have seen members of current Let's Play family channels break what off... What's wrong with you? Well, the thing he's is sort it, of cropping it. out. Yeah, the, I'm sorry. It's I'll, distracting me. <laughs> channels break off and start a new channel, such as Cow Chop and Game Attack. If Funhouse were to do the same... What would be the new name of the channel? What sort of content would you produce? <laughs> and who would leave to nurture this new baby? Oh man. oh, man. So I think we would all leave all at once. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. a good idea. Uh, we'd form a new channel. Chop Attack? And we'd call it Chop Attack. <laughs> man, it's because, you know, get it, because like Couch Co-op. Yeah. And then Game Attack or whatever. Oh, one of our so shows would be, okay. one of our shows oh, would be okay. Couch Co-op, but like, like Cow Chop, Cow Is that co-op. what it stands for? Yes. Couch co-op? Yeah. Is that couch chop? Is that what couch chop is? Yes. Holy fuck. No. Yes. yes. There's a cow on the logo, not a couch. How long do you think the Attitude Era is going to last? Forever. Two to three more years. I hope forever. Well, I'm more afraid about what's going to come after. Yeah. It's not about how long this lasts. It's the phase he's going to go into. God. Cowboy, we made him. That's the problem. First question this week comes from Mitch Lee. Funhouse is filming an adaptation nope, of... adaption. I know. Of, of The Wizard of Oz. Which character would everyone play? I'm going to say Lawrence is the Tin Man. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. Yeah. All right, that makes choice. sense. Is it close, but it's like cyberpunky Tin Man. Mm. Oh, cool, like Decker, we're but like, not really... We're like kind of not the Wiz, kind of but we're kind of like... Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yes. Yeah. He's just covered in rust stains from pissing himself yeah. in, the oh, tin, in the tin. Oh, sure. jeez. Well, that's the thing. He's trying to get a boner. He's watching... We, uh, we walk whoever is Dorothy... I'm assuming it'd probably be Peak. Um, whoever is Dorothy would walk up on Lawrence the Tin Man, and he'd be trying to get a boner, but he'd be like, Oh, you can 
song. Yeah, it's just, and she'd be like, I can help you. Oh, it gross. It just sounds like wind chimes all the time. His dick's hitting the yeah. metal. Yeah. Oh. I don't like this oh, at all. Uh, Bruce should be the wizard because I just want to see oh, his. Wow. I just want to see his face wow. floating sixty feet yeah, in the air I'll on a it, giant yeah. crystalline tube. Oh, that's a good one. I am Oz. I was gonna say James would make a perfect scarecrow, but I'm gonna flip it. I want to be uh, the one from the Wiz. But what's the yeah. difference? Likes kids. Oh, hi, oh, king of the forest. Well, I'm already the scarecrow. Uh. Um. <laughs> we could cast all of our fans as the Munchkins. Mun Munchkins. Nailed it. The Munchkins is the name. Yeah, that's what they're yeah. called. And then the ones we uh, really like can be the ones who hung themselves on set. Uh -huh. The the that Munchkins the hung themselves on set. They didn't uh, even have yeah. the yeah. grace to do it in the green room. Adam would be uh, Adam would oh, be Toto. <laughs> Who's Wicked Witch of the West? Oh. Jacob. Yeah. Jacob is definitely, he's definitely, definitely the Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah. <laughs> Next question from Disciple6. What's a common misconception the fans have about you guys that you would like to clear up? People often think I'm real, which I think is strange. You're a hologram? Yeah. Projection AI. What? I think there's a misconception that we hate games, but huh? that's not true. I think we love games. In fact, I say we love games more than anyone else. More that's than anyone else? That's why we're so critical of them. We're like tiger mothers. You know, Asian tiger mothers who really seem like they're they're abusing their kids, but they're actually making mm. them really good at piano and violin. Fans think that I will fart on command, and they'll walk up to me and say, "Hey, will you fart?" And they don't realize that if I there are two outcomes there. The first one is if I try and fart, I'll poop. <laughs> so I, I shouldn't do that. And the second one is if I don't try and fart, I'll just stand there and it won't be funny. So I feel I feel bad. I feel bad that I can't fart. But Have you ever faked a fart before? No, where I you can't. tell someone that a fart came out, but it didn't actually. Like an orgasm. Like a silent fart. Have you ever done that? That's dishonest, Bruce. No. I'm Lying to our fans. No. With your ass. Common misconception that we don't love money! I think there there is a, a strong misconception that people think we have strong opinions. We have uninformed opinions. <laughs> yeah. And we're all very neutral on most things. What we do, though, is we become straw men or devil's advocates, and we usually like take a position. Like the Scarecrow. Lassoa, Funhouse Breakup, and you all decide to venture off into music. What sort of music do you make, slash what is the name of your debut albums? I think I go straight into pop. So, like, I go straight into Nick Jonas, Justin Bieber territory. Mm -hmm. and I, But I have to get Diplo to produce me. And I, and I have to like I have to like start fucking supermodels and stuff. So there's you a lot of to. stuff I gotta do to get into that. A lot of obligations. But I think yeah. once I'm there, I'll be like a multi. -body. But Bieber doesn't want to do it anymore. He keeps yelling at his fans and telling them to be quiet. Yeah, stop uh, screaming. Well, I'll take his place. A 35 year old man will take Justin. I Bieber's think they'll place. listen to Shut you. Up! That's the thing. They'll listen to him because he looks like a child. Stop you're, liking me. You're like a dad if they're going quiet kids. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'll call my album. Quiet, quiet kids. kids. <laughs> nice, I like that. Wait, quiet comma kids or quiet kids? Quiet comma kids, exclamation point. I would start a uh, Christian rock band. Nice. Obviously. Easy money. Yeah, and um, you know, our music would be very spiritual, but also very cool. Like, so like you can hang out and you can have some non-alcoholic beers and you can just chill out to our music. Never man. Um, and our album would be called Another Second Chance. Oh, wow, that's really so nice. So you accidentally fucked once. You're like, let's wipe that back, born again. Fucked again. Shit. What, what, what do I do now? Yeah. Buy this album. He's yeah. creating it. Well, yeah, what happens when you make a sex tape after another second chance comes out? Let's take another second chance. One more time. How All many right, chances so are we going to give you? Second chance redux. <laughs> I would be a future pop transmedia cyber psychologist. So I'd wear a silver jumpsuit, I would have wraparound sunglasses, and I would get one of those keyboards that's like a circle, so I'd be playing and like turning around and people would come up, and it's it's a keyboard bar, so From I'd Return be like of the Jedi? mixing drinks for people and serving them while I'm playing like super deep dupe tunes, and then they would tell me their troubles and I'd play them out a little jam to help them out of the problem. I never should let him answer this question. That's what I would do. Elise? So uh, my music would all be derived from environmental elements, so like I'd harness the wind, the sounds of the wind, <laughs> like, uh, storms, like the last lightning. Airbender. Yeah, I'd be like an airbender and I'd harness like lightning, waves crashing, it'd be all environmental. Um, my debut album would be called uh, Weather Vane, but like not like Vane, like V A I N. Yeah, so like it'd be like oh, know, like, that's so good. Like like very like yeah, cover yeah. art, like oh Weather yeah. Vane, because it's also like 80s synth rock. Yeah, absolutely. So that's cool. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, it's like really cool. I can see that taking off. All right, yeah, the, the best cool, answer here has come so. from Matt Peak. I would do very minimalistic music, like music that I can actually 
make. And like what? Chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Can you play the piano, Matt? Uh, chopsticks. Wow. And that would be that'd be my f- debut album, Chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> chopsticks. <laughs> the hit single, Chopsticks. <laughs> Lawrence. Uh, vicious crescendo. No. Viscous crescendo. There we go. Words are really small. Right, it's in honor of the new series of Black Mirror, what new technology, if it became more fundamental to daily life, would be the scariest? I mean, that's easy. Masturbatory technology. Why is it well, scary? Oh, easy. Because because it's going to pummel your, your pelvis into oblivion. No one's going to do anything anymore. Ew. They're going to strap themselves into the fuckbot, and then they're just going to die of starvation and dehydration. Nothing's ever going to get done anymore except for a whole lot of great fucking. You can't fuck all the time. Yes, you can. You can when the robots take control, Bruce. You'll have to. Because then it's not up to you. Yeah. It's like Westworld, except they just need it. The have robots to want to fuck. It's real yeah. sexy. They just, they just got that drive. They don't have a refractory period. They want it all the time. Yeah. Wow. Think about that future. Neither do I. It's basically the scene from Terminator 2 where she's grabbing the fence, except from the waist down is a robot fucking her. Yeah. <laughs> and doing really, she's really good job. A skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> just an amazing, amazing, impeccable job. I'm a little bit more crude with my technology. Lumbar support. Oh, yeah. Yeah, chairs that have big bumps in the back, and you gotta adjust it to your lumbar. <laughs> Eventually, we'll sit be straight up. Walking around like this. All yeah, the time. I think yeah. it. Look at the weird people it's gonna create monsters. But we'll be great limbo machines. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> great for <laughs> fucking robots. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. I thought the robots will already be better at us at limboing. Oh, that's right. They'll build better limbo good, bots. But they won't want to. It's just a plate of sheet metal with wheels. Unless it gets <laughs> That's a fair. I popped a callus off one of my toes the other day, and it's just been this red thing. I would like a new foot. You hate your feet, Adam. Okay. All right, question. well, that's not really part of the question. Right. I feel <laughs> really bad. <laughs> so I think, like, electronic bidets, that everybody starts becoming more and more predominant, that people have electronic bidets <laughs> yes. in their bathroom. Mm. Then the bidets, the bidets become sentient and then start, mm. like, just just slamming your asshole with so much force and, and, wa- and power. That sounds and water. great. Would you say that they are bidets and confused? No. Oh. <sighs> I was just going to say the new technology would be steroids. And <sighs> it wouldn't be scary at all because we'd all be jacked. Matt Peak? The only thing I can think of is like food. Maybe you get injected with these nanobots that deliver nutrition to your cells and you don't actually eat anymore. Whoa. Wait a minute, hold on. How do the nanobots deliver food to you? At least, next question. This is from G.H. Morello. If you could hunt anyone, who would it be and why? What's the name of the actress that played the Enchantress in Suicide Squad? Cara Delvine? Yeah, I'd hunt her. Why? She deserves it. I would have to haunt a millionaire, because then I could finally live like a millionaire, Ah. but as a ghost. Ooh. You think about that? Just watching him buy the fourth drone well, then in a I could watch day. his TV. I could probably like drive his cars and stuff. I'd finally get to do all the shit that I wanted to You'd do. You'd have access to all those things, but you wouldn't be able to use any of it. That's It'd not be true. Hell on Earth. That's not true, because ghosts can interact with certain things. And I well, can interact yeah, with a McLaren. He pushed a penny across a room. That's about it. He didn't drive a Ferrari. I could drive a McLaren. Recently. Yeah, but he was like a level three ghost then. You, you, the longer you're a ghost, the more you understand your ghost power. I don't know. There was that one guy in the subway who had been a ghost for a really long time. The most he could do was smash a glass. And he's also dead. I would haunt Eddie Murphy, so that way we would get the Haunted Mansion sequel we rightfully deserve. Finally. So we're going to make a sequel about my life. <laughs> I'm haunted. Ooh, Eddie Murphy. I'm oh. haunting you. Oh, Dad, you're so scary. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd they put the Dapper Dans in that movie? It's just not okay. <laughs> I would like to haunt any one of the hosts of any of those ghost hunter shows. Oh, oh that's, that's a great good. Idea. They're like, fuck, they're ghosts, they're real. <laughs> oh, shit, we were lying. I thought we were lying the whole time. Matt Peak, who would you haunt? I'd have to go with Jacob. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Come here, over there. Matt, Matt Peak, last question. <laughs> Winning is easy. Invent a new sex position. That's not a question. I'm inventing the Jacob, and you shout at your girlfriend or whoever you're having sex with until they cry. That's not new. Hey guys, welcome to Open House. Uh, we have a special guest this week, as you can see. Hey it's everybody, thanks for having me. Lawrence Sontag. Thank you, yeah. Don. Well, you please not step on oh. my is there, intro. Is there anything please. of mine you won't take? We're finishing each other's sentences like we always do. All right, let's finish our each other's sentences. I love to go Red. to- Red. <laughs> <laughs> Stole my red joke. Don't leave your browser open, Lawrence. Oh, uh, for the record, Don also has to keep track of the yeah, things we're saying. Well, that's what yeah. he normally does. Of, saying them. For so. open a lot of ins, a lot of outs. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Don, you better be taking those notes over there. He's taking notes. We're going to be okay. we're going to say uh, something I'm funny here in a second. Receiving of photoshops and mm-hmm. taking notes. And if you feel like we're getting kind of like off be base. Your sentences. Oh. <laughs> 
if you feel like we're getting kind of off base, just give us a nudge and be like, I'm not going to be able to do Especially that. Especially Elise. Yeah. You're going to have to nudge her a yeah. lot. Speed yeah. us up. But keep your eyes on the paper Elise. cut. You want me to wrap it up? <laughs> you want I can nudge her for you because you took everything else. First question from Father Fishcake. Uh, if Superman landed in the Funhouse office instead of an old farm, how would the Funhouse team raise and parent such a child? So here's the thing about Superman. Yeah. He didn't discover until like his late 20s, early 30s, that he was like, like could do anything like he wanted. Superman, yeah. Yeah, so I would try to instill the child with the knowledge that he can bang his way through high school if he wants to. Just every single chick. Because you know he'd be Superman, but he doesn't, so you'd be like, more confident, son. Yeah. You can get out there and bang anybody you want. Well, you know how Superman, like, there's a scene where he's like, oh, I realize that I can throw the football I'm sorry. 200 yards. I'm sorry to interrupt. That, the, key, the keyboard is really distracting. Don, you're going to have to be quieter. quieter. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to kind of keep it down a little bit. Yeah, so it's... So if I was raising Superman, uh, I would tell Superman to start a YouTube channel. Oh. Because I feel like if Superman needed to make some money, because he probably, mm-hmm. you know, Superman's not inherently rich. Yeah. Uh, so he'd have to get a job, but it'd be really cool to see him play video games on YouTube. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't use his powers. No. He would just, he would just play games. I mean, I, I would think that we do use his powers and we make him edit for us. It'd be great to have somebody with, like, those fast fingers, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, uh, not, and I'm not just talking about Lawrence, ladies. But like somebody that can like really put those those edits together super fast, and maybe somebody new on Open House since you know Don's really loud. Don, keep it down, please. He's trying. I would I, uh, since since I have the luxury of educating him from a young child, I would reinforce that you only have powers as long as I am rich and sexually satisfied. <laughs> so, and I'd have to keep some kryptonite on hand just to give some negative reinforcement. Like, it's yeah. been a day, son. I'm starting to get a little horny, and then I. You know, sneak it under his bed so you he feels sex? sick. And... Are you having sex with your No, 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 no. No, he's finding women for me to have sex with. Finding Kidnapping. Women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't do that. He's Superman. Well, he would convince them to because he's so charming. He would sweep her off her feet, deliver her to me. Don, did you write down Lawrence Rape? It looks like he wrote, Lawrence sleeps with Superman, Lawrence oh, Pig yeah. on farm joke. Oh. <laughs> so this is going to be real funny when we watch this back. Uh, Matt Peak, what would you tell the superest of man? To go play in the dirt to build up that immunity, especially to Earth. <laughs> what? Picked an indestructible man. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> get sick, immunities. but okay. Yeah, well, and then I would teach him that uh, red is blue and blue is red. <laughs> Just so to his, confuse suit would, him. his suit would be all backwards. Just to confuse him. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Let's fuck with Superman. The libertarian. Oh, you didn't Tom. ask Don. You're right. We didn't. Um, Don, you got a good answer yeah. for this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. I, I would oh, force Superman to uh, watch all sorts of Batman themed <laughs> pornography, raise him to love Batman, so that instead of the travesty we had Batman vs. Superman, it'd be the world's greatest romantic comedy. Batman in Superman. Oh. <laughs> you want me to write that down? Yeah, go ahead and make a note of that. The, our next question, the libertarian Thomas, with Thanksgiving quickly approaching, Funhouse is put in charge of designing a balloon slash float for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh. What do you guys design, and what makes it stand out from other balloons and floats? Uh, so I've been thinking about this a long time. Yeah. Uh, years and years and years. I would It'd be called the Vag Badger. And the Vag Badger is just is a badger. That's yeah. a balloon. Yeah. But what the Vag Badger does is got a magnet on the end of mm-hmm. his nose. It's a really giant float. Yeah. And every woman in the crowd, I've planted magnets in their pants. And so then the badger would... And it's stuck to the, each one's each one's uh, pants. Oh, got them on their on their crotch, <laughs> and that's why they call him the Vag Badger. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I don't he... need to say why it makes it stand out. It's a Vag Badger. Oh, you. But that would be the. But what happens? What? <laughs> Do you have a problem with the Vag Badger? No. Okay, good. I'm all about spectacle. So mine would be me, tr- like with a both a good Thanksgiving dinner plate in my hand, uh-huh. eating it while on a little tricycle right down the center of the street. Mm. So it'd just be a little squeaky wheel. Yep. I'd be trying to shovel it in my mouth. I'd be spilling some mashed potatoes. That's mm. okay. People are cheering. I'm having the time of my life, and everybody's getting in the holiday spirit. Do you know what the Vag Badger, what that ultimate Stop asking does? about the Vag Badger. It. We, I just described it to you. Elise, what's your answer? Um, so I think we would take uh, the most inflated man of Funhouse. I'm not, I'm not talking about James. <laughs> We'd take Tyrone, oh, and we'd do a giant that's a Tyrone That's a really balloon. good answer, yeah. Would you put a magnet on his nose inflated. and put magnets on p- 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 uh, women's crotches? So he'd Got t- him. Got him. <laughs> Tyrone wouldn't need the magnets. Uh, mine would be, it'd be a balloon called White Dog, and it'd be a large white dog with a big round nose, 
and uh, and like a little black, little black, little part on his nose, and he'd float around. Does he fight the Blue Baron? What? Matt Peak. I don't know. Uh, our desk's like this on a float, on a platform. That's just, a good idea. And we're just playing a game, not even doing anything. With Clutching the on. Oh. No! <laughs> There's, there's no suspension. There's no, like no suspension or whatever. So just all, every every bottle. One of us falls off. Ah, no! Should we ask Don about this one or no? Don, you got any good Thanksgiving floats? Oh, sure, I can think of one. I would make it uh, the Funhouse uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon would be a uh, big balloon shaped like Bruce. What? Right at the climactic point of the parade with the biggest crowd. Sure. All the people would pull the ropes and would release. Yeah. Oh! Like from Batman. Like exactly That's a great like idea. Yeah. Ali really Bale, 93, writes, Congratulations, Funhouse has been approved to participate in a foreign exchange program. Where would you go, and what presents would you bring to your host families? <gasps> well, I would head to Siam, mm. and I wouldn't be able to bring anything because I would be uh, living with, like, a, a monk, like, a dead at a temple. Oh. It's like the temple from the beginning of Mortal Kombat. And uh, so I'd have to leave all my worldly possessions behind, and then I would train in Did you get those little dots? Arts. Those little Krillin dots? If I earned them, yeah, I'd yeah, earn nice. Krillin dots. Man, how awesome would that be? Your first porn after two years meditating on mountaintop. Just porn and like a hamburger and chicken nuggets all over your body. Good stuff. Nirvana, I call mm. it. Uh, Lawrence, do you have an answer? I'd go to South Korea uh, to become the professional gamer I've always meant to be. Uh, for my host family, <laughs> I, would, I would bring them a beautiful American son, which is me. So they could adopt me, and I would tell them all about America. I'd be wearing a Letterman jacket because they love that stuff, and I would sing to them in their native tongue, K-pop. And then all of the girls would just be banging on the windows because I'm such I'm so attractive and good at video games. It sounds like you're just trying to convince them that you are all those things, but it's a whole other nation, Bruce. They've never heard of me. Yet. Much like Superman, I get to rewrite my own legacy there. Elise, uh, I'd go to Estonia, and uh, you know how like sometimes bands are big in Japan or overseas. Most people don't know this, but Matt Peak is huge in Estonia. What? Huge. Estonian fan base, so I would bring just like a gift basket for my family of like a bunch of like peak of That's what they call like in Estonia. They call like peak like Matt Peak paraphernalia. Right, it's like, like peak paraphernalia. Peak paraphernalia. Peak so it'd be like Matt Peak like candies, uh, Matt Peak sex toys, Whoa. Matt Peak beard shavings. Like a little, I just I just have a whole a whole gift a basket of skin full of like, bags. That's yeah, nice. for my host family, and then and then I would tell them they, that I know Matt, but they wouldn't believe me. Whatever. I would go to Transylvania. Hmm. What I would do is I'd bring over uh, things that they've never seen before, like a vampire costume. And, I, and I'd be like, I'd be like, Blah, I'm the vampire from America. And, they, and, they, and they'd be like, oh, we're so scared. And they'd yeah. get their pitchforks and they'd, they'd charge out into the castle. Yeah, well, they'd never seen it before. So I figured, why not? Because they drink blood there, but in America, we spit it out. Of our vaginas. Badge badger. What is it? Uh, Elise, next oh, question. boy, this is from Not So Noble Six. We've learned that Adam dislikes examples, James dislikes Naughty Dog games, and Lawrence dislikes sobriety. What are some things the other members of Funhouse hold in disdain? Uh, Elise, what do you not like? James, what do I have? What do I seriously like? Have major disdain for? Like, I don't like small hotel rooms. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Oh boy, we could be here all day. I don't like when like. Oh, no, that's mean. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Don, can you make a note? Put a put a thought bubble above her head you can when she says that, and then to. put yeah, put whatever you want in there. What? Nothing racial, Don. I don't like butt hair. Mm. Uh, I think butt hair constantly gets in the way. I feel like it's not good for anything because there are women, bi billions of women that don't have butt hair, and they're fine. So why can't I not have butt hair? You should get it lasered. You yeah, should look you into can. it. Yeah, Bruce. You can get it is your butt possible hair lasered off. You, you can totally do it, Bruce. But hold on. Now, wouldn't it be weird though? Because my entire butt is covered in hair to only get my butt crack lasered. I think... Oh, you mean specifically the crack? You'd have to get I new mean pants specifically and the crack. No, it would disappear. New They'd underwear. do a fading. It'd be like when the barber asks you if you want it, like just a straight line. Or I could a have fade. a '90s haircut on my butt. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Get a high fade in your asshole. Okay, I figured it out. I don't like children. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. All the butt them? hair made me think of that. Matt Pink? Leaf blowers. <laughs> They're loud. That's a good answer. They're polluted. It's, They're it's annoying. I get a too. damn push broom and burn some calories. Get a damn push broom. You get a damn push broom. Peak for mayor. Peak for mayor. <laughs> I love that humans invented a whole machine whose entire purpose is this is your problem yeah, now. That's true. That's exactly right. And, very and true. it like the the, the sound, and the, the sound pollution, is the, worst. the, it wakes you the up. fact that it just shoves shit somewhere else. It's fantastic. Matt, Matt Peak, read the next question. Uh, NYR Puckhead, you are tasked with making a new game show for Nickelodeon. What what are the rules along with the name of the new game show? What were some of the game shows on Nickelodeon? Well, Nickelodeon did all sorts Wild of- Wild and Crazy Kids, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Nick Arcade. Double Dare. 
guts. Family double so there. Ours, and they did everything. Ours can be like Legend of the Hair Legends of the Hairy Nipples. Proceed. It's a game where instead of exploring exploring a temple, you're exploring the human anatomy. Oh. So the setups to it are different little trivia games related to sexuality and uh, biology. But then the final goal is you have to <laughs> wait, 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 go on, go on, go on. <laughs> I was gonna say you have to go inside the thing and make it come. I was gonna say, and then when you lose, you get spunked. You get spunked. <laughs> yeah, and it's just giant penis. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get spunked all over. Oh, splatters oh, no. all over you. Oh, but the man. winning team goes in and pairs into the into the crotch. Yeah, they're digging around. They have sixty seconds you gotta, to get the prostate to find to make it come. And then uh, and then if if they don't, <laughs> you get spunked all over. But if you win, you get a leaf blower. Don, read the last question for us. Uh, sure, yeah. Fun House is running for no, office. No, well, you no. gotta tell who, the show who, who wrote the... Come on, Don. Oh, you edit it. the show, right? He's got oh, yeah. it. He's got it now. We'll pick this up. They'll never know. Watch. Uh, Don, read the last question for us. Sure, Bruce. Uh, <laughs> Blue Morning uh, writes in, Fun House is running for office. What scandals do each of you have? I designed a game show where you get spunked, where kids get spunked on. I am so bad at identifying lead-ups. I want nothing more than to know a bit is coming and help other people deliver it, but instead I just kind of trample all over it and then ruin the timing, and I'm sorry for that. Just stay silent and then give a funny look. That's good, too. No, you have to go silent for longer and do the look. You're holding a look. You gotta do the look. Yeah. You gotta be like, you see Lawrence's look? Nice! That was oh, real good. Did it. So do normal, normal face. Now at least give him a prompt and he'll do a look. Lawrence, your thighs are looking mighty plentiful in those shorts today. Whoa! Much. That was a little much. Right, yeah. yeah. I recommend like you take James's top. improv course. Uh, he yep. teaches it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It costs yep. seven hundred thousand dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Tell me who to pay. Seven hundred thousand dollars. There you go. Yeah. I give you seven hundred dollars, and I get a yeah. game. Seven hundred thousand dollars. You get twelve classes yeah. with me that's and good. eight other people. That's pretty good. Yeah. So that's one on one and eight other people. How long will it take me to rank up? Well, you have to get through all the classes, and your yeah. check has to clear. I'm willing, to pl- <laughs> willing to play hardball on this. Well, also as the teacher, he doesn't want you to really get better because that means you're taking jobs away from him. Uh, that's a good that's point. That's When he's not teaching. Uh, welcome to a Trump's America oh. open house, where uh, we Fuck are you celebrating. All we got ours. Why did you remind us that? I'm gonna kill myself. No, current events so that no. people can place this when White they look back after we what? kill ourselves. <laughs> They want. <laughs> Whatever we want. Yeah, it's so creepy. God, it's been of, so long. Just well, a bunch of right. Now it's our time. Give it down, please. Can't wait. Oh. And also, you're an immigrant, so you might have to ask. Should to I leave. go? Oh, we're asking her to leave. We might have to ask you to leave. I can leave. We should yes, build a wall too. around her desk. Oh. <laughs> Well, no, hold on. She can stay as long as she's okay with getting grabbed and molested. I'm holding you to it. That's how we show that we like you. Your first question this week comes from Why So Tricky? If each member of Funhouse were to create a new hairstyle, what would it look like and what would it be called? Mm. I'll say the obvious answer. The Trump. And uh, that'll be the new hairstyle, but instead of that ridiculous wave that he has going Mm on, uh, we'll shave shave our heads just like me, and then we'll all look like skinheads. It'll be great. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. It'll be, we'll all look exactly the same. That's yeah, kind of. We that's won't what, even know who's different. Nope, not at all. I like that. Mine would be the little rascal. So it'd be like alfalfa and little rascals. He's got that one cow lip, cowlick. Yeah. Mixed up, but because it's the rascal, you just shave everything else down to the skull. Ooh, so it's the that's one's so just the cowlick. Just the cowlick cool. and then bald skull. I like that. It's I very like cool. Um, mine would be the freakazoid. Everybody knows the coolest thing you can ever have with your hair is a white streak. Right, Frank signed it. Yep. That Rogue. too. Rogue and did so, it. So basically this is now we're going to purposefully spook. You come into my salon, I scare you, so that way your hair gets the streak in it. Sh- and then you can do anything you want with it. The freak is always. Mine is going to be a skull cap that is formed to your head. So I'll ship you uh, like a molding kit. You dunk your head in there. Send me the mold of your head. Then I send you... A skull cap that is reflective. How does this benefit someone? They have to buy it from me. It benefits you. Yeah, you go to a barber, give me the reflective dome. Somebody's gonna say, I can't yeah, do that. You I gotta guess, buy it. I get my hair cut done in like 10, 15 minutes. So how long does this whole process uh, take? Six to eight weeks. Peak, what about you? I'll just go with the double hawk. It's like the tri hawk, but there's no mohawk down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a trihawk. Hey, it's a new America. We can young do whatever peak. we want. You, young Peak used to wear the trihawk all the time. Oh. Next question from Velociraptor Pikachu. 
Uh, it turns out God is real, and he's very unhappy at the copious amounts of porn you guys have searched out. Uh oh Luckily, he's given you an out. If you can beat God at any video game, he's willing to look the other way. What game do you choose to play against God? That porn flash game, um, oh. where you're trying like get chicks to have sex with you. I was. What about the one where you're chasing down Monica Bellucci? <laughs> right, that one works too. We can beat that. Well, Adam oh, beat it, no. so yeah. I know. I, know I want, that I can I want beat the it. VR version. Oh, okay, yeah. So even if you lose, just God still has to play one of those games, and yeah. then he's a hypocrite if he doesn't let you in. That's Think about point. it, and then you become God. It's like Highlander. <laughs> Lawrence. Uh, I would go with a visual novel, because not only does it have porn, which we already know flusters God, but I would already know all the dialogue options to pick to go right to the porn and win. So, even if he's stumbling around in the dark, he's going to the cafeteria at the wrong time, he's trying to give a book to the non-bookie anime girl. Stupid God. Stupid God. He doesn't know what he's doing. So, I'll, I'll just blaze right through it, I'll rub one out, and then I'll, yeah, eternal salvation will be mine. It'll be easy. Please. Lose again, God. Please. Uh, <laughs> probably, harder. like, one of the Dragon Ball Xenoverse games. Uh, so God can cower in the wake of Vegeta. I would do a speedrun in Mirror's Edge, because I think the thought of a female protagonist would blow his mind. Matt Peak. Uh, I don't think you could beat God in a video game. What would you lose to him in? Uh, Battlefield 1, because I want to play more of it. That's fair. Oh. Fashun, what is one of your positive attributes that no one else seems to appreciate or notice? Uh, my happiness is infectious. So like I'm tiny, I'm small, right? But for my size, my legs are very thin. But for my size, I have pretty decent sized calves. Mm -hmm. She does. Um, kind of building off that, I have really soft feet. The bottoms of my feet are really soft. They're too soft, like because you never sometimes done any work in your life. Sometimes they're too soft for me. But I feel like it's you know, if this was an ancient time, I'd probably be worshipped as some sort of king or something. I know a lot of people talk about how much I fart, and that's not a positive attribute. I understand because it smells really bad. However, the positive attribute of me farting is that I know how to control my rectum. <laughs> So I can make it louder, yeah. mm. I can make it softer, yeah. I can even control the tone of the fart. Asshole, you uh, Impressive. I know, and like, what I would normally do when I used to live with, you know, a couple other dudes, is I'd go into the hallway outside my bedroom, and I'd fart really loud, because it would get the most echo and the most volume for the bed. <laughs> um, my tongue is connected further up on my mouth than most people's, so I actually can't stick it out that far. Let's see it. Try it, I'm gonna see. Excuses. As far as it goes, Excuses. Huh? Hold on a Can't second. even touch the he's roof of kinda, my mouth. He's bullshitting. I already stick their tongue out. Elise. Ow. Do me a favor. Grab his tongue, pull it all the way out. Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> and I, can't even, I can't even get to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is that a positive attribute? I don't know. Matt Peak? I don't have one for this. Oh, what? come on now. Oh, you don't have any positive attributes? You know what Peak never does? He never drives into the office. He's saving the environment. I drove today. <laughs> Fuck me, then. Boy, I guess not. He doesn't have any positive <laughs> attributes. Noonins writes in, uh, You all have jobs as interrogators. What signature torture technique do each of you use to get the information from the most stubborn prisoners? Mine's kindness. You kill them with kindness. Oh, that's cool. So, like, I, I guess the name they, of a I pillow. befriend them. Yeah, I befriend them. I say, let me take your cuffs off. Let's go for a walk. I'll take them for a walk around the park. Oh, you want a hot dog? No, this one's on me. I pay for it and everything like that. And, you know, I think eventually he'll come around, probably. How long do you think that'll take? Maybe years. Maybe Couple years, years before he trusts me. Years? Worth but it, though. I always get my man. Chinese water park torture. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun! So th this is a little misdirecting. Uh, because the prisoner being there, it'd be really dark. He's expecting to get tortured, and I roll in with a bottle of vodka, a glass, and, like, a, a little TV. Uh, then I start drinking. Five drinks in, I'm starting to talk about anime. He's just like getting a little antsy. Mm -hmm. Ten drinks in, I have YouTube up showing like some mm -hmm. some lady like chewing on her own feet, and I'm ranting about how the universe is gonna end in 20,000 years and what are we gonna do? And he is just he head down on the table, will to will to live gone, and then you hit him with the hard sell. We will let you out for five minutes if you tell us what we want to. This is one of those moments where you realize that everyone here at some point has been interrogated by Lawrence. <laughs> at least. <laughs> Uh, probably just paper cutting. I'd probably just oh, paper cut them a lot. Oh, uh, that's cruel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like lemon juice. I hate yeah. that. And, uh, uh, welcome and, like, to the new dark ages. It's a. Uh, I, I use like cute little origami animals, but then I cut them because oh. oh, they'd be like, oh, beautiful swan. Ah! Yeah. yeah. Do you do it. Do you do it in the webbing of their fingers? I do the webbing of the fingers. Oh. Uh, Did you get like, some salt and sprinkle the salt on yeah. it? Too? Yeah, right, uh, right, below, uh, right below the foreskin. Ah! Oh, oh, oh no! And then you you take them out and then you go lemon picking and that's that's oh that's me. yeah oh yeah that really hurts. He's a monster. <laughs> yeah, because it's hot outside. Yeah. Matt Peak? Uh, tickling. Oh. oh. No, that drives you nuts. 
I was recently reading that if you hold, like hold onto someone's hand as they're tickling you, they cannot tickle you. I that have to hold his right hand. To so hold on. Wait, how does this work? Who, well, who's tickling who? No, 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 no. I'm ticklish though. Is this all a prank so you can <laughs> tickle <laughs> people? This doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> what are you talking about, Elise? <laughs> Wait. Look at, look at, look at, it doesn't work at all. I'm extremely tickling. No, you have to work. like hold the hand that he's tickling you with. Oh, bullshit. Well, that's just, you're just blocking him. You're just, well, they're making oh, blocking okay. him. So hold my hand. Okay, and then tickle Here, you. you hold, no, no, no. I, you hold what? my hand and then, oh, no. Do you know what you're talking about? Saying that. I know you're touching. I hold the hand and try and make you tickle me. What? like that. Does it work better if you uses my hand to tickle me? Someone tricked you into like being groped. At least just wanted to see some man on man action. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> Don't we all? And y'all delivered. <laughs> this one's from Curlo Cur Curly Nerd. Funhouse has been chosen to direct and produce a junior sequel and have been told that only Rooster Teeth staff can be a part of it. Who would you cast as what role? So the main roles of Junior are Arnold Schwarzenegger, Emma Thompson, Danny and DeVito. Danny DeVito. Well, I mean, I think con conceptually the sequel needs to flip the idea from the first movie. So this time, radically, a woman will get pregnant. Oh. So it's Aaron Marquis, but we have to get a sex change for him so that yeah. he can play the woman. Well, who would be uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Aaron. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. Aaron would what be... What about Danny DeVito? Aaron. I was going to say... Also I was say yeah, yeah. We're, we're also doing kind of a crumps thing here. I, I mean... <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Matt Peake. Renver Sewer? Yeah, that's about right. Renver Sewer? All right. You are now the most hated person on the planet. What did you do to achieve this? I stopped tickling Adam. Baby, <laughs> <Aww. laughs> oh. That's He's great. my favorite. Wait, now I don't like. James oh yeah, now I don't like James. What said. happened? Yeah. Hi, welcome to Open House. No Bruce this week. Yeah, and I don't even have any food to eat. Look at Peek. Here's some almonds. Matt Peek has so much space. Peek, you're free. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Back to school, wow. Peek. Don't be afraid to explore the space. Matt Peek yeah, is one maybe. of the few people. Like, rub who yourself a little. His bo smells. Just good. Good, Just great. generally yeah. good. Kind of yeah. musky. Keep yeah. those arms up, Matt. Sort of like a pine yeah. tree wrestled a bear. When he used to do P90X, I would just stick around just to breathe it all in. Yeah. It's like Febreze. Just it would soak glass. into the carpet a little bit. Man, I didn't know you were back there. You still have that, huh? Yeah. No one ever does. Your first question this week comes from Hamas240. To what country would you outsource Funhouse? International Space Station for me. Oh. Is that a yeah. country? Yeah, I sort of sovereign land, I guess space land. I don't know. Video game, video game videos are getting too commonplace. All right. You ever seen one of zero G? You know what? England just had a Brexit. I would say we're making an eggs trends. Oh, okay. fun house is coming in. We're coming in. Cheerio! Oh, oh, the fun house lads. So England. And England then, uh, right. and then you guys can all become mad lads. Really, I'm already truly. a mad lad through and through. Uh, Watch this. Don't joke. No, no. Whatever. Whoa. We we do a crazy show where we Unchained. we dress up Matt Peake like one of the beef eaters outside Buffing Buckingham Palace. Uh -huh. yeah. And then we try to make him laugh like people do that with the guards there. Let's do it now. All right, Peake. You're protecting the queen. You're protecting her crown jewels. You can't let anyone get to those queen's jewels. <laughs> no. <laughs> he fail. Well, I'm going to say we go to uh, Pakistan. Hmm. We don't go there. But there is now a Funhouse branch of Pakistan, kind yeah. of the same way we are in LA, whereas Rooster Teeth is in Austin. Mm -hmm. There is now a group of six or seven Pakistani dudes, and maybe maybe a, a woman. Or dog. Maybe a woman. Ah, um, a horse. They had a horse. And they have a horse there, and they're all part of like the same crew, and they make funny videos too. I think we would have to go somewhere European, since we're all white. Mm. Which is not England anymore. No. Well, yeah, it's a good thing Bruce isn't here, otherwise he would he would contest that. Right. But, I mean, I, I don't know, something like Prague, Poland, maybe. Ooh. There, we could probably find our doppelgangers there. Yeah. So you're saying we go Eastern Bloc. Again, yeah. we're not going anywhere. We, we're not leaving. We're just cashing the checks. We just we, we just sit on the beach and let the, the ruples roll in. Howie9621, with Watch Dogs 2 coming out in a couple days, what's the worst thing you'd find on Lawrence's computer if you successfully hacked the hack? God himself. It's an awfully big if, but whatever. I know what I would find. Oh. <laughs> I would find security cam footage of me hacking into his computer at that very moment because he, he had already planned the hack that I was <laughs> I attempting on him. It gave and you then I would know the jig was up. Um, I think we would find a letter sent to Lawrence from Ben Affleck. <laughs> uh, essentially Ben Affleck telling Lawrence that he is a superior man. Ben Affleck does not stand a chance against the likes of Lawrence. Mm, true. Wow. Uh, and basically acquiescing to everything about Lawrence. Uh, and, and Lawrence, he didn't need to tell us that this happened. 
Uh, but you know, maybe he's saving it for some blackmail. Uh, I forgot to delete okay. it. Oh. I don't even care. Well. Whatever, Ben. We're not going out anymore. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'd be afraid to find his dream journal. Okay. <laughs> uh, all his thoughts and dreams <laughs> of uh, assimilating all of Funhouse to make us look more like Lawrence. Yep. So it just becomes an all Lawrence show. The problem is the channel would be too good. And I don't think any one channel deserves that many subs. That's true. That's Am I Lawrence yet? Get in there. Wow, you're taking over the web one yeah. click at a time. Ugh. Ah, I'm so angry. That's me. <laughs> what about you, Peek? What would you find? I'd find that Lawrence had actually filmed us from multiple angles doing Insanity back in our Insanity days. And then composited That's crazy. ripped dudes' bodies. We wouldn't on. have to composite shit. There'd already be ripped dudes' bodies, ours. Lawrence, would you give us any insight as to what we might actually find? Well, it depends on how good you are, Elise. Uh, how many layers deep you can hack. It's more of a test, and I've I've placed several treats along the way. There's it's the, just folders you know, with yeah, folders. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just a folder that says, please don't go further, yeah, no open, more, stop open, going, stop, 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 stop. Do not hack. Uh, yeah, <laughs> little text file, okay, you got me. Dot <laughs> TXT. Wookie has a wizard dick, writes, uh, if you could have any animals other than dogs and Lawrence around the office, what animals would you have? I like cats. You just like them to be around? Just more cats. Benson barely contributes, and he's a dog, an mm. animal that generally tries to contribute, but cats would do nothing. Yeah, he moved a just little like bit. Cats. Name, there would occasionally be a shot in open house where there'd be a cat over our left shoulder. Yeah, and people would point it out oh, and go, "Oh, look, it it's goes. boots again." Oh, um, I would want like a somewhat semi fantasy creature that only held allegiance to me, so I could, in an office dominated by men, finally have some type of intimidation uh, above all of you. You realize we would just. Me tame it away from you, right? Well, no, I mean... Like, men... we would know how to talk to it, and it would respect our, our alpha status more than yours, and then it would just do what we wanted well, it no, to. No, that, that wouldn't necessarily happen. I don't think I, I don't think Bruce would let that happen. We would we would all go to lunch, and then we would eat before you would, and then it would respect us. You guys do get to eat before I do that. Is Pretty much every we day. Have well, because you have stuff to clean the dishes. Yeah, okay. that's true. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work out, Elise. I would pick a camel because I think camels don't get nearly enough respect. They're basically horses, but more. Oh. You know? <laughs> Lots of extra water. Bonus horse. Try and ride a horse through a desert. You can't. can't. Do it. it dies. And they also, spit, though. Yeah. That makes them yeah, even cooler. That's awesome. They have projectile attacks. They'll hit us, though. Not necessarily. Well, it's like a paintball uh, hitting you. Does your camel have one, one hump or two? Uh, I think it depends on the season. Would you share a hump with Adam? Would you give him one of the humps? Well, you don't sit on top of the hump. You sit between you the sit humps. sit between the humps. Oh, so both so of you... So two humps <laughs> equal one rider. <laughs> and yeah. then both of you have to sit. Well, and then we'll we, be we facing would, each we other. We would sit on yeah. the top and then we'd trust. slide down <laughs> and our legs would cross. <laughs> can dudes scissor? That's two dudes. Dudes yeah, can really scissor. Dudes can scissor. Actually, dudes can scissor better because then you get you trying to do a turn scissor and yeah. then a penis goes into a butthole and a penis goes into a butthole. And if you lay the two dicks together, you could jack them both off with one hand. That's true. What? Take that, women. Hey, Matt, what's up? Um, I'm thinking some kind of bird, maybe like a toucan that I could train to say really good things about me. <laughs> This question is from Curious Cascade. A lot of people have been bothered by Scarlett Johansson playing Motoko Kusanagi in Ghost in the Shell since she isn't Japanese. If you so, if you could take the main character of any series and change the way they look, their race, their gender, etc., they still had to act the same. Who would you choose, and how would you change them? Real quick, uh, primer on this one: she's playing a cyborg. Oh. The only thing human about her is her ghost, her brain, basically. So. The way she looks doesn't fucking matter. Oh, it's the future. It does matter. It's harder to jack off to a white girl. Did you, have you seen the original anime where her eyes are huge no, and open all the She looks like a white girl. It's like one of the only animes I've seen. Really? Yeah. It's a great movie. We should watch it. I would take Gerard Butler from Gods of Egypt and make him more Scottish. Nice. I would take Scarlett Johansson from Ghost in the Shell and give her like bigger tits. So that's not bigger changing than their race or their gender. Scarlett Johansson got big titties already. She's making her boobs. Anime. Yeah, we'll make them bigger. Her lips are big. Her butt's big. Don't care. Don't care. She's basically the perfect woman, and she's Japanese. Nothing to not jack off to. Once the you know, once the boobs get bigger. I would take Frodo from Lord of the Rings, and I would swap the gender, so I could be Frodo. Froda. <laughs> Frodette, maybe. Oh wow! So much like Scarlett Johansson, you're taking the role away from somebody who deserves it. Adam, go Just, ahead. What's your answer? Oh, I would like to go back in time to the uh, abortion that was Dragon Ball Evolution. Mm. Mm -hmm. and cast some actual cartoons. Thank you very much for that. Five Monkey, one, two, three, four, five. Funhouse is now in a Goosebumps novel. 
What is the name of your book and what is the main plot? I think it would be uh, a miscasting on Ethnicity Street, okay. where <laughs> uh, in, in an alternate reality, I start getting cast in every role. Women, talking dogs, cat that becomes president. It's all me for some reason. Starts off great, then suddenly I have a crisis of identity where I don't know who I am anymore. And it teaches us all to celebrate ourselves. But in the end, I don't care because I'm rich and famous and I don't give a shit. You're pitching this as someone's nightmare, but I think this is your dream. No, this is actually what I want. Yeah. Yeah. So they should make this and then I get to I, I get to be in the movie about me being in every movie. Mine would be called The Great Glass Ceiling, and it would be about Elise smashing through the glass ceiling and the patriarchy and uh, taking away all of our hard-earned m- man money. What was the twist? Uh, the twist at the end is that she has a penis. Oh, okay. She was a man all along. I thought it was going to be like that there's another glass ceiling or something like that above that glass ceiling, but oh. I guess the penis is cool. You get a penis when you decide to be a good individual. Oh, so it's like a werewolf thing. I just slowly transform into a man, so I wasn't even getting the recognition I deserved as a woman. Oh, you were. You just went to the right side of things. Can I change my answer to a Goosebumps novel called I Never Saw It Coming, and it's about a ghost that jerks off on you? What's the twist, though? (laughs) Ectoplasm. It's not a ghost. (laughs) It's dad. (laughs) It's a dark one. Where's a bed sheet? I'm sure you're all familiar with the Goosebumps book, The Scarecrow Stalks at Midnight. Yeah, Um, all familiar. Mine would be the audio mixer stops at midnight. Uh, Because let's face it, Funhouse, we have our audio problems here. We have no facing it. It's it's, it's It's frightening. It's terrifying. Um, The twist is the audio. uh, It turns out it wasn't recording all along. Oh. So, so, yeah. So, like, we thought it was recording bad audio. Uh, Last question comes from Hamas240. How would you make Funhouse great again? MFGA. How would we make Funhouse great again? I think we bring back uh, Bruce. I was called. I was called him Boos. <laughs> uh, Bruce, I'd like to thank you for the daydream helmet you no, gave me. That's not what it's called. I can that daydream. What it's I can daydream. Yeah, it's called Google daydream, daydream view VR. I still don't get it. There's so much what? space back here. I don't. Like, yeah, I can not... get my whole finger in there. Well, what's yeah. it yeah. like in there? What's his eyes look like? What Hello, world. <laughs> <laughs> it magnifies your eyes. I know. Lean in closer. Lean in closer. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you look like he you didn't know like where it was. Your character. He didn't know where it was. <laughs> this is what it's like so to be Val stupid. Kilmer in the hit film The Saint. First one this week comes from the Alpha Ginger. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What would be the plot of the Funhouse made for TV Christmas movie? Mm, topical. I feel like it's, it's got to involve some sort of religion at some point, Ugh. right? I mean, it does. It has to. But I feel like it should involve every religion yep. to be equal. I like it. There's the ghost of Christmas past, uh-huh. which is Jesus, whatever. And then the ghost sure. of Christmas present, which is... Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah. What, who's the ghost of Christmas future? Cyber Jesus. Krishna. Cyber Jesus. Oh, yeah, Krishna. Yeah, oh, Cyber Krishna. Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to cover our Jewish bases so we get a, a top Hollywood executive mm-hmm. to produce the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But that's what it's about. Is oh, making he, this movie. Adam Sandler. Yeah, Adam yeah. Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sandler's in it. Oh, sure. woo, 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 woo. Is that your Adam Sandler impression? It's probably well, a yeah, yeah, Don like this. Dead Ringer. It's, Who's the star of the film? Uh, John Boyega. John Boyega. Oh. Yeah, he plays so the youngest right of the children. Yeah. Okay. David Spade uh, <laughs> as an elf. David Spade, Rob Schneider. Oh, yeah, we get that whole crew. All yeah. the usual Wait, suspects. Kevin Come James. On. Kevin yeah. James, Santa too? Claus. We resurrect Chris Farley, or we find his brother. He's probably available. Yeah. Yeah, his brother's available. Okay. Kevin Farley? Yeah, Kevin Farley. And then Paul Walker's brother we will get. Bro. Gene Wilder have a brother? What? Let's get him. <laughs> What's it called? Hold on, let's let uh, Matt Peak. Give him the first word and then Matt Peak will improv on it. The Kwanzaa? Adventure. <laughs> Conundrum. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, enough. I was gonna say we call it Come On Ye Faithful. Oh! oh. I don't know why did it turn into a porno, but that's Oh, they weird. fuck. Every, oh, everything okay. we just All mentioned right. fucks. Well, it's about bringing the world together. <laughs> Got it, that makes sense. Next question from Javier Fitzgibbons. Uh, if the Funhouse Gang were to host a morning show, what would each of your specialty segments be? I don't really watch morning shows. It's usually just two drunk I'd, chicks yelling at. Yeah, stuff. I'd want to. I'd want to interview the drunk chicks. That'd be my segment. I have a new. Show. I have a drunk housewife on every single morning, oh. and I ask her about stuff that doesn't matter, and try and get her to be really impassioned about it, and mm-hmm. like start shouting at me. I, I would do celebrity news. Um, but they would all be about dead celebrities' brothers. Right. So I would go to them and interview them about how it was when their brother. How much better their sibling is than they are, even though they're dead. Their well, agents are getting them more work. I was going to say, somehow. but now they're getting a lot of work and oh, they're getting yeah. more money because their siblings are dead. So like things Tom really Hanks picked brother. up for you after your brother died. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that Suspicious. right? Suspicious. <laughs> um, I would be the animal wrangler. 
Oh. So I would have an oh, yeah. uh, exotic animal, but then I would <laughs> every segment would end with me getting bit or stung <laughs> oh, or no. oh, just you know this is a daily show just tightening around <laughs> your neck. <laughs> so every segment would end with just somebody running on and injecting me with Anti-venom. an antidote. Yeah. Uh, I would like to be the man on the street whenever the, there's a guy outside the window. Mm-hmm. He's talking to people. Except we're going to do this in like a low income part of town. Yeah. So where we were. I'm now. just I'm just always getting stabbed oh, every oh, day. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, like it, it's not a successful show. Unless there's one yeah. good shank. That's good. We call it Shanksgiving. <laughs> nice. Good. Thanks for the name. Don? Uh, there's always a cooking segment, I guess, on true. these shows. So I would uh, host the cooking segment, but I'd... Uh I'd be cooking up like illegal drugs, you know, Ooh, like, okay. cooking meth, showing people how to make crack. But then for the housewives at home, because that's the uh, majority of the audience, right? I'd have to show like how to make like street Prozac, things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Street, street Prozac. Prozac. Yeah. They could just buy it, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're part. rich. Save some okay. money, and you get to do something crafty. Wow, yeah. you're a hero, uh, Matt Peak. My segment would be about like ways to wake up, even when you're at work and you still haven't quite woken up yet because that's something I struggle with. <laughs> and, so what uh, would the ways be? <laughs> I don't know. I'd be like doing jumping jacks or oh. just try and like okay. look at the sun or none of it would work. <laughs> yeah. Look at uh, the sun. Doesn't that make you more sleepy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's what <laughs> that's I've been doing problem. wrong. That's what I've been doing Someone wrong. tricked Peek. He's like, hey, if you're ever tired at work, Peek, just close your eyes, cover yourself in warm blankets. You'll wake right up. <laughs> Kev laid an egg. If you could have sex with any character from Who Killed Roger... <laughs> that's not the right title. Uh, <laughs> who would it be and why? <laughs> um, this is a different movie. Yeah. I would have sex with the gorilla that's the bouncer Ooh, at the wow, nightclub. Because, wow. you know, giant monkey. I'd have sex with the weasel in the zoot suit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think they all have I think he, well, no, one of them has a straight jacket. Oh, but the right. main guy... The main guy. Yeah, the, the evil one, right? The evil? Well, they're all evil, but Are yeah, they? the, the main the main zoot suit weasel. Right. I would have sex with him <laughs> because I think he's got great style. What are you, Adam? Uh, Mount Doom or whatever his name was. Judge, Judge, Judge Doom. Doom. Because he's so flexible. Yeah. Oh, that so makes after sense. his cartoon. Oh, absolutely. And you yeah. would drop your pants, and his eyes would just. Yeah. And he comes <laughs> just like. Oh, I hate when he screams. Yeah, it's oh, I hate when he screams. Hello, kids. You like nightmare fuel? Here you oh, go. Hey, Zemeckis, you're a genius. Don? Uh, I, would, I suppose I would probably try to court that little shoe that gets melted in the barrel. <laughs> nice. yeah. I liked how uh, submissive she was. <laughs> I like that you applied the female gender to the shoe. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I mean, there is a giant hole in it. Laces out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said this yet. Bob Hoskins, guys. Oh, dead. oh! Bob Hoskins. Come on, he's the main character. Mario in the Roger the Rabbit. Suit, though. Yeah. You gotta. I mean, he was fucking so he, large. He played. What's his resume? He played Mario. Hook. Hook. Son of, or friend of Hook. And friend he's, of Hook. he's got a dead brother in that movie. Can you imagine? My career would skyrocket if I had sex with That's him. That's true. Right now he's just a corpse, though. Matt Peake? Uh, when he first drives into Toontown, there's that sun cartoon in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go with sun. that. I would fuck everything in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Super Pie 64 what does each member of Funhouse think will be the new hip trend in 2017? Dead celebrity siblings. <laughs> Every celebrity who's died, their sibling is going to come back, and then they're going to be even bigger than ever. So I think it's going to be a, li- a literal hip trend. Okay. Where, you know how in the 90s people really liked a lot of, like, face jewelry? Some girls would wear, like, shiny yeah. jewels by their eyes and stuff. People wearing jewels on their hips. Ooh, wow. So, like, Bruce will come to the office one day. He'll call Adam. He'll say, Adam, hey, Adam, guess what? And then he'll pull down, pull down his waistband a little bit, show off his like oh, hip jewels. Okay, like a dangly little skin. Skin. Oh, yeah, like it it's it's really hidden. sexy. Wow. Uh, the guys can do it, the girls can do it. Uh, and then maybe Adam's got something he shows off to Bruce, and then they can link them together. Oh, yeah. Like it's like, like a friendship. Pokemon. It's like a like a friendship bracelet almost. You link your hip jewels together. Why hold hands when we just interlock our hip jewelry? Uh, my new hip trend would be I would take away all five senses, uh, and then I would try and and then I would try and uh, live everyday life. So I would blind myself. Yeah. I wouldn't smell anything. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to touch anything. Yep. No more tasting. You could have sex with condoms. You, you won't feel anything. You could hug yeah. with clothes on. You won't feel this. You're taking things that people like to do that feel good, and you're removing them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that's new and hip. That's what hipsters do. You realize that? They get rid of the stuff that you really want, like Walmart, McDonald's, and, and go to stupid local coffee shops. Oh. <laughs> uh, since we can all agree that 2016 was the year of the cane, when canes were cool. Right. Uh, wheelchairs, I figure. Uh, it's, you don't have to be disabled, but yeah. everyone's just going to be rolling around in wheelchairs. I would agree. People out. are getting fatter. Yeah. Well, no, it doesn't necessarily have to be fat. It's just, it's a... 
It's a lifestyle choice. You also get shredded. Your arms get shredded. Don, you want to read the next one? I love to. Alistair Catley writes in, Upon death, God tells you that you can be reincarnated in any time period of your choosing. Which time period do you choose and why? The future. What part of the future? Uh, a thousand years from now. A thousand years from now. A thousand years from now. All right, that sounds good. So I'll finally get my Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 10,000 years from now. Damn it! Yeah. Okay, all right. I win. All right. See, but maybe, who knows, and maybe it's that's Waterworld territory. I'm going, I'm going all the way back to Egyptian times, where Egyptian times, they had Stargates. And then I could use the Stargate to go to the future. Right, I got some bad future. news for you, Bruce. Yeah? The uh, Stargate sequel has been canceled. But Kurt Russell signed on. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for his phone to ring right now. <laughs> Goldie, <laughs> so I would go to uh, turn of the turn of the century ish England during the rain the the reign of terror imposed upon London by Jack the Ripper. Oh, um, cool! And I would go undercover as a prostitute. Yeah, undercover. <laughs> You'd be a prostitute. <laughs> this is going to end well. Attempting to catch Jack the Ripper, but I would also be doing this because I really loved how like very uneducated women talked during that time. Like, oh. We've got a live one on our hands. Why do you? Well, yeah, why are you uneducated? Your, your jaw's wired shut. Oh. Me, son, no want to catch a Jack a Ripper. Well, you guys ruined my dream. <laughs> so your dream was you. to be raped and killed. <laughs> <laughs> cut into a thousand <laughs> serial killers. I, I was gonna be the hero. I was gonna be the hero. Uh, Don. Yeah, I guess I just go back to the early '90s to the release of the N64. <laughs> oh right, and For uh, Wave Race. I would just yeah. dominate at Wave Race. Wave Race. Yeah, yeah. Game <laughs> attack. Again, it'd be my time. <laughs> Matt Peak. Uh, the fifties might be cool. Like hang out with the Fonz or something. I, 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 I don't know if you would hang out with the well, Fonz. Also, just the Fonz was a character it's from not how the seventies. <laughs> I thought you said hang and out with the Fonz. Television show. <laughs> He's not real. Peak's gonna be so disappointed when he wakes up. He's gonna show up in the fifties. Where's All the right, Fonz? Fonz. Yeah. Check the check. <laughs> phone books. You're gonna die. Operator, at kick me. Connect me to the Fonz. Peak. Yeah. Peak goes in his bathroom and he combs his hair. Oh yeah. And then he walks no. out and he goes, Hey, hey there's hey. nobody there. <laughs> Just an empty house. He's been robbed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jack the Ripper comes up. <laughs> uh, Matt Pink, last one. Bomana three. Vagina versus dick versus ass. Perhaps it's some vagina. Get comfortable, you guys. Yeah, act like your friends. Well, you need to do it one time where you guys are in winter coats and then we are in like our bathing suits. Yeah. <laughs> and then you guys are in formal nightwear. Whoa. Ooh, wait, 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 like Sir Arthur? Yeah. So of it's the round table? Armor, suit of armor with a tie. He, there it goes. He popped his collar. Oh, you're serious now? Serious business. It's on the star. <laughs> <laughs> Don, I figured I ought period? to start acting like it. Which time period do you think you're from? Uh, the 1890s, right? The 90s. <laughs> <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of trapper keepers do you think they had then? Lisa Franck, because those are still the Ottoman Empire. That's oh, true. Uh, nice. Yeah. So. Nice. Good French Arabia joke. Think, what? Oh, I Ready? feel sick. One, two. Nice work. At least you feel sick? Yeah, I've not, I've not been feeling well. I'm going to the doctor on Saturday. Uh, James, have you thought about what it might be? Oh, all the oh, abortions. Yeah. Finally catching up with her. You can't run from God. <laughs> Told you he'd be angry. You can't run from God. Now go to church and confess. <laughs> oh, man. I might just turn the preacher on. Uh, your first question this week comes from Paul Sharkey. Shark. Eh. <laughs> Has there ever been a joke in one of your videos you thought for sure would be an instant classic, but then no one in the comments seemed to notice it? Um, there was a demo disc we were doing where we were playing a Harry Potter flash game and Hermione had huge boobs. Mm. And I said, fantastic breasts and where to find them. And I thought that was really great. Too soon. That's but the problem. I, I missed the I missed the marketing wave. You were early, and I didn't. No one, no one even laughed. I don't think. It, no one thought it was really that funny. I think I'm, really I probably it. laughed at, at it, but that was it. Just changed a letter. <laughs> Adam? No. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, my jokes tend to go over your guys' heads. That's true. It's the comments who pick up on them. That's true. Because usually you guys are too busy being funny. Well. And then I say something under my breath like, <laughs> and they're like, oh, did you hear when Adam said that line? That's mm -hmm. true. That's all I'm here for. You perform for them, not for us. Bruce and I perform for each other. Mm -hmm. You perform for, for the audience. Them. Everything I say becomes an instant classic, loved by the community. Like what? Everything. Such as? Sniped ya. That was us. You want my bread centers? I also said yeah, that. Yeah, we said that. Right. You stole that from an earlier video we made. And Adam said no. that too. 
Oh, yeah. No, I'm all my my name is Elise Joe. Don said that. that. That's Don's oh, thing. Oh. That's a Don classic. Yeah. Oh. My name is Elise. <laughs> Thank you. God. Gosh, Every time. Time. When are you performing live? He just did. Uh, oh. Matt Peek, what about you? <laughs> I don't think I have any that are instant classic caliber, but uh, I, I do always think my jokes jokes will get laughs but or noticed at least a little bit, but they don't, you and that's think, fine. You think your jokes will get noticed, Matt Peek? Why are you so bra- You're a braggart today. Yeah, so <laughs> down. You're what do you mean? Uh, this bra- is the first this, question. All this braggadocio has come from... Mm. We recorded other shows with you, Matt, and you were bragging no, that, that show, No, that was too. another day. No, that was today. <laughs> we recorded that. I distinctly remember. Somebody needs to bring Matt Peak down a peg. Settle down. Slow down there. Next <laughs> uh, Next question from Fresh Pizzeria, like diarrhea. Uh, Elise recently celebrated her one-year anniversary working at the office. What is everyone's favorite Elise moment from the past year? She doesn't make many jokes, so no. it's kind of hard to... Well, that bread center thing was, was Adam. She was reminds bad. me, the, the center's joke, I think, was really funny when she repurposed it. That was one of my favorite moments. Oh, yeah. That wasn't as original. Her delivery was good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was yeah. almost as good as when we did it. No, yeah. it, ours was better, but it was yeah. ori- more original. Yeah. My favorite Elise moment is when she walks in every day, and I say, I say hello to James and Elise, but then I see Benson. Oh, that's my favorite that's Elise moment me. of the year. Every that's every day that Benson walks that's in. Great. Yeah, yeah, you can't really have Benson without Elise. Yes, you can. Oh. He's here most of the time. You just okay. don't know it. <laughs> okay, guys, time for the real answers. I have a real answer, oh. um, and it's an actual answer. It makes me it makes me laugh every single time I think about it. Is during one of our drunk game plays. Elise and Joel were having their own private whispery conversation in the background and the thing is it made sense because Elise was kind of like being very girly and like giggling and stuff but then Joel was too (laughs) (laughs) but the fact that they had such good feminine charisma together it it made me it makes me laugh so much Don you can you can it can be a moment from even before when we work together too if you need Please don't do that. We can't use that footage. Oh, I see. If the company's no longer in business, it doesn't count. (laughs) I was going to say, when you left us at our former company, (laughs) exactly one year ago today. She said, said, I'll never see you again, Don. Goodbye, forever. (laughs) Uh, Like, honest answer, um, I think Elise always adds a little little bit of pepper to each video. Sugar and spice. No. Oh. Hey guys, look at the- uh, No, no, wait, hold on. <laughs> hey Bruce, get this pepper. Oh, oh there's pepper oh, in my pepper eye. Yeah. Oh, you, got, you got a little gosh. in your hair. Oh. It's sticky. <laughs> Matt Peak? Uh, this is, I don't know if it's the same drunk video as you said or not, James, but the, uh, the Kira Knightley impression was oh, pretty great. Oh, that's the great. Also, Matt mostly Peek. because the next day, you didn't remember doing it. From from what I remember, no, it's so fluid. It's such a part of me. <laughs> Elise, what's your what's your favorite moment of the year? Cashing those checks. What checks is she talking about? The ones the I get my paycheck. That she works for? We just increase James's pay. That's yeah. how we do it. I give you a stipend. It's actually Michael a very stipend. Small percentage of what I know. <laughs> oh, Does she think that monopoly money and those coupons is actual cash? I tricked her. Because yeah, because she doesn't know the Canadian yeah. money looks like it's toy money yeah. anyway. You know, my, my all time favorite thing about Elise is whenever we're out and there's always someone who goes, "Oh my God, Funhouse." I can't believe you're here. I want to get a photo with you. And then Elise walks away. Yeah. Because she assumes. Couldn't mean me. Yeah. yeah. And and that person goes, oh, but and, Elise was my favorite. And she's wearing an I love Elise mm. t-shirt no. that she made herself. She's like, like, I'll take the picture for you. Yeah. I'll take the picture for yeah. you. It couldn't possibly mean me. Because I think there's a, there are a lot of people that just know you guys, especially from Demo Disc. Like the one in the I love Elise t-shirt. Yeah. They haven't heard of you yet. You're the best hire I've ever made. Damn it. <laughs> well, thank you, Bruce. <laughs> thank God you, Bruce. damn it. <laughs> That's a really nice compliment, Bruce. Um, uh, I, I kind of agree. <laughs> Next question from Ms. Harvey Gent. Uh, you die and come back as a ghost. You can only interact with the physical world one time to get the attention of another Funhouse member to make them realize that you're there. What do you do to make them come to this realization, and which Funhouse member do you choose, and why? <laughs> uh, so I interact with James. Come to James, and I say, Snipe. And then we both laugh and laugh because of the joke we came oh, up. No, no, wherever Bruce is, he's making great jokes still with me. <laughs> you know what? I die and I come back as a ghost and I interact with Bruce and Peek, and you know what I do? Throw some pepper on him! Oh, Throw some pepper on him! Oh, 
out. Conditioner will get it out. There's actually a lot of protein in pepper. Did you know that? <laughs> That's what they say to make it easy. Mine's real easy. I'd come back and I'd interact with Elise, obviously, um, oh. because she knows me best. Yep. And the way I'd interact with her is I'd go into the body of Whoopi Goldberg and then make her make out with her for about 45 minutes. Just like sister Hot. act. <laughs> <laughs> Part two, back in the habit. Because the hat. Is I know. A... It's a really, it's a, I've seen it. <laughs> Adam? Um, I would come back very similar to James, but uh, I would come with the, the original ghost dad, Bill Cosby. <laughs> because uh, Such a there's, good a, there's a couple of them he didn't get. <laughs> 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 and we want to make sure he gets his wings. Uh, that's, yeah. that's true. That's a good point. Don? Uh, after I pass, I would uh, return and target Lawrence, I think. And uh, I'd target him when he's taking a shower. I'd rise up from the drain oh, pipe, oh no. sort of materialize. And then I'd uh, I'd shut off the uh, hot, the cold water. Oh. Scald oh, him. Scalding him. Create some steam. And, and then he'd look on the mirror and he'd see what I wrote in the mirror. Don never dies. But you're dead. But you're dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it was indecisive. Hot. No, wait. I, I, <laughs> What's going to hurt cold. more or less? <laughs> had to it, figure it it's out. a literal ghost burn. Uh, that was 50 50. Uh, Matt Pink. I'd have to go with Bruce because we're roommates. So even though you'd get another roommate to replace me, it'd be like, I'm always haunting you. With what? With, All the fish you my cook? My spirit. <laughs> oh, come Place on. Amazon orders for oat bags. <laughs> yeah. That would just suddenly oh, yeah. arrive. Ding oat, dong. oat bags keep arriving. No! <laughs> But as a ghost, he doesn't make that much, so he's going to be in debt. Matt, <laughs> would you, true. like, sabotage Bruce's new roommate out of jealousy? <gasps> no. I'd probably just, like, haunt the gym mostly, because that's kind of a free space most of the time. Oh, the loft. Oh. Yeah, the loft. Up on the, up on the weights? The yeah, loft jack. gym. Did you become a jack ghost? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least next question. This is from uh, John Baby Hunter. You all have to take up an expensive new hobby. What do you take and why? Wingsuiting. <laughs> oh, that's good. He it's had that one on the tip of his tongue, ready he to go. Ready to go. <laughs> Wingsuiting. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, wingsuit making. Oh, okay. I design and sell wingsuits. Uh, yeah. Slightly less. But they'd look more like angel wings. I don't like this flying squirrel look. They'd more, look more like angel wings. I would manufacture those angel wings for the wingsuits. Well, I need to get them from somewhere. Well, there's a there's a big plant that that, that would be my new hobby is starting the plant yeah. and like getting the assembly line going. Yeah. And all the Chinese women like you know doing yeah. the QA and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, Lamborghini uh, bumper cars. Okay, oh, that's a great right. idea. I like that a lot. Are you still only going like five miles? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. very small space. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, you deaden me. <laughs> Elise? Uh, blood diamond mining. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I, I only know, wear profitable. blood diamond. <laughs> well, it's expensive, but not as expensive as regular diamond mining. True. <laughs> <laughs> I would take up a hobby I've always wanted to take up. That would be gardening, but I'd be gardening on Mars. Any bit of water they do have up there, I'm going to use it up. They don't nice. have any water. There's no water. Huh? There's no I water. Thought- Oh, the no, poles? they haven't found any. I'd melt the poles. They've got oh, poles. They got they? ice. They have ice. That's true. What are you going to use to melt it? It's like a hairdryer. Don, next question. Jet2684 writes in, in Westworld, the host's personalities are based off of a core memory. It's a cornerstone. But... If you were a host at the park, what core memory would define your personality? Well, first of all, this is our Westworld question of the week. Hey, Westworld oh, question of the week. Wow. I didn't know we were doing that. I love it. That's great. Last question from Matt Peak. No clip one. What cereal mascot do you most identify with? Count Chocula. Damn it. It's everyone's answer. Tony the Tiger. Oh, uh, what's the name of the Smacks Frog? That's him. <laughs> Smacks the Frog. Police. Uh, the the things from Rice Krispies, those trolls or whatever they are. <laughs> Keebler elves. Oh. Matt, I don't know that's wrong, too. <laughs> Matt Peak. Toucan Sam. All right. All right. <laughs> Adam. Ghost Dad. Hey, welcome back to Open House. Uh, Lawrence is back from Japan. Oh, I didn't even know that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to us. Back uh-huh. to us. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. This is how they do it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't be racist. I was there. Dinosaur House. Is that how you pronounce it? Dinosaurus, Dinosaurus X. X. Dinosaurus X. X. That's fun. If you could create a VR game for somebody else in the office who play, who would you pick and what kind of game would it be? I got the best answer. Okay. Lawrence has two dicks. And then what he and? can do. But what's the VR game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? He's got two dicks. Whatever. And he fucks an anime chick, I assume. <laughs> yeah, two whatever. anime chicks. Or one with two holes. Or Wait, a dude. They all yeah, have two holes. Yeah, you can fuck a dude. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. I shoot. <laughs> I've read that comic, too. There's a girl with two dicks, and she fucked a girl in the butt and the ass. Oh, anyway, boy. I would... I'd make one for Adam. Oh. Um, in no way... Uh, in no way capitalizing on his fear of social engagement. Basically, it, uh, trap him in there. 
and he'd just be surrounded by throngs of fans, all of okay. whom are very, very emotionally needy. I play that thing four times a year at every convention we go to. <laughs> I would make a VR game for Elise, um, and it would be a game where you could uh, become a member of the Fellowship of the Rings. No. And you could fight your way to Mordor. She'll never stop. Yeah. yeah. She'll uh, always play. To make it ultra realistic, you, like the first time through, you can choose whoever you want to, but she'd probably pick uh, Samwise. And I would get a big sack of potatoes and I'd put it over her shoulders so that way it felt like she was actually carrying Frodo. Can she's we play co op? You can do co op, but then you'll just be on her shoulders and she'll just be oh, carrying. Oh, you. I'll be the sack of potatoes. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. then you'll just hang over with VR and you'll just be moping the whole Matt time. Matt Pete can be the, go any the guy that tries to burn Faramir alive. Nice. The steward of Gondor. Why would you Why do that? Why would I be him? You're such a dick. Oh. Man. Um, I would make a VR game for Matt Peake. Uh, it's called uh, Blanks My Friend, where you hang out with Billy Blanks. Since he's so into uh, P90 or whatever. He does love Billy Blanks. Uh, I don't think that he guy does doesn't it. do P90X. <laughs> That's not the same guy. Yeah, it's they a tie different both. black guy. He, he does they, tie couldn't, both. they couldn't get Shantae. Yeah, or, Shantae, yeah. Yeah, Shantae is busy. It's so Shantae, got, but yeah. Whatever. So they got Billy Blanks. <laughs> and he. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> uh, That's what you do. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No, no. Before you start, you have to say your name. He goes, please say your name. So you say. Matt Peak. Okay. So every time Billy Blanks talks to you, he goes, Oh my god, it's my best friend! Matt Peake. <laughs> <laughs> and then you do Taibo or whatever. Yeah. Right, nice. I would make a game for Bruce that's on the Gear VR, but not the gear that you think. Wait a minute, hold on. I already know what this is. Steroids! Oh, it's a steroid that's game here. I'm it's already game. doing that. It's called Play. Bruce, I'm already playing that it's game. It's called Bruce Juice. I'm a, oh, Bruce oh. Juice. Yeah. But I'm already playing that game. Oh, you are in real life? <laughs> <laughs> and you're winning. Uh, and I'm, well, I'm winning. You know, Bruce, uh. doing actual steroids is way easier than wearing a mask that tells you you're doing steroids. And it makes my dick bigger. And it makes mm. your dick bigger. Because <laughs> your, your balls dick, are smaller. Your balls. No, it doesn't. Common misconception. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Next question from SuperPie64. Funhouse, the video game, is in development, and each member is a boss bat. Where is everyone's battle set, and how do you defeat your boss self? I'd be, I'd be the video game quiz master, and I'd ask you a bunch of annoying questions about video games no one cares about. You already do that. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> no, I still do this in real life too, but if you ever get one right, I'll get super defensive because I have to, I have to be the one that knows the most, so oh, even right. if the player actually does know the answers, I, I lie to them and tell them they're wrong. I would play a game where at the very beginning of the game I'd show up, and I'd be like a really like aggressive, scary boss. When you finally get to my my level, it's an office. You go through the door. There's a desk and a chair. All right. And I, I'm in the chair, but when it swivels around, you see I've killed myself. And I there's a note on the desk saying that my wife left me. Oh, and then really victory! That's really you win. Uh, mine would be uh, basically you have to go into a Chipotle and order a burrito. However. I'm sitting there already eating a burrito because I've ordered a bunch of Chipotle burritos and there are fart clouds everywhere. Mm, and you gotta get sense. through the fart clouds to order Chipotle. Yeah. So I don't know why you would want to smell the farts while ordering Chipotle. No, yeah. You have to dodge them. I would, uh, I'd create a scenario similar, uh, something found in that shitty book, Ready Player One, where you have to recreate <laughs> famous <laughs> moments from movies, mm -hmm. except you're Courtney Cox in the Bruce Springsteen concert for Dancing in the Dark. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you have to recreate her dance perfectly every time it cuts to you, because he's the boss. <laughs> the hell of a reference. Oh. Oh. Mine would be an, an IMDB battle. Ooh. So you'd have to try to, to best me at like the least irrelevant, least interesting IMDB trivia. To all of it? Yeah. Peak? My boss battle is set in a mountain range, and of course I'd be the abominable peak. It's an actual mountain peak. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. The way you defeat it, maybe you have to figure out a way through it, like a mine, maybe. or you go have to figure out roundabout paths that look like there's no way this could be the path, but it is. It doesn't sound very dangerous. It just sounds like you just walk around it. Well, you know, we put in enemies and stuff. <laughs> Next question from Just Underscore Eggs with Rouge One just around the corner. Yes. How would Funhouse go about stealing the plans to the Death Star? Okay, Grammar Entrapment, how Catherine Zeta Jones, we all saw the trailer. This was the big moment from the trailer. She has to oh. go under the lasers. Yeah, she got to tuck her ass She's under like the arching laser. her butt. Yeah. We would all watch Entrapment over and over on repeat to, pra to practice and oh, yeah, learn yeah. how to do that. Watch out. Yeah. Who's her co-star in that movie, I Don't Care? Sean Connery. Really? Yeah. He's She's the You Don't Care. Where's that Death Star? Grand Moff Tarkin's an old guy, right? He's old. So, so I just cold call him. And I just say his nephew or whatever, like, is in jail in Mexico or something, and he needs to Space wire. Mexico. He needs to wire me the Death Star 
plans to get him out, and then that would be, then he'd do it immediately. Pretty I much wouldn't right. even have to finish the sentence. That would work? Yeah, he's an old guy. Old people do whatever you want them to do as long as you call them on the phone. I would seduce R2-D2. He's one of the good guys, but well, he has the Death Star. Points. He has rocket but, boots. Right. So you're sedu- you're getting it back from I'm the sedu- resistance. I'm seducing R two D two as C three PO, but I have to insert my golden rod into his restraining bolt, <laughs> <laughs> and then when I jam it in, he pops the Death Star plans all over my face. Yeah, I don't know. I watched that movie so many times. I just draw it. I mean, it's not hard. You saw the movie, right? Yeah. Just a sphere with a hole in the yeah, middle. Yeah, just a sphere, and they zoom into it. I just it draw a circle, and I'm like, it. it's right there. The hole. Shoot the I'm hole. I'm pretty sure they. I don't think they ever got the Death Star plans. I think the guy was just guessing. Yeah. He just said, shoot the hole. Uh, there's a toilet hole on top. Adam. Peek and I's. You know, we'll combo ours. What do you yeah. want to do, Peek? Well, I was gonna say by sneaking. So I'm, you know, sneaking around in a breech cloth. Okay, so while Peek's doing that, I'm going to put on a big band show. While they're uh, we're doing the big music entertaining, uh, Peek sneaks in the back and just takes the plans off someone's back. Works like a charm. There's on somebody's back. <laughs> uh, Lawrence? Oh, boy. Uh, llama eat... Llama eat llama? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of L's. Anyway, how would you fix classic movies for the new, younger audience? I'll tell you what i do. i take Emma, but i change it so it's in a modern high school in California or something like that. I try and find uh, like young uh, popular actresses and and basically have them recreate the story, but using kind of uh, modern slang and you know some modern problems that people have. I think that could really take off. Maybe in like a Heath Ledger. Way. Uh, maybe oh, you got the wrong movie. So in the classic studio system, women were treated horribly. Mm-hmm. I was just going to take classic movies and then put subtitles over them, relaying facts like Wizard of Oz. Uh, there'd be a scene where Judy Garland like finally gets to the Emerald City and she's getting done up and it'd be like Judy wasn't allowed to eat that day for her scene at the Emerald City that's normal why can't we we don't need her to eat we didn't need her to be in a fucking movie you think Jennifer Lawrence eats at least you have an alarming amount of food on your desk right now I know all I do is eat all you gotta do is add CG right so it's just a scene of like Casablanca right and he's like uh, uh, get out of here kid or whatever and what? then the plane takes off and then a giant s- s- Flying ball of debris, like from Fantastic Beasts, and where to find them? Yeah, and and plenty of other movies. Yeah, just that. I would just have that character in every single classic movie. I'm gonna piggyback off of James' answer, and we're gonna do Navi Vision because Avatar was the biggest movie ever. Ever. Yeah. Yeah, We have to basically go back to old movies and replace the characters with the Navi because. You don't even need to say why. It doesn't matter. <laughs> At least. Polygon Gamer wants to know, each one of you is a Christmas character this year, a reindeer, a reindeer, an elf, etc. What are your names and what are your characters like? Mm. I'm Turbo Man from Jingle All the Way. Was that the character? Yeah, that's the action figure that they're after. What does Turbo Man do? He flies, he fights, he punches, he's strong, he's cool. He was fake um, though, right? I want to be Sinbad. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence... I want to be the the dude that the, the dude that uh, like had a lovely life, but it all fell apart, and then commits suicide on Christmas Day. Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, I want to be Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. He's isn't there. He's in the tale of the Scrooges. No, they found a genie. Not really. Oh, <laughs> what are you talking? He's talking about the movie. There's a genie in Scrooge's McDuck's movie. Yeah. yeah. The DuckTales movie. What the fuck are you talking about? You needed to go out more. Yeah. To the movie theater. I want to be an elf, but instead of like elf on a shelf, that phenomenon, it's like elf above the glass ceiling. Because we, we broke it, ladies. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> you remember you're who we like? It's right? late. <laughs> I'm at peak. Uh, I was going to be, I'll say the, the ghost of Christmas present. Why? Ooh. Then I could lead you around for, show you the present. You lead Scrooge McDuck around? Well, He's rich. He doesn't need to be led around. On Christmas, isn't that what happens on Christmas Eve? Here's the or kitchen. Here's the bathroom. <laughs> He's like a like a real estate agent. Yeah, I know. Over, shows Bruce the here. apartment he lives in. All right, Matt Peak, last question. End coffee culture. What historical figure would you guys most like to fight? All the Care Bears. Oh, hey, welcome to a, a very holiday themed episode of Open House. We don't pick. Specific holidays. Christmas. What it's Christmas. At? This is Christmas. Oh, can do yeah. Christmas. The pretty? X stands for Christ. Uh, today we have a very special guest joining us all the way from the north. Don, thank you for being Don, here. Hey. Don again. Oh, yeah. Good to be back. How do we get Thank him? you, all my loyal it's fans. Nice to be here. Uh, Elise, why don't you tell us what we're doing for this very special Christmas-themed episode of Open House? Well, James came up with the idea. 
that instead of taking questions from our fans, because they're usually not that good, <laughs> we come up with questions to ask each other in the spirit of giving. So I give you a question, he gives you a question. Well, yeah, give everybody all questions. Yeah, okay. yeah. we're yeah. on a format. Everybody. Format didn't change, at least. Right. But it's all about giving. Okay. Yeah, I'm giving. completely unprepared for this. I know that we're changing the format on you, Raul, but... Oh, I'm, 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 I'm you okay? I'm improvised. You got I'm it? For, yeah. When you did press for uh, Iron Giant, did yeah. you guys do like this kind of Q&A? Uh, we did, but we, um, it, it wasn't good. And also it was, we had died. Oh, there's the, is We'd that like the, to, please the, focus. We, no, go ahead. We yeah, just you said you were in it. You said you were in it. This uh, episode of Open House is absolutely not brought to you by iZombie. They didn't pay a dime for this. No, we, we got just, those for free though. We just we really like, we just really like Don. Go see MacGyver in theaters now. Don rented out a theater uh, so he back. could. 2016 yeah. viewing party. Be there. <laughs> Uh, your first question this week comes from me, Adam. What movie franchise would you guys like to be a part of? Wow, anything in the world. Any movie fran- It has to be a franchise. Braveheart. Mission Impossible 2. Oh, oh nice. Oh, okay. Mission Impossible 2? That's the franchise. Mission yeah. Impossible yeah. 2. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a spinoff to 2, 2, 2. I'm Tom Cruise's brother getting revenge for Tom Cruise oh, in the okay. first movie. Ephraim Hunt? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Don, you got an answer? Uh, I think I'd bring back uh, one of my favorite uh, franchises from back in the day. That would be Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's a but uh, in this one, it'd be a little bit of a crossover. We'd, Me and uh, Moranis would get shrunken down, and we'd be battling Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. Mine would be Tron. Yeah! I would be in the Tron franchise. I feel like these movies are only getting better. People like to shit on Tron Legacy, but compared to the first Tron, it's a thousand times better, which watch means it. we made another watch your, one. Watch yourself right now. Tron 1 is shit, Damn and it. I think that if, if you compare them, then you'll see that the third one is going to be just the greatest. Adam and I could be in the Daft Punk helmets. I would like to be in Police Academy, because I think that Michael Winslow and I could give each other a little bit of a run for our money. Let's okay? hear some of your sound effects. Well, give me, sh- tell me what you want me to do. Uh, ambulance. <laughs> uh, chainsaw. Uh, a black guy that does sound effects. Oh, wow. I think that The Phantom Menace, the mistake with it was that it was one film. I'd like to make that a franchise, That's The a Phantom idea. Menace, and have stretched that out to three movies. More yeah, politics. Cause, cause like, and what, yeah, the second one's just going to be just the politics. That's what, real good. What about the sixth one? The sixth one? What happens? That's just, one? that's about Shami just getting it on her own the, without, because it. it's Christmas themed, right? Gotcha. The, yeah, yeah. The conception. No, no dicks. Who would you play? Shami's fingers. Oh. <laughs> Every <laughs> single one? Every wow. single week? <laughs> That's I'm multi Computers can I, do I anything. play four to five different things. Yes. Whatever you say, Mr. Lucas. <laughs> yeah, the scripts look real good. So we, or we have to cast someone for the fingers, huh? <laughs> oh, we build Shmi out of other actors. I like that. Are these the kind of crazy ideas that led to you making the happening? <laughs> Still going on, huh? Second time we. I thought that was a joke we were doing. That was like yeah. two videos. But well, we already did Shim Allen. And- I didn't know I wasn't part of that. Uh, I have a question for you guys. Oh. Merry Christmas, Jesus Christ! You can replace yourself with any cartoon. Who do you choose? Tom, Tom Cruise. Has there ever been a cartoon version of Tom Cruise? Think about this. There was Jackie Chan, but we had Jackie Chan Adventures. That could be you, Lawrence, with your little <sighs> like child sidekick. Random trivia, IMDb trivia for you. Uh, Aladdin was based on Tom Cruise. Oh yeah, that's right. Is that true? All right, there we go. That's my answer. Aladdin. Tom Cruise Aladdin. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I would be Gus Gus from Cinderella, the fat little mouse that steals what the pearls. What cartoon character? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Jesus only zone. Jesus Christ! I would like to be replaced by the cartoon Godzilla from, I think it was the 1960s cartoon, where he was a friendly little dragon, basically, who followed the kids around. I think then people would like me. Okay. I'd like to be replaced by Pete Venkman from the Ghostbusters. He had the weird he has oh, hipster, okay. hipster hair. No, that was Egon. And they made him oh. blonde, right? Venkman, Venkman was Lorenzo Music. Oh, Garfield yeah. doing the Yeah, do, the voice of Garfield. Yeah, yeah he was sexy. Bill Murray F. went on to be the voice of Garfield. It's oh. all confusing. I changed my answer. I'd like to be replaced uh, with John from Garfield. I would switch myself with a little-known uh, cartoon character, Captain Planet. But uh, this time it'd be an avenging angel story. I'd be teamed up with Gaia. We'd be raining down terror on all the humans for what they've done to this earth. Oh, it's because they've destroyed the planet. Yes, right. Like that movie you made The Happening. <laughs> yeah. Exactly like that. Just a reminder, this episode is not brought to you by iZombie. In stores now. Uh, perfect combination of zom, drom, rom, com, and fun. <laughs> <laughs> this question is brought to you by Elise. What is something that used to be cool, but is really annoying now? Fun Racist house. jokes. 
Same they used thing. to be. <laughs> used to be fun. Probably for me, I'd say memes because I generally think that I'm above everyone's petty little humor because I fancy myself to have a quite sophisticated sense of humor. Ooh, picture of Elise when memes are not cool no more, and then a picture you're now a meme with because you don't like memes. Oh, uh, bold text on top. No. Of Inception. Oh, you got me. Memes are back, guys. Thank you, Elise. No. My answer is uh, the desire for a hoverboard. Ah, um, fuck. I was going to say oh. that. Oh, I was really? going to say, what were those though? things that you used to That's ride on thing. with two wheels? Around Back to the Future 2, you were like, oh, my God. And then they're saying, it's going to happen. You're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then, but now it's like Tony Hawk doing, like, prank videos. And then there's stuff with huge wires and giant loud fans. And every time you see it, it's just, ugh. I'm going to say dystopias in general. They were great before we lived in one. Now it's just, it's not This cool. isn't a dystopia. Yeah, You're talking into a it. webcam next to a professional uh, stage and screen actor. Which one is the celebrity? <laughs> are you worried? Are you intimidated by him by sitting me? next to him? Such a big celebrity? It's Robert. honestly, it's humbling. Yeah? Yeah. It really is. What's his name? <laughs> e F from Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> right, next, next question. So yeah, Fun House has to put on a nativity play. What roles does everyone play? Oh, it's actually yeah. related to Christmas. Yeah, it's it's a good good I already thought about it. I did it uh, properly. I, I did that my is job. our Christmas question of the week. Hey! Hey! I mean, I think it starts with who would we sacrifice? That's not what happened during yeah. the nativity Yeah, who gets play. the myrrh? No, but we need to know who it's going to be. Mm. Like eventually. Oh, oh, who will be... Who will grow up to be a hot Jesus? Yeah. Probably Adam, right? Adam's got the bid. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I know it killed the Beatles, but I think we could be bigger than Jesus. For Just only in the recreation of Jesus, and by doing so, we become bigger than Jesus. Like more muscular? He rolled that giant boulder out of the way of his tomb. You know he had to be Jack, yeah. right? I think Bruce would be Mary. Okay. He swaddle little baby Adam in his arms. That. that makes sense, okay. yeah. I think Matt Peake would be the owner of the inn that doesn't want to give them a room. Because right now, like, he lives with, he's Bruce's roommate, he lives yeah. in Bruce's condo, yeah. so it's like a flip, it's a flip. I, and I can see you as Aragon at the Prancing Pony. Ooh, oh, that's good. Well, yeah, Aragon. Strider, he was known at the time. He was Strider, he can live up to 200 years. <laughs> he was one of the Dunedain. He is one of the Dunedain, thank you, Raul. I feel like Don would absolutely have to be a wise man. Oh, thank you. But I don't know if he'd be frankincense. No, he'd be a wise guy. He'd oh, be like, hey, what? hey, what do you got, a baby here? So is there a baby oh, whining around here somewhere? Wise cracking wise man? Yeah. yeah. I like that. I'd be all the animals looking on peacefully okay. and serenely. I'm not Funhouse, yep. but, but I can... did come with a gift. Instead of frankincense and myrrh, I brought Blu-rays. There it is. Oh, wow. there not sponsored, not paid for. Maybe's, maybe's. Not sponsored. It's there you go, Blu-ray player in that manger. Careful. So I guess that just leaves me. Mm. You and can be the head of the baby be, Jesus is laying upon. You'd be Joseph. I'd have to be the cuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta sit there and watch while God fucks your wife. I'm just sitting there going, hey, my kid. <laughs> I know it ain't, but I gotta raise them. <laughs> I have a Christmas miracle for everybody. I can't wait to hear it. As usual, it's a little depressing. Uh, what is the one Christmas gift you always wish you got but never received? There was a G.I. Joe base that I never got. Sucks. Shop missiles. <laughs> I really wanted a Sega Saturn. Oh. And I'm glad. I, I, I always wanted it, but yeah. in, in hindsight now, they Wait, made the right choice. Saturn was great. Was it? Yeah, it was awesome. Yo, mm. you missed out. No. In fact, I think I did mm. get it as a Christmas gift. Oh, shit. And I was thinking, there's probably some kid out there that would love this. It was and now only... I want it again. Yep. No, yeah. it, it was the only console that was bigger than the TV. <laughs> I don't think I ever made a list where I got a toy I asked for. Like, I never, I didn't even have Play Doh. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I would want Play Doh. That's just simple. That's just it. So if one of you would just You'll get it buy in the me carpet. Play Doh. No way. Okay. I know the difference between a want and a need. And this has never been a need, but it's something I've always wanted, and that's a Lexus. I see the commercials around Christmas time of someone delivering a car with a big bow on top, mm -hmm. and I always wanted it so that way I could go. Why'd you wrap it? I clearly know it's a car. Or you can't open the doors. It's stupid. Wait, Lawrence, you can give, give us a presents. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, you can give us actual Ooh. presents? Oh, that's good. Don, you already got your present. Yeah, yeah oh. Don, you All got right. the present. Uh, All right, I got my magical Christmas bag, which is in... That's what it's called. It's not a bike bag right now. Uh, so, since Bruce isn't here, I'll start with him. Okay. As we all know, uh, he likes going fast. Mm -hmm. And when he goes fast, he hates that his ears get cold. So I got him... Sonic earmuffs. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. He'll so love that, that. Here, let me just... Thanks. I'm not Bruce, but this is how amazing Bruce could look. Thank you, Santa Lawrence. That's Lawrence great. Santa. I mean, if you're doing technicalities, you lot did say I was Bruce. So he should uh, and, get him. I mean, I've done his job. I mean, it's yeah, not fair. Thank you, Vern. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Uh, okay, uh, and then for Elise... Crotchless panties, crotchless panties. Oh, they're awesome. Got, He's a really good Santa. Right. Oh my Sloth goodness. Ah, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> we look just like each other. Thank you, Lawrence. For James. Um, I, I, how, how wide out should I put out my hands? Oh, pretty close together. Like this? Mm. Pretty, pretty close. Oh, I, nice. I, 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 like I this? gave that to you. Huh? Okay. Yeah, um, it was really, I tried really to find generous something of them. That was One Piece related. Instead, I got you two blind boxes. Okay. That are the beaten up busts from Street Fighter. Oh, okay. So you get to keep them on your desk to remind you what failure looks like, because I know you hate that. Hmm. And oh. you always want to. I'm going to see which ones I got. John, can you hold this that. for me? Just... Right, Adam? Hey. Sure. Should I close my eyes? Oh, hey, look at this little guy. I need it. To commemorate the fact that I went on a really weird Evangelion roller coaster, okay. I got you a super cute Evangelion angel key. Hey, look at that! Oh, that's really cute. That's going on the keys. All right, who wants, who wants an alien scoop? Douse oh. him! There you go. Bro, douse Ooh. him! Oh, oh. looking out, Lawrence! You took, you brought this all the Yoga way back flame. from Japan with you? Yes, I did. Because I. And better than Jesus. Hey, this thing works like a charm. Oh, look at that. Look, Don got what he wanted for Christmas. Oh, boy, you're, <laughs> you're really supposed to... Hmm. Uh, is it ear cleaner, yeah? Well, yeah, but you, you go in and then you scrape out. Blood. Wow. It's a Christmas you don't just miracle. Went a little deep. Make sure you watch a zombie. Well, and Don has the last question of this Christmas open house. Don, the last Christmas miracle comes from you. All right, I guess I'll ask each of you, what is your favorite Christmas special that ever aired? Oh, Lil uh, Vuitton's Claymation Christmas Special featuring California Raisins. That's that's also my answer. No, which is Night Out. I love Christmas Eve on Sesame Street. I love Muppet Family Christmas, and I love Muppet Christmas Carol. I love all, all three of you those. Have one. He didn't ask you what three specials you like. Well, I guess I forfeit my answer then. Get out. Give me the sloth. Uh, Adam? Santa's Helicopter by Wing. It's real, look it up. Okay. Uh, Raul? We don't uh, get Christmas specials in the UK. None? Because it's always Not even Christmas. Like Mr. Bean Christmas? The Office. Sherlock Christmas? That's it, yeah, we don't do Doctor Who Christmas? Okay, we do get them. I, There's yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. There is. Bob I don't watch them because. Father Ted? Father Ted Christmas? Mm. IT Crowd? No, but we don't really. Yeah. Nothing? I don't feel like we do. You guys do them. What one had Boba Fett in it? Started Boba Fett. Harry Potter. That was a holiday special. Don, what's yours? Uh, episode MacGyver. They uh, settled down at a boys and you guys girls can stop. club. Yeah, uh, you can just... MacGyver is sort of volunteering. Hey, and, uh, hey everyone, have a very just, uh, happy Merry Christmas. All other holidays are forfeit. In in also, we'd like to yeah. thank yeah. iZombie. Some orphans are there. They, they sponsor sponsor them. Them. Not at all. Not sponsored. And uh, we just Penny like Parker Look got at really sick over the uh, man's Thanksgiving going, holiday, so she's sort of under the weather. This isn't my first open house, and it won't be my last! These are all Christmas questions. Even though we have all these new stars here, they're young and attractive. People love them. Variables. Oh, that always thing. makes things better. Changing things, changing parts. And God, I've got like five years left. That's it. At least that's all I've got for my run. God damn it, man. God damn it, the studio people in this goddamn room. Peek, Peek, what's wrong, Keep it down, Peek. Whose idea was this? I feel like I'm getting... Sicker and yeah, sicker the more I'm in this room. <laughs> we could have been blowing no, all the producers. Okay, hold on. I wish Man. I had this. Hush. Let's just get this over with, right? Is that okay? <laughs> that's the way. That's the way to record. No, he's hungry. I don't like that energy. He's hungry. Oh, you hungry? Hungry for the gym. You pull the, the gym. Just pull the band-aid off. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Hello and welcome to a very normal episode of Open House. Everyone introduce yourselves. Hey. Hey. Hi. I'm James Willems. <laughs> Bones. I'm from They were all Fun scared. House. They were all scared. Introduce yourself one at a time. Go oh, right them. in. Oh, Daniel. I thought you guys were going to go first. <laughs> That's the joke I was actually going for. I wanted to see if they knew comedy and they failed. <laughs> oh, boy. It's an end of year open house and you know what that means. We're going to answer as many questions as possible as we can in 10 minutes. So we brought everybody into the room. We're going to do it one at a time. We only get one shot to answer the questions. And I'm here too. Uh, and Elise. Uh, <laughs> All right. Let's ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. First question from Raz Dennis. What are you hoping to find on your Christmas trees? There's nothing. I'm Jewish. Not true. Next. Keep going. So wait, hold on. What's the order? What's the order? 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 supposed to start with Am I supposed to start with peak? Oh, you was? Yes. I always go first, though. Fuck! Should we start over? No! Keep yeah, going! Yeah, don't right. uh, But candy canes. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, Hi Highland, da, 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 based on the... Oh, no. Oh, I can't, okay. Helian Librarian. Oh, there you based go. Based on the semi-recent passing of Fidel Castro, which deceased world leader would you most want to go on a romantic dinner with? Uh, 
well. Robert Mugabe, next. There. <laughs> the tasty, tasty basis. Funhouse is opening the Funhouse Museum of Unrelated Paraphernalia. What strange objects or obscure pieces of history make up your museum exhibits? Dildos. Next okay. question. <laughs> who's, who's next? That's Lawrence. Oh. Uh, Tony Remore asks, uh, Funhouse is decorating the Christmas tree. What did each you put on the tree to give it your personal flair? And what do you put on the top of the tree? Dildos. Uh, okay. <laughs> Miku, for you, sex swing revamps their sound completely into the most brutal, de- brutal death metal the world has ever been plagued with. What are the names of a couple songs of the first album? Uh, Taint, Tainter's Choice. That's Ooh. like Taster's <laughs> Choice. I get it. Um, uh... Just say Dick, dildos. Two more. Dick or die. Uh, dildos. Anything sexual. There we really, go. that's nice. what works on this show, right? Yeah. Yep. Track number Marky three. Marky Polo. How did you find out that Santa wasn't real? My dad ruined it for me one year. <laughs> Should Adam read again? No. no. Just add it to those guys. Bones, go. Uh, uh, Unusa Nipster. You skipped one. You skipped one. You skipped one. You skipped one. Scientist digs up your body to create a monster, <laughs> but he only wants the best parts of each course. What parts does he take from all? Come on! Yes. Toe, no. toe. I was gonna say, yeah. We're supposed to go at once. Yeah, answer right. answer is penis. Penis is the answer. Thank you. Feet. So now Matt Pete goes? Yeah. yeah. And I'll, oh, I'd, they're just right. forfeited. Bob? Yes. Oh. Oh. Pistol Nipster. Oh. It's a secret Santa time for the oh. members of Funhouse and Achievement Hunter. Oh. Who would you hope to get for the exchange, and what do you hope to get from them? Uh, Michael and... Uh, His baby. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, his baby. Uh, <laughs> Xpiper20 says, some of you aren't from LA or even from California. Do you have friends from your old towns that you keep in touch with and you want, you know watch Funhouse? Absolutely fucking not. I don't tell anybody about this channel because uh, I would be very embarrassed, except for my parents, and they know all about my dildos. Next question. Is it me again? Yes. Oh, yeah. When did you guys go? Never mind. Lawrence, just uh, go. Confusing. Mr. J. Rye says, with Rogue One released now, how you would you still... one. Oh, my God. I, it's good. I didn't want to answer that stupid one. <laughs> I'll do Glitter. I'll do that one. Glitter Lamp says, oh, no, Funhouse is stuck home alone with Kevin. How do you keep Harry and Marv from breaking in? A gun. You shoot them in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Not hard. I, Improv. I was going to see HPV. That can lead to cervical cancer. Anyway, Mr. Jerry Lovem says, with Rogue One re- released now, how would you steal the plans to the Death Star? Uh, I would go into J.J. Abrams' house because he obviously has plans to the Death Star. Not involved with Rogue One, from what all I can tell. Um, but then uh, I would uh, say, hey, we'll get them on an island, like Lost, and then they can't survive, so we take the plans. It all comes together. I believe the time is up. I Warheads, if you could create a Christmas tradition that everyone had to follow, what would it be? I answering a bunch of questions about Christmas after it's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vecmen, there seems to be a lot of Kickstarters for things that are completely lazy or just impractical. We'll get to the question. If you could design an honestly a product to be Kickstarted, what would it be or what would its function be? I would have a bike that is also a boat, but also is your best friend. Cool. Uh, so Omar should read the next question. Right, Omar, bike boat. What will be some of the most popular trends? Of Who's it from? Who's it from? Uh, Joel Fizzer. Joel Zifer one. Joel Zifer one. Okay. What will be some of the popular trends of 2017? Go, go, go answer. Uh, We're all gonna start our own channel. Bicycling. 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 Yeah, tune in. It, not, it hasn't started yet. It'll stop. Go ahead, Pete. Go ahead, Pete. Dingle, <laughs> Dingle Boone. Why is Adam the designated game player on most of your content? Because he has a rare gift to just break the game. I think it's true. It's absolutely true. Because his, day, his brain awesome. done broke. Uh, Wall Smith, their Funhouse now is a professional orchestra. What instruments do you play? What songs do you perform for your crowd? I play the trumpet and I perform the Tainter's Choice. Uh, oh, Lawrence, next song. question. Good song. Uh, Mercenary. Well, that's a good name. It says, if you could change Christmas to celebrate the birth of someone other than Jesus, whose birth would you choose to celebrate? I would say Eric Estrada, because his teeth are bright enough to save the world. <laughs> show us it's, show us where we go. It's like the North Star. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is from Devoured Zombie. I was watching old Elise videos from Game Trailers. Omar appeared. We know the main group met, but how do you guys meet Omar, Don, John Smith, and the others that are in front of the camera as often? So Omar would work periodic- periodically at Game Trailers doing freelance stuff. Don and I worked together for three years. John Smith just had a really, really good reel. He was really, really funny. Bones and Bruce go back back in the day. Jinkos, uh, <laughs> Deftones, doing it. What about, what about uh, Jacob? J- uh, Jacob is like a little baby boy of Funhouse. He was Love an intern. Him. Intern, little baby boy, professional baby boy. What about Dan? Uh, Dan, we've been <laughs> friends with forever. Uh, Dan and James went back t- to high school. Really great. He Love stalked him. me at the gym. Any That's not anybody true. else that I missed? That was it. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. That. Everybody's great. Um. Zepto Droll, tis the season to forgive and forget. If any Funhouse member has wronged you this year, how would you willing to bury the hatchet with them in time for Christmas? Uh-huh. Uh, Don stole my heart, and I Aww. bury the hatchet with a hug. Oh, here it comes. Oh, here it comes. <clears throat> Adam, read the next one. Uh, Super Freak 34, Lawrence has decided to make an anime about Funhouse and has decided to add all his anime fantasies into it. What is each Funhouse's character like? A... a- Sounds like he wants to answer the question, so I'll just let him go. Uh, Kaijo is the answer. Is it Kaijo? Kaijo. Watch Kaijo. Uh, Don, Don should read their next question. Oh boy. 
Uh, yeah, where are we? Here? Pixels Stop are your here. friends. All right. Uh, pixels are your friends, right? You got four and a half minutes. Huh? Uh, if you switched bodies with the person to your right in the funhouse circle, what would you do with one day of time in that body? Answer your question, Don. All right, everybody. Oh, I would. Uh, who's, I would, who's to our right, Adam? Bones is to my right. I would, I would play with my hair. I would stand behind Bones' desk. I would uh, eat some chicken pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Peek. <laughs> oh, shoot. Super Pie 64. According to Funhouse, who will be the next celebrity couple? That nobody expected. Uh, go ahead, Elise. Answer for me. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm so <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> it's because I can't Peek think of Elise. anything. Yeah, just Peek and Elise. Just say Peek and Elise. Uh, Ted Danson and, and Tom Hardy. Uh, Andy McDowell. Oh. Uh, the Breezy Geezer. So who owns the Black C7 quarterback that's parked in the Funhouse parking lot? It better be Spool. That's actually mine. How does he know that? I don't know how he knows know. that. Yeah. That's really scary. Well, I'm hanging out outside your office all the time. I just see things. <laughs> That's weird. Three and a half minutes. Lawrence. Resonator writes, fun house to set up in a toy store. What are some of the toys you sell? You guys think I'm going to say dildos. They are dildos, but <laughs> they're kinder dildos. So it's chocolate. Inside is an actual toy you get to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Is a little boy in the cover? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> This is from Bobby Light 32. Funhouse creates lube for the RT store. What flavors or scents do you create? Uh, Tainter's Choice, uh, Bruce's Juice, uh, Adam's Gladoms, and uh, Peak Streaks. Uh, they, oh, they all taste like peppermint. Oh, that's, that's nice. great. Okay. So, uh, back, yeah, you're going to have menthol dick. Uh, Martian Space Ranger. Funhouse is stuck with a mummy on an airplane when suddenly it crashes oh, to no. ground. Uh, as a result, you all find yourselves <laughs> awake in different Tom Cruise movies. Which movie do you end up in, and what movie would you do in it? The Mummy. Just and I get rid of all the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cozy Sweaters asks, So, Fauna House has outgrown the current office, and instead of moving to a new building, Rishi decides to buy a defunct shopping mall Whoa. to save some cash. What store do you claim as your personal space? Anything that sells Indian, like Native American mm. paraphernalia, mm. I like that. My and uh, and uh, swords. <laughs> a lot of jade. Two minutes, 20 seconds. John, John, guys. Guys. Go, go. Ultra Lordy says, The Green Bay Packers are known as cheese heads and wear cheese blocks on their heads. What kind of nickname and funny headgear would people wear if there was a Funhouse sports team? Dildos. Dick, dick cheese heads. I had a neck gear when I was a kid. Oh, my <laughs> neck gear. Jacob tells a story every time. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, my back isn't Dunder, straight. Dunder Mifflin Pirates. Funhouse is put in charge of developing an action anime based on holiday cool. characters. Sort of like... Italia? What the is. hell? Uh, what holidays would you all like to include and what powers do they have? One minute, 45 seconds left. Hurry. I mean, you just be a one. turkey with like guns and footballs and something like that. I love Great. it. Wrap it up. Let's move on. Uh, Torque Life, the world has risen against robotic overlords who create an elite team called Overhouse. What heroes do you become and what abilities <laughs> do you have? Uh, I become a giant monkey and I can use my Tesla gun to kill other creatures, and I'm also a lesbian. Next question. Sweet. Nice. Master Pontius writes, Funhouse gets to collaborate with any music artist for a single. Who, do you who would you choose to work with? What is the name of the song, and can you sing the lyrics? Uh, it would be the hologram of Wesley Willis. The name of the song would be uh, <laughs> YouTube is the best tube, and that would those are also all the lyrics, so it kind of works out. <laughs> this is from Andy... Oh. And I did, I, yes. Go one minute. What do you buy for the person who has everything? Uh, head to the roosterteeth.com slash store, Funhouse, <laughs> first Funhouse March. You're going to get feet, you're going to get t-shirts, you're going to get blankets, you're going to Which game would you choose to do an MLG speed run during SGDQ? Uh, Super Mario 64, because I already beat Lawrence. Boom. Um, Ex-Soviet soldier, Trump has picked you to be a member of his cabinet. What department are you going to are in charge of, and what is your first act as the head of it? I'm going to be uh, president of fun, and we going to fuck. Yeah. Uh, Dan, the answer, read the next question. Go. Uh, 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 uh. Tasa Titty, uh, Funhouse are now movie critics, and you all have to suggest a movie to the audience that is a must-watch. What movie is that, and why? We're uh, not John Reiser. Uh, a very Brady sequel. Uh, Secret of Nim uh, 2. Secret of Nim 2. Lasers it. Overthrow. Very good laser sequel. And and 11, 20 seconds. Overthrow and an 11 Little Rooster spinoff. The Sex Von de Schuyl Boys. Boys are invited to the Backwoods North Carolina cockfight. Who wins? All of them. Solomon Grande, yo. Since you guys seem to be somewhat healthy, what do you guys eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Does Matt only eat oats? Yes, he only eats oats, and I eat only eat Chipotle. Uh, Case out 12 says, when I start the news Christmas holiday, you're choosing film. Who does what to get in the biggest pickle? We all fall in love with James Vanderbilt. <laughs> How far did we make it down the page? We didn't make it anywhere down the goddamn page. No, yeah, we didn't. Uh, Fuck. Well, there's a really good year. question that says, what's your favorite kind of juice? We I wanted that one. Bruce's juice. Bruce's Orenthal, Bruce's juice. Or, or Orenthal James. Or Orenthal James. It kills your wife. We Thank, can't do that Thanks joke. for joining us, guys. Yeah, are we done being funny? Say, all right, everyone gets to say one last I mean, funny thing. Start. Oh, yeah, all at once, though? Well, you guys can come to a consensus on one funny thing to yeah. say. 
Alright, huddle up. Huddle, huddle up. up. Okay. okay. Fart noise. This is a really good opportunity for them. Peek, what do you think they're going to come up with? You sit with them. They're just I'm nominating Jacob that was such a Fullerton. Jacob Fulton's the funniest of all of us, so I'm going to tell Jacob Fulton to be funny. Okay. So let's see. On three, two, one, funny. My nickname for Michael Bublé is Mike Boobs. <laughs> That's Thanks, terrible. Don. <laughs> we, we already cut. Happy 2017! Wow. We made it, guys! What's, Who would have thought we'd survive 2017? We got it. We What's going to change this year? We got ourselves a new president! Yeah! We got ourselves... Drought, Famine. fewer environmental protections. We're gonna lose our health hmm. insurance. Roe versus Wade almost overturned. We're all gonna be underwater in four years anyway. Yeah, yeah who's who gonna cares? die this year? The Queen is definitely gonna die this no, year. No, yes. you say that every year. Maybe Prince Philip. I think Tom Cruise is going out. No, Tom Cruise. He's like 55 years old, you, in the best man. shape of his life. I don't want it to happen. I just think it's going to. Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh no, Lipnick. not Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh. Get that kid an Oscar. Did he? Get, he got two. No, he didn't. He was also the cinematographer. He's a terrible actor. <laughs> the though. cinematographer. He did the score for Jerry Maguire. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right. I didn't say the words. Boom. Didn't Got say it. the words. As long as you sing the melody, we have to clap. <laughs> oh, these are the rules now. It's that. just three notes. Uh, Stand and Fraggle Rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the shitty high school band I was in, we did a punk cover of the Fraggle Rock theme song. Shut what? up! I want to hear it. Is it do you still have it? Punk cover. Don't say it. Am I going to have it? What is this? Recordings? Kind that of happened. Recordings? That was so before MP3s. Mm, right, but why old? Yeah, I'm well, the wise man. I drank a lot last night. This morning. Ah! All right, let's start the show. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I got a peach uh, margarita and a tequila sunrise. It's definitely. He did. He got them both. At the same time? After the party, by the way. I am a king. <laughs> all I had was hors d'oeuvres to eat. Oh, I boy. built this empire. Give me two daiquiris. All right, all right. Sorry. They wrap bacon around a cracker. Hey, first question this week comes from Interfermator. Sure. You decide that Funhouse needs an official theme song, and Rooster Teeth gives you a blank check to hire any band slash artist you'd like to write and perform the song. What band slash artist do you choose and why? I'm fitting to choose the band that wrote the Ewoks song. Just the Ewoks. You hire the Ewoks. Oh, okay, yeah, fine. The Ewoks. They, and then they're, they're gonna they're gonna write our song. Look at rule 34. Uh play some shitty games. Hey, now you're an all-star. <laughs> Yell at all their fans. <laughs> Run the joke into the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the? What's the? John Tesh. John Tesh. Oh, that's a great John idea. John Tesh could make, make an awesome theme song because it would be completely out of time. Yeah, it's amazing theme. Michael McDonald. Did he play Shooter McGavin? No. Oh. <laughs> Um, have you ever been on the ride Riddler's Revenge? Yes. yes. They play a sweet techno song. <laughs> what? What is Riddler's? Wait, hold on. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, a roller coaster. It's a standing. It's the only roller coaster where you stand. If you stand. If up. it's still 1996. Ah, oh, the most devious riddle of all. It's Magic Mountain. How does the techno <laughs> the techno song go? Uh, the song goes Ecuador, and then there's like a cool guitar riff. <laughs> I, I never uh, would have guessed. I worked on that ride for about two years. Oh, that's why. Okay. Selling ride photos, so it's just burned into my brain. <laughs> that and the Blade soundtrack, which is just that one song. Sounds awesome. Yeah. In order. Lawrence. Dan, 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 dan. Lawrence, you have one? You don't get to sit down. <laughs> uh, my shitty high school band. We'll play a theme song for you guys. We play birthday parties. We don't even we don't even need to get, need to What's get paid. What's the name of your shitty high school band? Huh? What's the name of your oh, shitty high school band? This is my back. What? That was really the name of your band? God yes. Damn it! I'm surprised uh, you didn't make it. We took it from we took it from a commercial for the Special Olympics. What? I am so confused. Uh, All of that's true. How'd the song go? Oh geez, it would be a punk remake of the original uh, Funhouse theme song, which is the Ewok song. Oh, okay, so, so how, how'd that go? <laughs> no, that was in time. Lawrence is hungover from the Christmas party, just so everybody's aware. How about you, Elise? Uh, probably Phil Collins. <gasps> oh, that's because great... he's a great drummer. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he drums anymore, though. No, he does. Does. I, I could stick. feel it coming. Well, it'd be, it'd be <laughs> <laughs> Phil Collins on the drums, and then we'd wheel out Axl Rose. Oh, <laughs> why are we wheeling him out? Is he dead? He's tired. Walk. Did you guys see recently? Um, what's his face from ACDC is deaf and can't like Angus cannot Young? sing no. anymore. Yeah, he's deaf. He can't oh, sing anymore. Can't but sing. they wheeled out Axl Rose. 
for ACDC? For ACDC. It was really sad. It made me really sad. I shouldn't have brought it up. Yeah. But Phil Collins, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> ACDC performing together one last time. And the drummer's, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Nobody, everybody's deaf. <laughs> I want to hear what Matt Peake has to say. Okay, Lincoln Park. Uh, there you go. But early 2000s Lincoln Park. There you go. What's the difference? They're, they're all, it's all the same. Uh, what are you talking about? Weren't they a little about? bit better back They've then? They've matured, much like Fallout. I mean, they matured a little bit, but it's pretty much the same, dog. No, okay, they did whatever. a song about 9-11. They're different now. No, no. Thurman. Next question from Craig Regan 95. Naughty Dog has asked Funhouse to appear in and write the new innovative story for their next game. What is this new adventure? Uh, I got an idea. Huh? It's uh, an adventurer, mm. and he's searching for some sort of religious artifact. You mean like Indiana Jones? No, you can't just rip off Indiana Jones and make a game about it. Okay. That would never uh, work. There's this guy, he loses his daughter. And he's like fighting against zomb zombies. Has like anyone the, done zombies? You mean like The Walking Dead? What about a spy who has to solve international crises, meets attractive women along the way? You mean like James Bond? Shit. We need an original idea. Original. An amusement park filled with dinosaurs. Jurassic Park. Nabs Pro. Biggest disappointment of 2016. I wake up every morning. Is that the opening lyrics to a Linkin Park song? Keep doing Fallout Boy. I'm going to say it, the election of Donald Trump. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's what I was going to say. Are you thinking it should have happened sooner? Yeah, we oh, should have gotten him way in there. He was going to run it back in the 90s. <laughs> Elise, what about you? I can't remember if the McRib came back, which means that rib prices are at an all-time high. That's, <laughs> so that's, that's your biggest I'm disappointment? Well, I'm worried. We're worried for the rib economy. Fuck, I could go for a <laughs> I have some stock in McDonald's. Oh. When are they bringing back the Archburger? What did they say at the conference call? Uh, they said 2018 Olympics. Warsaw. Lawrence, the next question. Uh, okay. AKA Miso, or Aka Miso, uh, says, you're writing the next Star Wars movie. Who would you cast? Myself in every role. Thank you for writing. <laughs> Damn, we can move on. Me. It's me, Princess Leia. Oh, stop fucking me so hard, me. I would cast Tim Allen. <laughs> hey, he's already I, got I, space experience. He's a galaxy quest. Yeah, that's yeah, Exactly. Oh, yeah, good point. Based uh, in the same movie. And we're due for an Allen resurgence. Well, I mean, you have to we're drop renaissance. below the line to research. <laughs> yeah, he's never gone below that line. He's still amazing. And, and he's still selling popular. cocaine. Uh, At least, let's say uh, he plays Luke Skywalker, and Princess Leia walks up to him and goes, Luke, what are we going to do? Huh? Like, he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, wow. He's always he's so character. <laughs> Adam, how uh, who would you cast? <laughs> Only dead celebrities from 2016. Ooh, oh, okay. we got John Glenn. We got Willy Wonka. John Glenn, <laughs> he's an astronaut. <laughs> well, that's a great cast. James, who would you cast? Um, <laughs> I would uh, cast Jim Carrey. Oh, because he's oh, such yeah. a transformative actor that I think he'd bring a certain nuanced subtlety to the role. I would agree. Can you imagine Jim acting off of Lawrence? Oh, it'd be amazing. Bounce back there. It'd be incredible. It'd be amazing. And then they do a ride where you have to lay down. But Lawrence <laughs> would have to play Jim Carrey. <laughs> that was a really good call, but, uh, <laughs> Matt Peake, since I don't have an answer for this, they t they've taken all my answers because I wanted to cast myself, and then uh -huh. I'd cast like some super hot chick to be my opposite. Obviously, like I always want to be a Jedi. So Matt, the you Rock. He was a, oh, the, yeah, sure, The Rock. The Rock? No, wait, no, The Rock. No, he's taking roles from me. I'm The Rock. Let's say I play The Rock in Star Wars. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so then I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Star Wars. What about you? For a dude, I'll just say Tom Hardy. You make a good Sith or anything, really. Don't you think that'd be a waste of his acting talent, though? Make him be a space wizard with a sword? I don't know. I think he'd be good. And then for a female, I'll say uh, new me. Ray Pace. I don't know how to oh, say Oh, Numi Ray Pace, yeah. Oh, yeah. She'd be good. Oh, okay. There's a little, little window into Matt Peake's uh, mind there. He's attracted to both of them. Yeah, I me too. Be. That's why he said that. I don't deny it. that. Elise, next question. This is from Steve-O the Pedo. <laughs> Funhouse has been given their own pornographic show on the USA Network. What is it called and what characters would you play? I call it Funhouse Flings. Okay. Okay. Uh, I call it cri oh, Criminal Cunts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, mine would be called Around the Corner. Because it's the okay. implication of around the corner of the butthole, but then it take place in a neighborhood, so it'd be all about the neighbors that live in the neighborhood. Mine's called Dildo Dudes. Nice. Uh, uh, dark holes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what about you? Uh, black holes. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know why we have similar drama. names on a competing <laughs> network. <laughs> Mine's the ripoff of Adam. People are all <laughs> confused. On the same network? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, one time slot later. Uh, Matt Pink, last question. All right. 
Sleeba, Sleeba. All right. I'm not even sure if this is a question for Open House so much as the community at large, but is there a possibility of a semi-regular Q&A with Funhouse that is taken seriously, or at least semi-seriously? I mostly watch their videos for the ridiculous interactions, but they brought up so many valid points, mostly in Dude Super the No, when they're not openly hunting for laughs, that have piqued my interest. Hey Bruce, goodbye. Uh, I know that's never really a great idea and to try and meet the man behind the curtain, so to speak but it's still an idea I thought I should put forward. Well, no, this is a good question. It, it's every, it's nice every once in a while that we get our Westworld question of the week! Oh! 